For women who give their all for others every day, it's easy for self-care to get lost in the shuffle. Regular breast cancer screenings save lives. Take care of your loved ones by taking care of your health. Talk to your health care provider about a breast cancer screening today. At Dakota Community Bank and Trust, you can trust us to make home loans easy. You can fill out an application online, on the phone, or in person. People who have used online-only companies have found it very difficult and frustrating if they have a question. But with us, you can just stop in. We are real people supporting you in the communities we serve, keeping North Dakota money working for the benefit of our community. Serving the community, looking out for you. At Dakota Community Bank and Trust, that's what on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance. Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF. We create chemistry. Women's Way. RTC. When a group of local residents came together to form a rural telephone cooperative in 1951, they made a commitment to keep their member owners informed and connected. That cooperative was RTC. And while the technology we use to communicate has changed over the years, that commitment remains true today. RTC is committed to providing the highest quality internet connectivity to our neighbors in West Central North Dakota. RTC, building our network so you can grow yours. Kim Electric is here to remind you to make safety your number one priority on the farm this and every season. With over 550 annual deaths, farming is one of the most dangerous professions. Always be aware of your surroundings and dress accordingly. Hazards on the farm can both be seen and unseen. Whether it's dangerous augers or underground power lines, dangers come in all shapes and sizes. So slow down, look up and around, and be safe this season. Your life depends on it. This farm safety message brought to you by Kim Electric. This is the Farmers Union Insurance pregame show. For all of your insurance needs, contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent or go to FUMIC.com. Welcome back inside the event center. Nearly go time in our first match of the day, the seventh place match, the Garrison Troopers and the relaxed Burlington Lakers. Let's set the table with your starting lineup. Brought to you by Vogel Law Firm, where you're more than just a client, your trusted partner in your case, Troopers, the Road team on the scoreboard today. They start off with Mason Jessen, Carly Klein, Caitlin Zook in that libero spot, along with Josie Westman, Madeline Hurt, Naya Alvarez, and Jilly Anstria. The junior rounding things out. They are led by second year head coach Tina Irish. Delax also with a young head coach, Erica Moan. In her first season at the helm, has gotten her Lakers to the state tournament for the first time in 20 years. Her starting lineup consists of Rachel Ralph, Paige Berard, Kaylin Bachmeyer, Lady Wahoos, Krista Berard, and rounding things out with Emily Degree in the middle, along with number 12, Shay Holden, young sophomore outside hitter. Those are your starting lineups brought to you by Vogel Law Firm. Alongside Bishop Ryan and Coach Nick Tice, David Sugarman here. We're back. Thanks for hanging out so much with us over the last couple of days, and we are so excited to bring you a coverage of the last day of the high school volleyball season. It concludes tonight with Linton HMB and Northern Cass in the championship, but it starts here. And Coach, a lot on the line for both these programs. The Lax here for the first time in 20 years. Garrison here for the first time in program history. A win at the state tournament, even in a seventh place match, could be a real launching off point. Right. I mean, you still got here. It's still your last match. You want to finish strong um, and just leave something for your school to build on for the future seasons. And let's not forget, we not a lot, but we got a couple of seniors who are playing their last game. You know they want to come go out on a winning note. Right. Exactly. You want to remember your last match as being fun is something you won you want to take that trophy home and let's I mean really seventh at state that's still better than a lot of teams exactly still one of the best eight teams in the state hoping to be one of the best seven Delax will be on the right side of your screen this match in the white and blue or beg your pardon Garrison on the right side of your screen in the white and blue Delax on the left in the white and red 
First serve on the way. It's brought to you by Dagelman Industries. Visit Dagelman.com for more information. And to find an authorized dealer near you, Dagelman Industries, engineered tough. These two squared off once in the regular season in the way early days. It was the second match of the year for the Lacs. They took down the Troopers in four sets. Lakers hoping to repeat that performance and pick up a win here at the state tournament. Garrison looking for a little bit of revenge. So one, one change since that match. I don't think Krista Berard was back for that. She's coming off an ACL tear, and I don't think she was back in that match. So maybe a little bit of different look in terms of lineups um, for the Lakers since that first meeting. Lakers will serve first, starting off with a libero, Kaylin Bachmeyer. Here we go, seventh place on the line from the event center. Quick redirect from Klein. Out of the middle and off the mark was Degree. They want to get her going early. Though. Yes, yep, they want to get her going, get her moving, um, and see if she can find the floor a few more times today. Garrison, 0 oh, 2 so far in this tournament. A first round loss to Northern Cass in three sets, and then a loss to Dickinson Trinity yesterday as Degree finds the corner. Tough time against the number one team in the state, and even though they got swept again yesterday, did feel like Garrison found a little more confidence. Yeah, they were they were finding ways to score a little bit more. They looked a little bit more in their rhythm, a little more comfortable with the being at this venue. And the ace. Nicely done by Paige Burrard, the sophomore. And oftentimes in these sorts of matches, you get youthful squads, and that's what we certainly have here today. Both these teams experiencing the state tournament for the first time in a while. In the case of Garrison, first time in program history, the last first time in two decades. The set for degree going off the block, nicely dug up. Flying out of the middle, two of the block. So both teams finding the floor early with some kills out of the middle. Um, settling in here nicely. Shot well off the mark there from the Lakers. So Garrison takes a 3-2 early edge. And look. Coach, kind of like you said, at this point, you're kind of playing with house money here. And it does feel like both these teams are just a little bit looser than maybe we saw over the last yeah. couple of days. Yeah, a little bit more smiles, relaxed, relaxed body language. So um, looser play, a little bit more excited. So you'll see them kind of loosen up and maybe make some big, bigger plays just because they're relaxed and not stressing over it. Well, a 3-3. Ty here at the start. Coming up right over near the scores table is Stria for the dig. From the left pin, going off the block was Holen. The little floats, it wasn't the most on balance thing in the world, but Bayless gets the job done. That's and a tall block to get over, and she just gets it right over the top and finds the floor. The young troopers squad, Bayless and Klein are their two stars, both of them juniors, and that's a senior in Emily Degree trying to go out on a winning note. I think we can expect to see that a few more times in this match. Yeah, came into the state tournament approaching 400 kills, 375. Struggled a little bit, three in the first round. Did have six yesterday in the loss. Down the line, missing the marks a little bit wide. Olivia Redding couldn't find it. I think she just turns her shoulder here a little bit too much to try and get around that block and just a little bit wide. Troopers with an early one point edge. At the far pin, cross the court, nicely done by Berard. And she's already finding that spot. We've seen her hit that several times in this state tournament. She hits that nice cross court, aiming for the corner here. She drops her thumb, cuts it into the corner. Nice shot. Burlington lost in by sweep to Linton HMB in the first round, the defending state champs. Then took on Langdon area Edmore Munich yesterday. Lost by a sweep as well. So both these teams looking for their first set win of the tournament as well. And you talk about experience being here. They've both played teams who've been here quite a few times. So in terms of experience, um, they, had a, they had a lot to, to overcome. The ace tournament. from the Lakers, and Coach, you touched on it. It does feel like 
Both these teams have all the potential in the world to be back here over the next couple of seasons as Wahoos gets the ace. Right, a lot of youth on this court and in this match. Wahoos a junior setter, so she'll be back next season. And another ace. No trouble on serve receive for the Troopers. So our first little run of the game, Wahoos with a couple of aces, four straight for DLB. More trouble on serve receive. It'll be a free ball. Can the Lakers take advantage? Wahoo's on the set. Barard on the punish. You can watch. She started to go a different direction there. She was trying to turn that one line. Nice job to use the block and get the point. Her shoulders rotate, and she sends it a little bit more to her left, and it's going to go off the block and out. Coach, we've now been together for three days, and I constantly hear you talking about the shoulders and the shoulder rotation. How important is that for a good swing? I think... Um, if you're trying to aim and direct it, shoulders can do a lot. Um, as they would get older, if you see it at a higher level, they're going to do a lot more with their hands. Um, but we have a lot of young athletes still kind of learning how to control the ball. So for defense, if you're watching their shoulders, you should see a little bit and anticipate where they're going to try to go. Um, one thing Krista does really well when she hits her cross-court shot is she drops her thumb, and that's what allows the ball to cut so far to the right. Look how much we've learned over the last couple of days, Coach. Five straights make it 5-1 now as I think they just gave that to their own team. Maybe not. Service error, I believe. Yep. 10-6. Yep. Lakers on top early. Wahoos could not find the line. Hung high in the middle for Klein. The little drop didn't go. Berard dug up by Zook. Zook's had a great state tournament, has had to work hard defensively. Yeah, a lot of defense for both these teams have had to play a lot of defense this weekend. Easier job for Zook there. Klein on the arrow. Couldn't find any hands on the floor. Line. So we were tied at five a pop since then, a 6-2 Lakers push. A lot of that's been success on the service line. This time it's Ava Feist sending it away. Klein near side does the deed. Nice swing. Good touch on that ball. She didn't swing too deep. She just she swung hard, but she put it nice in control on a spot that was open on the court. Klein, somebody who's gotten better and better as this state tournament has gone on. Just five kills in the opener against Northern Cass. Had nine yesterday in the loss to Dickinson Trinity. Two here at the start. And a junior, so you can expect she's going to have another great year next year and maybe find her way back onto this floor. Yeah, led the squad coming into the state tournament with 336. Somebody, Tina Irish, is really ecstatic to have back next year, we're sure. See if they go back to her. Nope, it's over her head, and Stria haven't got, quite got a hold of that one. Bachmeyer finds the floor on an ace. That's already three aces in this opening set for the Lakers. So DLB doing a nice job placing their serves where they want them, um, giving Garrison some trouble here. Three aces and a five-point edge. Number five responds for the Troopers. Carly Klein, already really, three kills. Really nice cut to get around the block there. She sees them both go up, but she takes a little bit of that split and finds the floor. Off the side out, aggressive serve down the line, pans out for Josie Westman. Number six, Josie Westman. Westman won ace yesterday. Nearly a second, picks it up. Rachel Ralph couldn't get it on the other side of the antenna. The junior looking for more. Finally scraped out. Degree. That's how you learn something watching her. Yep, yep. It's tough. They always have just such a high level scorer in the front. Degree and Krista scored a lot of points this season, so we're back with Degree in the middle. 
Um, so there you can see, did you see that thumb drop a little bit? And she cut that ball to her right. And 10 kills a match this season, three here at the start, hoping to go out a winner. In her final game, she's doing whatever she can here early. 15-11 edge for the Lakers, riding Emily Degree right now. Time out on the floor. <laughs> Do you hear that? That's the sound of you, your family, living your lives first. And this is exactly what we love to hear. At First International Bank and Trust, living first is intentional, providing your family sound banking solutions so you are free to live one breath, one splash at a time. First International Bank and Trust, live first. This is a good place to shop for a Chevy. This is a good place to shop for a Chevy. And this is a good place to shop for a Chevy, too. Whether you want to shop online and take delivery at home from a participating dealer or just have a dependable place to get service, discover the easy way to shop, buy, and own a Chevy. Find new ways. Find new roads. Get an incredible offer on a new set of tires. Then double your offer with the GM or Buy Power Card. Visit westdakotachevy.com supposed to be today's game on back brought to you by rtc farmers union insurance dakota community bank women's way bell bank and basf we create chemistry 15 11 here at the start of the first set in our seventh place match dlb on top degree the big reason why that's now already five kills for the senior yeah and she's you know, she came through the front row once, she's back to the front again, five big kills, she's doing a nice job. Um, and now we've seen her go both directions. She's gone to her right a few times, turned this one the other way, and found that corner. Klein on the slide, having a good start herself. Yep, point for point kind of seems like between these two. And two teams that obviously when you get swept, the offense struggles a little bit, a yep. lot more comfortable today. Yes, yep. And they're familiar with each other, so. They've seen what each other can do. Yeah, played back in the second match of the season. Lakers won that in four. On the denial, Degree got her paws on it. And nice job to close the block there by Ralph. That's a tall block for any hitter to try and get over. Largest lead of this opening set, or matches it should say. Stria, a little bit of trouble. Zook. Nice free ball. Degree off balance, finds it anyway. Nice job. Uh, maybe not the set they were quite looking for, but she found that corner. She turned it to a nice spot. So really a player who can go both directions and, and knows how to read a floor. So Degree, who hasn't had more than six kills in this state tournament, already six, and we're not even finished with the first set. Yeah, having a good night. Good morning, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> See if they go right back to her. Why not? Klein gets the first touch. Nice job by Alvarez. They keep feeding Degree. Stree on the near side. Ooh. A and rare Bachmeyer miss. Bachmeyer couldn't handle it. A rare miss by Bachmeyer. She looked like she was there. Just I don't know if she knew if the person in front of her was going to go. Yep, yep. She just wasn't quite sure if it was coming. So, a little miscommunication, however. Lakers get it right back on the service error. And to the corner, the miss from Hurt. So lead now up to seven for DLB. Degree fires away. On the far side, Alvarez tried to pop. Berard wonderfully dug up in the middle. Berard gives it another go, turned away. Flick back, and Lakers come up with a tight point. Second look here on a replay. Yeah, played a good play, good play at the net. Um, scrappy plays by both teams to keep that ball going. Shea Holen gets the job done. Back for Bayless. Spot. 
out of the middle on the second go. Alvarez gets the kill. She's done that quite a bit this tournament. Um, maybe hasn't found as much success as she would have liked to, but that's a really great play. Um, her left hand is deadly, and she finds that corner, catching the Lakers' defense off guard. Man, Alvarez, one of the setters on this squad. Usually you see them go with the dump. That was a little bit more of a traditional swing. Yeah, and it's nice when you have a left-handed setter because of the angle on the ball, they can take a swing like that. And two straight, that one on the error from the Lakers. So Garrison trying to make a push here. Alvarez, line drive serve. Scooped up well out of the back row. Barrar down the line. And a lift, charge to the Lakers for a double contact. Either way, lead is down to five. Yeah. Alvarez, two aces so far in the state tournament, gets three off the lip of the tape. A little bit of a friendly, friendly roll there. Clips the net, just not, just short enough to get in front of those those passers. So four in a row for the Troopers, trying to claw back in this opening set. And Berard off, make it five in a row. Coach Moan talked about serve receive, and it seems like that's what's giving them troubles right now. So she's talking to him, talking about the pass, trying to get her hit, or her passers to start her offense. Hey, each team's already got three aces in this first set. Both teams been serving well. Another one went off the tape. Lakers are ready for it. The denial, though. Bayless and Westman there. Big block. They know where to go. They, they anticipate. You know, they've set Krista over and over, so they're, they're ready for it. Six straight for the Lakers, or rather for the Troopers. Lead has been trimmed to two. A little trouble on the first touch for Klein. Hurt just in front of the antenna. Nice job to bring it back into control. Berard on the pop to the back row. A couple blocks on her, so she might start making some different decisions until she can get the ball to find the floor. Berard again. Terminates. Berard's third finally brings it into the run. Nice job to push it to some open spot. Um, like I said, she got blocked a couple times, so you might see her make a couple different decisions until she gets comfortable swinging again. Zook, trouble on that first touch. Nice pursuit from Bachmeyer. Pop to the back corner, off the mark from Westman. Timeout on the floor. Talax trying to win their first set of the state tournament. They only need two more. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance, Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Bell Bank, West Dakota Chevy Dealers, BASF, We Create Chemistry, Women's Way, RTC. Neither of these teams have won a set through the first couple of days of the state tournament. Something has to give here. Lakers in control right now. They've got a four-point edge, and they've got Laney Wahoos and her two aces already in this first set. Sending it away. Zook first touch, tight to the net. Bachmeyer ready for it. Barard axes to the middle. Hurt cross courts. Nicely done. Nice swing there to find the cross-court shot. Well, Garrison's been the better team the back half of this set. They're on a 7-2 run. The question is, is will it be enough? Yeah, the lead got to, what, five or six at one point? And the Lakers so have been in control gap. most of the way. Berard tight to the net. Nice job by Klein. And then Alvarez tools the block. Garrison's really come alive in the back half of this set. Finding points in a lot of different spots. Playing scrappy. And that left-handed setter, like you said, Alvarez, has had some success. Scramble mode for the Lakers. Chance to trim it to one. Klein turned away. Paid 
Paige Berard with the big block. Set point for the Lakers. Paige is just a sophomore, so she's going to be you know, a player to watch here in the coming years as well. She's done a really nice job at the net. She's grown a lot as a player in the front row. Ava Feist back to serve for set point. Zook shovels it out. Alvarez on the float. They go back to Berard. It goes Not just yet. a little bit long. Berard misses the mark. Door still open. Just a crack for the Troopers in this first set. On the back set, Berard from the other side. Same result. Leads down to one. Timeout on the floor. Still set point for the Lakers. However, the Troopers right back in this thing. At the heart of every small town are the people that live there and the businesses that serve them. From sporting events to 4-H, Lions Clubs to Hospital Foundations, Bassett Motors has worked for the past 23 years to make sure the heart of its area small towns continues to be the people. With over 15 employees, Bassett Motors prides itself on small town service with personal attention. Bassett Motors, where our customers send their friends. 4-1 run for Garrison, still set point for Delax, however. Yeah, still got to finish here. Still have a chance to finish both teams, though, competing well for it. Ralph floats down the line. Klein nice nearly dig. dropped oh, it. Geez. Tie at 24. So lots of back and forth here. Um, nice push to find the floor with the ball. And a big service error from Hurt. So once again, set point for the Lakers. It was 20 win. 14 to lax at one point. Troopers have hustled back. Can they get over the hump? Stria. The lax has got degree back in the middle yeah. on the floor. The lax is in a good spot with who they've got, but Garrison's got a good spot too with Klein. Klein fires for her sixth kill. She gets through that double block. She really doesn't seem like she's scared of very much, does she? Now, Klein plays with a fearlessness, and it's shown off here in this first set. Degree goes against Klein. Klein turned away. Ball's still up. Zook with the free ball. Back to Degree. Dropped into the middle. Klein hammers, hits the corner. Set point for the Troopers. So now Garrison facing their first set point in a state tournament. Garrison was down 21 of 14. Chance for set point here. Degree for the tie. They go back to Klein on the slide. Oh, good save. <laughs> Excellent job by Degree and Ralph finished it off. Yeah, good reaction by Degree to keep that up and then Ralph to keep it in play. A um, little bit of a miscommunication on the on the trooper side. So tied up once again. They go right back to Klein. Why not? Pounded to the floor. Eight kills in this opening set for Carly Klein. Yeah, nice swing here. She's gone to this spot quite a few times right around that block into that back right corner. Neither of these teams have won a set yet here at the state tournament. They are hungry for a little taste of success. Bayless turned away. Degree rockets to the back row. Seems like these two are just point for point. Klein, Degree, Klein, Degree, back and forth, trying to block each other in the middle. Nice swing by Emily after the block, the block ball to put that one away. Yeah, eight kills each in this first set, and we've got at least two more points to play. Alvarez leaves it for Bayless. Degree. Alvarez off the tape, punched right back. I wonder if they practice using the tape to their advantage. <laughs> They've been using it to their advantage a lot. However, Troopers missed the mark there. 
And for what seems like the umpteenth time set point for the Lakers, timeout on the floor. Lakers can close the first set when we come back. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance. Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF. We create chemistry. Women's Way. RTC. Been a back and forth first set. The Lax Burlington has had multiple chances at set point. They've got another here, 28-27, but no to serve. Degree, can't finish. Great dig by Zook. So Garrison doing a nice job to keep this ball alive. Degree tries again. Zook played superb from that libero spot. Bachmeyer leaves for degree. She has been such a weapon in this first set. Yeah, back to her and back to her. Garrison finds their own weapon. Carly Klein does it again, her ninth kill. Nobody wants to give an inch in this first set. Zook, lofting serve. Bachmeyer digs. Back set for degree, cross court. Overpass. Alvarez near the antenna. Oh, nice job to keep that ball in play. Oh, Missed here on that side. And it drops. Right back for a garrison set point chance. Trading set points back and forth here. Really competitive first set. If you thought for a moment these teams wouldn't come out with fire in the seventh place match, the door's over there. Degree into the block. I think we could write a script for set number two. <laughs> Fine degree, degree, climb. If we ever degree. get there. Yes, well, true. We got lots of matches yet today. We so. might just go first to 50 in this set. Tied at 29 apiece. Berard before the swing. It was Paige Berard so that got caught in on that one. Yep. So Garrison, another crack at set point. It'll be Alvarez. Does have an ace in this set. Bachmeyer first touch. Bachmeyer into the middle. Nice spot. Hurt near the net. Berard near the attack line. Klein on the tall up. Hurt. They go back to Berard. Rise and the miss. First set goes to Garrison in a thriller. 31 to 29. How about that for a start to the day? Ag producers, North Dakota's electric cooperatives remind you to watch for electric hazards. When operating large equipment, your local electric cooperative recommends using a spotter and maintaining distance of 10 feet from power lines in all directions at all times. And always consider down lines energized. Your local electric cooperative's priority is safety, the safety of their employees and you, their members. Stay safe, stay watchful. This message is brought to you by North Dakota's Electric Cooperatives. We connect people to their work, to their families, to all things essential. That's why your Touchstone Energy Cooperative is here every day, making life easier in all the ways that matter. And of all the connections we make, we know none are more powerful than the human connection. A message from Northern Plains Electric, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Serving Linton and the surrounding area, Dr. Chris Terman and the exceptional staff of Linton Dental provide the latest innovations in dentistry. Integrating modern technology includes the Solea Laser, a fast and quiet solution that eliminates discomfort. We offer same-day crowns as well as sure smile aligners to help you keep up with life's busy schedule. Your health is a top priority to us, so we ensure the most stringent infection control measures are taken to keep us all safe. Linton Dental, we're in this together. 
When it comes to my child and the sports they love, I want them to be ready for their moment. So to fuel their bodies and their potential, I choose an authentic source of protein that has the nutrients they need to succeed and a taste they already love with one simple ingredient. Beef. This is Cass Clay Country. From early mornings on our farms to evening dinners in your homes, our dairy farmers are your neighbors, your friends, your family. Our goal is to make your mornings a little brighter, your days more fulfilled, and to remind you, when it comes to quality, there is no expiration date. When choosing Cass Clay products, you're supporting your community. Cass Clay, homegrown pure goodness. With over 70 years of experience serving our members, Hometown Credit Union is the smart choice for all your banking needs in Colm, Ashley, Hazleton, and Lincoln. We offer auto, home, personal and agricultural loans, CDs, IRAs, safety deposit boxes, checking and saving accounts, and more. Be sure to check out our brand new mobile check deposit as well. For great value and small town service, look no further than Hometown Credit Union. Start of the second set here at the Bismarck Event Center, brought to you by Dagelman Industries, engineered tough. An absolute thriller of a first set. Jillian Stria gets us going with the first point of set number two. Both teams with several chances at set point. DLB had a seven-point edge at one point, 21-14. Troopers fight back to win 31-29. we still got at least two sets to go. We already got an instant classic. Yes, and there was lots of back and forth. I don't know how many. We should have counted how many set points there were. And trading, I mean, both teams in the after 25 each had opportunities at set point. If you're Lakers head coach Eric Amon, haven't won a set yet. You had a couple of chances there. Give away the lead. What do you say to your team in, that, in the huddle in between the break? I think the big thing was her key to the game. She talked about about serve receive and it seemed like down the stretch when Garrison made their push they weren't they weren't serve receiving so they weren't running their offense and they weren't able to finish a degree the star of the first set and picks up another kill she's already in double digits she never had more than six of the first two matches this week right so she's obviously she showed up this morning ready to go get some swings in and, and put the ball on the floor six kills yesterday three kills in the first round has come to play here in the first set and change, already cracking double digits. Off the block, Ralph drops it to the floor. So DLB clearly trying to get momentum back. They haven't quit, they haven't, you know, they aren't showing any frustration. They're just come back, put some points on the board, play together. Lakers here. Lakers team here for the first time in 20 years. Only has one state title in program history as Garrison responds. That was back in 1991 as Klein picks up her 10th kill. So again, we talked about Degree and Klein. It just seems like they're trading point for point. They both got 10 kills each right now and we're still in the early stages of set number two. Alvarez hooks, not that time. Talked about two young programs, two young head coaches as well. Garrison led by Tina Irish, just her second year at the helm. Delax has Erica Moan in her first season, and she didn't know until a couple days before the season that, in fact, it was 10 minutes before the first day of practice, she got the call that she was going to be head coach. Phenomenal free ball from the Troopers. Nice save by Garrison. Good net play by both teams. Klein drops off the redirect. A lot of energy on this blue side of the court. No doubt, so two young teams and two young head coaches kind of go hand in hand together when a program's yes. trying to get off the ground. Yes, first time at State in a long, you know, in many years, or first time in the case of Garrison. And Troopers lock things up at four, pop early on the nice serve from Klein. You talk about, you know, you're talking about the youth of, of the coaches and looking at Coach Moan, but if you watch her, she doesn't look like she's new to this. She's very calm all the time, very relaxed. Um, seems like she has great game plans coming in. So um, she, she does a really nice job with this program. Obviously, she got them here. 
How much can a team here at State, especially when they haven't been here in a long time, kind of feed off that calmness and energy from the coach? I think the kids, you know, a lot of cases, they're going to look up to their coaches. It's a big part of their lives, and so whatever energy the coach is giving off, the players are going to be feeding off of as well. Four pop here, early degree, berries. She's having a great match. She's finding the floor a lot. Um, and they've dug her quite a few times, but it hasn't stopped her. She still comes back aggressive, trying to move the ball around. This time back to her right. We've seen her hit that left corner quite a few times. Does a really nice job moving the ball around. Team leader in kills and blocks in the regular season. The senior trying to go out on a winning note. The arrow gives her squad a two-point edge here in the second set. So a couple early errors here by Garrison. Um, but still lots of energy from both sides of the court. Really strong dig from Klein. Stria. Berard steps up, floats down the line. Did Zook need to go get that one? Um, I think I think I would have said Zook. Yeah, maybe should have followed that. But just because just she started to show push, I maybe would have had her start cheating that way. But she's pushed it to a couple different spots, so you can't just leave court wide open either. We have four kills for Berard, three a run. Never got a hold of that one. Yep, yep. And you can see obviously not what she was trying to do, but maybe just took her eye off the ball or something for a second. I'm not sure. And even though Deluxe lost that last set, it was clearly the best set for both these teams so far in the state tournament. It does feel like both teams are playing with not just the energy we saw early, but now a little bit more confidence, just playing freely. We're seeing why they got here in the first place. Yes, absolutely. They're more comfortable here a little bit, and they're, they're loose and playing and having fun. Alvarez on the dump. We saw a couple of swings early. Now the dump, the center Alvarez with four kills. She's doing a really nice job finding the floor. She's catching these, these Laker defenders off guard every time she's done it. Bachmeyer shovels it out. Berard rises, cross court. Back to Berard, left side near the antenna, gets the job done. Nice swing, she's used a lot of different tools today. She's pushed, she's tipped, she's swung, she's hit different parts of the court. So she's also showing why she has as many kills um, to her name as well. Yeah, second on the squad with 321 coming into the state tournament. Five so far today, another one of those seniors playing in their final match for the Lakers, hoping to go out winners. And she's had a very decorated career. I mean, I, I remember her coming in as a sophomore, and um, Coach Hishlin at the time, she usually had some really strong outsides. So we show up to play, I'm ready to the outside, and I'm like, who is this kid in the middle just <laughs> killing the ball? And now, now you see her on the outside, but she's done a really nice job in her career um, as a volleyball player. And coming off an ACL tear, I think she's done a nice job coming back as well. Yeah, a really good story there, and a good story here. The Lakers are back up five following the ace timeout on the floor helping you make informed decisions about managing your insurance risk is what they do at bbh insurance whether you're a farmer rancher or oil field contractor bbh insurance will protect what's important to you bbh insurance we make buying insurance simple Love the way you move. All True Advanced Orthopedics. Learn more at alltrue.org slash ortho. Helping you make informed decisions about managing your insurance risk is what they do at BBH Insurance. Whether you're a farmer, rancher, or oil field contractor, BBH Insurance will protect what's important to you. BBH Insurance, we make buying insurance simple. Ava Feist, an ace just before the break, back out with her Lakers up five here in this second set, trying to tie things up at one apiece. Sends it away, no problems this time. Klein on the first dig. Back set going across the way was Westman. Berard hot in this set, uses the tape and the block to her advantage. Yeah, she's certainly taking advantage of her swings in this set, come alive a little bit more. Um, what's she at in kills now? Berard up to seven. And so she started this set with three I believe so she's done a nice job here and another ace Ava Feist just two aces in the last couple of days two on this run alone 
Keep in mind, seven point edge for the Lakers. They led by as many as seven in the first set, ended up falling 31 to 29. So Troopers got some reason to believe. Yep, don't count them out of this one. They proved that. Fended off several uh, set points. Barrar denied there, and maybe that'll start the run. Bayless for the block. Nice job by this garrison block to get up. Again, they've gone to Berard a lot, so they know where to set themselves. That ends a 5-0 run for DLB. Ralph rises with a rocket. Heights of the net. Jazz poked it over. Off her back foot. A little bit out of system there trying to get climb the ball. Berard down the line with a laser. Lakers doubling up the Troopers here in this second set. Chance to get in system. Bachmeyer leads for Degree. Back to Degree. She's in the front. She's leading him in kills. Klein, the beautiful redirect. Avoiding the Brock like a pro. Yeah, she doesn't even seem like it's phasing her hardly. She sees them. She gets up. Um, she swung through him a few times, decides to make a tip, put us in a nice spot. Talked about those two middles going tit for tat. Klein's got a dozen kills. Degree's got 11. Right back to Klein. Nice job to get hands on it. Can't quite get in system, so they can't get Berard the ball back yet. Shreya near the antenna. Tools the block. And this Garrison offense has really come alive today. They're, you know, struggled to find kills early in the tournament, but today they've moved the ball around and obviously Klein leading them, but both outsides have done a nice job as well to put the ball down. Yeah, first match against Northern Cast didn't score more than 16 as Berard comes through with that one. They had lap yesterday against Dickens and Trinity, scored 16-13, did get 22 in the last set. So finding their footing here in the state tournament. On the joust, Degree wins the battle. Garrison keeps it alive. Klein rips one to the back row. She does such a nice job. Now she's gone to her right quite a few times. This one, she saw that room to the left, and she turns and finishes in the corner. 13 kills through about a set and a half for Klein. Probably need more of that for another comeback. Degree, nice job getting behind the antenna. At the middle, they just keep feeding her, twisting one off the hands of Ralph. And right now, the difference in, in this stretch of this set is, is the in-system passing. Garrison able to go back to the middle, feed Klein over and over. DLB struggling to get the ball to their middles. And now struggling to pick this ball up. It'll be in-system try for the Troopers. Back set for Klein, turned away. Klein, second try, denied again. That matchup has been so fun to watch. Degree got the better of it there. I think that might have been wrong place, wrong time, because it looks like this ball might have been blocked out of bounds. It was, but she just happened to be in the way. Well, when, you, when you're taught so much, ball's you coming your way. See ball, make play. One well, is coming right at you. What are you <laughs> supposed to do? A couple of blocks here now for Degree to go with her 11 kills. And now an ace. Troopers having a ton of trouble on serve receive. That one credited to Cambry Benno. Zook there to scoop it up. Back to Klein. Still struggling to get in system on this Laker side. No trouble for the Troopers. Oh, Klein has been had some success with that little flick to the side. Not that time. I think she just missed the ball because she had the right idea. I just don't think she got her hand on it where she wanted. So a rare miscue from the junior. Lead swelled back to seven. Chance for eight. Another ace for the no. Four in a row for DLB. Led 21-14 in the first set before eventually falling in that back-and-forth thrilling finish. 31-29, Klein off the tape, finds the floor. She's doing a nice job here. So she has to have almost doubled her kills in the tournament in this match. Yeah, the first two matches combined, she had 14. She's got 15 already. And at this rate, we'll... I don't want to make any predictions, but I'd be surprised if we had three sets. Right, right. 
Austria found the line. Well, that's one step towards only three sets. I think we actually had a call over the line here Ooh. on the Lakers. So either way, the point goes to Garrison. And I will say, you know, we're not always in the best spot. Those line judges are there for a purpose. And so what we see and what they see might not always be the same. Bayless fires and misfires. Can't question that one. All right, so DLB pretty much in the same spot they were in the first set. It was 21-14. Here it's 20-13. What do they got to do to not give away this lead this time? Keep passing and finish. They need to stick on it, not give up a serving run. It's going to come back to that serve receive down this stretch. Degree on the up, Berard. Alvarez hooks again. She has been killer. She's read the court really well. She's been making really good decisions about when to do that and where to do that. Zook the libero to serve. Hung high for Berard. And crept down on the outside. It's Alvarez again. This time was with her right hand. She gets up with her right hand and puts this one down. So pretty versatile player to get up and use both. Getting a little ambidextrous in this seventh place morning match. Tight to the net. Berard went with the dump. Puts him out of system, but still got a swing out of it. Berard ups for the libero. Bachmeyer, Zook on the scoop. They go to Berard. She snakes through the middle. Well, she's put on quite a few kills in this um, in this second set, and maybe that's the difference in this scoring spread right now. Is that that DLB has had two girls kind of put on some scoring, where Garrison's relied heavily on Klein. Yeah, Degree's got 11 to lead the way, but right now nine for Berard. Excellent effort by Berard to keep it alive. However, too many touches. But I, I thought that was maybe touched at the net. Second look right here. Berard on the I great thought, punch. I thought Garrison got a hand on that, but... Oh, maybe not. The lead still five for DLB. Now it's four. Both teams serving extremely well. Alvarez is second ace. It feels like we were here before. It's 21-17. It was 21-14 in the first set. So don't count anything out. Oh, maybe she didn't get her hands on it. Tough to, tough to tell. Awfully close, but a great yeah. look on our replay. Great job by our crew. Yep. Alvarez pops it up. Bayless into the middle. Bachmeyer first up. Berard, head of steam. Misses the line. Couldn't have been out by much. Another Garrison comeback cooking. We'll find out in just a few. Lead down to three. The two best ways to bond are with fishing and food. That's why our place by the bay is here to help you with both. With a great selection of tackle and live bait, we're sure to make your day on Beaver Bay an enjoyable one. After you've finished on the water, make sure to stop by the restaurant for the best food you can find. With prime rib nights every Saturday, we're sure to make your mouth water. Our Place by the Bay, right off the river in Linton, North Dakota. Make Our Place by the Bay, your place by the bay. 21-18, Delax in the driver's seat, however. Garrison may be making another late set run. They've scored five out of the last six, and they're serving with Naya Alvarez, already two aces today. Difficult first touch. Berard back for Bachmeyer. Serve received down the stretch coming into play again as Garrison makes this push. Berard into the middle. Klein on the first touch. Playing out of the back row right now. Hurt. Back to Berard. Good dig. Zook tight to the net. Hurt into the back row. Berard, head of steam, right in the face of Zook. Berard into double digits with 10. So she's come alive in this second set. Put on seven kills here already in this second one. Um, and finding the floor really well. Yeah, it was a strong dose of almost exclusively Emily Degree in that first set. Berard has come alive, however, here in the second. 
Bayless floats it down. And Garrison now looking in a good spot. Climb back to the front row. Obviously, she's having a good game. Nice job by the offense to drop this one right over the block. The key side out and rotation off the tape. Berard there. Out of the middle, Ralph. Berard sliced through. That's a big hit. That's a big hit. She got on top of that ball and put that one away with authority. Look at her get on top of this ball. Block doesn't even phase her. Bachmeyer, leader in aces on the season. Zook comes up for the dig. Set point for the Lakers. A little bit wide, but a good idea by the setter here. If she could have just kept that maybe a few inches further in, I think she would have caught the, the defense off guard again. Last set, it was 24-21. Lakers eventually lost 31-24-29. Leaving no doubt here. The ace from Bachmeyer and the finisher. 25-19 tied at a set apiece. We look forward to serving you here at your local community bank. You've known Central Business Systems for their award-winning office equipment sales and servicing for over 45 years. Now meet their new initiative, Secure Document Destruction. When you've got to get rid of volumes of sensitive material, let us handle the job of destroying documents, hard drives, and removable media. CBSI will work with your needs, bring all the equipment on site, and recycle all materials so you can get back to work. Check it out yourself at 2514 Highway 281 in Jamestown. Or give them a call at 701-252-7474. Different. Yet similar. Independent and free. With a sense of belonging. As unique as North Dakota itself. Healthcare coverage in today's world should reflect who you really are. Your way. Your blue. They say when the going gets tough, the tough get going. At OK Tire, we're here to keep you going. From Firestone tires and replacements to retreads and even Firestone tracks, we have you covered. Our certified Firestone experts are ready to get you back up and running. No matter if you're on site or in the field, saving you time and money. OK Tire, we keep the tough going. Mayville State University is a place where students have the chance to discover their paths to success, whether that's in the classroom, on the field, or on the stage. Small class sizes, hands-on learning experiences, and our unmatched personal service ensure that our students come first. Here, students are more than just a number. They are part of a family. Go to mayvillestate.edu to see what opportunities lie ahead for you. Mayville State University, your success is closer than you think. Kim Electric is here to remind you to make safety your number one priority on the farm this and every season. With over 550 annual deaths, farming is one of the most dangerous professions. Always be aware of your surroundings and dress accordingly. Hazards on the farm can both be seen and unseen. Whether it's dangerous augers or underground power lines, dangers come in all shapes and sizes. So slow down, look up and around, and be safe this season. Your life depends on it. This farm safety message brought to you by Kim Electric. Welcome back to the start of set three here on Beck. Locked up at one set apiece. Start of the third set brought to you by Dagelman Industries. Engineered tough. Serve leads to the quick overpass. In system degree. Pound Zook digs. Climb. Over to Ralph on the far side. The back set. Degree on the denial of Westman. And both teams fighting hard early for this third set. Obviously, we split one apiece, um, and neither team giving neither team giving an edge. 
Long rally here off the top. Opening point, you got to earn it. Stria, Bachmeyer straight up. Free ball, Zook comes up for the up. Klein with the finisher. Carly Klein, 14 kills in the first two matches. She's got 16 today. Well, um, still, we got two sets for sure to go, so she's got a lot of room to keep scoring today. If you're Garrison, you liked it one set apiece, but they've fallen behind the eight ball each of the first two sets. Down seven in the first, eventually came back. Down as many as seven in the second as Degree wins the joust. Yeah, and it's tough. It's tough to keep getting down seven and come back. Oh, they called her over the net. Indeed they did. Oh, yep, yep. So wins the joust but loses the point. Nonetheless, for Garrison, good better start here. How do you make sure that you don't fall behind the eight ball again? Because you don't want to have to keep doing that. Right, I think you got to stay with, with trading points a little bit early. The Lakers have struggled a little bit more this morning with Degree in the back. So if they can trade some points a little bit, maybe get her in the back and make a run early, then they're not going to find themselves facing such a big gap to overcome. Yeah, that was one of the big problems for the Lax coming into the state tournament is that sometimes when Degree gets in the back or off the floor, they get stuck on that rotation. But when she's in the front and in the middle, they're pr practically unstoppable. Correct. As Redding plays one down. Olivia Redding, the junior, picking up her first kill. She's had a couple different roles throughout the season. Early in the season, we saw her sometimes in the middle, um, sometimes on the right side like she is now. She's done a nice job. And going off the tape for the ace. Benno already her third ace. Another aggressive serve. The setup for Degree. Into the back corner, great chase by Bachmeyer. Nice Naya Alvarez is playing excellent though. That's her seventh kill. Yes, nice job by Bachmeyer to get a hand on that, but Alvarez, she's having a great morning. She's scoring, she's finding holes in the Laker defense and catching them off guard every time she goes up. Degree with the right hand. Alvarez this time does her normal job on the set. Bachmeyer hangs it, gets it right back. Line drive into the net. Five three at the start here for Garrison after playing from behind most the first two sets. Make it six three. I think this is the first time we've seen them have an early lead. Maybe a little bit in the first set, but yeah, but generally you're not wrong. Got down ten to five in the first set, ended up winning that one, 31-29. Easily one of our more exciting sets of the tournament as the Green gets the kill. Second set. Got down seven to four, 13 to six. Weren't able to claw the comeback. Ended yep. up losing 25-19. And you got to look. Teams, teams that made state are here for a reason. So getting down eight on them, that's really hard to come back. Bayless sinking battleships in the corner. And she was a key player to the game. You know they needed her to step up and have a big, a big morning. And she's doing a nice job. They're really finding these corners well. Coach, so the last set you touched on, Garrison kind of needing to find somebody that isn't named Carly Klein to give him a little offense. Now you got Alvarez with seven kills, Stria with four, Bayless with three. They're starting to find a little bit more yeah. that balance, becoming less predictable. And the thing that, that that does is that'll open up Klein to continue to score because now the block has to block everybody, not just her. And the squad's got four straight on the error from the Lakers. Another great serve going off the tape. Zook in pursuits. Berard made a nice big swing, but just couldn't quite get. Um, she was on top of it, but didn't quite direct it where she wanted it. Early timeout for the Lakers. It's all troopers at the start of the third. For over 20 years, the Bismarck Cancer Center has provided state-of-the-art, close-to-home cancer care to thousands in our region. But with a 70% increase of new patients since 2007, the center's high demand has led to a need for additional equipment and space. Help provide healing today and build hope for tomorrow.
by supporting our capital campaign. Learn more and make your pledge at BismarckCancerCenter.com. Opioids are a type of medication that could relieve pain. However, just like any medication, taking opioids can impose some risks. Your pharmacist is a key partner and may be taking extra steps to ensure your safety when taking an opioid medication. Many pharmacists across the state can prescribe naloxone, which is a life-saving medication that can be given to someone who has accidentally overdosed. If you are concerned about yourself or a loved one that's taking an opioid, talk to your local pharmacist. Today's Game on Back brought to you by RTC, Farmers Union Insurance, Dakota Community Bank, Women's Way, Bell Bank, and BASF. We create chemistry. Garrison on a 5-0 run right now after dropping the second set. Good start to the third. In system chance, here we go. The back set from the far side, too much on it. Just a little bit high. Uh, maybe a little bit underneath the ball and sends it to that back corner, but too far. Westman missing the mark. Delax got up big in each of the first two sets. What's been missing here in the third? Um, they're just struggling to generate their offense. You know, Degree came across the front. I think she only had one kill, but they had a hard time feeding her. Um, so we'll see if they can get the ball to Berard a little bit more in this one. And she's off the floor right now as Hurt tools the block. So Garrison, the other thing is they're finding, like we talked about, they're finding offense in a lot of spots. Um, maybe the Lakers have to move the ball around a little bit and get some of their other hitters involved if they want to make a comeback. Yeah, that's now five different players with at least two kills, and that'll help Berard. Yeah. Drops it home. Feist on the serve, Zook on the dig. Great scrape by Hurt at the net. A little bit easier time for Zook there. Klein picked a different corner this time. Nice job to at least throw him off. Creating a free ball back for her team and another chance to score. In system, Klein, look out. Little too much zip up behind that one. It's really hard when you're in middle and that set's coming from so far behind you because you're trying to track the ball. You can't see the blockers in front of you, and so it's hard to keep this ball in play. Quick overpass and out of play. Another ace. Lakers are having a ton of success behind the service line right now. That's already Feist's third. Three different Lakers right now. Four different Lakers, should say, with multiple aces. And that's helping them stay in this match. They're able to generate some points back at the service line. A wonderful play by Jessen to keep it alive. Klein ends the run with authority. I bet Region 5 is used to seeing that a few <laughs> times. She just does such a nice job to get on top, and she swings hard with authority. 336 kills this season. I would say Region 5 is not happy she's only a junior. <laughs> no, I am sure not. I'm representing him well, though. Absolutely. Garrison, the Region 5 champs, took down Grant County in the championship as they trimmed the lead to two. I think Clyde took a little shot to the face there. <laughs> she seems to be happy about it, or at least yeah. not too upset about it. So there's a difference in teams on serving right now. Lakers generating a lot of points. Garrison giving a few away here. Degree back on the floor. Zook chases it down. Klein versus Degree. Degree got the best of that one. Klein couldn't get a hold of it. So you talk about, again, that set coming from behind her. It's really difficult in the middle. That's one thing we talk a lot about with our setters, not trying to force the middle when that ball is so far behind them. What is the number one thing that you tell your setter? you got a brand-new starting setter. What's the most important thing you're putting to them constantly? If someone's scoring, give them the ball. Over and over and over. <laughs> Just feed the beast. Feed the beast. Right now the beast is the Gree. Nicely dug up by Stria. Right back to Degree. Just a little bit wide, but I would still tell my setter, hey, she's scoring, we're giving her the ball. Yeah, she's got a dozen kills. Her and Berard lead the way right now for Delax. Still in a four-point hole. Degree shows a soft touch. 
So they've scored there a couple of times, and Garrison changed their defense to try and take that hole away. Well, the degree block has been so good, but Klein finds a way to get through it. Yes, Klein, again, we talked about earlier, she just doesn't seem phased or intimidated by whatever you throw at her. Go away from degree. Barrard down the line gets it by Jessen. Well, that's not a bad decision at all. I think I think Paige has done a nice job scoring in this tournament, certainly a few times yesterday. Um, just to move it around, the blockers were late. She's able to find the floor, pushing it down or swinging down the line. Yeah, well balanced game yesterday. Four kills, also had eight assists and ten digs. She's got three kills as well as a block today. Klein is fading away. Degree on the punch. Bachmeyer rolls it over. Leads straight to the pound down yeah. for Alvarez. Hoping for probably a little more depth on that to avoid that net play, but she also is making a scramble play to get a save, so not much you can do in that situation. Garrison has led by as many as five in this set. Make it six. Enforcing the Laker timeout here. Klein on the ace, six point edge for Garrison, looking for a set three win. When a group of local residents came together to form a rural telephone cooperative in 1951, they made a commitment to keep their member owners informed and connected. That cooperative was RTC. And while the technology we use to communicate has changed over the years, that commitment remains true today. RTC is committed to providing the highest quality internet connectivity to our neighbors in West Central North Dakota. RTC, building our network so you can grow yours. Oh, great look at our fantastic crew. Jesse and Robin working hard. Scott's enjoying what looks to be a glazed donut of some kind. One note they should all do when they leave. It's cold out today. They should download the Beck Weather app and do it right now on the App Store or get it on Google Play. Great job by our crew this week. 24 games once it's all said and done over the last three days. Nobody works harder than this Beck Sports crew. Jesse Schwab, Robin Mossett, Scott Lurch, our director, Reno Hightower, and my partner, the prima donna, Nick Tyson, myself, David Sugarman, here on the air, doing the easy stuff as Garrison has the error out of the break. Nice way to come out for DLB just to get another point on the board and maybe try to trim this gap. We've seen five, six, seven point leads not necessarily determine the winner in a set in this match, so... Um, DLB's got some hopes up there. Garrison, we talked about needing to get an early lead to try and finish to save themselves the trouble. So. Yeah, DLB had the 21-14 edge in that first set and led by as many as seven, maybe eight in that second set as well. Here the tables have been turned. Garrison in front by six. And doing a nice job. They're, they're scoring in a lot of spots. Degree with a head of steam. Zook scrapes it out. Climb behind her head. Zook on the free ball. Troopers live to fight another day. And the block goes in play. Oh, nice job by this Garrison block to get up. It was Carissa Bayless who got her hands on it going against the green. And we talked about we need they needed her to have a big game. And so she's, she's showing up and she's doing a nice job. A service error off the bat following that. And look, you're not going to shut down Emily Degree, but it feels like as the match has gone on, they've made things a little more difficult on her. Yep, they've started kind of defending where she's hitting, defending where she's, or in, when she's hitting at the net, making it tough. Bayless on the quick trigger, had the big block, now a kill. I think maybe Coach was looking for uh, net touch here, but I think that was pretty clean. Close, no cigar, lead is swell to seven. Alvarez fires away. It was a nice serve, but a really nice pass as well. Berard ricochets off some hands. Krista Berard, now a team high. 13 kills in this match. She's come alive since the second. Yes, yeah, she's really started to have some success here in these last two sets. Hurt. Into the back corner, Bachmeyer couldn't track it down. Seems like this Laker defense is just not communicating the way we saw earlier in the tournament. 
Um, stuff that, you, you know, I think that they would normally picked up, they're just not quite covering as well. 21-14 is kind of the magic score in the first set. Scores were flipped. Ended up being a 31-29 garrison win. Both teams had several cracks at set point before the Troopers came back. Berard, near side, floats. Wonderful dig by Hurt. Alvarez drops to the middle. Nothing fancy, just found the open gap in the floor. She's getting close to a double-double. Is that her eighth or ninth kill? Ninth kill, has a couple of aces, number of assists as well. And the lead, more importantly, is up to eight. Largest of the match for Garrison. Alvarez for Hurt. Berard rises into the block. Carly Klein with the rejection. So she's making her presence felt everywhere. Digs, blocks, kills, aces, and she's playing a really nice. And digs, and she's doing it all. And Klein, another fantastic game. Up to 18 kills. Had 14 in the first two coming into this one as Berard stops the bleeding. So tough situation for DLB. One thing they want to focus on, even if you don't close this gap all the way, points down the stretch are going to matter. It's momentum for your side. It's confidence that you can stay with them. So it's going to be key for them to put a couple more points on the board here, maybe close this gap and, and make a run at it. Klein went off the top of the tape. And so two straight, still plenty of breathing room for Garrison. Points can go fast in a state tournament, though. And we've seen that today. The Lox has had a lot of success on the service line, especially with Feist. Three aces. Alvarez tried the dump again. And she's, even if it's not a point, she's keeping them out of system. Leaves it for Klein. Roll shot. Boxmeyer catches up to it. Free ball. Troopers in system. Alvarez, Klein, set point on the way. So the difference from sets one and two. Garrison took a lead early in this one. They've given themselves a really, really big cushion to finish off this third set. Had no wins in the state tournament coming into this. Looking to win their second set of the match. Uh, Klein was off the mark. And so Delax lives to fight another day. Now Delax rotating into a good spot, bringing Degree back into the front. Again, take some points here. Make one, one point at a time. Get a little bit of momentum. This match is far from over. Two aces for Bachmeyer today. No trouble on serve receive here. Down the line and off the block. Josie Westman with the finisher. 25 to 17. Garrison one away from taking seventh place here at State. One of the best investments you can make is in yourself. At Wilston State College, invest in your education. Invest in new opportunities. Invest in your future. And with regional scholarships available, including up to $12,000 for tuition and fees, we invest in you. Learn more so you can earn more at willistonstate.edu. If you need a trip to Minot, let Service Space and Transportation's U.S. 83 Intercity Route get you there. Call 701-839-7433. Whether it's shopping, a concert, or other event, or you just want to catch up visiting with family and friends you haven't seen in a while, Service Space and Transportation's U.S. 83 Intercity Route is convenient and affordable and includes Max, Six Mile Garrison Corner, Underwood, Washburn, and Wilson. Call 701-839-7433 for schedules and reservations. For innovative health care with a commitment to community wellness, put your trust in South Central Health. With services in Wishick, Napoleon, Colm, and Gackle, the health care professionals of South Central Health provide complete and comprehensive medical services to get you back to living a life focused on overall wellness. As a top 20 critical access hospital, South Central Health provides 24-hour emergency care enhanced through a partnership with eEmergency. South Central Health, your community wellness partner in South Central North Dakota. It's time to find your next Chevy truck and forge ahead. Take on new challenges and take it to the next level. It's the perfect time to do more in your next Chevy. Find new possibilities, find new roads. 
very well-qualified buyers can get 2.49% financing and $1,000 cash allowance on this Silverado. Plus, unlock your code to claim $500 Chevy CyberCash on most Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Unlike treatments that only repel, Taraxa Seed Treatment is the only one that eliminates wireworms. So cereal growers everywhere are going to be picking off wireworms like hotshot players in an arcade game. And you know how that's going to feel. Pretty darn great. Unless you're a wireworm. Taraxa Seed Treatment from BASF is here. The wireworms, it's game over. You remember where this goes? I don't know. Are you sure it wasn't clicking and not a zoom, zoom? I think your quash litter ball's stuck. Do you even have insurance? If we soak it, it should be good. <laughs> no matter how much you know or don't know about your vehicle, trust the experts at Tires Plus. Real answers from real mechanics. Inspections are free to ensure your vehicle is always in peak condition. Thinking service, think Tires Plus. Not a bad way to start the day here in the seventh place match. Go to a fourth set between DLB and Garrison. It is brought to you in part by Dagelman Industries. Visit Dagelman.com for more info. Engineered Tough. Troopers one away from taking seventh place at state degree goes into the net. Yeah, winning their first match at state in program history would be a nice way to end this season. Obviously bringing back our, most of their group, um, their leader in Carly Klein and um, another one who's done really well tonight that we talked about was um, Bayless, and she's also a junior. So certainly bringing back a strong team and going to make another run. To Starting get to center, team. Alvarez, just yes. put it up, a junior as well, leaves it for Klein. That duo is going to terrorize Region 5 for another year. Yes, and they play so well together. Nice job by Bachmeyer to handle that serve. Near the antenna, Ralph Klein just in front of the attack line. Three nothing start for the Troopers. Klein up to 21 kills. Degree been quiet in that third set. Yep. yep, they did a nice job containing her. Someone was in the net. That someone was on DLB, so four straight for Garrison. They got off to a hot start in the third set, got up nine to two and never looked back. And you can feel a big swing in momentum right now. Garrison's controlling the ball, they're controlling the net, and they're controlling the volume in the gym. Four nothing, Stree off the block. Ralph into the middle, crosses or will cross the way. Nice job, nice cut shot. You know, we've seen the Lakers score on that a few times. They might want to consider um, when they're on the outside, if they can get that ball to hit a nice cross-court shot. They found some points there. The seventh place match, so much on the line for both of these young programs. Garrison here for the first time in program history. Deluxe here for the first time in two decades. And they're going tit for tat right now in the middle. That was Klein again. And we talked about early in the match, it seemed like Klein degree, Klein degree, back and forth. She's really distanced herself um, in terms of kills in this seventh place match. Yeah, Klein's got 22 right now. See if they go back to her on the slide. They do. Overpass. Spacing a little off. Stria nearly made it work anyway. Bachmeyer in position. Lots of communication breakdowns happening on this DLB side of the net. Stria fires to the corner. Played up high. Bachmeyer on the hustle. And it eventually ends. Great hustle from Delax, but another hot start for Garrison. Yep, and this is again, you know, we saw Delax have two really big starts. Now we've seen Garrison have two really big starts. Um, the Lakers are going to have to make a response here. The tape has been the best friend of the Garrison Troopers today. Ace right there from Josie Westman, her third 7-1 Troopers here at the start of the fourth. Today at Farmer Owned Egg that legacy rich, future focused cooperative spirit continues to thrive. Our devotion to superior service, relentless innovation and member success is at the forefront of everything we do. 
We give members access to the best products, services, and infield assistance to maximize their production. We dedicate our efforts to the safety of our employees and members in all that we do, and we commit to supporting our members and their communities for generations to come. It's easy to see yourself here at Valley City State University, where faculty know your name and your dreams, where opportunities stretch as far as your aspirations and your interests drive your college experience. Here you'll find a community that supports you in every aspect of college life, and you'll leave ready to make a difference in the world. See yourself at VCSU. Schedule a tour today. Garrison hoping to close things out in four. They've got a 7-1 edge here after the Westman ace coming out of the timeout. The lax missing the mark. Nothing working right now for the Lakers. Troopers here for the first time in program history. Trying to end on a winning note. Bachmeyer, Zook there. Klein, turned away by Degree. Well, that's one step in the right direction for the Lakers. Start with the block, get some points on the board, stay calm, stay together. First of four matches today on the Class B side. We've also got four on the Class A side, of course. Next up is the third place match. I'll start about one o'clock between Ken Mayer and Thompson. Tell you what, that Ken Mayer team has got some fight. Down two sets to one. The last two nights is Degree. Gets another kill, came back. The opening night against Dickinson Trinity came up just short last night against Northern Cass. That's going to be a really fun third place match. It's going to be fun. They've played 10 sets so far in this tournament, so hopefully we don't see any tired legs and they can still come out and compete. Yeah, Tim Wallstrom knows how to coach. It's been a phenomenal job by his club. And tell you what, I mean, the way they came back yesterday, it just felt like deja vu, like they were going to do it again. But credit to Northern Cass. That team stayed really composed. Yeah. Now they're in the stretch. state championship for the first time in eight years. Yes. No, nope, they did a nice job down the stretch. A degree with a couple of kills here now in this fourth set. Still a five-point hole, but she's up to 14. Now she's serving. For the overpass. Berard put into no man's land. Getting our first look at Ariel Frazier here, number four in right now for Burlington. A couple swings early for her in this set. Her four counterpart, Bayless, picks up another. She's been playing all match and playing well. The coach was right with a key player matchup there that, that she's got to show up for us to win, and so far the formula seems to be working. It was 10 to five in the last set. Garrison got on top, eventually won 25-17. A 10-4 start, Klein came up for the dig. Emily Schlair, the sophomore, getting some time for Garrison. And off the mark on the swing from Ella Brown. I think this might be her first time in the state tournament as well. So a couple different Laker girls getting some court time here. Man, good to see for both these squads, some young players getting a little bit of time and a big round of applause as the Cambry steal the defensive specialist for Garrison checks into the match. Berard, well she wanted it at the net, a little miscommunication. Hurt. Hurt, one of the few seniors on this Garrison side. She's had a nice match as well, just didn't quite get on top of this ball like she wanted to. I mean, actually the only senior on this club, one of the hardest workers, been a big part of what Tina Irish has gotten to do with this program. Brought back, Gerard, a little tricky at the nets. Yep. Nice serving by Alvarez. You just feel a lot of momentum going in this garrison direction. Um, the Lakers, you know, come together. It's okay. They just need to pick each other up a little bit and have some energy, momentum, and have some fun. We saw that in the first set. Have some fun. You're at state. And Alvarez drops another. Four aces, nine kills for the setter. That's a spin, nice serve, and she puts it just on that back line. Really nice job of serving the ball here. Alvarez, that jump serve again, leads to an overpass. The Troopers portion of this crowd is up and excited right now. Westman. They go back to Berard, misses the mark. 
And you get the sense the Troopers could smell it. Yep, yep. And lots of frustration on this Lakers side. Looking for a touch there, but I think that ball was pretty long. It's a 5-1 Garrison run. They have not trailed yet in this fourth set. Scored the first four points. Alvarez, another good serve. An absolute bullet. Why she hasn't used this prior to today. It seems like it's working well for her. Led the team with 54 aces this season. Maybe this Serve is receive why. has been really good defensively in this state tournament. She's on a roll right now. Are you serious? Making six aces. Timeout. Lead is 11 for Garrison. Alvarez going nuclear on the service line. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance. Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF. We create chemistry. Women's Way. RTC. Naya Alvarez on it. Incredible service run right now. She's had three in a row, six aces total so far today. And Garrison has an 11-point edge in what could be the match closing set. Alvarez, the jump serve. Misses the mark that time. And finally, the run comes to an end. What makes that jump serve so hard to return, especially on that last stretch? Just the speed of the ball. And you know, the one thing to look at, she's serving that left-handed, so that's a really different look with different spin and different direction. But it's just the speed of the ball. It's, it makes it harder to handle when it's coming so quick and you're in the air and the spin brings it down. It's a different look. Speaking of different looks, we're getting our first taste of Rachel Hett, and she misses the mark there. Still lots of smiles, lots of support from her team, though. And drop through for an ace. That's got to feel good for DLB. Nicely done by Feist. She's got four aces as well. So both teams have served extremely well today. Yes, I was going to say, a lot of points coming on the service line for both teams in this match. Zook on the first up. Headed out of the middle. Klein digs it out. Westman flat-footed. Nice job by the libero to keep that in play. Across the way, Westman nearly falling down. Hurt into the net. All right, so four in a row for DLB. We've seen these comebacks before. This is their time to make a move. Yep, yep, now's the time. I mean, your season's coming to an end, so make a push here or, um, to, get the, to get the momentum back and, and make a run at a, a win at state. Hurt doing the job. Either way, season comes to a close for both these teams after this match. This is the final day of the season. Winner takes seventh place and gets their first win here at State this week. Loser will finish eighth as Hex. Can't get it across. We did see a comeback in the first set. DLB was up 21-14. to Garrison took that first set. One of our best of the entire state tournament, 31-29. to Very back and forth. Close down the stretch. Klein, nobody's been stopping her today. 23 kills. This is the Carly Klein we were promised this yes, week. Yes, yes, for sure. She's done a nice job. And this one on the outside in serve receive. So she's showing she can score in many, many places. A fourth-year varsity player in just her junior season degree. Fine. Gallops in front. Alvarez. Nice dig. Little trouble near the nets. And a call into the net on Wahoos. Interesting. I thought she was below the net and the ball came out. But ref has a different angle than we do. Lead is swelled to nine for Garrison. The trouble on service receive continues for DLB. However, they catch a rare mistake from Klein. And she recognizes said my mistake. She's smiling. She's pretty relaxed. I think she's enjoying herself a lot today. Yeah, there's no doubt both these teams, but Garrison in particular, have been so much looser. Both swept in the first couple of rounds here of the state tournament, both picking up their first wins. In set play. In set play. And now one of these teams 
will be walking away with their first win of the state tournament. Degree trying to wheel her team back, goes off took the block. It seems like it's been a while since we've seen her put a couple kills in a row in, so they're going to look to go to her to score for them. Nice job turning it to the other corner. Um, they're going to need her to step up here as they go down this stretch. Strong match for Degree. She had nine kills in the first two matches combined, 15 today. Still work to do. Klein turned away out of play. The block was there. We haven't seen her get blocked very many times, but the block was there that time. Um, just a, a weird deflection, but a point for Garrison nonetheless. Garrison five away from their first match win in state tournament history. Their first appearance here in program history. Can they finish the job? That one drops in front of Klein. So another kill for Degree. Um, she's she's going to have to do a lot of work to keep her team going here. But no, three aces today, make it a fourth, and this is what they need, more production at the service line. Don't got to get it all back at once, but got to make a push yep. here. One at a time, keep it going, don't let the ball hit the floor, make Garrison earn every point so you have a chance to, to come back here. And out of play that time. So reverse script here. 21-14 Garrison from our first set. We had that DLB in the first set before Garrison came back. More trouble on receive. Troopers are on the doorstep. Climb back to serve again. 24 kills, three aces today. Make it a fourth. Carly Klein doing it all as she's done all year. She's scoring in a lot of spots from the line at the net, hitting, blocking. Really a strong day for her. Bachmeyer ups. Lakers looking for life. Stria. Jazz crept it over. Degree on the run. Bayless. They go right back to Degree. High off the block. Stria near the antenna. Alvarez does it again. Ten kills, six aces for the setter. Troopers are one point away from their first win at the state tournament in program history. And you can feel it. The crowd's excited. Everyone's on their feet, ready for this match. They go to degree. Klein ups. Alvarez for Bayless. They'll have to wait a little bit longer. Emily Degree, the senior, been excellent today. Back to serve for the Lakers, hoping to play a few more points. She will. Her first face. Some life a little bit on this Lakers side, one point at a time. Timeout Garrison, still an eight point edge here at set four. Chance to close when we come back. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance, Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Bell Bank, West Dakota Chevy Dealers, BASF, We Create Chemistry, Women's Way, RTC. So Garrison is yet to trail in this fourth set. Got up four to nothing, eight to one, and they lead by eight now. Chance for set and match point, trying to close out what would be their first win here at their first appearance at the state tournament in program history. Emily Degree just had an ace before the break. It's a serve for the Lakers. They go to Bayless, flat-footed. Trouble for DLB. They get it over on the free ball. Bayless gets the job done. Troopers are in the books. Garrison gets the job done in four. Win the last two by eight and nine. We'll come back with your post-game report after this. Don't be fooled by that beat-up old cap. 
Its faded crown represents the tireless work of America's farmers and ranchers. Its sturdy brim, their dedication to providing our nation with a safe, affordable food source. So we'd like to tip our hat to them. Farmers Union Insurance, protecting those that protect America's food source. It's now time for the post game report brought to you by Woman's Way. Well, Garrison gets the job done in four sets to take seventh place here at the state tournament. They win sets one, three, and four, 31 29, 25 17, and 25 16. We'll recap all the action here in a moment, but we have an award ceremony coming up here in the exhibit hall, so we'll turn it over to the PA announcers and let them take the show from there. For their sponsorship of the NDHSAA Sports and Activities. Would the captains for the Deluxe Burlington Lakers please come forward to receive your 8th place trophy and individual awards. And now, with the captains from the Garrison Troopers, please come forward to receive your seventh place trophy and awards. This concludes the award ceremony. Thank you for attending today's game. So Garrison gets the job done in four sets. A wonderful award ceremony. Delax with a great effort. However, they finish eighth here at the state tournament. Garrison in seventh. We'll take a short break. Come back with the play of the game after this. For women who give their all for others every day, it's easy for self-care to get lost in the shuffle. Regular breast cancer screenings save lives. Take care of your loved ones by taking care of your health. Talk to your health care provider about a breast cancer screening today. There's a lot to be happy about at Dickinson State University. College can be expensive, but at DSU we're freezing tuition through summer 2023. That means more money in your pocket, and that will make anyone happy. So share the news. You can graduate for less at Dickinson State University. DSU is ready for you. For more details, visit dickinsonstate.edu slash tuition. It's now time to announce the player of the game. Brought to you by Women's Way. Time for your player of the game, brought to you by Women's Way. Carly Klein just put on a clinic today. There's no other way to put it. 24 kills, four aces, a block. She did a little bit and a lot of it of everything today. And the Troopers are bringing her back, and they couldn't be more excited. Their first ever appearance in the state tournament. They pick up their first ever win here in the seventh place match. Garrison ends their season with 19 wins, seven losses, seven ties, and seventh place here at state. The Lax in their first season, uh, first time at the state tournament in 20 years, finishes in eighth and rounds out the season with 27 wins and 14 losses. 
That's the Women's Wave Player of the Game. To all the women watching, always put others before themselves. It's time to take care of you. Schedule your breast cancer screening today. One more time, Garrison ends their season with a victory and seventh place here at the state tournament, taking down the Lax Burlington in four sets. We've got the pregame show for our third place match between Ken Mayer and Thompson coming up in just about less than 10 minutes. So stick around and we're going to have another really good one between Ken Mayer and Thompson coming up for now for my partner Nick Dyson, our entire Beck Sports crew. I'm David Sugarman saying so long for just a few. The telecast of this tournament game has been authorized by special arrangement with the board of directors of the North Dakota High School Activities Association. What does it mean to be Jimmy Proud? You can be Jimmy Proud too. Join our family at uj.edu. We connect people to their work, to their families, to all things essential. That's why your Touchstone Energy Cooperative is here every day, making life easier in all the ways that matter. And of all the connections we make, we know none are more powerful than the human connection. A message from Northern Plains Electric, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Introducing Accord Comfort Sleep Systems, a better way to sleep. We offer you five different models to give you the perfect choice of support and body comfort. Every model begins with our exclusive Accord Comfort Reflex Layer. This ensures proper spinal alignment and a deep down body relief. Our 8-inch Whisper Breeze provides a medium firm feel, and our 10-inch Gentle Night model has a quilted top, giving you a medium plush comfort. Both use Outlast fabric on the top of your mattress, ensuring that your body temperature is not too hot and not too cold. Our Copper Rest Sleep Series is our premier mattress, offering your choice of firm, plush, and luxury plush. Every model uses copper-infused gel latex and provides all the health benefits of copper. Accord Comfort mattresses are handcrafted in the USA and come with a 60-night sleep guarantee. You're going to love sleeping with us. Order today exclusively at AccordSleep.com or Tom's Home Furnishings in beautiful downtown Harvey. Give yourself the upper hand with the Degelman Pro-Till High Performance High Speed Disc. The Pro-Till is the right tool for working the soil after harvest, especially with large amounts of residue. The Pro-Till features zero maintenance bearings, independence disc technology, and oversized pins and bushings that allow you to power through the toughest conditions you can throw at it. Visit Dagelman.com for more information and to find an authorized dealer near you. Dagelman, engineered tough. Howdy, folks. It's the Cantaline Cafe. I reckon it's time you're due for a hot meal. So saddle up for the day with one of our hay boss and breakfast yeah. homemade soups. Fill your grill at a salad bar. Sink your teeth into our famous Cantaline burger and barbecue ribs. Mm -hmm. Top it off with spur rattling pie with a comrade that's sure to put a smile on even the toughest outlaws. Yeah. Shake the dirt off the boots each night and warm up with the game. Tell them about it, Stacy. I can't wait to see you at the county line. off on some smaller projects to get me worked up to some of the big, bigger things built around here. The atmosphere in the shop is, is very, very team-based, which is great. It's really cool to see the beginning and end product. So it's very satisfying to build something that you know people are really going to appreciate. Already streaming YouTube TV? Now you can stream your favorite TV channels too. Drop your clunky set-top box and switch to the Epic IPTV app. Available only on the Beck Lightband Internet. Our flexible Epic IPTV comes with all your favorite channels. Not to mention, it has unlimited cloud DVR. Watch all your favorite shows without limitations. Call Beck. When operating large...
storage equipment, your local electric cooperative recommends using a spotter and maintaining distance of 10 feet from power lines in all directions at all times. And always consider down lines energized. Your local electric cooperative's priority is safety, the safety of their employees and you, their members. Stay safe, stay watchful. This message is brought to you by North Dakota's electric cooperatives. NISC's culture is great in many different aspects. Um, I like that we all have a sense of wanting to help each other out. NISC actually means what we say. We've got our shared values, where our principles of personal development from integrity to all relationships, we stand by those. There's uh, an encouraging and friendly um, atmosphere here that it's just kind of fun to be around. It all comes down to the final three days in Bismarck. It's the Class B quarterfinals to get us started at the state tournament, Delax Burlington, and Linton HMB open us up for the first of four Class B matches here. Down. She said, I had the, the light touch the last time. I know down the yep. line I have an open shot. Set point. Count it. It's in on the serve. A 12-point set one win for the reigning state champs. They take it in set one over the LB. Set point, Linton with the chance to go up two sets to none. Class B quarterfinals here at the state tournament. Bachmeyer out of the middle of that does it. Linton's taking a 2-0 set lead into number three. The defending state champs look at every bit of that today from the Bismarck Event Center. Match point to put on a sweep for the defending state champs. And this one is out on the swing from Berard, and that does it 25 to 12. And Litton HMB is headed on to the semifinals to take on the winner of Langdon and Thompson tomorrow. And that'll be a good one, whoever wins that one, taking on the defending state champs. We'll step aside, come back. Women's Way Post Game Show is next here on Beck Sports. Litton with the sweep. Welcome into the Women's Way Post Game Show for our Pettibone Farmers Union Oil Company Player of the Game. And Leah Shaley Bosch was on it today, a game best 13 kills. Yeah, you know, we talked about her a lot during the match day. She did a great job. Um, she really played that net well. She played it well both with um, her swings and attacking the ball as well as defending with her blocks. Um, just very impressive game. Shaley Bosch continues to improve every year. It seems like every game she adds something new to her arsenal. She proved that once again. Here tonight, she is our Pettibone Farmers Union Oil Company player of the game. Lynn HMB with the clean sweep. They're headed to the semifinals, take on the winner of Thompson and Langdon. Welcome back inside the Bismarck Event Center. Game three of four from the first day of the Class B State Tournament. The number one Northern Cast Jaguars taking on the Garrison Troopers right now on Beck Sports. Still an eight-point edge and set point for Northern Cass. Chance for the finisher, tool in the block, Mackenzie Anderson. Jaguars run away with set one, 25 to 16, back with set two on the other side of the break. And it ends on a service error. Hurt puts it into the net, and Northern Cass takes a 2-0 lead, one set away from the semifinals here on back. They can make it a 15-point set here. Katie Evenson sends it away. Klein off her back foot. Jensen, the finisher. Josie Jensen finished things, that, things off with her fifth kill of the day. Northern Cass, 25-16-9 and 25-10. They punched their ticket to the semis. We'll be back after this. Time now for our play of the game, brought to you by Farmers Union Oil Company, Pettibone, and CHS Nutrition was the catalyst coming in, and she did not disappoint today. Emma Lucas, a dozen kills. It was a well-balanced performance, but as usual, she leads the way for Northern Cast in the win. Yeah, you know, and they talked about her just leading that example on the court. I think she set a great precedent for the state tournament. People, she's one to walk as we continue through the state tournament. Um, she's telling the other teams, look what I'm capable of. We saw her have a great game tonight. The Valley City State commit with a dozen kills today in the victory. And now Northern Cats awaits the winner of our final game of the evening. 
Just one match stands between the title game for Thompson and Linton HMB. It's the Class B semifinals from the Bismarck Event Center. Thompson and Linton HMB here on back. Set point. Linton HMB trying to take a 1-0 lead here in the semifinals. Tegan Shea across court. They have it. Linton HMB trying to defend their state title. They're off to a good start in the semifinals. It took some work, but they take down the Tommies by four in set one. They won set one, 25-21. One point away from starting off 2-0 here in the semifinals, and they get it. Crossed it out, and we head to number three, one set away for Linton HMB to head back to the state title game for the second straight year. Linton Lion fans, community are on their feet. They stand as they want their Lions to head back to the state title match for the second straight season. They won it all last year. And they're going back to try and defend it this year with a sweep of Thompson. The excitement and the crowd cheering is just amazing. The community support. The Linton fans are very excited for their team to go back to the championship tomorrow night. Linton swept their way through the tournament field last year. So far, they're two for two in doing so. They'll take on the winner of Northern Cass and Kenmer. That's a hyped up crowd. Player of the game today brought to you part by Pettibone Farmers Union Oil Company and CHS Nutrition. I had to go back and forth on our player of the game here, Leah, because there were so many strong performers. It is Tegan Share, the fifth-year starter, gets it done with 10 kills, and she, from the beginning, helped establish the offense. Yeah, you know, that's kind of what we went back and forth to. You know, we had lots of good players who could have been player of the game today, but Tegan just consistently from set one all the way through set three, not only was she strong offensively, you know, she plays the offensive role, but she also was really strong defensively, had some great passes, had some great hustle overall, definitely the player of the game. Well, she's helped lead her team now to 36 wins on the year. Every single Single one of those wins have been sweeps for Linton HMB. And they're on to the title game for the second straight year. They take on the winner of Northern Cass and Ken Merritt. We've only got one thing left to decide. Who's taking on Linton HMB in tomorrow night's state championship? It's between the top-ranked Northern Cass Jaguars and the Ken Merritt Honkers. One more state semifinal to go here from the Class B ranks tonight on Beck. Set point for Northern Cass. It's nice to see all of the comments the coaches make about their players. And they, she even talked about Lucas just being someone who's very calm and collected and another big leader for Northern Cass. The finisher on the serve from... No. Slinger finishes things off. Northern Cass gets the point, 25-20. They take set one. What a great set. Both teams fighting hard. Both want this second set. Ebertowski goes back to Crockett. Strokelin overpass. Just got over. Maline for Kohler. Redirects. Playing a little bit safe there with that push. Zimmer on the back set. Maline on the finisher. 28 26. It took 25 and then some, but the Kenmare Hulkers have tied us up at a set apiece. Northern Cass can end the set on a 6-0 run. Richmond, serve, overpass, Jensen the exclamation point. Kill number eight, Jaguars are one set away Look how going to the state championship. Honkers fans making some noise, one away from a fifth set. Zimmer on the touch, Kohler. Zimmer push. Slinger was there. Anderson cross court. Net call. Anderson called into the net. We are going to a fifth set. Winner goes to the state championship. Strap in, folks. Going to be a fun finish. Probably need a couple more. Rodine in to serve. The libero. Jaguars can still win it here. Lucas on the roll. Zimmer. For Strokelin, again around the block. Into the corner. Hauk for Rodine. Tight to the net, Strokelin. 
Lucas rises. And it's in. Jaguars are going to the championship. Northern Cass gets the job done in five. We'll see him tomorrow against Linton HMB playing for a state title. Northern Cass gets the job done. And from the middle, Josie Jensen with a big night. 15 kills for the number one team in the state. She is your player of the game. She definitely is. You know, she kept her energy up. She um, was one of those leaders on the court tonight. She never mentally let herself get down. Kept herself in this game and was instrumental in bringing her team to this win tonight. Northern Cass gets the job done in five sets, and they are moving on to the state championship. Northern Cass gets the job done in five. They go to the state championship against Linton HMB. Ken Mayer will play for third place tomorrow. Until then, have a safe night. NISC's culture is great in many different aspects. Um, I like that we all have a sense of wanting to help each other out. NISC actually means what we say. We've got our shared values, for our principles of personal development from integrity to all relationships, we stand by those. There's uh, an encouraging and friendly um, atmosphere here that it's just kind of fun to be around. Kim Electric is here to remind you to make safety your number one priority on the farm this and every season. With over 550 annual deaths, farming is one of the most dangerous professions. Always be aware of your surroundings and dress accordingly. Hazards on the farm can both be seen and unseen. Whether it's dangerous augers or underground power lines, dangers come in all shapes and sizes. So slow down, look up and around, and be safe this season. Your life depends on it. This farm safety message brought to you by Kim Electric. Beautiful day to get out on the course, isn't it, Corey? Without a doubt, Brian. And Scotty here was thinking the exact same thing. There's a lot on the line for him today. He told his friends he's a scratch golfer, but the numbers today suggest otherwise. Ooh, swing and a miss. Looks like he's excited to find that title list. Unfortunately, he was playing with Mojos. Ooh, and a major infraction just occurred. Can we get another look at that? As from my angle, it looks like he's got about a 10, 12 foot putt slightly. Rush hour traffic in North Dakota? It's almost unheard of, though. I'm speechless. It's something you just don't see around here, especially at this hour of the day. Brian, can you see anything from your perspective? Guys, I can. All this traffic is because some doofus drove off the road. Doofus? Well, let's hope you can help him out of there. No. We'll be right back after this commercial break. All right, great job. Yeah, that went very well. The telecast of this tournament game has been authorized by special arrangement with the Board of Directors of the North Dakota High School Activities Association. closer to naming a Class B state champion, but first there's some more business to attend to. The third place match between Thompson and Ken Mayer here at the state tournament to wrap up both of these two teams for in Bismarck. Hi everybody, so happy to join us. The coach Nick Tice, Mick Tidrow on hand with our excellent Beck Sports Network crew. Well, it's been such a fun season for Ken Mayer. 40 wins, just four losses, and Nick, they've come into the state tournament with some firepower. They've played two five-set matches already. They have a chance to win third place at state for the first time since 2010. This means a lot for them. Yeah, certainly a big a big run for them. Um, I think coming in, maybe people overlooked them a little bit. So last night was just really fun to see them play, um, finish well for their program. They bring back a lot of juniors, so they're really making a mark for what they want to do in the future. Now, this program really set up for a ton of success. And on the opposite side, Thompson's done the success game over and over again. This could be the fifth straight year they win two matches at state. That's impressive. Yeah, winning two matches at state. I think winning three matches at regionals is really tough. And so they're winning two. <laughs> at state every year for five straight years so obviously they want to they want to finish strong as well it's thompson and ken mayor to see who takes third place at state there's a hundred teams in class b coach yes and being a third place team that's a big deal ken mayor and thompson trying to accomplish that here today it's the tommy's taking on the hawkers from bismarck in the third place match at the state tournament i'm sarah 
starting off on some smaller projects to get me worked up to some of the big, bigger things built around here. The atmosphere in the shop is, is very, very team-based, which is great. It's really cool to see the beginning and end product. So it's very satisfying to build something that you know people are really going to appreciate. Welcome to No Apologies, your after hours oasis of sanity. God, your ego is so tiny yep. um, and fragile. I'm Rick Becker. And I'm Lori Hins. Make no mistake, folks, we lost. Again, we lost the war in Afghanistan. Dynamic. There's so, nothing, nothing there's nothing wrong with rattling the cages of the old guard. Your retreat begins at 9 Central on Beck News and online at Beck.news. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell. Cancel culture has not only affected myself and my pillow, but millions of you out there. Before all this started, I had already written in my memoir, I dedicate this book to anyone that's looking for hope. Well, right now we're all looking for hope. I believe that my story is gonna bring inspiration and hope to everyone. By the time you're done reading my book, you will believe that with God, all things are possible. To thank you all for your support, I'm offering some of my best prices ever on my pillow product including this exclusive bundle. You get my book and these five my pillows. They all have beautiful scenes and verses from the Bible, such as Isaiah 41.10. Do not fear, for I am with you. This six-pack bundle is regularly $219. Now it's just $99.98 and free shipping with your promo code. Go to MyPillow.com and use the promo code on your screen or call the 1-800 number below. Thank you and God bless. Howdy folks, it's the Caneline Cafe. I reckon it's time you'll do for a hearty meal. So saddle up for the day with one of our hay boss and breakfast yeah. homemade soups. Fill your grill at a salad bar, sink your teeth into our famous Caneline burger and barbecue ribs. Mm -hmm. Top it off with spur rattling pie with a calm roll that's sure to put a smile on even the toughest outlaws. Yeah. So shake the dirt off the boots each night and warm up with the game. Tell them about it, Stacy. I can't wait to see you at the county line. Beck TV is known as reliable, exceptional, and exclusive. And now it's also the best of the best. Thank you for making Beck TV the best local television station in our community. Beck not only broadcasts the most live and local sporting events in the region, it's also the largest producer of diverse statewide news, opinion, and entertainment. Not getting what you want from the mainstream media? Not happy with your current cable? Do what everyone else is doing and turn to Beck. Television the way it's supposed to be. This is the Farmers Union Insurance pregame show. For all of your insurance needs, contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent or go to FUMIC.com. Welcome back to Bismarck and the event center for the third place match across Class B. Thompson and Ken Mayer head to head, a couple of teams that have put up 33 and 40 wins, respectively. These two are dynamic offenses and defenses. Going to be an excellent third place matchup between the Hawkers and the Tommies. Let's go ahead and take a look around the region and check out the bracket here around the state. Brought to you part by West Dakota Chevy dealers. Visit westdakotachevy.com for more information and to find an authorized dealer near you. Well, this is the bracket as it stands on the winner's side, so we'll talk about that and this third-place match, of course, but... Thompson was able to get by Langdon and then ran into the juggernaut of the state tournament, Linton HMB, and they were swept yesterday 3-0. So it's Linton HMB, Northern Cass in the title match coming up around 7 p.m. here on Beck Sports. Nick, this has been a pretty crazy tournament and, and, and a wild ride for this Honkers team that was just a couple of points away from being in that title game. Yes, and I think, you know, I think last year they went five a couple times as well. So Ken Mayer's played a lot of sets in state volleyball, and I think that experience is helping them. Um, Hard-fought matches, they don't go away. They're a team that they, they, will cut, they will fight for every point, and you can never count them out. Ken Mayer, three trips to the state tournament in four years. And head coach Tim Wallstrom says it's special. Wish every group got to have a chance to do what we've done. And he has pushed every team they've played to the brink. Trinity, they were down two sets to one. And they were down two sets to one in Northern Cass. Forced five sets and fell to the Jaguars. But Ken Mayer is looking to do some damage and pick up that third place win for the first time since 2010. That's a look around the state brought to you in part by West Dakota Chevy dealers at the Class B bracket. Check out West Dakota Chevy. Dot com. 
Well, let's talk more about this Honkers and Tommy's matchup because they are two high-powered teams brought to you in part by our Eventide Senior Living Community Keys to the game, empowering older adults to thrive. Check out eventide.org. Well, Thompson ran into an excellent front line of Linton HMB. Yep. And the swings, it's hard to get those swings against Linton, but if they can do that today against Kenmare and start, jump start that offense, that'll be a good sign. Right, and, and Thompson obviously had a great start to their match yesterday, but looking today, um, they need to maintain those strong swings and scoring. Um, Kenmare's a strong defense. They get scrappy, and they get scrappier as the match goes on. So Thompson wants to establish dominance early in the match to try and ride that out. And then on the opposite side, Kenmare, can they stop those swings up front? Can they stuff the Tommy's front line? They have some power potential to do that. Brennan Strokeland is one of those players that you look at and say she can block anybody up front. Yes, she's obviously proven she's a dominant player in Class B and just a junior. So making her mark here at this tournament last year, she, I believe, led the state tournament in scoring. Uh, but if they can be effective stopping that front line and slowing them down, then they're going to find a way to generate some points as well. We've mentioned a couple of players. That is our Eventide Senior Living Community Keys to the Game. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of those players. Brought to you in part by Proceed, Need Seed, Think Proceed, Thompson and Kenmare head-to-head. -head. And one player that has been excellent, you mentioned it. She was the, the leading point getter last year in the state tournament. Strokeland, just another fabulous performance. Already 40 kills and five blocks through the first two matches. Yes, and then, you know one thing to look at, she's had a couple extra sets for some of the players, but very dominant throughout the match, and she's the reason they went into extra sets. I mean, she pushed this Ken Mare's offense. She, she was the driving force yesterday. And she picked up her 500th kill yesterday, too, with 100 blocks on the dot. So, wow. put up a 500 and 100 campaign. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous. It's a great season. And then Maya Krokstad, she has been a driving force and one of the players that had Coach Lisa Strand has raved about throughout the course of the season in the tournament. 242 kills. She picked up double digits yesterday in the loss to Litton HMB. They went to her early and often on the outside to try and find something, and she was able to deliver as much as possible against a team like Linton. And I think why she stands out, at least to me, watching from the from the stands, is she's so poised out there. She looks like calm and collected. Even in the loss, she looked didn't look rattled. She was she was calm in that game. And so I think they're going to rely on that again today. And they love her ability to stay calm and help everybody out on the court. Always consistent. She never wavers, says head coach Lisa Strand. That's a look at our proceed player matchup. Neat seed. Think proceed. Well, the Tommies and the Honkers looking for a third place finish at state. Kenmare hasn't done it since 2010. They won the title in 2009, but have not been in this position to win a third place match in over a decade. Starting lineups coming up next with first serve in the third place match of the state tournament. Trust and expertise are what makes a great product. Thunderseed is here for you. From generation to generation, we are rooted in developing successful seed varieties, innovative genetics, and outstanding customer service. As a family-owned business, we put the care and needs of our customers before everything. Expanding from the Midwest to Western Canada, Thunderseed has grown to become one of the leading seed companies in the region. Be first in the field with Thunderseed. Do you hear that? That's the sound of you, your family, living your lives first. And this is exactly what we love to hear. At First International Bank and Trust, living first is intentional, providing your family sound banking solutions so you are free to live one breath, one splash at a time. First International Bank and Trust, live first. Ag producers, North Dakota's electric cooperatives remind you to watch for electric hazards. When operating large equipment, your local electric cooperative recommends using a spotter and maintaining distance of 10 feet from power lines in all directions at all times. And always consider down lines energized. Your local electric cooperative's priority is safety, the safety of their employees and you, their members. Stay safe, stay watchful. This message is brought to you by North Dakota's electric cooperatives. I was only buzzed. I was fine. I didn't want to leave my pickup. It was just a couple drinks. I only had a few blocks to go. It was a prescription. I had to take it. It was just a beer. Just a joint. It was just a glass, just of, wine. A glass of wine. It was just one or two. I don't know. I swear, I was fine. Nobody should die because of an impaired driver. And no excuse can bring them back. Always drive sober or find a sober ride. 
Welcome back to the third place match between Thompson and Kenmare here on Beck Sports. So happy you're with us. We're closing in on the state title match tonight between Northern Cass and Linton HMB. But still a ton to decide before we get there, including this third place matchup. Vogel off from starting lineups here today. You're more than just a client. You're a trusted partner in your case. We've talked a lot about this Thompson team, Nick, throughout the course of this tournament. Deservingly so. Six rotation players, no matter where you look at. And one player that we've been impressed with in the tournament outside of Croxton, who we've talked about, is Lexi Zafke and her ability to help change things for Thompson's offense. Yeah, and she's had a nice tournament as well. And the first night, she was one of the reasons they came out of that in three sets. She did a nice job scoring. Um, certainly a threat at the net. And, and defensively, she gets up and blocks well as, as well. And how about Bailey Munson's ability to dig out any ball tossed in her direction as a libero? So definitely keep an eye on number one up there, Bailey Munson, in her senior campaign under Lisa Strand. In her 33rd season, and one season is all Tim Wallstrom has on Lisa Strand as a head coach of the Canberra Hawkers. 34 years, 967 career wins, 13 region titles. And he sends his Hawkers team out with a starting lineup that is, of course, back behind Brenna Strokeland, but there is a ton of talent behind her as well. Amber Hauk has been a big presence so far in the state tournament, too. Yeah, she's done a nice job on the outside. She's really scored well and having a great senior season. Um, you know, you talk about the talent of the juniors on this team, but I think the seniors have really stood out in this tournament as well. Now she's a senior, and then Brooklyn Rodine, the two big seniors, and the yep. libero Rodine, 67 aces, can pile things on at will, and also excellent on the back row for the Honkers. So, two legendary head coaches in the state of North Dakota battling for a third-place match to finish as the third best out of 100 teams in Class B. That is just a very impressive streak. Ken Merce trying to do it for the first time in a decade. That's our Vogel Law Firm starting lineup. Check out Vogel Law Firm where you're more than just a client. You're a trusted partner in your case. Well, Nick, the big question mark is now at this point, when you come off playing back-to-back -back five setters, yep. day three of the tournament, how does that affect Kenmer? Maybe a little bit of tired legs, tired shoulders, especially you look at Strokeland and how many swings she's taken, certainly quite a few. But you look at their schedule, too. I mean, they play in some Saturday tournaments where it's all day long. So hopefully that stretch of season kind of prepares your body for this, and you're at state, so there's a little bit of adrenaline there. Um, finishing top three out of 100, like you said, um, is certainly nothing to be ashamed of, so you're going to fight for that every point, and hopefully we'll see a good match ahead of us. I mean, not everyday teams have a chance to fight for being the third best out of 100 teams. Of course, they all want the title, but this is still a great position to be in and help build another foundation and a chance to go on another dynasty run like Ken Mayer had 2007 through 2009 when they won two titles yep. in that couple of years span. And then for Thompson, it's a team that swept Langdon pretty handily in the first match and then got swept by Linton HMB. How do you think that affects them today? I think, you know, I think they put up a good fight yesterday. They knew they were matched up with a great team, but they're, they got to know that they're a good team. Look where they're at. Look at how many wins they've had this season. Certainly a strong year. And Thompson, 33 wins under the direction of Lisa Strand. What an excellent performance for this team once again. She's 14 wins away from 1,000. Coach Tim Wallstrom is not too far behind. He's 33 wins away from 1,000. That's just so crazy. I'm still chasing 100. <laughs> <laughs> hey, these two coaches will be back next year. They have a chance to put that number up well yes, past 1,000 yes, next year. That's true. Well, one thing Lisa Strand said to me this summer at the coaches convention, she said, people ask if I'm going to retire or want to be done. She says, no, if I still love it, I'm going to be here. If, as long as I love it, this is what I'm going to do. So fun to watch. And if you've loved it for 33 years, I think you're 34. There's still going to be some love. Yes, yep. I think you're going to. And when you're <laughs> at state, again, again, I mean, she's just a, a almost a perennial name. True. In the is. state tournament. And, you know, Tim walson has been here many times as well. Indeed he has. A couple of state titles, 13 times to the Class B state tournament. First serve brought to you in part by Dagoman Industries. Check out Dagoman.com for more info. And to find an authorized dealer near you, we're underway in the third place match across Class B at the state tournament. Quickly to Zapke. She pelts down the first swing. Ken Mara just first swing from Maline. Set out. Carver, the touch. Big swing opportunity through the middle, and we'll call uh, Strokeland's name quite a bit today. A little bit of miscommunication there. Zimmer's still able to send it. 
Strong defense from both yes. teams in yep, the first both point. Teams, so both teams showed up to play. Look at scrappy plays, keeping it alive. Lots of movement. Smackdown right toward the line, but it's out on the swing. Just from a little Strokeland. bit wide from Strokeland. Brenna Strokeland. We got two Strokelands on the floor. We do. Ann Strokeland, a freshman. Brenna Strokeland, a junior. Bright future for them. Yeah, no kidding. Side smack by Maline. She's had a very nice tournament. You know, I don't know if you talk again a lot about some of Strokeland and Kohler and Zimmer, but Maline's really done a nice job in this tournament to score and be a weapon for them. Yes, she has. Tournament eight kills so far, but one of the big impressive things is her service line ability to pick up points, too. Yeah, yeah, and they're, they're all so scrappy on defense. There's Haig for swing of the night. Rather afternoon, and it's a point to Kenner. So good volleys, couple errors here to start early, but both teams are playing really well, so we'll start to see them produce points instead of give away points. Here's Haig on the swing. Drops it down. And we're all tied at two. Summer Haig, the junior middle hitter, 411 kills this year, by far the most on the team, but still a ton of swingers for Thompson. Yeah, they have a lot of options to go to. They have so much height across the net at all times. That was what we faced them early in the season, and that was our challenge. They just had so much height at all times. There was blocks in our way. How do you beat Zafke, Martin, Haig, Krog said I could keep going, but I don't know if I would have enough time. Well, I'm going to defer to my uh, my outside hitter, Janela Udekwe, put up seven kills on them, and she did a really nice job finding the floor, so I'm going to give her credit. We'll talk with her sometime and, and get her breakdown. Yes, there you go, yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kenmare has tied things up so far so good. we staying patient on defense. But Jasmine Welke back on the line. There's the setup for Abby Kohler. Another big piece to this offense, a middle junior hitter, 245 kills on the year. Yep, and they're going to go to her a lot as well. They expect a lot of production out of her, and she usually delivers. And yeah, what a performance she has had this year. A couple of junior hitters for Ken Mara. It's a pretty dominant front line. Yep, and then they've got a junior setter as well. Zimmer does a nice job distributing the ball. She makes good decisions, uh, moves it really well. Swing out by Hauk, but yeah, Zimmer is... The one who makes everything happen wants the ball in her hands as much as possible. Coach Wallstrom says we need her to have a chance to have a strong touch every possession because she delivers so often. Yep. And one thing that she does really well um, is she reads her passers. And what I mean by that is she anticipates if it's not going to be a great pass and she knows where it's going to go. And so you'll see her beat the ball quite a few times. She beats it there, sets up a nice set for how. And look at this Thompson defense. They're just keeping everything alive, making them work for every point. Into the net and a swing from Kohler. Thompson takes a 5-4 advantage. There's a swing from Krogstad. We talked about her needing to have a big game, and she does a nice job. She's not the tallest Thompson hitter, but she does a nice job. Wow, oh, nice save by Zimmer. Schwabi up, Krogstad, the punch down. There's a smack. Good cover by the Kimmer defense. Carver sneaks one home. Libby Carver gives the Tommies a 7-5 lead on the Hawkers. She's a unique player in this tournament. She's a setter and a hitter, but you know a lot of times you see teams with 6-2s, they're setters that, that swing in the front, don't always get a lot of kills, but she produces a lot of points for them. She's a really nice swing. She does, 166 kills. It's one of those players who can do it all. Front line block, there's Martin and Krogstad. 
Houts the punch. All and it in. drops in. The Kenner are so far four kills on six points. That's a good start. You know, we saw her serve yesterday. I don't think she served much this season, so we saw her serving yesterday. She did a nice job and helped them go on some runs against a very good Northern Cast team. I'll have to use her back on the line, too, to, to spark runs against Thompson as well. Touch by Schwabe. Gives Martin a chance. She delivers. Yeah. Tight pass. Got the defense to go up and gave her an open net. So nice decision here to put that ball down. How about Sydney Schwabe? with that pass to set up Martin. Yeah, and saving a tight ball. Front line. Ooh, Carber almost burned Kenmare's defense. Nice job by Zimmer. Martin. Twirls it off a couple defenders. I think Kenmare just got away with an illegal block. Zimmer's in the back, but she played a ball at the net. That maybe should have been called. It leads to a 10-6 Thompson lead. And make it 11-6 as Krogstad picks one up on the service line. Forcing a timeout here for Tim and the Honkers. Yeah, they want to talk things through. 11-6 start for the Tommies here in the third place match. Kill Electric is here to remind you to make safety your number one priority on the farm this and every season. With over 550 annual deaths, farming is one of the most dangerous professions. Always be aware of your surroundings and dress accordingly. Hazards on the farm can both be seen and unseen. Whether it's dangerous augers or underground power lines, dangers come in all shapes and sizes. So slow down, look up and around, and be safe this season. Your life depends on it. This farm safety message brought to you by Kim Electric. For over 20 years, the Bismarck Cancer Center has provided state-of-the-art, close-to-home cancer care to thousands in our region. But with a 70% increase of new patients since 2007, the center's high demand has led to a need for additional equipment and space. Help provide healing today and build hope for tomorrow by supporting our capital campaign. Learn more and make your pledge at BismarckCancerCenter.com. On the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following... 11-6 lead for Thompson over Kenmare in the third place match here at the state tournament on Beck Sports. Glad you're with us. Nick Tice, Nick Tidrow, and our entire Beck crew today. This is the second of four Class B matchups. Oh, we'll end with the title match coming up at 7. A little bit of a different order. This is our third place match. Um, keeping first and second in the main gym, or first and third in the main gym. Yeah, with it being in Bismarck, they decided to do it a little bit differently, which is... It gets some more attention to the main arena, more yes. seats. Yeah, you win that first day, you want to be playing on this court on day three. Martin into the net. Twelve seven Thompson advantage. Carver slaps one down and it pops for a point. Thought she was aiming for us. Sure seem like it. Yes. Thought she liked our compliment when we said she did a nice job. <laughs> I thought so too. It's a little unfair. Yep. <laughs> Still doing a nice job though. We'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Yep. She has a harder job. Yes, There's a swing does. down <laughs> by Strokeland. And they're gonna again they're gonna rely on her time and time again. She's proven that she can do it and get the job done. And she's faced some big blocks, but she didn't seem very intimidated yesterday. No, going up against Northern Cast, that's a tough team to try to get by. She didn't seem to have a problem with it. 23 kills and a couple of locks as well. Maybe just read that one wrong a little bit. This one squeaks in. Looks like they maybe disagreed, but I think it dropped pretty quickly. Harbor on the yeah. line, and yeah, yeah. that was in. Harbor putting together a good first set, two kills, a couple of assists with an ace now. Set up for Zavke. Excellent stop by Rodine. 
Yeah, and it's a point of the Hawkers. Nice throw to, to win the joust at the net there. Forty wins, four losses for Ken Mayer this year. Certainly put on a strong season. Yeah, they had a 20-match win streak entering yesterday, lost wow. to Northern Cass in the semifinals, but that is an impressive streak. That is, that's a lot of games to win. And a point awarded to Ken Mayer, and that's the that's tied with the longest in the state this year with Linton HMB. They won 20 straight matches wow. as well. So wow. talk about a Ken Mayer team that can put some wins together. Yep. Touched by Haig, yep. and another point down for the Tommies. Thompson doing a nice job. They've moved the ball around a lot. They're finding a lot of hitters, establishing them early. And a great job by their setters to run this offense. And you've got two setters, and sometimes that can affect your hitters. You know the different styles of the set. But they seem to do a nice job off both, and both of them are very capable setters. Popped into the net by Rodine. How does that affect the team in terms of having two setters on the court like that? I think, I think it depends on the style. If they both have similar hands and release points, it's easy. But if they don't, and like you look at this Thompson team, even just the different heights of the girls can make that release point different and your timing a little bit different. So it puts a lot on the setters to deliver a consistent ball. Well, they've done their job and more because of the, the dispersed offense that Thompson has. Timeout, Kenmare. They're out of timeouts here in the first set, trailing by eight. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance. Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF. We create chemistry. Women's Way. RTC. Well, Lisa Strand and her club looking good so far in the first set, 18 to 10 lead, especially after dropping in straight sets yesterday to Linton. Right, so they've obviously showed up. Um, they're here to play. They're not a quitting team. You know, obviously there's some disappointment when you're not in that state title game. But we talked about fighting for third, and that's a lot to, to fight for. Two wins at state, third out of 100, finish your season on a win. Um, they're definitely one of the best programs in the state, and they've proven that this weekend. Yeah, they can do something during a five year span that not many teams can say winning yep. two matches at state yeah so still plenty to play for quick smack by strokeland it's out nine point tommy's lead so ken Mayer still looking to find their footing in this first set um, but i would never count them out and i think we we saw that quite a bit all weekend absolutely the five set queens is what the pa yes. announcer <laughs> introduced them as yes. and i don't disagree with Literally that so i watched them this season <laughs> the beginning they went five with our redeemers and then they lost the first two sets and came back to win so something seems like they've almost practiced it <laughs> strokeland picks up her team best fourth kill of this first set yeah they're they're experienced in it they're ready and, and with the amount of five setters that they've played this year against excellent competition to only lose four matches. Pretty impressive. Yes, One of those yesterday. Impressive. Yep. Haig right at the defense of Rodine. Summer Haig plants her third kill. And she's just a junior, so uh, Region 2 is going to be looking to try and figure out how do we stop this kid next year. Yeah, that's a question that will be hard to answer. She's over 400 kills. And she didn't have very much varsity experience last year, which is impressive considering the damage she's done this yes, season. They had a lot of seniors last year, so she's uh, certainly come into her own this year. Crockstead with the cut shot. Nine point Tommy Lee. Can Kenmare make a run here at the end of the first set? Smacked down by Kohler. Crockstead. Lots of defense, just like we saw at the start of the set. Lots of defense by both teams. Um, and there's. That Thompson block that gives so many girls fits. This time, Kenmer finds a way to force a problem on Thompson. Yep, they stuck with it long enough, forced him into the net there a little bit. The 20-12. Oh, and it drops home on the swing from Carla or Clara Stevens. Yep, nice swing here. Maybe if she doesn't reach, the defense might have had a hand on that, but a nice swing to put that ball away. 
And Clara Stevens replaced Sidney Schwabe in the front row this year because Schwabe moved to setter after they knew Schwabe was going to be good enough to replace Mackenzie Hughes and then some as a strike down by Howe, top back by Krogstad. They really like what Stevens does at the front to yep. set a block. Yep, and it's so much part of their defense. The defense they try to run is based on that block bothering teams. Doesn't bother the swing from Howe. The defense there again from Thompson. Set up, strike, stopped. Hauk again, right by the double, but there's Krogstad. Barber beats the defense. So some really, really nice volleys. You know, the score says 22-12, but I don't think it tells the story of, of how both teams are really competing. They're moving well, they're communicating well, and the hitters are having to work hard to put this ball away. This sets a microcosm of how Kenmare's played at the state tournament. It may yes. feel like it's 10 points, but every point is just ridiculously hard to get yes. against them. Yes. But not something new for Kenmare. They've played teams that are tough to score on, and so we'll see how they turn it around here. Thompson looking to close out this first one. Hauk rejected up front. Double block of Martin and Krogstedt. And Zimmer moving the ball, trying to get that block moving. I think that's going to be a key for them. If they can keep the block moving around, eventually they'll start to find some holes in it. Set point for Thompson. There's a setup for Martin. And that's the end of the first set here in the third place match. 25 to 12. Thompson meant business in set one. We'll see if they can take a two set lead if the Hawkers tie. So one in the third place match. Come to know and trust us for over 18 years with the largest selection and showroom in Western North Dakota for our beautiful Sundance spas. Plus, you can pick out your next home experience with our selection of pool tables, shuffle boards, and fun accessories. Spas, etc. Your relaxation destination on Made in Bismarck. Unlike treatments that only repel, Jaraxa Seed Treatment is the only one that eliminates wireworms. So cereal growers everywhere are going to be picking off wireworms like hotshot players in an arcade game. And you know how that's going to feel. Pretty darn great. Unless you're a wireworm. Jaraxa Seed Treatment from BASF is here. For wireworms, it's game over. It's easy to see yourself here at Valley City State University, where faculty know your name and your dreams, where opportunities stretch as far as your aspirations and your interests drive your college experience. Here you'll find a community that supports you in every aspect of college life, and you'll leave ready to make a difference in the world. See yourself at VCSU. Schedule a tour today. Central Business Systems Incorporated is your locally owned and operated hub for copiers, printers, computers, and multifunction products. CBSI is proud to be the only award-winning Kyocera dealer for the Jamestown area for over 40 years and to be also recently awarded the largest purchasing Kyocera dealer in all of North Dakota. They offer on-site and in-house service by factory-trained technicians and network professionals. Visit CBSI at 2514 Highway 281 in Jamestown or on the web at cbsi-online.com for all your business technology needs. For all your commercial and residential heating and cooling needs, call Prairie Heating and Air of Linton. With a service area spanning over 5,000 miles, Prairie Heating and Air is a service leader for all of South Central North Dakota. Our service and sales team provide prop service, competitive pricing, and take the time to make sure that the equipment is sized correctly for your home or business. Reduce energy costs and save money this year with a more efficient Amana heating and cooling system. Prairie Heating and Air, we control the weather on the inside. This is a good place to shop for a Chevy. This is a good place to shop for a Chevy. And this is a good place to shop for a Chevy, too. Whether you want to shop online and take delivery at home from a participating dealer or just have a dependable place to get service, discover the easy way to shop, buy, and own a Chevy. Find new ways. Find new roads. Get an incredible offer on a new set of tires. Then double your offer with the GM or Buy Power Card. Visit westdakotachevy.com. This is the Farmers Union. Tonight's match on Beck, sponsored by Farmers Union Insurance, Dakota Community Bank, West Dakota Chevy Dealers. 
Women's Way, BASF, we create chemistry and by Beck. Start of set number two, Thompson's defense looks to create some havoc and they do to start off the fresh set. So starting right where they left off with big blocks at the net, making Kenmare work to get the ball through. Summer Haig has been the best on the team at doing that. 79 and a half blocks now this year. Summer Haig turns, twists, floats, destroys. Great way to start set number two for the Tommies. Yeah, pick up a block and then drop down a, a kill yep. like that. Yep. Look at the balance. Well, Coach Strand talks about the extension that Haig has when she's swinging hard, but the extension she had there yes. to, to put it down in her spot as yes. Ken Mayer picks up a point. Perfect match her beside nice, a replay. Nice back set by a setter to find your middle. Zimmer does such a nice job, job distributing the ball and, and setting her teammates for success. And Strokeland's seen that success. Five kills in the early going today. Coming off 23 last night against Northern Cats. The setup, it's Haig, cannot give her that much space. Thompson just so able to move the ball around just as well as these Kenmare honkers, and so there's so many hitters to defend in this whole match. Five players with at least 160 kills for Thompson, including a 400 with Summer Haig. Swings out from Kenmare. That's a lot of earned points for your team. It is, and Stevens still has 71 kills as another option after yes. those first five. Wow, wow. Service error from Carver, and that, that's really helped put this team in a five-year run. It seems like every year they have more than just one option. Yeah, I don't know if she's ever heard of a, be, a rebuilding year. She's only ever reloaded. Yeah, and they're going to have another chance to be dominant next season. Martin, Haig come back. Schwabe back as the setter. Yeah. Stevens comes back as well. The setup for Haig in the middle once again. Proves to be successful. Six kills for the junior middle. Sometimes I wonder if Coach Strand has a 5'11 rule. Got to be 5'11 to hit <laughs> on my team. I'll have to ask her about that. Yeah. Although, Krogstead does a nice job, and she's not on that, that height level. So she And she's a, a great hitter for them. That's true. 5'7, she's the third leading attacker on the team. Carver works against Hauk. Nice job to keep it alive. Hag swings into the net. So one thing, Kemmer, the more they keep the ball in the air and just stay scrappy with them, it starts to wear a team down because it's so hard when you swing hard and you try to finish and they keep the ball alive um, and they make you work for it. And Coach Strands put an emphasis on that. She said our defense has improved drastically, especially around the net with blocking. We have such sound hitters offensively, yes, but our defense is giving teams fits more now than ever before. And I think that's evident on this, on, in this match as well. Zimmer strikes, yeah, gives nice Kinder lead. Nice job by Zimmer. Caught someone in the net there. Now there's three errors by these Tommies as Kenmare's taking a couple point lead here. But it's their defense that, that turns these into errors because they're so scrappy. And now the Thompson hitters are trying to move the ball around to find the floor and they're making these errors. The emphasis on defense is palpable as Crockstead wraps up her second kill of the night. Nice job here to hit this cross-court shot. Saw this a lot in the seventh place match as well. Um, the, the Lakers were able to find some points with that sharp cross-court swing. They fell to Garrison. What an impressive performance by the Troopers to come back yes. and win that in four sets. Yes, well to be down by so much in the first set and then close the gap. Um, and 31-29, what a great way to start the day at this final round of the state tournament. Martin picks up her third. Tied at seven. <laughs> Set straight through. Nobody could hold on to it. Stevens beat by the Kenmare defense. Well, 
Looks like they didn't communicate there. Whose ball was that? Ken Mare's ball, I guess. <laughs> per the rules. Yep. Ken Mare the point. <laughs> Carver with a long run. Krogstad races in. There's Hauk on a massive swing. Nice swing. How about Hauk? One of the leaders of the squad, senior outside hitter, work ethic off the charts, says Coach Wallstrom. She's well, putting that on display. And it shows. I mean, she's, you know, she does not fit that 5'11 rule, but she's scoring just as effectively as anyone in this tournament. So effective with her swings. Makes the most of the every time she gets the ball. The set up middle here this time. Martin plants one right between the teeth of the defense. Nice job by Martin here, gets over the block and then splits those back row defenders. Not much varsity experience last year as a freshman, but Coach Strand said she's just a sophomore, exceeding every bit of our expectations. And she's worked so much on herself as the block works there with Martin involved. Nice job by Rodine to keep that alive. She's in a good position. She puts herself in a good position. Carburn of the net, that's what we were just talking about, Nick. It doesn't matter if you have a swing that's hard necessarily on offense for Ken Mayer. It's about how you defensively rotate and put yourself in a position to where you're throwing Thompson with the back up against the wall like that. Yep, yep, and it's creating some problems for this, this Ken Mayer offense, and they're moving the ball around and, and making mistakes. Well, now they're saying it's Thompson's point. So what happened there, I think he was trying to make a sub and the players, he wanted a different server and the, the refs didn't give it to him and then she ran out of time. Swabby for Carver, plenty of room. Nice dig. So keeping it alive here, making him swing again. That's Ken Mayer defense rotating well. They're in the right spot. It's able to dig things out. Hauk the touch. A lot of movement with this Ken Mayer defense. There's Martin, but she's stuffed. It's their turn to make a block at the net. Ken Mayer's front line nice is job working against block. Thompson. So a two-point honkers lead here in the third place match. Uh, and this time, unable to save. Scrappy play, but couldn't quite bring that one back. Nice job by Strokeland on the tight set. Zafke, bullets one over, Rodine's ready for it, but this time nobody's redder, ready for Summer Hank. She just takes up so much space at the net. She gets up, she's protecting the middle really well. Nice job to turn this just a little bit away from Zimmer to find the floor. And to not go over and touch the tape. Yes, yep. Schwabi trying to help give Thompson a lead back here in the middle of the second set. This Kemmerer block has come alive here in this set. It sure has. And then the digs on defense, and it's close. And he says no call. He doesn't know. Ooh. I wonder what they'll do on this. Oh, they're giving it that to Thompson. Looked, really? That looked into me. Mm, this is a good oh, look down yeah. the line. Yeah, it's tough. Her foot stepped in his way. I think that's why he made the call. And a big point, it was tied there. Yeah, and Zafke gives Thompson a two-point advantage. That's her first kill today. Nice swing by Zafke here. She finds that hole in the Kemmerer defense, which is hard to do. There's not many of them. And with Zimmer and Rodin, Strokeland. And there's Strokeland there. Sixth kill for her. The more excited she gets, the more fun she is to watch as a hitter. You could see it last night, even the first night. She got really excited. Timeout for Coach Wallstrom and Ken Mayer. They trail by one in the second set. For women who give their all for others every day, it's easy for self-care to get lost in the shuffle. Regular breast cancer screenings save lives. 
Take care of your loved ones by taking care of your health. Talk to your health care provider about a breast cancer screening today. There's a lot to be happy about at Dickinson State University. College can be expensive, but at DSU we're freezing tuition through summer 2023. That means more money in your pocket, and that will make anyone happy. So share the news. You can graduate for less at Dickinson State University. DSU is ready for you. For more details, visit dickinsonstate.edu slash tuition. Rise together is one of the mottos for the Thompson Tommy fan base. They approach that the same way on the team. They've been pretty rowdy over there in the student section. Yep, they're having fun. Back in after the Kenmare timeout, there's Summer Haig tooling the block with success. Is that her second kill? No, not Haig. Haig's eighth kill. Yes, eighth kill. Eighth kill for Haig. Sorry, Hague. I mixed that up. No, you're good. Oh, what a wow. swing. Nice <laughs> by stroke, but she put that one down. Like I was saying earlier, the more excited she gets, the more fun she is to watch as a hitter. She is pumped now after seven kills. That one the loudest. She's the reason they took the timeout. You can see that tape on her arm, just a little bit of blood that coach wanted to get cleaned up so they didn't have to stop or take her out. Yeah, and that's important because she's on the front line. Yes, yep, this is when they're going to try to make their runs. Swing into the net by Kohler. Tommy's up 15-13. Lots of tape on some of the players out there. Kohler's got some on. Hegg's got some on. It's that time of year. Yeah. Hurt fingers. Yep. yep. Wrists that don't feel 100%. Yep. Nice job to feed Strokeland here on the back set. One block goes up. I mean, you, you might want to consider two blocks. I know Thompson's front line is strong, but you might want to consider two on her the way she's been swinging this weekend. Yeah, she's been pretty dynamic. And the defense continues to impact every swing up front. Yep. I wonder if that was touched, but uh, nice job by the Thompson block to cause some problems there still. Well, Thompson loves the veteran experience it has mixed in with the up-and-comers as well. I think that's been part of their success. They usually, you know, they bring some key players back, but they're always so good at training in the new ones. And the older ones have learned from previous players how to stay calm or how to handle yourself. And that just feeds into a successful program. That's like with Sydney Schwabe taking over for Mackenzie Hughes. Schwabe, such a good player when she saw time last year, able to, to easily mesh into that as Krogstad, yep. a left-handed punch. And they have four seniors coming back from last year's team that had this type of experience, so they knew what to expect coming into this tournament. Yeah. Hustles all over the place for defense. Nice long volleys. It's that cross court shot again. She's hit that a couple of times. Um, moving the ball just out of reach of Strokeland in a tough spot to defend, and she gets around that block, and you see it hit the floor. Set up for Stevens. Hauk. Oh, Carver. Decision, but put him out of system. The set to success. Kohler with her fourth kill. I'd like to ask her advice a little bit. She does such a great job of putting it through the block and having it roll down the net. I've seen that a lot by her this weekend. It's pretty impressive because everybody tries to tool it and slam it, push it one way or the other, or get through players, but she does a good job of reading like yeah. forearms yeah, and, and elbows. Gets it in a great spot and it rolls down. This one falls home and it's another Thompson point. So they're up 19-15, a chance to close this out, take a 2-0 lead here in the third place match. Well, if they've been paying attention this weekend, 
Uh, they should know not to count Ken Mare out. Yeah, this is far from over. Punch out from Moline. A little bit long. I think she was maybe just a hair early in her approach on that one. Sails past the end line. Well, Moline has eight kills in the tournament. All eight of those came in that incredible match last night against Northern Cass. She played really well last night. She gives the Tommies a point here. Seven p.m. approximate start for the Class B title game. Litton HMB takes on Northern Cass. Those two teams split the season series. Smart move by Hauk to play in her third kill. Class A title match between two Bismarck teams. That's a cool storyline. Century and BHS. Tournament hosted for the first time since 1988 here in Bismarck. Wow. And what do you have, two Bismarck teams that yeah, let's show up? Trip. I didn't know it had ever been hosted here. It's been a while, but yes. Bismarck fans will be in full effect for the Class A side of things at 5 o'clock. Yep. And that, like you said, was split, I believe, right? They were yep. competitive matches. Pretty tense championship games coming up. Carver, that one's a very powerful swing, but maybe a little bit too powerful. Yeah, just a little bit long. Oh, Kemmer making a little push here, trying to close that gap. It's closing quickly, too. Yes. It's down yes. to five. This team goes on runs, and they do it fast. Oh, I think they're going to call her in the net, but I don't think she was. I think that was the ball. You know, one thing that I've, I've watched in this tournament, this, this stand on the net makes it so hard for the refs to be in position, but I, mm, God, yeah. I think that was the ball. Well, these are brand new stands that came in three weeks ago, and this one she does not even yes. get close nope. to touching the net. Nope. Put that one away with authority. Strokeland with her ninth kill to pull the Honkers back within five, but these, these, uh, these pads and these stands, 1,100 pounds. I believe Look, that. Looking at it, I wouldn't have assumed. But I believe, you believe Elizabeth, it, you've been yes. around it, but yep. 1,100 pounds. Yeah. Not easy to move. No, they, they have wheels is another point yes. to Kenmer. They have wheels once they turn, they, they take the net down and they can turn. Yep. And the wheels pop up and they say it's really easy to push, but 1,100 pounds strong, huh? Yeah, once you get them um, on the wheels, they're probably not too bad to move around. Take the net off of them. But like you said, five points, four points, now down to three. Cool. And it's now set point. Yep. Yep, you can see Zimmer saying, that was me, that was me, my bad. But look um, how big those are, Nick. Oh, yes. Just the the padding. Know. And so the official, not this official, but the one on the, the near side closer to us, has to work around that pad. Yes, so it's hard to see what's going on at the net for them. Wow. Smashed down by Strokelin with her 10th. No yeah. hard to see what happened there, though. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no problem there. She does such a nice job in the middle, but, man, on the outside, she's just as deadly. She's just a strong hitter across the net. Chance for Thompson to take a 2-0 lead into this third place, third set, and they do it. Summer Haig, she picks up her ninth kill. And we head to number three. Can Thompson sweep? We'll find out here in the third place match. Today at Farmer Owned Egg Tagger, that legacy rich, future focused cooperative spirit continues to thrive. Our devotion to superior service, relentless innovation, and member success is at the forefront of everything we do. We give members access to the best products, services, and infield assistance to maximize their production. We dedicate our efforts to the safety of our employees and members in all that we do, and we commit to supporting our members and their communities for generations to come. Opioids are a type of medication that could relieve pain. However, just like any medication, taking opioids can impose some risks. Your pharmacist is a key partner and may be taking extra steps to ensure your safety when taking an opioid medication. Many pharmacists across the state can prescribe naloxone, which is a life-saving medication that can be given to someone who has accidentally overdosed. If you are concerned about yourself or a loved one that's taking an opioid, talk to your local pharmacist. Unlike treatments that only repel, Jaraxa Seed Treatment is the only one that eliminates wireworms. So cereal growers everywhere are going to be picking off wireworms like hotshot players in an arcade game. And you know how that's going to feel. Pretty darn great. 
Unless you're a wire worm. Terexa seed treatment from BASF is here. For wire worms, it's game over. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it, and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Then and down the road, Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. What does it mean to be Jimmy Proud? be Jimmy Proud too. Join our family at uj.edu. NISC's culture is great in many different aspects. Um, I like that we all have a sense of wanting to help each other out. NISC actually means what we say. We've got our shared values, our principles of personal development from integrity, to all relationships, we stand by those. There's uh, an encouraging and friendly um, atmosphere here that it's just kind of fun to be around. This is the Farmers Union Insurance pregame show. For all of your insurance needs, contact your local farm. Oh, Pitbull's on. The loudspeakers, so everybody's dancing. Yes. Even the babies. <laughs> Even the babies. I'm just waiting for the baby here in the yeah, back I, to, to start, too. That's what I was wondering. <laughs> Nope. No, nope. not this time. Yep. They do what they want. Absolutely, they do. Start of the third set brought to you part by Degelman Industries. Check out Degelman.com for more info and to find an authorized dealer near you. Can Ken Mayer take a set here from Thompson, who's taken a 2-0 lead? And Lexi Zadke says, I'm going to start off with her second kill. Well, Ken Mayer reaching this third place match is the first time a Region 8 team has made the semis or third place match since Ken Mayer joined Region 8 back in 2014. Yeah, so they used to be in Region 6, and uh, I'm used to watching them get here out of Region 6, so <laughs> certainly some experience. And they're swinging the outside from Ken Mayer for a point. Rather, check that. They say it's out. It's Thompson's ball. Would have been Stanley probably the last time a team made it out of the first round from Region 8. It was Stanley. Yep. And they made it all the way to the championship. Impressive run from Stanley that year. Tap down from Carver. And again, a very versatile player with Carver here. Scoring, setting, defense, blocking. Which brings a lot to the table. Yeah, four kills, an ace so far. Several assists. That oh, that looked that in, yeah. Me, yeah. It does drop in yeah. from Strokeland, her 11th kill. That's a tough one to read, too, in the back. Yep, yep. She's not sure if that's in or out, but dropped right. I mean, you can hit that spot. That's pretty impressive. That one was out. That one, yeah, just a little bit far in the <laughs> serve from Malin. A little, little bit wide. So we're talking about it in the break, Nick, but... 2-0 lead for Thompson. Ken Mayer's been the queens of five sets of the state tournament. Won one, lost one. How do you think that's playing a factor now? Well, they don't they don't look like they're playing tired. I mean, they are moving, so I would never count them out of anything. I, this is a team I've seen be down 10 and come back and win the set, so I wouldn't count them out just yet. Haig through three blockers. Yeah, triple block coming up, trying to just trying to slow the ball down. It's a nice way to pick up your 10th kill. Yep. Two of the block, point down for the Hawkers. It's the freshman. And Strokeland. And Strokeland, so she's definitely going to be a player to watch in the future. Well, her and Brenna come back next year as a sophomore senior tandem, respectively. Yep. That'll be fun. There's Eggs stuffed up front. What a rejection there from Strokeland. She's doing everything she can, and she really has. She's done all, all tournament to keep her team in this. She's scoring, she's defending, blocking. 
a really fun player to watch. 518 kills. That's her 101st block wow. of the season. One thing Ken Mare can't do, they've given a couple points here away on serves. They need to keep the ball in play if they're going to make a comeback run. There's the block again from Thompson. Carver the setup, Krogstad the smash, and the front line again for Ken Mare, one ups him. There's another block. Nice job. Nice stroke one in Zimmer. Yep, I think Zimmer to get that one. Carver the set. Haig on the outside. Good dig. Out. Swing looked good, just a yep. little off on the timing. Yep. She was a little bit under it. She kind of, kind of brushed the top of the net, and you could see it had nowhere else to go. So Kemmerer's closing the gap a little bit. Hey. Krogstad. wonder if Zimmer ever gets tired. I don't think she does. I don't think she does either. <laughs> I'm guessing she's the same in basketball. I would, I would contend to say the same thing as Semmerheg back to work. But she's all over the place. You're right, setting, digging, racing around. Yep, yep. She leads the court. I mean, you can see her talking to her teammates all the time about what, you know, you know, I can fix it or we'll fix it or my bad. And she just really deflects a lot of errors to herself just to keep them calm. Air on the swing there from Kohler. It's a little bit wide. It's pretty crazy to think that uh, head coach Tim Wallstrom said, Entering this state tournament, we're still we're still trying to improve. Like we still feel like right. there are things that we can adjust and get better at and 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 do as as well as we know we're capable of doing. That's scary going into next year for opponents, even though they do lose a couple seniors, because they'll continue to improve off of the improvement they've made. It is, but I think that's the attitude it takes to, to get here and compete here. That what can we do to get better every night? Because everyone has to elevate their game and winning three straight at state is tough. It's a tough battle indeed. Thompson five point lead here in set three. We look forward to serving you here at your local community bank. With over 70 years of experience serving our members, Hometown Credit Union is the smart choice for all your banking needs in Colm, Ashley, Hazleton, and Lincoln. We offer auto, home, personal and agricultural loans, CDs, IRAs, safety deposit boxes, checking and saving accounts, and more. Be sure to check out our brand new mobile check deposit as well. For great value and small town service, look no further than Hometown Credit Union. More fans piling in for the next matches coming up. We still have two more Class B matches, the fifth place grouping. Dickinson Trinity taking on Langdon, Ariad Moore Munich. And then, of course, the title game, Northern Cast and Linton HMB, 7 p.m. approximate start. So still two more places to crown, including the title. Linton's going to try to win it back-to-back -back seasons. Northern Cass hasn't been since 2013. That's their only appearance and their only win the state tournament. So that's going to be an excellent matchup. Krogstad. Kemmer defense just doesn't go away. They come back and come back and eventually force the mirrors. Oh, finish that one, though. It's Krogstad with her fifth kill. She does a nice job. She really has a lot of tools. Um, in her toolbox as a hitter. She can tip, she can go cross court, she can go down the line. She really does a nice job of moving the ball around to make you work for it. So good at timing things too, as Martin rejected up front. Kohler and Zimmer get in on the blocking action. So a few blocks early in this set for the Honkers, trying to help close the gap and take a set here. How about Zimmer jumping up as a setter to help set that double block whenever they need it? Yeah, I, again, I wonder if she gets tired, but she never <laughs> seems to. She's just got a lot of jobs out there. There's Martin. Hey, 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 
And I'm sure they're pumped to bring her back next yes. year. Yep. Even last year as a sophomore, she was so dynamic. Yeah. She's back on the line. She has 100 assists now through three matches in the state tournament. Wow. It's a really nice outing. It is. I mean, of course, five sets, those assist numbers go up. But it's yeah. not just the amount of assists. It's the precision and the timing of the assists yes. when it ma matters the most. And the number of hitters she keeps involved. She does a nice job. I mean, we've seen all sorts of hitters score for them. Schwabby the dig there. Timmer gives it up. How? Finds a way to drop it in. Yep, nice job by Hauk there to put the ball away. Nice volley by both teams, and Kemmerer comes out on top. Nice serve here by the freshman. Martin. Should communicate there a little bit. There, Schwabi setting it up for Martin, and she strikes with authority. Yeah, nice job by Strobel there to get the touch, but really nice hit by Martin to finish that point. She gets up, she cuts around this double block, puts it in a really great spot. Martin, seven kills. Haig with 11. Carber has four. Krogstad, five. There's that diverse cast of characters. Shining bright once again for Thompson, and there's an ace. These Thompson hitters, there's just so many of them to defend and move. Kemmerer is such a great defensive team, and they've done a nice job trying to get hands on everything, but Thompson just has a lot of weapons. Weapons are out in full force. There's Hauk. Hauk's been sneaky good yeah. on that outside yeah. with those swings. She kind of get, you know, next to next to Strokeland, her kills maybe look a little bit more quiet, but she does a really nice job of scoring when she gets the opportunity. Uh, not the tallest hitter in the state tournament, but certainly very effective. But she's one that benefits from the double teams going to somebody else yes. and having a chance with one-on-one -on -one matchups. Yep, yep, I think sometimes teams overlook her a little bit, and she takes advantage of that. Zafke to the middle. Another Martin point. Oh, they called four hits on that. I was not mm. sure what he was going to call. I guess yeah. I thought that was touch. Bailey Munson, the senior libero, trying to finish out her career that's had over 1,000 digs with a third place finish. Schwabe sets it up. Hey, she picked up her 1,000th in the region tournament. And another point to Thompson. So Ken Mayer trying to fight their way back into this. One of the adjustments they've made right now, they're keeping um, Brenna Strokeland on the outside, trying to get her maybe some different looks. Strokeland unable to get there in time. Just looking for a pass here. This Thompson serving is really, really causing problems. Trying to settle in on that serve receive. It's a pretty impressive turn from Thompson after being swept yesterday in the semis by Linton. Yep, yep. Shows that they are, they're are. they still a great team. They're still fighting for points. Um, working to stay in this. Oh, what a defensive oh, effort nice from both save. sides. Rodin with a dive and save. Set up for Carber. That ball touched the antenna. I think anybody saw it. There's Summer Haig. She makes sure they saw that. It's a nice swing. A nice turn caught Zimmer off guard, which is hard to do. A little bit stuck in transition. Nice swing by Strokeland. Good defense on the Thompson side. Zafke, the rejection up front. The senior comes up clutch. Not just clutch off the court, but also, rather not clutch just on the court, but off the court as well. Volunteer firefighter for several years. Wow. Her mom works at a hospital. She said, look, I always just, I've always wanted to help people. It's not just because my dad's in the firefighting business too that I wanted to get into it. I see my parents as role models and wanted to join a force that was always pushing toward the greater good. Yeah, wow. So good she, her. once or twice a month, she's out helping fight fires, do whatever needs to be done up in the area. She said it could be 6 p.m. when we're eating dinner or 2 a.m. It doesn't matter how long it takes. We'll get the job done. And wow. she's enjoyed working on the Thompson Force. Good for her.
Been doing it since 2018 as Summer Hay drops down another kill. She's up to 14, which is a match best. So a lot of hitters, both teams bringing a lot of hitters back. There's going to be a lot of points scored between these teams in yeah. next season. Everybody talks about, well, we, we have to be able to turn over, and sometimes you got to find these new players. All the teams that made it to the state tournament this year are coming back with some powerful swingers. Yes. Yep, so they're just, they've got pieces to replace, certainly, but some strong hitters coming back in the state tournament. If you can plug one or two pieces around when you have to fill a void, that, that's manageable, right? Yes, yep, yep. But it's not manageable when you graduate all your hitters, and no team in the tournament has that problem. Right. But one thing you know that you got to take take into account is what leadership are you graduating as well. Maybe they're not leading you in kills, but are they leading you in attitude, in practice, in effort, um, in drills? And so, so there's always those things to consider. Looking at like how for Ken Mayer and Tim, Coach Wallstrom talking about how yeah. how hard of a worker she is. That's hard to replace too. And so. One thing to consider for some of these teams. No, oh, off balance, missed time there from Strokeland. Able to save it. Carver stuffed by Strokeland. Didn't matter that she missed it, she's back on defense. Yep, yep. this Kenmer team that doesn't quit. They can't quite get that timing down, but Ooh. they got rewarded. They did. Wonder if that was touched or if that squeaked in before the line. Yeah, I couldn't tell. It was close. I looked in. You, my friend, are correct. Madison Moline with the service ace. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Lots of room there. Strokeland. Nice swing. 13 so, kills for her. A nice move by Coach Wallstrom to let her play on the outside here. It's opened her up a little bit. The blockers are having a harder time. She hits that line shot really well. She does. Being able to move her around seems like a big key. Yep. I wonder if this is things to come for them with who they graduate. I wouldn't be surprised to see him leave her yeah. in that outside spot. Outside hitter Hout graduates. Rodine the libero graduates. So two big pieces to replace as we talked about. but. If Strokeland plays like this on the outside, I don't know if they're going to really have much no. of a problem. No. Her sister can fill in some middle, so this could be a, a future for Coach Wallstrom. Strokeland taps. Now they're trying to double block her on the outside, too. Zapke. Yep. Wow, good touch there. Didn't matter, gets the kill. Does that bring her to 14? It does. 54, 54. in the tournament. Wow. Really great. State's a place for her to play. She does a really nice job when she gets here. Yeah, led the state tournament last year in kills and blocks. And there's an ace from the Honkers. They've reeled off a couple points in a row to pull this back into a manageable deficit. So Thompson with a cushion, but going to have to find a way to close this out if they want to be done. Ken Mayer looking to keep their season alive. Thompson's now two points away from third place. Would be the fifth straight year that Thompson's won at least two matches at the state tournament. Kenmare looking for a third place finish for the first time since 2010. They won it all in 09. That was a good team. That's a block by Haig. Match point for the Tommies. Coming back after losing to Linton HMB in the semifinals. Yep, what a, a really nice match here. Chance to finish off the sweep, and Summer Hay, just like she's done all season long, caps it off with her 15th kill. Thompson moves to 34 and 6 on the year. They claim third place at state, and the Hawkers are the fourth place team. Both here. teams, nothing to be ashamed of. Lots of accomplishments, really fun seasons for both of them. Uh, and a lot of great futures ahead. Excellent campaign for the Honkers and the Tommies. Congratulations to both teams on successful seasons at their respective schools. We'll step aside, come back with the Women's Way postgame show next. Thompson claims third at Class B State. People of all ages are discovering Sura Space and Transportation is the economical way to travel. 
The fare gives you same-day round trip to Minot on one of our comfortable buses for likely less than you'd pay for gas. We serve these seven counties and the city of Minot. It's such a great deal, over 86,000 passengers ride with us yearly to shop, for appointments, and much more. For your next trip to Minot, relax and ride with us. You remember where this goes? <laughs> I don't know. Are you sure it wasn't clicking and not a zoom, zoom? I think your quash litter goes stuck. Do you even have insurance? If we soak it, so it should be good. <laughs> no matter how much you know or don't know about your vehicle, trust the experts at Tires Plus. Real answers from real mechanics. Inspections are free to ensure your vehicle is always in peak condition. Thinking service, think Tires Plus. In an increasingly automated world, skilled technicians are in high demand. Bismarck State College is training the next generation of automation experts with our new industrial automation program. Choose a two or four year degree, online or on campus, and prepare to enter a high paying industry as soon as you graduate. This is the future of industry. This could be your future career. Visit BismarckState.edu to find out more. When it comes to my child and the sports they love, I want them to be ready for their moment. So to fuel their bodies and their potential, I choose an authentic source of protein that has the nutrients they need to succeed and a taste they already love with one simple ingredient. Beef. It's now time for the post game report, brought to you by Woman's Way. Welcome into the Woman's Way post game show to all the women watching who always put others before themselves. Time to take care of you. Schedule your breast cancer screening today. With the Thompson Tommies, take care of business, win the third place match in straight sets. All but three of their wins this year were, in fact, sweeps. So 34 wins, 31 sweeps this year. And they had a lot of help from a ton of different places, but another strong performance for Thompson to take the third place. Yeah, they did a really nice job in this tournament. You know, obviously getting swept yesterday probably was pretty tough for them. But they shook it off. They came back today ready to play, and they wanted to finish their year on a high note. Well, our player of the game will name coming up here in just a few moments, but Thompson with the victory to move. As, or rather to be the third place team at state. Ken Mer takes fourth step aside, come back, name our player of the game next here on back. This is Cass Clay Country. From early mornings on our farms to evening dinners in your homes, our dairy farmers are your neighbors, your friends, your family. Our goal is to make your mornings a little brighter, your days more fulfilled, and to remind you when it comes to quality, there is no expiration date. When choosing Cass Clay products, you're supporting your community. Cass Clay, homegrown pure goodness. In southwestern and south central North Dakota, on any given day at any given moment, a Dakota Community Bank and Trust customer is logging in or signing on to do their online or mobile banking. We believe that community banking can blend both the past with down-home customer service in-house and the future with modern banking conveniences and technology for our customers anywhere, like here or here, all while honoring our long-standing tradition of community-first oriented banking here at Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Helping you make informed decisions about managing your insurance risk is what they do at BBH Insurance. Whether you're a farmer, rancher, or oil field contractor, BBH Insurance will protect what's important to you. BBH Insurance, we make buying insurance simple. It's time to find your next Chevy truck and forge ahead. Take on new challenges and take it to the next level. It's the perfect time to do more in your next Chevy. Find new possibilities, find new roads. Very well qualified buyers can get 2.49% financing and $1,000 cash allowance on this Silverado. Plus, unlock your code to claim $500 Chevy Cybercash on most Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. Helping you make informed decisions about managing your insurance risk is what they do at BBH Insurance. Whether you're a farmer, rancher, or oil field contractor, BBH Insurance will protect what's important to you. BBH Insurance, we make buying insurance simple. 
Today's player of the game is brought to you by Pettibone Farmers Union Oil and CHS Nutrition. Together providing high quality payback mineral and feed supplements for your cattle operation and second to none nutrition services including forage sampling and ration balancing. Contact Pettibone Farmers Union Oil for CHS Nutrition today. The Thompson Tommies victorious. They take third place at state behind Summer Hague's 15 kills. Nick, she was exceptional in the tournament. She finished with 35 in three games. Wow, and she's going to be back next year. So she's put on a great season, and she's obviously expecting another one. She did a nice job in this tournament. She's tall and strong. She cuts both directions. She's a really fun player to watch. She is our Farmers Union Oil Company, Pettibone, and CHS Nutrition Player of the Game. Summer Hague wraps up her junior campaign with 15 kills and three blocks. That does it for our coverage of the third place game here today. The Tommies take third. The Honkers are in fourth at state for the first time since 2010. So still impressive for the Honkers on what they accomplished with a 40 and 5 record. For Nick Tice, I'm Mick Tidrow. So long from the third place match. Stick around all afternoon and night long. The championship coming up at 7 p.m. and the fifth place match at 3 o'clock. Thanks for joining us. We hope you stick around for the rest of the state tournament. Your similarities. Your differences. Your challenges. Your success stories. Healthcare coverage in today's world should empower you to be who you really are. As unique as North Dakota itself. Your way. Your blue. Hi, I'm Eric Hardmeyer, President of the Bank of North Dakota, and I want to talk to you about student loans. We encourage you to keep education expenses and student loan debt down. One way to do this is by earning college credit by taking dual credit or AP classes in high school. Research the starting salary you will make in your career before taking out student loans. Calculators on our website help you determine the highest amount of debt you should consider. Love the way you move. All True Advanced Orthopedics. Learn more at alltrue.org slash ortho. Toro is America's number one brand of snowblowers. So you know you can trust Toro to power you through deep snow faster. Throwing it farther. Leaving your path cleaner. With innovations that make it easier. And now Toro snowblowers are even more powerful and more durable than ever before. This winter, don't take snow for an answer. Toro, count on it. See the full line of Toro power equipment at the Acme Tool Store near you. They say when the going gets tough, the tough get going. At OK Tire, we're here to keep you going. From Firestone tires and replacements to retreads and even Firestone tracks, we have you covered. Our certified Firestone experts are ready to get you back up and running, no matter if you're on site or in the field, saving you time and money. OK Tire, we keep the tough going. Naval State University is a place where students have the chance to discover their paths to success, whether that's in the classroom, on the field, or on the stage. Small class sizes, hands-on learning experiences, and our unmatched personal service ensure that our students come first. Here, students are more than just a number. They are part of a family. Go to mayvillestate.edu to see what opportunities lie ahead for you. Mabel State University, your success is closer than you think. 
What is it that makes you powerful? Having a voice. When you're part of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, your voice is heard loud and clear. Because you're more than a customer. You're a member. Most important, you're connected to all the other members in our community, to your hometown electric co-op, and to the people who've been there for you year after year. A message from Northern Plains Electric, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Serving Linton and the surrounding area, Dr. Chris Terman and the exceptional staff of Linton Dental provide the latest innovations in dentistry. Integrating modern technology includes the Solea Laser, a fast and quiet solution that eliminates discomfort. We offer same-day crowns as well as Sure Smile aligners to help you keep up with life's busy schedule. Your health is a top priority to us, so we ensure the most stringent infection control measures are taken to keep us all safe. Linton Dental, we're in this together. Forty years ago, Aero Service Team started with one truck and lots of hard work. Times may have changed, but the hard work that we put in to get your lives back in order after fire, water, and disaster hasn't. Over the years, we've seen so many families lose their belongings due to water and fire damage. Restoring homes back to the original state has made every hour of hard work well worth it. Thank you for trusting our family with yours. When disaster strikes, you only have to make one call. Aero Service Team does it all. For women who give their all for others every day, it's easy for self-care to get lost in the shuffle. Regular breast cancer screenings save lives. Take care of your loved ones by taking care of your health. Talk to your health care provider about a breast cancer screening today. Box and switch to the Epic IPTV app. Available only on the Beck Light Band Internet. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance. Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF. We create chemistry. Women's Way. RTC. NISC's culture is great in many different aspects. Um, I like that we all have a sense of wanting to help each other out. NISC actually means what we say. We've got our shared values, we've got our principles of personal development from integrity, to all relationships, we stand by those. There's uh, an encouraging and friendly um, atmosphere here that... Just had an ace right before the timeout by St. Mary's. Here's Jackson, lofting over the top. Diving effort there by Schlinker to keep this one going. Back to Jackson, got a touch on the block there. High in the air, Schlenker passing over to Wild, a dig. Great play that time from Messer, one of the team's leader, actually the team leader in digs and blocks this year. Derringer though gets the kill for Davies. You know, take the positives out of that if you're St. Mary's though. A lot of good touches, a good swing by Alexi Gerving. You know, sometimes when you're down like this much in, in this time in the match, you just got to look for the positives. Gerving. There's a touch. Got the touch there. Oh. And they give it to Davies. Thought I heard a touch. Maybe not. Tough to tell from that angle. Hmm. But an attack error is 13-5. There's Jackson. Now Schlinker goes down the middle. Tool, attack error into the net. Pearl with the ace for St. Mary's in dire need of a run here. The senior Pearl, the timely ace. Yeah, I think they want to get back into the set. They they're going to want to go maybe. Well, I guess it doesn't matter anymore. I was going to say maybe get to at least nine or ten, but they came back from down 22-15 in the second. But that's obviously not a not a formula you want to follow as it goes on. Haley Horner 
A lofting rainbow serve. Hits the hardwood. Eight aces for the Eagles today. A couple of them from Horner. From the attack line high, back set Jackson. Now Horner goes back to Wild on the far side. The velocity on that attack, but Spees with a clean dig. Gervin gets an attack. Better with a dump as well. Lollage picked it up. Now Wild. Spees digs it out. One of the best points we've seen in a while here. Back and forth. Into the nets on the attack from Libner. Yeah, that's exactly what St. Mary's needed in one point. I mean, if there was a three-point play, they could have used that. But uh, in terms of uh, this match, they need that momentum confidence boost. Get a serve over by Gabby Mann. Wild. Gabby Mann now with a dig. Block back on the attack by Haas. Another rejection for Davies. Line drive into the net by Lalich. See if St. Mary's has a comeback in him here. Trying to force a fifth in the seventh place match. First state tournament appearance for St. Mary's since 2015. And they were coached by Kyle Keither. Here's Wild. Good times. <laughs> Erica Traum in her second season now, the West Fargo High School grad. Current B BSC student. Who is helping St. Mary's back to the state tournament. Has a strong group returning next year. But right now it's Davies. You know, that, away with this fourth. That's true. I forgot she was a BSC student. I wonder if she has any years of eligibility left. <laughs> yep. She's still a BSC student. So no maybe you should ask her and we'll see. Developing recruiting here for the uh, St. Mary's coach. <laughs> Ava Wild, by the way, with her 16th kill there. Into the net. St. Mary's running out of time now. Wild will play the University of St. Thomas in Minnesota, who recently moved up to Division I. Wild had an illustrious career for Davies, more than a thousand career digs, playing in a final match at high school level. St. Mary's gets a point there. Great effort by Davies, but Spees gets the kill. Yes, yeah, St. Thomas having moderate success, I think, this year in the Summit League, playing against uh, teams like NDSU, UND. And uh, the rest of the Summit League. Be interesting to see how they do in the next few years. Well, it could take a little bit of time to transition, but having some success and finding one of the top players in North Dakota and Ava Wild to get to come to their school. It's a block for Davies, their seventh block of this match. Hope Schlenker serves. Nice play by Schlenker. Popped it high in the air. They're off to Lalich for the free ball. The back set. Haas is swing. Dug out by Wild. Man sets. Spees off the tape for the kill. Yeah, really good play by Lydia Spees there. Pass. Nice high pass so that she has time to transition, get back, and then get up with a great swing. Spees with five kills in this match, leading the team in the tournament now with 20 kills. You know, when you're, if you're St. Mary's, you know, realistically, I think you just want to end this end this match on a on a high note. You don't want to let Davies kind of have their will with you. You want to put up a good fight. Um, I mean, obviously you want to win, but I think in terms of being realistic right now, I think you just want to kind of end on a good note, on a competitive high note. And a high note of a season for St. Mary's, obviously making this state tournament for the first time in six years. And a lot of talent back next year. Likely to learn from this experience. Davies, can, same can be said for them. 
So Davies team has had an interesting season. The Eagles started the year seven and five. And they went 13 and two. They were on fire. The last 10 games, Davies is only four and six. So it's been a bit of a roller coaster season for Davies, trying to end it with a victory as they get the kill down the middle from the freshman Tally Tool. Wielden serves. Krenz with a nice receive. Jackson punches it out of play. Davies with six wins over state tournament teams this year. They've played up to some really talented teams this season. You see the potential with Carolyn Olson's team looking ahead to next year. Way in the back row, Messer gets it over cleanly. Wild, high pass for Derringer. Lefty swing, dug out by Krenz again. Spees, blocked back. That was actually into the net. Davies is two away from a four-set victory. Subs in for Davies. Taylor Safransky comes in. Tool out. Libner in. Schlenker out. Krenz in. Yeah, putting all the seniors yep. back in. A group coming in now for Davies. The seniors getting a nice ovation from the Eagles crowd on hand. Yep. The senior championship right here. Yep. Senior championship winner will be Davies here. Krenz, the senior, in to serve a couple aces today. Richter, a senior, down the middle with a swing. Tight to the net. Nice pass in the air for Derringer. Richter's got the rejection. Two kills and a block today for the senior, Mary Richter. Service error, and now it's match point for Davies. Kenzie Olsen, the sophomore. Krenz to Wild to end it. Ava Wild, the senior, the final kill of her high school career, wins it for Davies in the seventh place match. She finishes with 17 of them. In her last hurrah, 45 kills in this tournament for Wild. Davies wins it in four sets. Dominant performances in the third and fourth. Davies takes seven, St. Mary's eight. We'll wrap things up when we come back to Bismarck. It's the opening day of the 2021 state tournament. After West Fargo, the EDC champions swept their way past St. Mary's. We're on to game two today between West Fargo Cheyenne and Bismarck High. But the Demons do still have two more set points to work with. Foster to Renner. She's had the hot hand, and quite fittingly, she in set one. Five kills in the first set for Renner. Bismarck takes set one, 25-22, behind the play of Kennedy Renner. That's unfortunate for her. Too bad. Out of system. Just a free ball from Brown. Anderson a chance to win it. And does. What a response to come from behind in set two. The Bismarck fans love it. It's a 2-0 lead for the Demons. Cheyenne on the verge of losing back-to-back -back years in the quarterfinals. Bismarck missed the state tournament last year. They're one point away from the state semis. Wasdorf dug up. Renner. Stevenson popped it up quickly. Foster wants Renner again. Back to Renner for a third straight time. She tools the block, and Bismarck's into the semis. Game three, the match to the Kill 
number 16 of the night for Kennedy Renner is the winner. And Bismarck sweeps West Fargo Cheyenne to advance to the state semis where they take on West Fargo tomorrow. 16 kills for Kennedy Renner and the Demons win the quarters. Our women's way player of the game today, Kennedy Renner, went down with a little bit of an ankle injury early in that first set, Kyle, but didn't hamper her whatsoever. 16 kills to lead the charge for the senior as she sends Bismarck into tomorrow's state semifinals. Yeah, I would almost say that the ankle injury kind of gave her a little life or a little juice, and uh, she came out after that and just lit it up. So um, I think that's a big reason BHS played so well is because she kind of set the tone for him. 13 of her 16 kills came after she came down on Callie Tungset's foot, rolled the ankle a little bit. She stayed in the game, didn't come off the floor, and led the charge with 16 kills in a three-set sweep for Bismarck over Cheyenne. And that sends the Demons into the semis tomorrow where they take on the number one seed out of the EDC, West Fargo, at 1 p.m. in the state semis. Kennedy Renner, our women's way player of the game with 16 kills and a Bismarck win. We are halfway through the opening day of the 2021 state tournament from the Bismarck Event Center, and for the fourth consecutive year, Davies and Century meet in the state tournament. Knows the middle blockers probably stand in middle. She pushes it 25 feet and gets her Logan Nisley uh, wide open on a split block. She rips that thing home, and, and they've got their first set point. That's a little bit long, and Century wins set one. A come from behind win for the Patriots. The telecast of this tournament game has been authorized by special arrangement with the Board of Directors of the North Dakota High School Activities Association. One of the best investments you can make is in yourself. At Wilston State College, invest in your education. Invest in new opportunities. Invest in your future. And with regional scholarships available, including up to $12,000 for tuition and fees, we invest in you. Learn more so you can earn more at WillistonState.edu. For innovative health care with a commitment to community wellness, put your trust in South Central Health. With services in Wishick, Napoleon, Colm, and Gackle, the healthcare professionals of South Central Health provide complete and comprehensive medical services to get you back to living a life focused on overall wellness. As a top 20 critical access hospital, South Central Health provides 24-hour emergency care enhanced through a partnership with eEmergency. South Central Health, your community wellness partner in South Central North Dakota. Introducing Accord Comfort Sleep Systems, a better way to sleep. We offer you five different models to give you the perfect choice of support and body comfort. Every model begins with our exclusive Accord Comfort Reflex Layer. This ensures proper spinal alignment and a deep down body relief. Our 8-inch Whisper Breeze provides a medium firm feel, and our 10-inch Gentle Night Model has a quilted top, giving you a medium plush comfort. Both use Outlast fabric on the top of your mattress, ensuring that your body temperature is not too hot and not too cold. Our Copper Rest Sleep Series is our premier mattress, offering your choice of firm, plush, and luxury plush. Every model uses copper-infused gel latex and provides all the health benefits of copper. Accord Comfort mattresses are handcrafted in the USA and come with a 60-night sleep guarantee. You're going to love sleeping with us. Order today exclusively at AccordSleep.com or Tom's Home Furnishings in beautiful downtown Harvey. Give yourself the upper hand with the Degelman Pro-Till High Performance High Speed Disc. The Pro-Till is the right tool for working the soil after harvest, especially with large amounts of residue. The Pro-Till features zero maintenance bearings, independence disc technology, and oversized pins and bushings that allow you to power through the toughest conditions you can throw at it. Visit Dagelman.com for more information and to find an authorized dealer near you. Dagelman, engineered tough. Hi, folks, it's the Caroline Cafe. I reckon it's time you're due for a hearty meal. So saddle up for the day with one of our hay boss and breakfast yeah. homemade soups. Fill your grill at a salad bar, sink your teeth into our famous Caroline burger and barbecue ribs. Mm -hmm. 
Top it off with spur rattle and pie. Well, Comroy, that's sure to put a smile on even the toughest outlaws. Yeah. Shake the dirt off the boots each night and warm up with the game. Tell them about it, Stacy. I can't wait to see you at the county line. on some smaller projects to get me worked up to some of the big, bigger things built around here. The atmosphere in the shop is, is very, very team-based, which is great. It's really cool to see the beginning and end product. So it's very satisfying to build something that you know people are really going to appreciate. Already streaming YouTube TV? Now you can stream your favorite TV channels too. Drop your clunky set-top box and switch to the Epic IPTV app. Available only on the Beck Lightband Internet. Our flexible Epic IPTV comes with all your favorite channels. Not to mention, it has unlimited cloud DVR. Watch all your favorite shows without limitations. Call Beck Communications at 888-475-2361. Grab your Epic IPTV login and start enjoying your Epic home entertainment. Only on Beck Lightband Internet. You just might find the home of your dreams this weekend by watching the Alliance Real Estate Tour of Homes Sundays at 6 p.m. and Wednesdays at 7 on Beck. Featuring properties from Bismarck, Mandan, Minot, and surrounding areas, the Alliance Real Estate Tour of Homes presents desirable properties that are for sale, lets you meet your Alliance Realtors, and provides critical insights into local happenings from community and business leaders. Join us this Sunday evening at 6 or Wednesday at 7 for the Alliance Real Estate Tour of Homes on Beck. Degelman Industries has been manufacturing reliable, high-performance equipment for over 55 years. See for yourself with the industry-leading Degelman Land Roller. Available in sizes from 20 to 80 feet, a Degelman Land Roller decreases downtime and fuel cost and provides optimal seed-to-soil contact while reducing weeds and moisture loss. Visit Degelman.com for more information and to find an authorized dealer near you. Degelman, engineered tough. It all comes down to the final three days in Bismarck. It's the Class V quarterfinals to get us started at the state tournament, the Lax Burlington, and Litton HMB open us up for the first of four Class B matches here. Eight down. She said, I had the, the light touch the last time. I know down the yep. line I have an open shot. Set point. Count it. That's in on the serve. A 12 point set one win for the reigning state champs. They take it in set one over the LB. Set point, Blinton with the chance to go up two sets to none. Class B quarterfinals here at the state tournament. Bachmeyer out of the middle of that does it. Litton's taking a 2-0 set lead into number three. The defending state champs look at every bit of that today from the Bismarck event center. Match point to put on a sweep for the defending state champs. And this one is out on the swing from Berard, and that does it 25 to 12. And Litton HMB is headed on to the semifinals to take on the winner of Langdon and Thompson tomorrow. And that'll be a good one, whoever wins that one, taking on the defending state champs. We'll step aside, come back. Women's Way Post Game Show is next here on Beck Sports. Litton with the sweep. Welcome into the Women's Way post game show for our Pettibone Farmers Union Oil Company player of the game. And Leah Shaley Bosch was on it today, a game best 13 kills. Yeah, you know, we talked about her a lot during the match day. She did a great job. Um, she really played that net well. She played it well both with um, her swings and attacking the ball as well as defending with her blocks. Um, just very impressive game. Shaley Bosch continues to improve every year. It seems like every game she adds something new to her arsenal. She proved that once again. Here tonight, she is our Pettibone Farmers Union Oil Company player of the game. Lynn HMB with the clean sweep. They're headed to the semifinals, take on the winner of Thompson and Langdon. Welcome back inside the Bismarck Event Center. Game three of four from the first day of the Class B State Tournament. The number one Northern Cast Jaguars taking on the Garrison Troopers right now on Beck Sports. Still an eight-point edge and set point for Northern Cass. Chance for the finisher, tool in the block, Mackenzie Anderson. Jaguars run away with set one, 25 to 16, back with set two on the other side of the break. And it ends on a service error. Hurt puts it into the net, and Northern Cass takes a 2-0 lead, one set away from the semifinals here on back. 
They can make it a 15-point set here. Katie Evenson sends it away. Klein off her back foot. Jensen, the finisher. Josie Jensen finished things, that, things off with her fifth kill of the day. Northern Cass, 25-16, 9, and 25-10. They punched their ticket to the semis. We'll be back after this. Time now for our play of the game, brought to you by Farmers Union Oil Company, Pettibone, and CHS Nutrition was the catalyst coming in, and she did not disappoint today. Emma Lucas, a dozen kills. It was a well-balanced performance, but as usual, she leads the way for Northern Cass in the win. Yeah, you know, and they talked about her just leading that example on the court. I think she set a great precedent for the state tournament. People, she's one to walk as we continue through the state tournament. Um, she's telling the other teams, look what I'm capable of. We saw her have a great game tonight. The Valley City State commit with a dozen kills today in the victory. And now Northern Cats awaits the winner of our final game of the evening. Just one match stands between the title game for Thompson and Linton HMB. It's the Class B semifinals from the Bismarck Event Center. Thompson and Linton HMB here on back. Set point. Linton HMB trying to take a 1-0 lead here in the semifinals. Tegan Share cross court. They have it. Linton HMB trying to defend their state title. They're off to a good start in the semifinals. It took some work, but they take down the Tommies by four in set one. They won set one, 25-21. One point away from starting off 2-0 here in the semifinals, and they get it. Crossed it out, and we head to number three, one set away from Linton HMB to head back to the state title game for the second straight year. Linton Lion fans, community are on their feet. They stand as they want their Lions to head back to the state title match for the second straight season. They won it all last year. And they're going back to try and defend it this year with a sweep of Thompson. The excitement and the crowd cheering is just amazing. The community support. The Linton fans are very excited for their team to go back to the championship tomorrow night. Linton swept their way through the tournament field last year. So far, they're two for two in doing so. They'll take on the winner of Northern Cass and Kenmer. That's a hyped up crowd. Player of the game today brought to you part by Pettibone Farmers Union Oil Company and CHS Nutrition. I had to go back and forth on our player of the game here, Leah, because there were so many strong performers. It is Tegan Share, the fifth-year starter, gets it done with 10 kills, and she, from the beginning, helped establish the offense. Yeah, you know, that's kind of what we went back and forth to. You know, we had lots of good players who could have been player of the game today, but Tegan just consistently from set one all the way through set three, not only was she strong offensively, you know, she plays the offensive role, but she also was really strong defensively, had some great passes, had some great hustle overall, definitely the player of the game. Well, she's helped lead her team now to 36 wins on the year. Every single one of those wins have been sweeps for Linton HMB and they're on to the title game for the second straight year they take on the winner of Northern Cass and Ken Merritt we've only got one thing left to decide who's taking on Linton HMB in tomorrow night's state championship it's between the top ranked Northern Cass Jaguars and the Ken Mare Honkers one more state semifinal to go here from the Class B ranks tonight on Beck set point for Northern Cass it's nice to see all of the comments the coaches make about their players and they she even talked about Lucas just being someone who's very calm and collected and another big leader for Northern Cass. The finisher on the serve from No. Slinger finishes things off. Northern Cass gets the point 25-20. They take set one. What a great set. Both teams fighting hard. Both want this second set. Ebertowski goes back to Crockett. Strokelin overpass. Just got over. Moline for Kohler. Redirects. Playing a little bit safe there with that push. Zimmer on the back set. Moline on the finisher. 28-26. It took 25 and then some, but the Kenmare Hulkers have tied us up at a set apiece.
Northern Cass can end the set on a 6-0 run. Richmond, serve, overpass, Jensen the exclamation point. Kill number eight, Jaguars are one set away Look from going to the state championship. Honkers fans making some noise, one away from a fifth set. Zimmer on the touch, Kohler. Zimmer push, Slinger was there. Anderson cross court. Net call. Anderson called into the net. We are going to a fifth set. Winner goes to the state championship. Strap in, folks, gonna be a fun finish. Probably need a couple more. Rodine in to serve, the libero. Jaguars can still win it here. Lucas on the roll. Zimmer for Strokeland again around the block. Into the corner. Hauk for Rodine. Tight to the net. Strokeland. Lucas rises. And it's in. Jaguars are going to the championship. Northern Cass gets the job done in five. We'll see him tomorrow against Linton HMB playing for a state title. Northern Cass gets the job done. And from the middle, Josie Jensen with a big night. 15 kills for the number one team in the state. She is your player of the game. She definitely is. You know, she kept her energy up. She um, was one of those leaders on the court tonight. She never mentally let herself get down. Kept herself in this game and was instrumental in bringing her team to this win tonight. Northern Cass gets the job done in five sets and they are moving on to the state championship. Northern Cass gets the job done in five. They go to the state championship against Linton HMB. Ken Mayer will play for third place tomorrow. Until then, have a safe night. I just went in for a regular mammogram and I found out that I had a little tumor. Through the exam and the and biopsy, it was determined that I had cancer. I got a call from one of my doctors that I was diagnosed with breast cancer. After five years, they found a local reoccurrence. The first thing you hear when, when you're told you have a cancer, it's a little daunting because you don't know where to go with it. Since 1999, in a partnership between CHI St. Alexius Health and Sanford Health Bismarck, the Bismarck Cancer Center has provided the most advanced radiation therapies and holistic support services for cancer patients and their loved ones for 20 years. I've been at the Bismarck Cancer Center since it started. I actually was in the basement of Med Center 1 before when we had old machines and old equipment. And thankfully, the two hospitals at the time, St. Alexis and Med Center 1, joined forces to create the Bismarck Cancer Center. I walk in the door, I get nothing but hugs. And I was marveled at them. I mean, I thought it was the best place in the world. The staff is unbelievably compassionate, and they explain everything to you. Everybody's genuinely concerned about your well-being, and the level of care is just top-notch. The Cancer Center just does such an amazing job of helping people. To me and my family, the Cancer Center means life. It's given me the ability to, to live out my life with my family, my wife, my children, my grandchildren. Because of them, I'm two years out. I get to move on with my life, make a difference now for other people. I would recommend this center because the minute you walk through that door, they've got your back. This center means so much to me and to the people that are in this building, and we just want to keep giving it back to the community and providing for them what they need. I'm Katie, I've been cancer free for two years. I'm Steve and I've been cancer free for four years. I've been cancer free for 10 years. 10 years. 11 years. 15 years. My name is Lainey and I've been cancer free for 18 years. Bismarck Cancer Center, your partner against cancer for 20 years. Hi, 
Howdy, folks. It's the Canline Cafe. I reckon it's time you're due for a hearty meal. So saddle up for the day with one of our hay boss and breakfast yeah. homemade soups. Fill your grill, at our salad bar, sink your teeth into our famous Canline burger and barbecue ribs. Mm-hmm. Top it off with spur rattling pie with a calm roll that's sure to put a smile on even the toughest outlaws. Yeah. Shake the dirt off the boots each night and warm up with the game. Tell them about it, Stacy. I can't wait to see you at the county line. At the heart of every small town are the people that live there and the businesses that serve them. From sporting events to 4-H, Lions Clubs to Hospital Foundations, Bassett Motors has worked for the past 23 years to make sure the heart of its area small towns continues to be the people. With over 15 employees, Bassett Motors prides itself on small town service with personal attention. Bassett Motors, where our customers send their friends. Beck TV is known as reliable, exceptional, and exclusive. And now it's also the best of the best. Thank you for making Beck TV the best local television station in our community. Beck not only broadcasts the most live and local sporting events in the region, it's also the largest producer of diverse statewide news, opinion, and entertainment. Not getting what you want from the mainstream media? Not happy with your current cable? Do what everyone else is doing and turn to Beck. Television the way it's supposed to be. The telecast of this tournament game has been authorized by special arrangement with the Board of Directors of the North Dakota High School Activities Association. begins Dickinson Trinity and Langdon area Edmore Muni closing out their season here at the Class B State Tournament. Fifth place on the line for the Bismarck Event Center. Hello everyone, welcome back inside the broadcast. Longtime Bishop Bryan head coach Nick Tice. I'm David Sugarman. Titans bounce back with a big 3-0 sweep over Garrison yesterday. Big reason for that was their production on the service line. Nine aces in that one. How do they do that against a much stingier length and service seat today? I think the key there is, yeah, they produce those aces and today they're going to be looking maybe not as many aces, but but keep landing out of system so they can't feed Freegy too many times over. Morgan Freegy, 25 kills in the win yesterday for Langdon. The big problem, though, nobody else more than four. They got to find a Robin to her Batman. Yep, I think Dickinson's always got hitters in the front, and so they're ready to score. So um, Langdon's going to need to find someone to step up and produce points. Otherwise, it's going to be tough for them to maintain. It's the Cardinals and the Titans going at it for fifth place here at the state tournament. We've got more to come on the Farmers Union Insurance pregame show after this. Trust and expertise are what makes a great product. Thunderseed is here for you. From generation to generation, we are rooted in developing successful seed varieties, innovative genetics, and outstanding customer service. As a family-owned business, we put the care and needs of our customers before everything. Expanding from the Midwest to Western Canada, Thunderseed has grown to become one of the leading seed companies in the region. Be first in the field with Thunderseed. Do you hear that? That's the sound of you, your family, living your lives first. And this is exactly what we love to hear. At First International Bank and Trust, living first is intentional, providing your family sound banking solutions so you are free to live one breath, one splash at a time. First International Bank and Trust. Live first. What if I drink and drive? Or use and drive? What if you do? Or him? Or her? So what? So what? So what if we could just not, okay? What if none of our friends get hurt in a crash? What if we're all alive at graduation? What if we got the whole team? Because no one's out for getting busted. What if our generation gets it? Does better. What if we're gonna be okay? We're gonna be okay. Kim Electric is here to remind you to make safety your number one priority on the farm this and every season. 
With over 550 annual deaths, farming is one of the most dangerous professions. Always be aware of your surroundings and dress accordingly. Hazards on the farm can both be seen and unseen. Whether it's dangerous augers or underground power lines, dangers come in all shapes and sizes. So slow down, look up and around, and be safe this season. Your life depends on it. This farm safety message brought to you by Kim Electric. This is the Farmers Union Insurance pregame show. For all of your insurance needs, contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent or go to FUMIC.com. Welcome back inside the Farmers Union Insurance pregame show. The Titans and the Cardinals getting ready to duke it out for fifth place here at the state tournament. Alongside Nick Tice, David Shrigman on AM. Let's take our look around the region. Brought to you by West Dakota Chevy Dealers. Visit WestDakotaChevy.com. Championship match is what we're all waiting for tonight. Linton HMB and Northern Cast. Jaguars looking for their second ever state championship. Linton trying to do it for the second straight season. And so far today, we've had some exciting matches. In the seventh place match, Garrison took down Delax Burlington in four sets. Thompson just took down Ken Mayer in straight sets to take third. And we're about to settle fifth place here at the event center. That's your look around the region brought to you by West Dakota Chevy Dealers. Moving right along with our even side senior living community. Keys to the game. Titans and the Cardinals both coming off wins yesterday. Big part of that for Dickinson Trigger. We've already touched on it. Some was the aces. And even if the aces don't come, you still want to see them serve aggressively. Right. They need to serve aggressive if they're going to um, get, a, get a free ball or get something more manageable back. With Frigi in the front row, you can't give her anything easy to swing at you. And frigi has been fantastic. However, they need a second person to really step up and produce kills. McKenna Schneider would be the person you'd have in mind. 137 kills this season, second on the team. Yeah, but we've seen we've seen some some points throughout the tournament in some other spots. So Schneider can step up, Pedal Twit can step up, Theo Bar can step up, um, and, and kind of help lead this squad to finish with a win and end their season. Your Eventide Senior Living Community Keys to the Game. Find out more information at eventide.com. Or a couple of really talented players in this one to hone in on with our Pro Seed player matchup. Need Seed, think Pro Seed. Helena Pavic stepped up in a big time way yesterday in the sweep over Garrison. Ten kills, four digs as well. They want more production out of the sophomore today. Yeah, um, they need her to step up, really. They had some nice swings, and she does a nice job on the outside. She started, she got them going yesterday with that first kill and then just never looked back. And as badly as they want someone not named Morgan Frigi to step up, yeah, they still want Morgan Frigi to yes. play well. 25 kills yesterday, 46 over the last two days. The senior has been a machine. Win, lose, or draw, she's going out swinging. Yes, and, you know, she's in her fifth state tournament as a player, sixth dressing with the team. So she's got some experience here, and she's going to go out with a bang. Langdon, state runner-up a year ago trying to get in fifth this year. Dickinson Trinity going for a fifth place run for the second consecutive season. That puts a bow on the Farmers Union Insurance pregame show. We're going to take a short break, come back with starting lineups and get you going here for Dickinson Trinity and Langdon area and more music. One of the best investments you can make is in yourself. At Wilston State College, invest in your education. Invest in new opportunities. Invest in your future. And with regional scholarships available, including up to $12,000 for tuition and fees, we invest in you. Learn more so you can earn more at WillistonState.edu. Unlike treatments that only repel, Jaraxa Seed Treatment is the only one that eliminates wireworms. So cereal growers everywhere are going to be picking off wireworms like hotshot players in an arcade game. And you know how that's going to feel. Pretty darn great. Unless you're a wireworm. Terexa Seed Treatment from BASF is here. For wireworms, it's game over. Helping you make informed decisions about managing your insurance risk is what they do at BBH Insurance. Whether you're a farmer, rancher, or oil field contractor, BBH Insurance will protect what's important to you. BBH Insurance, we make buying insurance simple. There's a lot to be happy about at Dickinson State University. College can be expensive, but at DSU we're freezing tuition through summer 2023. 
That means more money in your pocket, and that will make anyone happy. So share the news. You can graduate for less at Dickinson State University. DSU is ready for you. For more details, visit dickinsonstate.edu slash tuition. Helping you make informed decisions about managing your insurance risk is what they do at BBH Insurance. Whether you're a farmer, rancher, or oil field contractor, BBH Insurance will protect what's important to you. BBH Insurance, we make buying insurance simple. Don't be fooled by that beat-up old cap. Its faded crown represents the tireless work of America's farmers and ranchers. Its sturdy brim, their dedication to providing our nation with a safe, affordable food source. So we'd like to tip our hat to them. Farmers Union Insurance. Protecting those that protect America's food source. What does it mean to be Jimmy Proud? Jimmy Proud too. Join our family at uj.edu. This is the Farmers Union Insurance pregame show. For all of your insurance needs, contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent or go to fumic.com. Welcome back inside the Farmers Union Insurance pregame show. The man, the myth, the legend, Jesse Schwab. On to his next adventure. One of our <laughs> wonderful camera operators here that have worked so hard over the last couple of days, bringing you 24 games in three days. We got a couple more coming tonight. Of course, championships on the Class A and B side, and a fifth place match to settle right now. Let's look at our starting lineup brought to you by Vogel Law Firm, where you're more than just a client, you're a trusted partner in your case. For the Titans, the five seed and the visitors on the scoreboard, led by Brianna Sisson in her seventh year as head coach. She starts with Jada Erie at the libero spot. Freshman Isabella Kovas coming off a solid game with four kills and three aces yesterday. Ava Yonner has been leading the way in kills this season. Callie Kubis at the center spot. Delaney Deschamps, Olivia Kessel, and Helena Pavic, and her tie for the team high, 10 kills yesterday. Langdon area and more Munich, the three-seeded Cardinals under Rich Olsen, been doing this quite a long time, 26th year at the helm, a four-time state champion. He get rolls with Marley Heddlechwit at the outside hitter spot, Morgan Thielbar as well as an outside hitter, Hallie Jab, Morgan Freegy, 46 kills over the last two days, trying to end with a bang here in her final game in a Cardinal uniform. Her setter is going to be Jalen Swanson, and then another outside hitter, McKenna Schneider, along with Taryn Amble rounding things out. Those are your starting lineups. Brought to you by Vogel Law Firm with a Bishop Ryan head coach, Nick Tice. I'm David Sugarman for the third of four Class B games today. And as always, our first serve is brought to you by Dagelman Industries. Visit Dagelman.com for more information or to find an authorized dealer near you. Dagelman Industries, engineer tough. Titans looking to finish in fifth place for the second consecutive year. Langdon, after finishing his state runner-up a season ago, trying to bounce back after that rough opening round loss against Thompson with back-to-back -back wins and a fifth place finish. A lot on the line between two very talented programs. Let's get it started with a Cali Kubis serve. And right into the nets, not the whole start they were hoping for, but like we said, Coach, nonetheless, this is a really intriguing match. Two teams that both have the potential to go really far. Yes, I mean, look at how far they've made it. Um, they've, these programs are both used to being here. So looking to finish their seasons with a win and send their seniors out with a memory. Yeah, Titans were right on the doorstep of going to the state semifinals when they took on Ken Mayer in the first round, led two sets to one, up late in the fourth set as that one's put out of play by the titans and ended up losing in the fourth set losing the fifth as well bounced back yesterday in dominant fashion against garrison in three sets it was good to see the fire they come out with after what had to be a disappointing loss the yes. denial by freegi at the net yeah you know they struggled in the first round of state the last few years but you know one thing they do after that is they come back and they keep playing 
Um, nice block here by Freegi to get a hand on Kessel early. And there's something to be said, even though they've struggled getting to the state semifinals, for the consistency this program has done and the job that Brianna Sisson has done as Yonner tools the block for the kill. Just their seventh season as the head coach, ninth with the program, and to make it to five straight state tournaments, coming out of Region yes. 7, not easy. No, very impressive by them, and she gets, look at all the hitters she has, and they're so young. I mean, she keeps them well-trained and able to score. Yeah, eight sophomores on the team, lot who get significant time. We'll touch on a few of those girls later. Freegi on the roll, she is so athletic and such good body control. Yeah, yeah, she's scored probably in every way imaginable in the last handful of years, so she comes in, just drops in a soft tip. She shows a nice swing there and then drops in, so everyone's backed up thinking she's going to swing. A Valley City State commit. She'll be playing for the Vikings next season. Trying to end her Cardinal career with a win. Kessel gets it in play. One of those sophomores we talked about for the Titans. Yes, and she certainly led the way this, this weekend for them with producing quite a few kills in different spots in the front row. Yeah, 18 kills in that first round five setter against Ken Mayer. Eight kills yesterday and a little bit of an easier time with the Troopers. Erie on the way up. Near side, pounded by Pavic. Response nice from Freegi. She's been going to that roll. Pavic again, denied. Right back to her. And makes it happen. And some nice swings by her early on, putting the ball away. Um, she's she's ready to go. And worth pointing out the set there from, that one was from Ava Yonner actually, but the main setter, Callie Kubis, is nine digs away from a thousand on her career. Coming into this match, coach, I see you got yep, the tally she's going got one. Yep, she's We're got now eight, one. Away. eight away as Freegi gets another kill. And that sets Freegi on 599 kills this season. Wow. So one more, and she's got 600. I mean, what more can you say about the job she yeah. has done as that went out of play? They're actually giving this to the Titans. Cardinals were sure they had an ace instead. Yeah. Yeah. Titans ball. Not sure if it was intentional or not, but they got out of the way. Jersey Erie sends it away. On the back pin, Freegi off the block. If there was a key to slowing down Morgan Freegi, what would it be? Somehow take the ball out of her hands. <laughs> That's my best answer. I don't know how do you how do you get her. I mean, she's just so dynamic. And yeah, one of the best players in Class B. Arguably yes. a surefire for the All-State team as Pavic rolls it over. Titans in the state tournament for the 13th time in program history. Almost half of those coming over the last five years as they're here for the fifth straight season. Yonner push and drop. And certainly something that Region 7 is going to look to try to change moving forward here. Well, they're going to have a tough time doing it. This yes. is a Titans team that is young. young. We've already seen Yonner, a sophomore, two kills. Pavic and Kessel, a couple of sophomores. And they pick up the ace, too. That one, courtesy of Jada Erie, one of the few seniors on the squad. So looking at this front row right now for the Titans, they're not the tallest that we've seen, but certainly one of the deadliest, especially with Yonner up at the front. Kubis on the set. Yonner calling to the net on Langdon. So she gets the kill there. Nice swing, but you can see why they're so deadly when she's in the front. 5-1 spurt here in the early going for Dickinson Trinity. Trying to bring it to an end, not the case for McKenna Schneider, and that's really who they want to be, the secondary attacker right now behind Freegi. Yes, and Langdon's going to have to rely on somebody here, and, and we've talked about throughout this tournament, this is kind of where they get stuck with Freegi in the back. So Dickinson needs to capitalize, maybe eliminate errors such as that one. Um, if they're going to make a run. And they have the service error there, and it'll be Taryn Amble back to serve. Balls up. Sure. Amble 10 digs yesterday in the win. And Ooh. nearly picked up an ace, getting bumped by her own teammate, Erie, tossed it over. Able to keep it in play. Kubis hangs it high, bringing it down was Kovash. Cardinals response, going off the roll was Hedeltwit. Freegi bump. Middle, 
back to Frigi near the attack line. Long rally, Yonner out of play. So one thing she's going to want to develop as she comes into the summer, she really cuts nicely to her right. If she could bring this ball back to the left just because of where her position was on the net and with the court. Going to be scary next year if yes. she can improve on that and go to both sides. Yes, deadly. Here she comes on the back corner push. She's so good at that. Nice yeah, response from Amble. You know, and she's played everywhere. She's been a setter. She's been a right side. She's been everything for this team. And so, really versatile player for the Titans. Snap time and error on the attack. And so, locked up at nine again. Langdon, the three seed coming into the tournament, lost to Thompson in straight sets in the opening round. Rebounded yesterday with a sweep of Deluxe Burlington. And a Langdon team with a lot of experience. Oh, an awful lot of experience. Last year, just three losses. One of them came in the state championship against Linton HMB. Had high aspirations coming into the state yeah. tournament. This year, still a chance for a strong finish. Yonner rolls out of the middle. Frigi left it for Swanson. Nicely done by Erie. Well, both setters getting in on some offense here. Hedelchwit couple of long rallies here at the start. Two excellent defensive clubs. On the roll with Schneider. Yonner tries to dunk. Cardinals ready for it. Kubis for Kobosh. Both teams trying to crack it in double digits. It's taken a while. Yonner can't do it. Frigi. Yonner picks up her own block. Kovash steps into it, out of play. Don't you think this was tipped? I thought she touched it on that. From my angle and the pad blocked it, I thought for sure she touched that, but I think the camera showed it was out. Both defenses excellent here at the start. The response, Yonner, a no doubter. You got to know where she's at on the court. Watch her just load up here. She can jump so high. She puts that down the line. Blockers need to be aware of where she is at all times. Yonner, four kills here at the start of the first 10 points. There for the quick up and hammered back on the overpass. It's still in play. She gets a dig for that. 3G first bump. Out of the middle. Schneider rolls it to the floor. Oh, coaches say use your head. <laughs> a little bit deflating on the Dickinson side too when you get a swing like that. Back set for Yonner, way off the line. That had some smoke behind it. Yeah, she swings hard. They go away from her and to Kovash, one of the few freshmen getting some time on this club. Field bar, tools the block. Nice job by Langdon. They are getting some points here in a couple different spots. Field bar with a nice swing, getting it through the block and hit the floor. Yeah, three different players now with a kill here at the start. And an ace off the tape. Marley Hedeltwit, her first of the tournament. Yuri have been playing extremely well in that defensive specialist spot. Kovash misses the cross court. A really nice cut, just a little bit wide, but she had, you know, not a lot of options with the block up and where the set was, and she tried to make something out of that. A Langdon team that had their streak of eight straight semifinal appearances snap. Service error there. This is a team that has had a lot of success for a long time under head coach Rich, Ols Rich Olson in his 26th year. Other than Tim Wallstrom, I don't know that anybody's seen more volleyball than this guy. Yeah, maybe Lisa, but Tim's got one year on her, I think, as well. Tim Wallstrom, the Ken Mayer head coach, been around 34 years. Olsen in his 26th. Brianna Sisson still a ways to go, just her seventh, but one of the bright spots of Class B. Just in general, you look around, there's a good mix of young and veteran coaches and 
they are all so talented. Well, then, you know, the thing I got to say about the veteran coaches is they're so encouraging, at least to me, always giving advice, talking to me about what we've done, what worked for them. And then some of the young ones are just so fun. I know Coach Sisson's been great to work with. We finally scheduled a match next year, so we'll get our girls together. You'll have to let us know the date. We might yes, have to come by for that absolutely. one. Absolutely. <laughs> Already looking ahead, Deschamps with that last kill and out of play from field bar. So four point runs here for each team. It was tied 10-10, tied 9-9, trying to break that 10th point. Off the block, nicely done by Schneider, and that takes us to our first timeout. Cardinals with a one point edge here in the first set. Opioids are a type of medication that can relieve pain. However, just like any medication, taking opioids can impose some risks. Your pharmacist is a key partner and may be taking extra steps to ensure your safety when taking an opioid medication. Many pharmacists across the state can prescribe naloxone, which is a life-saving medication that can be given to someone who has accidentally overdosed. If you are concerned about yourself or a loved one that's taking an opioid, talk to your local pharmacist. When it comes to my child and the sports they love, I want them to be ready for their moment. So to fuel their bodies and their potential, I choose an authentic source of protein that has the nutrients they need to succeed and a taste they already love with one simple ingredient, beef. way it's supposed to be. Today's Game All Back brought to you by United Women's Way, Bell Bank, Farmers Union Insurance, and BASF. We create chemistry. Cardinals with the slightest of edges here in the first set, 15 to 14. Hallie Jazz will send it away for the cards. From the middle, Kessel on the roll. Back set, Freegy, look out, denied. And so their blockers know to follow her. I don't know if we've seen even a blocker on a slide yet. Well, 25 kills yesterday. I think you should always know what yes. number seven is. You need to know, even in the back. This time they attack her with Kessel. Out of play. I really like that decision, though. She tried to go a different direction to see if she could score. Missed it a little bit wide, but a really great decision to try and turn it and go somewhere else. You know, normally you always want two blockers at the net with Fregi. You can kind of cheat and get away with just her a lot yeah, of the time. Yes, once in a while she uh, she's effective enough by herself. And Fregi was up that time. Yana went off the tape. Nonetheless, couple straight out of the timeout here for Langdon. So trading runs. No one gained a big edge, but go one, two, three, four at a time, and then the other team will take a couple back. So we'll see who gaps gaps and finishes down the stretch. Yeah, largest lead has been three. Both teams have been up by that much until now. Deschamps gets it denied back off the tape. Freegi on the first touch. Field bar. Kubis rises. They like to use their setters, both teams, to swing here. And we saw that earlier in the day with Garrison. Their setter, yeah. Nia Alvarez, had a whale of the day. Nine, maybe ten kills in that first match. Yep, she did a really nice job. Freegi on another slide. Picked up down the line by Erie. A rare soft swing from Freegi. Can the Titans take advantage? They cannot. They're just having a hard time. They're, they're making some really nice moves with the ball, but just putting it wide outside the lines. If they can redirect it but keep it in the court, they're going to find some success. Yeah, Langdon's on a 5-1 run here. Most of that has been attack errors from Dickinson Trinity. Now they earn one on the ace from Jabs. Timeout Titans. Cardinals extend the lead to six here in the opening set. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance, Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Bell Bank, West Dakota Chevy Dealers, BASF, we create chemistry, Women's Way, United and Turtle Mountain Communications. 
We're the ladies of another view. Bringing you our take on local issues. With views you won't see anywhere else. Catch us weekdays at 4.30 Central on Back News and online at back.news. Now Langdon on a 6-1 run, and they've got a six-point edge in this opening set. However, most of the damage on this run is kind of self-inflicted wounds from Dickinson Trinity coach. A lot of attack errors. Yes, Dickinson's put quite a few just wide or out of bounds. Hasn't quite connected where they wanted to. Uh, part of that credit, too, to Langdon's defense to keep some stuff alive. Fringy hammered back. Nicely done on the dig. Jazz bats it over. Nice job to keep it in play. Deschamps down the line. Fregi turned back. Titans point. The best of bounces for Dickinson Trinity. Yes, look at this block. Right into the backcourt. Coach looked a little excited like it was going to be out, but it landed in. I think Isabella Kovash got her hands on that one. The freshman had a little bit of help as well. That one might have gone out. Fregi. Block has been effective yes. on her the last few swings. Yep, so they've, they've learned we're following her. Oh, maybe not that time. Fregi steamrolls one, gets the kill, and yep. there was a net violation. And it was dug if there hadn't been a net violation. Nice job by Kubis to read, but nice swing by Fregi as well. And it was Elena Pavic you saw there who got caught in the net. All the lift on that. I guess I thought that looked pretty clean out of her hands. The ref is above us, so they have a different angle than we do. So we were locked at 14 apiece. Since then, it has been all Langdon. Eight of the last nine, nearly another ace. Erie scraped it up. Another attack error, though, for the oh, Titans. That was, that was a kill. They called that block out of bounds, so she got the kill there. They're giving Dickinson that point. Fair enough. So Deshaun picks up her second kill. Second look right here. Yeah, oh, yes. Block. Ooh, it's close, but... Looked like Fregi got a hand on it. Here yeah. she comes again. Steamrolls one down the line. Credit to these Dickinson players. Oh, they're getting hands. Nothing's really cleanly hitting the floor. They're getting hands on a lot of stuff. Kubis gets to hand on this, but nice swing by Fregi. It's so much power. How do you contain it? This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following... Farmers Union Insurance, Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Bell Bank, West Dakota Chevy Dealers, BASF, We Create Chemistry, Women's Way, United and Turtle Mountain Communications. Langdon close to closing the door in this opening set, 23 to 16, and serving with field bar. That one goes back to the Titans. But the back half of the set has belonged to the Cardinals. It was 14 all since then, 9-3 stretch. And the biggest part of that stretch we talked about was just some Dickinson errors. They keep some of those in play and maybe convert a couple of them, and this could be a very different game. Yeah, Cardinals have played well, however. Titans have had more than a couple of attack errors. See if they can get a one to go with Yonner, dug out nicely by Jabs. Nice job to turn it to the left there. Good dig on Langdon's part, and a conversion. Cardinals answer. Correction, that last dig was actually Swanson, beg your pardon. And Hedeltwit picks up the kill. Set point for the Cardinals. Fregi gives it a ride. And an ace. Cardinals take the first set, 25-17. Fregi, five kills, a block, and an ace for the finisher. This is a good place to shop for a Chevy. This is a good place to shop for a Chevy. And this is a good place to shop for a Chevy, too. Whether you want to shop online and take delivery at home from a participating dealer or just have a dependable place to get service, discover the easy way to shop, buy, and own a Chevy. Find new ways, find new roads. Get an incredible offer on a new set of tires. Then double your offer with the GM or Buy Power Card. Visit westdakotachevy.com. With over 70 years of experience serving our members, Hometown Credit Union is the smart choice for all your banking needs in Colm, 
Ashley, Hazleton, and Lincoln. We offer auto, home, personal, and agricultural loans, CDs, IRAs, safety deposit boxes, checking and saving accounts, and more. Be sure to check out our brand new mobile check deposit as well. For great value and small town service, look no further than Hometown Credit Union. Ag producers, North Dakota's electric cooperatives remind you to watch for electric hazards. When operating large equipment, your local electric cooperative recommends using a spotter and maintaining distance of 10 feet from power lines in all directions at all times. And always consider down lines energized. Your local electric cooperative's priority is safety, the safety of their employees and you, their members. Stay safe, stay watchful. This message is brought to you by North Dakota's electric cooperatives. You've known Central Business Systems for their award-winning office equipment sales and servicing for over 45 years. Now meet their new initiative, Secure Document Destruction. When you've got to get rid of volumes of sensitive material, let us handle the job of destroying documents, hard drives, and removable media. CBSI will work with your needs, bring all the equipment on site, and recycle all materials so you can get back to work. Check it out yourself at 2514 Highway 281 in Jamestown, or give them a call at 701-252-7474. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it, and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Then and down the road, Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. What more can we say about Lincoln head coach Rich Olson? His 26th year at the helm, 19 regional championships, four state championships, the runner-up last year, and in the very much present, he just won his first set, 25 to 17. Start of set two, brought to you by Diggleman Industries, engineered tough Kessel with the attack, Garrett. Talk about Olsen, one of the elder statesmen of this state tournament. I know you'd like to be here coaching, but when yes. you watch all these different coaches, what do you absorb from a guy like Olsen who's been here so many years in a row? Well, the cool thing is I got to meet him this summer, and we, we've spent a lot of time talking, and he just gives so much advice and very kind, and even once in a while I ask my opinion, and I can just think, what what am I going to offer you? You've won, <laughs> you've won nine times as many matches as I have. You're the next generation, have. coach. Well, got to learn from the, the previous ones first. <laughs> Olsen squad up one to uh, nothing in the set category here. Locked at one here early in set two. Coming down the say, line is Pavic. This Dickinson defense so far has done the best at trying to block Fregi. The denial there from Deschamps. And Cardinals put it out of play. And that puts Cali Kubis. Titan star setter now just two digs away from a thousand on her career. Came into the tournament at 961. Wow, nice that one's all Yonner. Fregi turned away. This Dickinson block doing a really nice job. And Kessel, excuse me, Fregi was called for the double contact. But like you said, that all started on the block. And okay. they've done a good job of at least bothering and slowing down Fregi. Second look here. Yeah, which we haven't been able to see anybody do all tournament to slow her down. That's tough to do. Yeah, 46 and kills in two matches, and then you get the attack here. Yeah, it really, you know, they are affecting her. And this is where it becomes important for Langdon. Can they find that second option today? Fregi leads the way with five. Only other player with more than one is McKenna Schneider. Of course, Fregi can still do yes. that. Hit point yes. in the corner. Yeah, but they're going to need someone else to step up if they want to maintain this run. Jalen Swanson, sophomore setter. Somebody going to be a big part of Olsen's program going forward. Kubis sets it high. Pavic was a little off balance. Fregi, right on balance. 
Hey, good touch by Erie, though, to get a hand on that. Nice swing. So, yes, the block has affected her, but she's still so powerful and quick and explosive to the ball. All state a season ago. Wouldn't be surprised if she was after this was all said and done. As another attack there from the Titans. What have you seen that the Cardinals might be doing that's forcing some of this uncomfortability offensively, if anything? I think, you know, I'm sure they have a game plan, the Titans, on where they want this ball to go and just trying to get it there because you've got such a strong defense on the other side of the net. So how do you how do you find the holes on the floor? So I'm sure before the game, Coach Sisson talked about where they want the ball to go, and Dickinson just hasn't quite consistently been able to find that spot, and so that could be part of the errors. Obviously, Freegie blocking at the net is going to affect any hitter. So it could be a few different factors going on here. Yeah, Freegi now up to eight kills. She's also got an ace and a block. Her team's on a little 4-0 run. Erie, nice dig. And then Kubis, nobody was home. Yeah. Yep. Starts with the pass here. They just need to lock a ball in, something that she can set up. She's got three great hitters in the front, so she's got options right now. Just need to get her with the ball. Swanson with the ace. They've already got four as a team here through a set and change. A lofter towards the middle. Kubis hangs it high. Pavic to the back row. I'll talk about uh, Ava Yonner coming into this to this tournament for good reason, but Helena Pavic shown she's going to be a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, she's as well. really Holy come along well in this in this tournament. Um, first night, maybe didn't see her as much, but the last two days, she's done a really nice job to lead this team. Yonner rise and tools the block. Keller on the serve, Keller on the ace. Titans second today. I don't think many teams are used to saying ace against the Langdon Cardinals. <laughs> well, that was a big part of the win yesterday. Had nine aces granted against a garrison team that was struggling on serve receive. But they've done a good job today here as well. Great dig by Keller. And that was with Langdon serving. Most teams don't get to say it against Langdon. 3G brings her sledgehammer again. She's come to her right quite a few times. She's done a nice job of hitting this corner. Really nice dig out of the back. That ball looks like it was never above anybody's knees till it came over the net. Nine kills already. I think the impressive part, too, she's had 25 kills and 21 in the last two matches. In the service area there for the Cardinals. They haven't gone more than three sets. Usually yes. those are numbers you see in four or five setters that go yes. deep into the night. Yes, yeah, so finding 20 a night, that's tough to do. Jersey Erie, one a so far in the state tournament. The flick tight to the net by Swanson. Oh, a back Swanson. row attack there. She's in the back row, and she came above the net, so she's not allowed to come up and, and be a, a hitter in this situation. Back row attack, locked at eight. Second look here. Yep, she's going to get just above up. Deep free ball. Keller tracks it down. Kubis, Yonner on the move. Oh, nice cover. Freegi, there at the net, and Freegi got caught creeping over. How about Yonner, just 5-5, going head-to-head -head with the athletic freak that is Freegi. Yes, and then able to pull a kill out of that as well. Nice job by Freegi coming back across court. Um, Dickens has got to just stay on her. I mean, she's a great hitter. She's going to go where she wants. Kind of splits the block, caught a little tape there, and the ball came down. And then the ace to follow. So Freegi doing a little bit of everything right now. Ten kills and a second ace. Freegi leads the team in kills, digs, blocks. Also at 88 aces coming into the match. Just added two more. So you look at the serve she's using. She's using this top spin serve. Um, 
you got to realize that's going to make the ball drop. So if I was Dickinson, I might take a step back and be ready to move forward, but know that this ball's probably going to drop. There you see Fregi switch back to a float. So she's mixing up her serves really well. Yana goes off the block for the kill. We don't see that top spin serve a ton at this level. Is it difficult to pull off? Very difficult. Yep, it's a very difficult, it's a timing thing, it's a toss thing. Part of it is a fatigue thing, too. If you're a six rotation player, I mean, jump serves, I think, take a lot out of you. So that could be part of it as well and tough on your shoulders. So there's a lot of factors that go into play. Nothing too difficult for Morgan Freegi. No, oh, she's demonstrated it all. Keller on the overpass. Put up high, cross court, and out of play by Rumpfo. So Dickinson doing a nice job to kind of keep this one to two point lead. Um, this is about where we saw the gap start to happen in the first set here in the next few points. So Dickinson's going to need to maintain. Uh, Langdon obviously looking to extend. Yeah, it was tied at 10 a pop as Schneider gets the kill. Yep. Called the touch there on the swing. It was tied at 10, tied at 14, and then from there, Langdon kind of put their foot down, led by his, ended up leading by as many as seven in that first set before eventually winning. Well, they won by eight. <laughs> Kovash, rise and fire. Overpass. I might have gone out of yep, play. Hard Yuri to tell. Tracked it down. Yonner denied. That one for sure yeah. went out of play. Went out. I think, you know, as a coach, I prefer safe than sorry. And sometimes my girls get mad at me because I say in and it wasn't. <laughs> and then they all get mad and I'm like, I just get excited. Kubis now one dig away from a thousand on her career after that last one. She's in the area, goes up for the block, and there it is, career number one, career dig 1,000 for Kubis. She's still got her head on a swivel. Here, pokes it over the net. So that 1,000 career dig plus the kill. Callie Kubis' 1,000 dig as a setter, that's tough to do. I mean, you got to play defense, but you're not always in an opportunity for dig, so nice job for her. And the type of player you can tell as they pick up the ace who just doesn't care. Yonner picks up the ace, and right now her biggest focus is just on tying this up at a set of piece. I'm out on the floor. Today at Farmer Owned Egg that legacy rich, future focused cooperative spirit continues to thrive. Our devotion to superior service, relentless innovation, and member success is at the forefront of everything we do. We give members access to the best products, services, and infield assistance to maximize their production. We dedicate our efforts to the safety of our employees and members in all that we do, and we commit to supporting our members and their communities for generations to come. It's easy to see yourself here at Valley City State University, where faculty know your name and your dreams, where opportunities stretch as far as your aspirations and your interests drive your college experience. Here you'll find a community that supports you in every aspect of college life. And you'll leave ready to make a difference in the world. See yourself at VCSU. Schedule a tour today. Ava Yonner with the ace just before the break. Her squad leads by four and a nice moment during the break as senior setter Callie Kubis was honored with a thousand career digs. Langdon responds coming out of the break and Callie Kubis past 2,000 career assists earlier in the season, now over 1,000 career digs. One of the few seniors this squad is losing, just four seniors on the team, but they are going to miss Kubis' presence next year. Yeah, she has great leadership and she really distributes the ball well. I think she does a really nice job as a setter to set this team up. Well, 16-12, lead back up to four for Dickinson Trinity. Trailing one set to none here in this fifth place match. Dickinson trying to end the year with their 30th win of the season. Cardinals only lost four regular season matches all year. Five losses total, trying to get the fit themselves. Kovash, Just far. a little bit long. So coming out of that media timeout, we've seen a couple errors on both sides. Both teams looking to settle down. Both played clean matches yesterday. Dickinson Trinity, 3-0 over Garrison. Langdon, 3-0 over Delax Burlington. Oh, somebody was in the net. 
no doubt. Looked like a Langdon player. Yeah, I kind of thought it was a Langdon player, but... But they just called it on yeah. Delaney Deschamps. Yeah. Jabs oh. on the ace. Kubis Diving. in final match going into the front row. Yep. So three out of four coming out of the timeout for Langdon. Jabs aims. Kubis on the back set. Kessel rises. Freegi chops to the middle. So you asked earlier, you know, what's something that Langdon's doing that's giving these Dickinson hitters all this trouble? I think part of it is they're serving. They're really moving the ball around well, and, and they're having a hard time getting Kubis the ball here. Yeah, good serve. Can get a good offense out of system in a hurry. Kubis tight to the net. Kessel on the redirect. Ball into the net on the Cardinals, so Kessel gets the kill. Yes, and that ball was finding the floor for her as well. So they finally got a pass to the setter. They were in system, and the offense delivers. Freegi off the block. Kubis in position. Near side. Pavic jabs a little trouble. Enough for the kill. Yeah, nice job there, Kubis, with her 1,001st dig on that. And then they go to a backup setter. Great option outside swing and put the ball away. So a couple in-system plays here for Dickinson, and now they've scored again. Jabs ready for that one. Freegi. Oh, getting crafty. Really nice read there. Really nice read. She gets up. You can almost watch her eyes. I know the camera's behind her, but she sees that with her eyes, and you know she's going to drop it in. Freegi, someone's going to be missed so dearly on this Cardinal squad. I know they had a long run of success before Freegi, and they'll have a long run of success after, but she is just not a player you replace. No, no, she's going to be tough to replace, and she's been just such a staple in in not only Cardinal Volleyball, but in the state tournament for the last several years. Yeah, made the state title game five out of the last ten years, including a win with Freegi in 2019. Here she comes again in that back corner, wherever she wants. She, seems yes, to she just it. goes both directions. She's so much to handle. Early in the set, we saw Dickinson do a great job blocking, but look at they go up with three. I mean, they're doing everything they can to bother her, and she's just so dynamic. Three straight for Langdon, won the first set 25 17. A little tighter here down the stretch. Kubis goes dumping. You know, I think they were committed to Kessel on that ball, and she was coming in hard, and Kubis just dropped it over, and the defense was just caught standing, didn't start to move until it was almost to the ground. Kubis with her second kill, got a good roll on the first one. That was all skill. Nice serve. Generate a free ball back. Kubis goes with the set. Yonner floating through. She just seems she to can levitate jump, yes. when she leaves the ground. And then she jumps higher and higher each time. Look at she kind of jumped early, a little bit of a tight ball, and then saves it. Looks like the Jordan logo. Yeah. 20 to 19. Cardinals by a uh, down by a penny. Excuse me. Air Jordan, Air Yonner. <laughs> Freegi responds, and we are locked at 20. And you said she's a Valley State commit. Freegi Valley City indeed, commit. headed to Valley City State next year. A couple players in this tournament are uh, yeah. headed to Valley City State. They're going to be a nice program Emily, to watch. Emily. A lot of North Dakota players, talented players. They should continue to produce quite a few wins. Yeah, Emma Lucas from Northern Cass, believe, going to be a Viking. Yonner goes against the Viking and picks up the kill. Yonner's got 11 kills, Freegi with 14. These two are having a battle up front. Yes, just like our earlier match, it just seemed like um, Klein and Degree were back and forth for quite a while. Service error from the Titans. Freegi, that dangerous top spin service produced three aces today. Make it four. Just incredible, and there's just not an answer for that right now from Dickinson Trinity. No, I think the biggest thing is to tell the Dickinson girls, freeze, let it hit, it will go. 
you know, it's gonna it's gonna go where it wants. Free G misses that time. When you say freeze, what do you mean by that? Freeze your body, freeze your arms. If you add any momentum to the ball, it's just gonna fly. So it's got enough speed on it. You gotta take some speed off of it into your arms or into your platform. Well, they catch a break there and an ace on the response for the Titans. Erie comes up with a big one. Timeout on the floor. The two best ways to bond are with fishing and food. That's why Our Place by the Bay is here to help you with both. With a great selection of tackle and live bait, we're sure to make your day on Beaver Bay an enjoyable one. After you've finished on the water, make sure to stop by the restaurant for the best food you can find. With prime rib nights every Saturday, we're sure to make your mouth water. Our Place by the Bay, right off the river in Linton, North Dakota. Make Our Place by the Bay your place by the bay. Jada Erie, one of four seniors on this Titans club, playing her last match for Dickens and Trinity. An ace before the break. Her team leads 23-22. Trying to tie things up at a set apiece. Freegee's got other ideas. A little flick by Kubis. Freegee on the floor. Kubis gets on the ground. Set. And a perfect setup for Yonner. Set point for the Titans. Go well, back to back timeouts here for Coach Olsen trying to turn this set around. We'll take the timeout with them. Set point when we come back. Kubis and Yonner hook it up again. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following Farmers Union Insurance, Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Bell Bank, West Dakota Chevy Dealers, BASF. We create chemistry. Women's Way. United and Turtle Mountain Communications. Kubis on the set, Yonner on the kill. Here comes Erie on the serve, set point for Trinity, down one set to none. Nice dig. Ooh. Yonner on he the He thought about touch. Scott Ref was singling, I don't think he liked that. Pedal twitch to the middle, Erie in pursuit. Kubis on the back set, Yonner redirects for the finish. 25-22, we're going at least four to decide who gets the finish fifth here at State. Serving Linton and the surrounding area, Dr. Chris Terman and the exceptional staff of Linton Dental provide the latest innovations in dentistry. Integrating modern technology includes the Solea Laser, a fast and quiet solution that eliminates discomfort. We offer same-day crowns as well as sure smile aligners to help you keep up with life's busy schedule. Your health is a top priority to us, so we ensure the most stringent infection control measures are taken to keep us all safe. Linton Dental, we're in this together. For over 20 years, the Bismarck Cancer Center has provided state-of-the-art, close-to-home cancer care to thousands in our region. But with a 70% increase of new patients since 2007, the center's high demand has led to a need for additional equipment and space. Help provide healing today and build hope for tomorrow by supporting our capital campaign. Learn more and make your pledge at BismarckCancerCenter.com. Mayville State University is a place where students have the chance to discover their paths to success, whether that's in the classroom, on the field, or on the stage. Small class sizes, hands-on learning experiences, and our unmatched personal service ensure that our students come first. Here, students are more than just a number. They are part of a family. Go to mayvillestate.edu to see what opportunities lie ahead for you. Mayville State University, your success is closer than you think. 40 years ago, Aero Service Team started with one truck and lots of hard work. Times may have changed, but the hard work that we put in to get your lives back in order after fire, water, and disaster hasn't. Over the years, we've seen so many families lose their belongings due to water and fire damage. Restoring homes back to the original state has made every hour of hard work well worth it. Thank you for trusting our family with yours. When disaster strikes, you only have to make one call. Aero Service Team does it all. Unlike treatments that only repel, Jaraxa Seed Treatment is the only one that eliminates wireworms. So cereal growers everywhere are going to be picking off wireworms like hotshot players in an arcade game. And you know how that's going to feel. 
pretty darn great. Unless you're a wire worm. Terexa seed treatment from BASF is here. The wire worms, it's game over. For innovative health care with a commitment to community wellness, put your trust in South Central Health. With services in Wishick, Napoleon, Colm, and Gackle, the healthcare professionals of South Central Health provide complete and comprehensive medical services to get you back to living a life focused on overall wellness. As a top 20 critical access hospital, South Central Health provides 24-hour emergency care enhanced through a partnership with eEmergency. South Central Health, your community wellness partner in South Central North Dakota. Titans bounce back from an eight-point first set loss. Takes set two, 25 to 22. And the start of set three is brought to you by David of Industries, engineered tough. With Bishop Bryan head coach Nick Dice, David Sugarman on hand here in our fifth place match. Only one more Class B match to go after this, and that is your title match. Linton HMB and Northern Cass going head to head. That'll start at seven this evening. As Cardinals pick up the first points. And how do they do it? On a kill by 3G. Kill number 15 for her. Looking forward to that championship match later. Coach, I won't ask to put you on the spot and ask her who you got, but let's start with Linton HMB. I mean, people, a lot of thought people thought they might see resistance from Thompson in the semis. Just feels like they're rolling and playing some of their best volleyball of the year right now. They are, and if you think about it, in the last two years, they haven't dropped a set in the state tournament yet. So that's something to keep an eye on where they've just been so efficient at this at this tournament and at this level so certainly gives them a little bit of an edge that way experience wise yeah lions the defending state champs and then take a look at northern cast man did they have to earn it last night versus yes. kenmare they showed some real grit in that win five setter yes kenmare made them work for it and they and they worked down the stretch they came back to finish um, but their height their height is such an advantage for them they have so many different hitters that are above six feet or six feet or taller, and so they're they're deadly in that way. Kubis picks up the kill from the setter spot. Is there a player you're most excited to watch on the big stage this evening? I'm just excited to see the whole thing, actually. I think there's so many great points on each team. They have both such different uh, styles where I think Linton, at, at being a little bit undersized, is so strong in serve-receive, it feels like their setter never has to move. And then you've got Northern Cast blocking and hitting and, and so many different options. So I think it's going to be a fun match overall. Well, Titans just picked up the ace courtesy of Keller. Yonner going to work. So first set, you know, they were tied right around that 14 mark. And then Langdon led the rest of the way. And now and since then, it just feels like Dickinson's really taking command of this one. Yeah, Titans scored four of the first five in the last set. And as they pick up another one here off the block. And that's a rare miss by Fregi. Langdon did come back in that last set. They were up 22 to 21 and had Morgan Fregi on the service line. Right now it's all about Victoria Keller on the service line. Doing something that not a lot of teams do. Picking up aces against a very, very good Langdon serve receive. Yeah, we talked early in this one. If they could just get going and get them out of system, not even necessarily pick up aces, they'd have success as yes. Fregi picks up yes. her 16th kill. Well, and this is why it's so important to keep them out of system. I mean, how do you handle a ball coming that fast? Duck, probably. Yeah, yeah. I'm Hope it's bit, out. I'm a little bit of a coward that way. <laughs> Morgan Thielbar fires away. Keller played really well the last few sequences. Havoc off the block. They set up Yonner. She rocks one to the corner. It's a good decision. Fregi. Kubis with another dig. Surpassed a thousand career digs earlier in this match. Field bar. Picked up by Erie. Kubis on the back set, Deschamps with an arrow. Nice job by Kubis to use all her hitters in that sequence. Uh, really moves their defense around and right, right side so hard to defend. Um, and you see the blockers weren't even really ready for that one. So nice job by Kubis to move it. Nice job by Deschamps to finish it. And Kubis knows how to spread the wealth and easy with the myriad of weapons this club has. Fregi near side, Erie first punch and then Jersey Erie, her sister, got on the floor for it. Kubis goes high, Pavic goes low. 
they're going to miss that combination next year with Kubis graduating. Timeout on the floor. Kubis won't be around next year. That's what they're missing. 8 3 here at the start of the third. Langdon. Love the way you move. All True Advanced Orthopedics. Learn more at alltrue.org slash ortho. For women who give their all for others every day, it's easy for self-care to get lost in the shuffle. Regular breast cancer screenings save lives. Take care of your loved ones by taking care of your health. Talk to your health care provider about a breast cancer screening today. Today's Game on Back brought to you by United. Dakota Community Bank and BASF, we create chemistry. Titans, after a tough first set, have been clicking ever since. Take the second 25-22 and a quick 8-3 start. Coach Avi Yonner leads the way with 13 kills, but they're really starting to spread the wealth. Five different players, including their setter, with at least two kills. Wow. Doing a really nice job. I'm pretty well behind the service line, too. This is a really good Langdon serve receive. Dickinson's got six aces as a team right now. Wow. And I don't know what the officials are discussing here. Yeah, I don't know. Well, maybe they're drying something. Looks like there's a wet spot on the floor, so a good job by the event center staff here. Been doing a wonderful job all week. Officials have been working hard. Two gyms, 24 different games across the class A and B levels, and it's been a smooth operation on the event center. First time it's here in Bismarck in a while. Of course, state tournament normally held in Fargo, but taking place in Bismarck this year. The Capital City has done a really nice job. It's a really nice gym to play in. I, I like, you know, I've, I've never been in this particular gym here, but I know having seen it now, I think it's a really nice arena for the girls to play in. There's lots of space. Um, it feels balanced on both sides, and there's room for plenty of fans. So I think it's a nice gym to host in, and then obviously the main Civic Center floor as well. And, of course, great crowds on hand for all of these programs this week. All right, spot is clear. Scores are checked. We're ready to get going again. 8-3. Titans off to a good start. Erie on the dig. Yonner downs another. They might want to double block her. She gets up. Nice swing here. She's on top of it. So yesterday we talked about staying behind the ball. That one you can see her behind it and she can direct it right where she wants. She had 16 kills of the five setter against Kenmare to open the tournament. Here in about two and a half so far, she's got 14. Kubis this time chooses to go to Pavic. Jab forced the free ball in system. Pavic set was a little off. Don't uh, see that much from Kubis. Did not come out of Kubis's hands the way she wanted to. You can see it on her face almost as soon as it left. Brings it into a 8-1 run there. Dickinson Trinity. Frigi, the serve has been deadly today. Nice job by Keller. Yonner, dug up by Frigi. Kubis set on point this time. Pavic off the block. Frigi on the floor for it. Hedeltwit, shot for Keller. Pavic forced the free ball. In system, here comes Schneider. Had a couple of these long rallies in the first. Kubis couldn't end it with a dump. Yep, they're not going to let her get too many more of those, I don't think. Instead, it's Yonner. Frigi, excellent defense out of the back row. Behind the antenna, nice job by Hedeltwit. Yonner rises, and the brush behind her head. They've seen her swing deep so many times, I think she just caught him. I was going to ask how many times is she going to jump in this volley, but she doesn't seem like she gets tired. Nice job. Catch the defense standing, waiting for a big hit. 15 kills for Yonner. We've got at least one more set to go. And the block worked out for the Titans, Yonner and Kovash. 
And this Dickinson block, you know, they've had some really strong stretches in this match alone where they get up and they cause a lot of problems. Then there's a while where, you know, you haven't seen them, haven't seen them, but then they come back. So whatever they're doing to, to make that happen, if they can maintain, they're going to be tough for Langdon to overcome. And Kovacs not usually a big blocker, only 17 in the regular season. She's got two here tonight, and yep. they pick up another, this time on the outside. They had Kubis hanging around. What's changed in the dynamic right now for Dickinson Trinity? Because first set, Langdon was doing whatever they want. Last one was close. And right now, Trinity's getting whatever they want. Just seems like nothing can fall on their side. Their hitters are making good decisions. A um, little bit of momentum and energy going their way. It seems like they're just finding the ball on defense. They just, they're anticipating really well, covering really well. And a few lucky breaks. Okay, well, we talked a lot about Yonner, but the Erie sisters, Jada and Jersey, have both played excellent defensively, and they're getting some great minutes right now out of number five, Victoria Keller, a defensive specialist. Yeah, doing a really nice job on that back line. A couple things that we think are down, and then these girls just keep it going. So really scrappy play by Dickinson. It was keep Erie on that dig. Schneider tipped away, and <laughs> <laughs> just knocked over our monitor here at the scores table. Everything seems yes. to be in proper order, and Langdon nice gets here. the point. So much need a break for Langdon to get the ball back and, and try to get some points on their side. Yeah, I'm sure our guys are thrilled about that break now. 13-5, to five, still a big lead for the Titans. Kubis, back set, he got her, pounds! Well, she must have been listening because we said, can she go left, and she's done it twice. That is a huge swing out of the middle. For Yonner. If this is her versatility as just a sophomore, just wait a couple of years. Yes. Another couple thousand swings. <laughs> Fregi in the corner. Gets it over. Kubis back for Kessel on the slide. Hooked over. Yonner was there. Kovash ricochets off the block. Overpass. Kessel, rise, denied. So now Langdon's block causing some problems here. Paddle to in the middle. Yonner well behind the attack line. Kessel tries and still can't get it to drop. Fiji's extra effort. Eldwit, deep shot. Kessel out of play, went off the net, not any hands. Really nice volley by both teams. Lots of good defensive plays, some big hits. Not the way you want this ball to end, but she's trying to make a decision to put it in a spot where they think they can score. And that was nearly going off the tape. Heddlechwood just crept it over, her second ace. Both teams play well on the service line. Yeah, creating a lot of points back there. That's nine aces as a team right now for Langdon. Almost 10. Quickly put into the back row. Yana was in position. The dump doesn't work out. Both teams in scramble mode. Kubis charged for the lift. All the lift there. She had to dig down just to get underneath that ball, so probably just a little bit of prolonged contact for them. Nice job by Fiji. I don't think they're going to let her get away with that dump. She's got an eye out for it now. Kovash, near side kill. Boy, their outsides really bring a nice answer for them. Uh, nice job by Kovash to put this down, and then you've got Pavic out there as well, and they both, you know, I mean, this is a team that when I think of, I think of middle hitters, and so for their outsides to be able to bring this much production, um, they've just really improved a lot throughout this season. Cardinals missed down the line, and Kovash, just a freshman, one of only two freshmen on this varsity squad. Talked about those eight sophomores at Nauseam. It is a young team that is probably not going anywhere for the next couple of years. Yep, certainly looking to make their way back here. Field bar played by Yonner. Kovash again. Right through the block. This is the best we've seen for the Titans all day. Langdon knows it. Kovash, the freshman, going to work. Team's up nine. Kim Electric is here to remind you to make safety your number one priority on the farm this and every season. 
With over 550 annual deaths, farming is one of the most dangerous professions. Always be aware of your surroundings and dress accordingly. Hazards on the farm can both be seen and unseen. Whether it's dangerous augers or underground power lines, dangers come in all shapes and sizes. So slow down, look up and around, and be safe this season. Your life depends on it. This farm safety message brought to you by Kim Electric. Dickinson and Langdon tied up at one set of piece. Titans up 17 to 8 in this third set. Download the Beck News weather app. You can download it on the back of the app store. You can get it on Google Play. It is your place you want to go to find out your in-depth weather report. Download that now. Best Titans have looked all day. Each out of set two win 25-22. Got up 6-2 to two in this third set. Have not looked back since. No, it's like they've got a full head of steam and good luck stopping. And everything is in. Everything is safe. Um, they're finding the floor with all sorts of hitters in all sorts of ways. So it just seems like every ball has gone their way. And credit to them. They're playing very well. Deshaun with that last kill. Six players with multiple kills. Leading the way is Yonner with 15. That one chased into the tight student section. Much needed point for the Cardinals out of... Yep. And nine points, that does seem like a big deficit. Certainly a team capable of coming back. But again, the biggest thing for them that I would say is points matter and get some momentum back here. Just one thing at a time. See if you can slow this, this Dickinson offense down, and then see what you can do yourselves. Try to cut the lead back to eight. Nice roll from Fieldbar. So nice job by Fieldbar. A little bit of change of pace on that ball and catches the Dickinson defense standing pretty deep. Hoping to get some offense out of Theobald and Schneider. Freegi leads the way with 16 kills. Nobody else more than three right now. Kubis, back set, little off the mark for Kovach. Freegi out of the middle, into the block. Ooh, making him work for it. They go back to Theobar on the outside, makes it work. And this is what the Cardinals have been hoping and praying for. They're getting some more production out of somebody not named Freegi. Yep, moving it around, doing a nice job of putting it on the floor and making a little bit of a run here. So we'll see how they keep going. Still a seven-point push in. Yonner couldn't make it eight. Field bar, pull it down the line. Wow. Oh, what an extra effort. First Deschamps kept it alive. And then, tell you what, a little gust of wind this might have gotten yep. over. Great hustling effort there by, by the players in red to try and get this ball back over the net. Meanwhile, it's four straight for Langdon. And their damage really is coming at the service line right now. They're keeping Dickinson out of system, haven't let him get into their offense. Oh, here they come now. Kessel. Great scramble. Amble played it back. Kovash off the block. Amble there again. Freegi. They go to Kovash. Chopped in front of the attack line. Again, phenomenal back row play. Kessel slices one. She's been looking for that left corner all day. She finally connects. But this volley, look at the scramble plays both teams are making here. You see Kessel go up, put it to the left. Way to finish. Both teams playing at the at the level you want in a state tournament. They go right back to Freegi, ripped down. Good effort from Kovash. Meanwhile, good effort doesn't stop Freegi from getting her second team kill. I would bet a lot of people say good effort against Freegi. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a tough one for teams playing. Our 21 yeah. kills in the opening round of the tournament against Thompson. Service error for the Cardinals and Swamps in 25 yesterday against the Lax Burlington. Both of those in three sets are going at least one more here. And such a phenomenal player. How often do you say 21 kills in the loss in the opening round and in three sets? A state champion in 2019, all state performer a year ago, state runner up last year, a decorated career, trying to go out fifth place as a senior. And doing everything she can to keep her team from falling too far behind. She's got so many options. She goes every direction, tips, rolls, big swings, deep swings, short swings. Really dynamic player. Kessel, another Pavic, rolls. 
Freegy again. Turned it off the block. That's been such a fun matchup to watch when her yes. and Yonner have gone one-on-one. -on -one. And they're not in the front together very often um, with just how the rotations are set up, but they do, they do, they're fun to watch against each other. And Freegy been a fun to watch all by herself. 19 kills right now, trying to will her team back into this third set. Oh, if it ain't broke. <laughs> just out of play. And that one had to be pretty close. You can hear the Langdon crowd is not happy with that call. Nice ball. Awfully close. This will be our best look right yep, here. Here you go. Yeah, that looks pretty close to me. Instead of a four-point deficit, it's the Titans by six. Make it seven. And like you said, a fun matchup between these two going back and forth, both scoring off each other at the net with, with the blocks going up. 17 kills for Yonner, 19 for Freegi. The two have gone tit for tat all night. Yonner again. Picks up another. The lead is seven. Nice swing. She goes both directions. So I asked earlier if she could go left. She proved it. She comes back right, firing both directions. What a great hitter. Just a sophomore in this tournament. If Tice calls you out, you got something to prove. <laughs> Kubis on the dump. Second time she's gotten the roll off the tape. I kind of like that foot shot, though, trying to keep it in the air. <laughs> the extra effort on the soccer move by Swanson. Set point for the Titans. Freegi. Kubis tries another dump. Freegi plays it high. Thought, thought the tape was going to be her friend again. Kubis for Pavic. Blocked off the antenna. Titans take set three in dominating fashion. 25-15. Back after this. I invite you to stop at Dakota Community Bank and Trust and meet our professional insurance agents. They offer numerous lines of insurance, including farm, ranch, federal crop and hail, commercial, home and auto. As an independent agency, they offer product solutions from a wide variety of companies. Our insurance professionals would like to get to know you and visit about your insurance needs. Serving the community, looking out for you. At Dakota Community Bank and Trust, that's what we do. It's time to find your next Chevy truck and forge ahead. Take on new challenges and take it to the next level. It's the perfect time to do more in your next Chevy. Find new possibilities, find new roads. Very well qualified buyers can get 2.49% financing and $1,000 cash allowance on this Silverado. Plus, unlock your code to claim $500 Chevy Cybercash on most Silverado 1500 crew cab pickups. Hi, I'm Eric Hardmeyer, president of the Bank of North Dakota, and I want to talk to you about student loans. We encourage you to keep education expenses and student loan debt down. One way to do this is by earning college credit by taking dual credit or AP classes in high school. Research the starting salary you will make in your career before taking out student loans. Calculators on our website help you determine the highest amount of debt you should consider. They say when the going gets tough, the tough get going. At OK Tire, we are here to keep you going. From Firestone tires and replacements to retreads and even Firestone tracks, we have you covered. Our certified Firestone experts are ready to get you back up and running, no matter if you're on site or in the field, saving you time and money. OK Tire, we keep the tough going. For all your commercial and residential heating and cooling needs, call in Prairie Heating and Air of Linton. With a service area spanning over 5,000 miles, Prairie Heating and Air is the service leader for all of South Central North Dakota. Our service and sales team provides prompt service, competitive pricing, and local customer care. Reduce energy costs and save money this year with a more efficient heating and cooling system. Prairie Heating and Air, we control the weather on the inside. This is Cass Clay Country. From early mornings on our farms to evening dinners in your homes, our dairy farmers are your neighbors, your friends, your family. 
Our goal is to make your mornings a little brighter, your days more fulfilled, and to remind you, when it comes to quality, there is no expiration date. When choosing Cass Clay products, you're supporting your community. Cass Clay, homegrown pure goodness. Robin Moss and Scott Lurch and Jesse Schwab all doing their thing on the Raptors today as we enter set four, trying to decide who's going home with fifth place here at the state tournament. Langdon starts off with a service error. That first serve, of course, is brought to you by Dagelman Industries, engineered tough. With Bishop Bryant head coach Mick Tice, David Sugarman on hand. Titans trying to pick up win number 30 on the season and close out with a fifth place finish. Tack error there from Pavic. Didn't look like the same Dickinson, or rather Langdon team from the first set. Be 25-22, then 25-15 in the third. What's got to be different here? They're going to have to, well, starting out with an ace, they're going to have to change their serve receive here and put the ball in their setter's hands. Obviously, we know they've got the hitting tools to win, so they're going to have to be able to find a way to get the ball to Swanson so she can deliver to her hitters. Well, even on a couple of errors, probably a better start for Langdon. Got down the last couple of sets, 4-1 and 6-2. Yep, yep. Swing just a little bit wide there. Swanson fires. Good first touch. Kubis leaves her havoc. That one off the tape. So Dickinson obviously coming off a big set win. Um, maybe a little bit of a high momentum coming back down. They're going to have to find a way to dig in and bring some of that energy back. Tight. They want to close this out in four. Kubis for Kessel. She does the rest. Nice swing here by Kessel, um, putting it off the block. So she does a nice job, too, of cutting both directions. These middles really doing a nice job of getting around blockers, yeah. which is what it takes to get to state. Hey, her and Yana have shown some good versatility today. Deshaw just stayed off the antenna in the net. Freegi been the catalyst today. Pavic scoops it up. Erie on the punch. Freegi turned away by Yana. Oh, these two are fun to watch together in the front row. How many sophomores do you think can say, I blocked Freegi in her senior season? It's a short list. <laughs> Morgan Freegi, who even here in the fifth place game, is arguably one of the best players in this year's state tournament. 25 kills yesterday, 21 in the first round, up to 19 today. Turned away on that last one, and then the service error from Trinity. Coming right back with Yonner. She's got no fear. She's been astounding today. 19 kills, a tournament high. Titans team trying to finish in fifth place for the second straight year. Last year lost to Northern Cass in the opening round before sweeping our Redeemers and Flasher. Kubis for Pavic on the roll. Freegi. Kubis called everyone off. Freegi, off balance, punch. Doing everything she can to give her team a lead here. You talked about at the beginning, Langdon's got to find someone else to score because Freegi's phenomenal, but it's tough when it's a one-person game. Yeah, Freegi's got 20. They've had a couple other players step up a little bit more than yesterday. Thielbar does have four, and Schneider has three. The serve, but just as dynamic today for Freegi. Another ace, her fifth at topspin serve has been lethal. You know, I know I've seen her miss one, but she, this ball's designed to drop. They, they should back up a little bit. You can see it coming down. Five, six aces now. And this is where the Cardinals can really cook and pick up some free points. Yeah, it's fun to watch when the camera's behind her just to see how that spin comes. Just a low spin, full speed serve, tough to handle. Freegi, finally played by Erie. Yonner responds, ricochets off the block. A big side out just to nothing else, even if you give it back right here, get Freegi off the service yes. line. Yes, got her off the service line and got her off the front line. So a couple different key points for Dickinson to make a push. 20 kills a pop for Freegi and Yonner now. 
This time down the line with Schneider. And set was off. They wanted Kovash. Yeah, yep, a little bit tight there. Wasn't much she could do with that. Langdon squad with, like we touched on, a ton of experience. The second most wins in state title history, actually, with four. Only team with more in Class B is Thompson with five. Thompson came in third place today with a sweep over the Kenmare Hulkers. And two very decorated programs and coaches. Erie digs it up. Joust rolls back to the Cardinals. Schneider denied. Kubis leaves it blasted by Yonner, dug up by Frigi. Free ball in system. Kubis with a hook. They've done a really nice job of defending her since the start of the third set. A they long are. rally finally ends with a heddle twit kill. Langdon is not going to let Kubis score too many points. I think they're going to try and make her use her hitters here. And Kubis at that center spot has four kills today. A couple of dumps. Does have one swing. Short, 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 short. Keller came up to make the dig. Now the free ball out of play. After losing the third set by 10, Langdon for the five-point edge here in set four. Kovash, beautiful cut shot. Got Better nice cut. dig on the overpass from Hedlchwit. Early celebration by Langdon there as they thought that one was down. Overpass. Now Cardinals in some trouble. They go right back to Yonner. She does the deed. Watch her come around on this. So she she passed and kind of where she was, she made a good decision, called for the ball behind the setter. She used to be a right side, so no fear coming around. Nice dig out of the back. Varsity by the eighth grade started as a backup setter, but converted into one of the best hitters in class B. Langdon goes back up by five. Swanson's first kill. Kovash, rise and fire. The roll, Kessel on a punch up. Erie can't make the play. Field bars, fifth. So Langdon making a really nice run here, moving the ball well. Their serves again are giving Dickinson quite a bit of troubles. Heddle twin, two aces today. How about a third? Love when that happens that way. Time out on the floor, 13-6. Langdon trying to force a fifth in our fifth place match. Toro is America's number one brand of snowblowers. So you know you can trust Toro to power you through deep snow faster. Throwing it farther. Leaving your path cleaner. With innovations that make it easier. And now Toro snowblowers are even more powerful and more durable than ever before. This winter, don't take snow for an answer. Toro, count on it. See the full line of Toro power equipment at the Acme Tool Store near you. At Service Basin Transportation, just give us a call to arrange transportation within our seven-county ridership. We serve a large area, including many towns, in the Magic City, or even to the capital city, Bismarck door-to-door -door service for less cost of an uber lift or taxi for shopping for dining for doctor's appointments for visiting it's minot's most convenient way to travel to bismarck within minot or anywhere within our seven county region service basin transportation A Langdon flipping the script here in the fourth set lost a third by ten up by seven right now Trying to force a fifth, playing for fifth place here in the Class B State Tournament. Field bar blasted to the corner, missed the mark. Just a little bit, she might have been a little in front of it, but she was trying to hit that cross corner shot just to see if she could get it to come down, so I'd like to see her keep swinging there. Hammered by Frigi. Kovash rocks one. Out of the middle, beautiful brush from Schneider. Titans are ready for it. Nice job by Erie to keep that alive. 
Jill Barr, another roll, this one works. I think that's a really mature decision by her. She's a senior, but a really mature decision as a hitter. Okay, your last one went out, so she tries a different shot, but she's going the same direction. She had the back row really backed up, so nice job to put that one down. And she started to present herself as that second option behind Fregi with six kills as Kessel misses the corner. Fregi's led the way with 20. Theo Barr with six kills, McKenna Schneider with three, Heddle Twit for two, and that's the scoring as far as the kill category goes. Right now for Langdon, right now it's more than enough. Up by eight, right back to Theo Barr, down the line. So really, she's doing a nice job. She is using a lot of different spots on the court. A um, little bit of friendly, friendly roll off the tape, but good decision to turn it down the line there. Yonner comes up from the back row. Look how high she gets on this. So back row swing, she still gets herself up behind and on top of the ball, and she can direct it right in that gap between the passers. 22 kills for Yonner. Her tournament's high 18, and that was at a five-setter against Ken Mayer. And this one's still not early, but not late yet necessarily in the fourth. Langdon still hoping for a fifth. However, Fregi into the block. Kessel and Pavic. Pavic will get credit for the denial service error. And Langdon creeping closer to forcing a fifth and final set. Not what you need in a comeback run. Well, if you're Langdon, it's what you need in your <laughs> comeback round. And if you're Dickinson in the set, no. In the short term for Dickinson, no. no. In the long term for Langdon, yes. yes. So high off the floor. Still yep. impressive to watch, even yep. on an attack error for yep. Yonner. I don't know if she knew that that was coming to her, but I like the decision. I mean, she's been scoring well, even out of the back, so. For a young player, she just never seems to have any indecisiveness. She's going full mm -hmm. throttle. She always knows what she wants to do. Yeah, and she swings so hard. So That's a hard she. swing. <laughs> Fregi the smile on her back. Smile on her face after a swing like that. How can you not? Free ball overpass just down. Fregi, kill number 21. Time out. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance. Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF, we create chemistry. Women's Way, United and Turtle Mountain Communications. Langdon area, Edmore, Munich, down two sets to one and playing like their backs are against the wall. Want to make sure they get at least one more set in. They got a 10-point edge, needs six more to force a fifth and final set. Last game of the year for both of these squads. Titans want to finish in fifth for the second straight year. Langdon coming off that state runner-up, trying to finish in fifth this time around. Redeemed themselves after the opening round loss. Nicely done here after the set by Kubis. Havoc with the kill. We've really seen all these hitters demonstrate different ways to put the ball on the floor. They've used tips, rolls, big swings. They've cut both directions. So nice job by these Dickinson hitters. And Pavic, she's had a really nice run. Cardinals a little over eager. It was Fregi and Rumpho. Fregi got whistled going in and over the net. Way tight to the net. Nicely done by Swanson. Jams calls for it. Fregi. Accuracy off the mark there. Three in a row out of the timeout for Dickinson. I wondered if this was maybe touched. I don't know if it caught her pinky, but definitely the right call on the line by the line judge. Fregi slaps to the middle. Kubis hangs for Yonner. Rolled back by Fregi. The joust won by Fregi. The battle wears on. Yes, no doubt that that one was in bounds, but 
these two have gone back and forth quite a few times. It'd be fun to see if they started in the front together and how, how much fun that matchup could be. Be more fun if Freeju was still a sophomore and these two had a couple more years to go against yes. each other. The overpass right back for Freeji. I think it stuck just a little bit long in her hands. A lift on Freeji, a rare mistake yep. tonight. Yep, just a little bit. Yep, caught it. Stuck long, ref didn't like that one. Just webbed it a moment too long. Lead is seven, still for Langdon. Freeji, right side attack. Right side kill. Leaving no doubt that she is one of the best hitters we've seen. Not just in this tournament, but in the state. No doubt there, over 600 on the season. She's also got an excellent serve, six aces today. Keller scrapes that one out. Overpass. And Cardinals figure it out with Heddle Twin. Yeah, nice job to keep it in play there by the Cardinals and then to finish the play. Three kills for Heddle Twit. Cardinals are three away from forcing a fifth set. Freegi been lethal today, serving. She, she could she could see it on her toss. She just she was a little bit in front of it. It wasn't where she wanted it to go, but such a deadly serve. It's fun to see her use that. Man, six aces, only served twice on that run. A sigh of relief for Dickinson Trinity. The leads to eight, however, for Langdon. Kovash punches. She might have got away with getting over the line. Yep. I was close. Yep. Kubis for Yonner. Back row miss. I didn't see where that one landed. So I was looking at the line judges to make a call. It must have been out on the back. Yep, the line judge back there called it out on that back line. Yonner lets loose. Instead, now it's Hedl Twit. Kovash off balance. From the back row, Freeji leads to the overpass. Trouble for Langdon. Erie, Kubis, Yonner. Long rally. Langdon looking for the delivering blow. They get one from Schneider, one more, and we're going to a fifth set. So she does a nice job there to see the floor to turn that after a good volley. Um, it doesn't have to be a big swing mm -hmm. to score a point. Third set was 25-15, Dickinson Trinity. Fourth set is 25-14, Langdon. The ace from Amble will go to a fifth to decide who comes at fifth at state. Different. Yet similar. Independent and free. With a sense of belonging, as unique as North Dakota itself. Healthcare coverage in today's world should reflect who you really are. Your way. Your blue. The future is bright for Touchstone Energy Cooperatives. You inspire us to find solutions to provide the energy our community needs and the knowledge you can use to save you and your family money and keep business thriving. Great things lie ahead, and what's here today has never been better. A message from Northern Plains Electric, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. to know and trust us for over 18 years with the largest selection and showroom in Western North Dakota for our beautiful Sundance spas. Plus, you can pick out your next home experience with our selection of pool tables, shuffle boards, and fun accessories. Spas, etc. Your relaxation destination on Maine and Bismarck. For women who give their all for others every day, it's easy for self-care to get lost in the shuffle. 
Regular breast cancer screenings save lives. Take care of your loved ones by taking care of your health. Talk to your health care provider about a breast cancer screening today. At Dakota Community Bank and Trust, you can trust us to make home loans easy. You can fill out an application online, on the phone, or in person. People who have used online-only companies have found it very difficult and frustrating if they have a question. But with us, you can just stop in. We are real people supporting you in the communities we serve, keeping North Dakota money working for the benefit of our community. Serving the community, looking out for you. At Dakota Community Bank and Trust, that's what we do. Do you remember where this goes? I don't know. Are you sure it wasn't clicking and not a zoom, zoom? I think your quash litter bell's stuck. Do you even have insurance? If we soak it, it should be good. <laughs> no matter how much you know or don't know about your vehicle, trust the experts at Tires Plus. Real answers from real mechanics. Inspections are free to ensure your vehicle is always in peak condition. Thinking service, think Tires Plus. This is the third five-setter of the Class B State Tournament. The second for Dickinson Trinity. Lost in the first round against Ken Mayer. They can redeem themselves here and take fifth place at the State Tournament. Start of set five, brought to you by Dagelman Industries. Visit Dagelman.com for more info. Engineered tough. Third set, Dickinson dominated 25 to 15. Langdon bounces back 25-14. Now it's the first of 15 to take fifth place. Coach, this does not feel like a fifth place match. This building's got a little energy to it. I know, yeah. Both crowds really excited, cheering on their squads. Five sets. That's what you want in a state tournament. This is what you want out of your team. Service error off the back for Langdon. And you can hear the Dickinson portion of this crowd. Joust. Won by the Titans, Olivia Kessel. Yeah, there's definitely been an energy change from set four to set five. Um, nice job by Kessel at the net here to turn that away from the Langdon defense. Two zip start. Freegi been the catalyst today, keeps on rolling in her final game of her career. She's up to 24 kills. Wow. Nice job, cross court shot. She's just so much to handle. She, you know, she uses her whole body to swing at the ball, and I think that's one of the things that makes her so effective. Every game in this tournament, she has gone for more than 20 kills. Will it be enough to secure fifth place? Kubis lofts. Fregi yelling for it. That means give it to her. And if you're ever going to demand a ball. Now's the time, and if a person's going to do it, it's her. Next time we, we see her on the floor, she'll be playing for Valley City State. Right now, all her focus and all her skill is being used for the Cardinals. One last time, ace for Langdon. Three straight for the Cardinals. Swanson, her second. So some early smiles on the Dickinson side. Now some smiles on the Langdon side. Near the right pin, little floater, the touch from Deschamps. Nice decision there. She's a little bit off the net, and you can just watch. She gets up, just soft touch, turns it away from where Fregi thought the tip was going to go. Three a pop, service error from Keller. She tapped her chest, knew that one was on her. Keller does have three aces, has served aggressively and well today. Gives one away there. It's the, going to take aggressive serving to finish. Yonner floats. That one stayed near a wild joust. Back to the Titans. Kubis for Pavic to the middle. 3G. Rise and roll on the tape. Long rallies have to find this match. So has the play of Morgan 3G. Kubis tracks it down. Yonner free ball. That one might have gone out of play. Into the Titans really, kill. Really nice spot there to put that free ball. Nobody was talking, so Langdon's players don't know. Is this in? Is it out? It's on them to kind of communicate with each other. Nice swing here. Near side, Pig. Freegi goes back to work. Kill 26. 
Nice job. She went down the line on this one. She's gone cross court a lot on that right side, but she saw the block. She's just going to turn it where she wants. The whole floor has been her canvas tonight. Also has six aces. Seven. The clutchest of the night. That was that one had to paint the line. Nice serve, just cuts it. Yeah, right on the line. Frigi, the tossman serves been lethal. Kubis, wonderful back set. Yonner can't finish. She got just like yesterday, she got herself a little bit in front of this set, and so it's hard for her to snap it down. You wonder when Dickinson Trini head coach Brianna Sisson starts to think about that timeout. Bear in mind, only got to get to 15 in this fifth set. Yeah, not room for a gap here. Got to get Yonner, rather Frigi, off the service line right now. That won't help. Pavic misses. Timeout Titans. 8-4. Langdon has bounced back. Seven away from a fifth place finish. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance. Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF, we create chemistry. Women's Way. United and Turtle Mountain Communications. Priority number one for Dickinson Trinity out of this timeout has to be getting Morgan Frigi off the service line. Seven aces right now, and even when it's not an ace, they're having trouble getting it in the system. Yeah, it's this top spin search. She put so much speed on it, and they're just having a hard time containing it, bringing it back. 88 aces coming into the match, seven tonight, including one just a couple of points ago. Langdon's on a 4-0 run here in the fifth set. Crowd falls silent here at the event center. Not for long. She's got to lead this tournament in scoring in terms of blocks, aces, and kills. Such a deadly ball, and it, it, she goes back and forth, short and deep. 26 kills and eight aces today. Little bit of hesitation on that and serve. Still leads to the overpass. Finally, Titans respond. Down five, got to make something happen. Kubis for Yonner, tools the block. And when you got to make something happen, who better to go to than Yonner? 24 kills for her tonight. Her and Frigi have put on a show. Yes, been really a treat for us and for all the fans watching. Still got Yana for two more seasons. Frigi's final game as a high school player. Down the line, the poke is off for the freshman run foe. She's got quite a few seasons left as well. I'm sure her role is going to change as they graduate Frigi and a couple other hitters off this squad. And no doubt. Hasn't had a kill yet today. Off the mark there. Erie out of the middle. Keller chases it down. And out of play, went outside the antenna. A miscue from Keller, who's played very well tonight. Yes, she's had some really nice digs, a couple really nice serves. Um, funny angle for her. I mean, not much you can do there. Taryn Amble had the ace to end set number four. And picks up one here. Everything's dropping right now on the serve for Langdon. Dickinson uses their second timeout. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance. Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF. We create chemistry. Women's Way. United and Turtle Mountain Communications. Aces have been a theme all night for Langdon, and no more than in this fifth set. They've got three aces, one here for Taryn Amble, who's back on the service line, and the room for error has been crunched down to a minimal size right now for the Titans. Amble fires away. Kubis for Yonner. Great job by the Cardinals, pounded back by Schneider. Yonner into the back row, finally gets one. 
Nice job here by Yonner. She's just such a dynamic player. Watch her swing. She gets on top of it. She's painted both corners. Um, I think Langdon's going to give her some respect after this match. Last couple sets have belonged to Langdon. 25-14 and now up 11-7. Yonner sets up Kovac. The corner is hers. She makes a great, they make a great 2-1 punch with her on the outside and then both their middles being so strong. Critical service error from Yonner. <laughs> Pedal twit, three aces this evening. Yuri, trouble. Kovas creeps it over. Into the middle, crank to the floor by Fieldbar. She's had a lot of success with that roll shot. All night the question was who would step up beyond Fregi. The answer's been Fieldbar with eight kills. Yep, and she just soft touch. That's a lot of control. Service error from Heddleswit. The door still open right now for Dickinson Trinity. Can't afford any more service errors, however. Kubis, team high, 74 aces in the regular season. Picks up the clutchest of the year there. So Dickinson is not going away. They're trying to keep in this and fight for this, this match. A fifth place match with championship intensity right now at the event center. Field bar through the block. Cardinals are one away from fifth place. So Langdon has put themselves in a nice spot to finish. It'll be Halley Jabs to serve. Two aces tonight. Won't end on an ace. Deshaw floats. Freegy. Deshaw, quick dump. Freegy on the slide. And the finish. Morgan Freegy caps her Cardinal career with another kill. Langdon takes the fifth place match. What a match we had here today, though. Both these teams, a heck of a lot to be proud of. Cardinals down two sets to one, and they just came out and dominated the back two. Yeah, lots of fun to watch. Both these teams, a lot of offense generated. Um, both teams bring some key players back. Lots of really, really good volleyball in this fifth place match. This feels like a state tournament. Yeah, Langdon will finish the season 36-5. and five. Dickinson Trinity 29-9-2. and two. Let's take a look at our player of the game brought to you by Women's Way. And pretty obvious choice if you've been paying attention. Morgan Freegi by our unofficial count. Who cares if it's unofficial? 27 kills. She also had eight aces whenever they needed a big point, as it's been the case all season long. They went to her. Yeah, she does a really nice job. She's fun to watch. Uh, been a staple at this state tournament for five straight years. Six years ago, she was on the roster in a jersey. Um, really decorated career, really fun player for this Langdon squad. A state champion in 2019, a runner-up last year, fifth place this year. We're going to hand it over to the PA announcer as they give out some awards here after the fifth place match. AA, distinguished student, Brooke Ruby. We'd like to thank NDHSAA, premier sponsor of North Dakota Farmers Union Insurance, and supporting sponsor Vision Zero for their sponsorship of NDHSAA sports and activities. Will the captain from the Titans please come forward to receive your sixth place trophy and individual award? Would the captains from the Cardinals please come forward to receive your fifth place trophy and individual awards? Thanks to the Titans and Cardinals for a great year. This concludes the award ceremony. So some awards given out. Nice to see two stellar seasons for the Dickinson Trinity Titans, fifth place in state a year ago, a spot back this year, still a wonderful season for Dickinson Trinity. They finish in sixth. Langdon, after finishing his state runner-ups a year ago, rebound from an opening round loss to Thompson 
take Feed Deluxe Burlington and now tickets in Trinity in five to take fifth place in the state tournament. That'll do it for this match. We'll take a short break and then we're coming with championship action. Just in a few minutes, the Class A championship match will tip off, followed at about 7 o'clock by the Class B match. Until then, take a short break, and we will see you later for my partner Nick Tice and our entire Beck Sports crew. I'm David Trigman saying so long, but we'll see you in a few from the Event Center. The telecast of this tournament game has been authorized by special arrangement with the Board of Directors of the North Dakota High School Activities Association. Bismarck Central, 4800. 4800, go ahead. Requesting social services on call team. Stand by. 4800 social services requesting additional information. You can advise social services that we have an 18-month-old female who was in a residence with a mother now being transported to medical care for overdose. And we head to the second with a one nothing lead for the defending champs. And you're squared up to the corner, you realize no one's there. You just give it a push and uh, and hope it catches the catches the corner in the line. Only the fifth kill of the season for Halle Mattern. They want Ballman to end it. Not yet. Ketterlin chases it down. Back set to Harder. Rips it into the corner. A dominant second set goes the way of the defending champs, and the Patriots are just one set away from the semifinals. And the Century bench, along with the Century fans, up to their feet inside the Bismarck Event Center. One point away from the state semis. Overpass. Bowman dumps it home, and Century sweeps their way into the semis. A 3-0 sweep, and Century for the 11th year in a row will play in the state semis after a 25-19 win in the third. We wrap it up on our Women's Way postgame show when we come back. It's our Women's Way player of the game, Macy Fridge, and with seven kills tonight in a couple blocks. Listen, you could have picked a name out of a hat and been right tonight with the way that Century played. The balance has been the story all season long. Macy Fridge in one of many today for the Patriots. Absolutely. Macy had a really good uh, opening match today, and so did several of the uh, Century Patriots who could have handed out that award to a variety of them. And that's what makes them so tough, right? They, they come from a lot of different angles. It's really tough to defend. You slow one down and somebody else finds another way. But... Uh, Great match by Macy Fringen and the uh, Century Patriots. Five different players had at least five kills in a three-set sweep for Century here in the quarterfinals over Davies. Led by the 10 of Logan Nisley, but seven and a couple blocks tonight for Macy Fringen. The University of Jamestown commit playing in her final state tournament at the high school level. Quick night of work for Century here in the quarterfinals. 26-24, 25-11, and 25-19 the win for the Patriots. Today, we clinched two spots in the Class A state championship. The first of two semifinals pits the Bismarck High Demons and the West Fargo Packers on back. She's even jumping on the celebration. She's looking more and more healthy as this one goes on. No margin for error for the Packers. High off the block. Here's Renner trying to end it. And she does. Kennedy Renner taking over the last few points. BHS takes the first set of the Class A semifinal. He did a block and, and they delivered. How about out of the timeout? Bismarck High with two straight points. Bit of trouble on the serve receive. Schnell into the net and Bismarck High calls a timeout. Comes out and rattles off three points. They're up two sets to none in the Class A state semifinal. And BHS is one point away from a state title match appearance. The 
ace ends it. Bismarck High on to the state championship match tomorrow. They will play for the ultimate Class A crown for the first time since 2016 in a sweep of West Fargo. Not shocking to see a BHS win, maybe to see a sweep. That was impressive. It was an impressive performance today. You know, coming in, there was so much so much doubt about the health of the, of the Bismarck Demons, but uh, they, they just found a way to click on all cylinders. Uh, all those players played, and uh, they, they had more than enough uh, to punch their ticket to the state title game. All right, it's Genevieve Birchenall, nine kills and a balanced attack. She really stepped up today, one of her best matches of the season in the semifinals. Yeah, absolutely. When they needed someone to step up today, she was there. She picked them apart uh, from the middle position and really gave them an emotional spark with swinging, tipping, um, and blocking the ball. It was uh, it was a really a good thing uh, to see the play out of her today, I'm sure, if you're Coach Klein. So kudos to Genevieve. A great effort uh, in the semifinals. Two of their top players, her teammates Kennedy Renner and Brooke Curtis, ankle issues from the quarterfinals. Weren't sure if either of them were going to play, but they did, and so did Virginal. She's our women's way player of the game. How about a sweep for BHS? They are into the semifinals where they will play either Century or Shanley. There's one spot left in tomorrow's state championship match from the Bismarck Event Center. Bismarck High swept its way past West Fargo in our first semifinal, and now it's Shanley against the defending state champs in Bismarck Century. You can laugh when you got a little bit of breathing room. It's still a six-point lead on set point for Century. Back set to Fridgen. Cross court, and that's the winner in set one. It's fittingly Macy Fridgen to end set one. Six kills for the senior, and Century wins 25-18 in the first. Nine-point cushion here on set point for Century. Clark wants Dennis. Now Vetter sets, tipped over by George. Quick set, bomb in, upped by Vetter. Back set, harder, scooped up by the freshman Robin. And then a breakdown, and it results in the set going to Century. 25-15, the final. Look out. Just perhaps a little too little, too late here. You got to go six, seven, got to go six points in a row. We'll see what she can do. May as well be aggressive with it. Fletcher sets Bauman. Blocked back, but it's out of bounds. And for the 11th consecutive year, Century will play in the state title match. Twenty-five to eighteen, the final in the third set, and Century sweeps their way past Shanley in the state semis to advance to take on their big rival Bismarck High tomorrow in the state championship. New Year, same result. Century will play for a state title tomorrow, and it's led by Logan Nisley. She had just two kills a set and a half into this thing, but over the next set and a half, Chris. 10 kills to give her 12 total, and she was the closer for Century in the semis. Yeah, she really was the closer. She is the anchor for this team and does a lot of different things. She's a primary passer, a primary defensive player, and a big key on the offensive side. But one of the things that tends to go unnoticed sometimes, or, or you know, you don't get uh, just watching the game, is her leadership ability. This is a team with eight seniors. Logan Nisley's a junior. She's, we're told that by her coach, she is the leader of this team, and that's a tough that's a tough role. Uh, not a lot of players out there can handle leading a team of, of, of seniors like that, but she does it from the junior spot and does a great job of it. So credit to her today on a great game. Credit today on the Patriots on a fantastic win. Uh, can't wait to see that final tomorrow. The decade of dominance continues into a new decade. Century for an 11th straight year will play in the state championship match, and it's against their biggest rival tomorrow, Bismarck High. 
fifth sweep in five tries this postseason, all the way through the conference tournament and now the first two rounds of the state tournament for Century. 25-18, 25-15, and 25-18. It's a sweep for Century onto the state championship match tomorrow against BHS. Thanks so much for joining us in the Class A semis. Can't wait to bring you the Class B semis and then the final day tomorrow. I just went in for a regular mammogram and I found out that I had a little tumor. Through the exam and the and biopsy, it was determined that I had cancer. I got a call from one of my doctors that I was diagnosed with breast cancer. After five years, they found a local reoccurrence. The first thing you hear when, when you're told you have a cancer, it's a little daunting because you don't know where to go with it. Since 1999, in a partnership between CHI St. Alexius Health and Sanford Health Bismarck, the Bismarck Cancer Center has provided the most advanced radiation therapies and holistic support services for cancer patients and their loved ones for 20 years. I've been at the Bismarck Cancer Center since it started. I actually was in the basement of Med Center 1 before when we had old machines and old equipment and thankfully the two hospitals at the time, St. Alexis and Med Center One, joined forces to create the Bismarck Cancer Center. I walk in the door, I get nothing but hugs, and I was marveled at them. I mean, I thought it was the best place in the world. The staff is unbelievably compassionate, and they explain everything to you. Everybody's genuinely concerned about your well-being, and the level of care is just top-notch. The Cancer Center just does such an amazing job of helping people. To me and my family, the Cancer Center means life. It's given me the ability to, to live out my life with my family, my wife, my children, my grandchildren. Because of them, I'm two years out. I get to move on with my life, make a difference now for other people. I would recommend this center because the minute you walk through that door, they've got your back. This center means so much to me and to the people that are in this building and we just want to keep giving it back to the community and providing for them what they need. I'm Katie, I've been cancer free for two years. I'm Steve and I've been cancer free for four years. I've been cancer free for 10 years. 10 years. 11 years. 15 years. My name is Lainey and I've been cancer free for 18 years. Bismarck Cancer Center, your partner against cancer for 20 years. Howdy folks, it's the Caneline Cafe. I reckon it's time you'll do for a hearty meal. So saddle up for the day with one of our hay boss and breakfast yeah. homemade soups. Fill your grill at a salad bar, sink your teeth into our famous Caneline burger and barbecue ribs. Mm -hmm. Top it off with spur rattling pie with a calm roll that's sure to put a smile on even the toughest outlaws. Yeah. Shake the dirt off the boots each night and warm up with the game. Tell them about it, Stacy. I can't wait to see you at the county line. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance. Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF. We create chemistry. Women's Way. The telecast of this tournament game has been authorized by special arrangement with the board of directors of the North Dakota High School Activities Association. Bismarck High on to the state championship match tomorrow. 
Blocked back, but it's out of bounds. And for the 11th consecutive year, Century will play in the state title match. The city of Bismarck hosting the state tournament for the first time since 1988. Isn't it fitting we have an all Bismarck title match as the BHS Demons take on the defending champion Century Patriots. In the event center, happy to have you along with us. Chris Clayton here with Chris Mahoney for the ultimate crown. And this is a highly anticipated match, obviously because it's the state title, but also because it's all Bismarck. A great environment for a great matchup between two of the state's best teams. Yeah, absolutely. You couldn't ask for a better environment. Look at the fans filing in here today to see this game. Uh, the hosts got just what they wanted. A couple of high school teams from Bismarck. They're playing each other. They can't be disappointed with that. Super crowd, super atmosphere. It's going to be an exciting afternoon. Couldn't have asked for a better script than this with two of the best teams out of the West region all year long meeting in the title match. This is the fifth time these teams have played this season. They went 2-2 two and two against one another in the regular season. So further supporting this kind of a perfect matchup here, building the anticipation. But what can we glean from those regular season matchups? Obviously, Century got that WDA championship sweep. Yeah, I would probably draw most of, most of my conclusions from the most recent matchup, the West Region Championship. Uh, we know earlier in the year when they played that uh, Bismarck Century wasn't at 100% with some illnesses on their team and some kids out of their lineup. But that championship match, Century, Century really showed and flexed their muscle. They're, uh, they're the defending champions for a reason, and uh, I'm going to draw some conclusions from that that says that I think Century is the team to beat today in this, in this year's state final. And they've earned the right to be the favorite. This is their 11th straight state title match appearance for BHS. Last time they were in the state championship was 2016. They played Century. Unfortunately, they lost that match trying to get some revenge here five years later. When we come back, we'll dive into this matchup more. It's the Class A State Championship on Beck, Century, and BHS from the Event Center. Do you hear that? <laughs> That's the sound of you, your family, living your lives first. And this is exactly what we love to hear. At First International Bank and Trust, living first is intentional, providing your family sound banking solutions so you are free to live one breath, one splash at a time. First International Bank and Trust. Live first. Ag producers, North Dakota's electric cooperatives remind you to watch for electric hazards. When operating large equipment, your local electric cooperative recommends using a spotter and maintaining distance of 10 feet from power lines in all directions at all times. And always consider down lines energized. Your local electric cooperative's priority is safety, the safety of their employees, and you, their members. Stay safe, stay watchful. This message is brought to you by North Dakota's electric cooperatives. Your similarities. Your differences. Your challenges. Your success stories. Healthcare coverage in today's world should empower you to be who you really are. As unique as North Dakota itself. Your way, your blue. Mayville State University is a place where students have the chance to discover their paths to success, whether that's in the classroom, on the field, or on the stage. Small class sizes, hands-on learning experiences, and our unmatched personal service ensure that our students come first. Here, students are more than just a number. They are part of a family. Go to mayvillestate.edu to see what opportunities lie ahead for you. Mayville State University, your success is closer than you think. This is the Farmers Union Insurance pregame show. For all of your insurance needs, contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent or go to FUMIC.com. BHS and Century, an all Bismarck state championship match between two teams that have been the best out of the West region all season long. The Demons number two coming out of the WDA tournament shared a regular season title though with Century. Both teams went 19-1 and this year in WDA play. Century was the one who beat the Demons in that WDA tournament title match via the sweep. Okay, let's see how the bracket has shaken out so far in this state tournament that is in Bismarck for the first time since 1988. This is how it's gone. It's been impressive for both these teams. 
Bismarck starting things off with a clean sweep of Cheyenne. An excellent West Fargo team who won the third place match. BHS of the sweep of the Packers. Century can say the same. They swept Davies and then swept Shanley to get here. So both these teams unblemished heading into this title match. Yeah, they've both had their A games going on here last couple days at, in their hometown. And uh, I know they're excited to tip this one off and get her going. Um, I think that uh, we're in for a really good matchup here. A lot of star power on both sides of the net. And uh, as we said, during the regular season, they both came out with their, you know, with their, with their, their co-championship, if you will. It seems fitting to yeah. face them off here for the state crown. Yeah, they've had the regular season title shared in the West region this season. That's your look around the region brought to you by West Dakota Chevy Dealers. An incredible turnaround season for BHS, not making the state tournament in the title match this year. But for Century, this is their comfort zone. This is their 11th straight state championship match. Jamie Sastapol looking for her seventh state championship as head coach. Let's take a look at our Eventide Senior Living Community. Keys to the game for two teams very familiar with one another. Brianna Klein, the head coach for the Demons, always makes it a point of emphasis. She wants her team, part of their identity, to be that aggressive serve. Well, it's hard to win championship volleyball without a good serving uh, philosophy and a well-executed serve. And I think if you look back at even yesterday's semifinal and you kind of a lot of people wonder, where was West Fargo? Why did West Fargo not fire in all cylinders? I, I'm going to give the credit to the Bismarck High mm -hmm. serving attack. They really put tremendous amount of pressure on you, and they're going to look to try to do that to slow down this high-powered century offense. Now, there was a West Fargo team that was on a 10-game winning streak, and BHS swept the Packers to get to this title match. For Century, again, this is a team that is very confident in this match. Of course, they're the defending state champs. They got a victory over West Fargo in four last year in this crown. But head coach Jamie Zastable, one thing she said in the talk with her leading up to this match, she said, you know, everybody wants to be the big hitter. We have a lot of big hitters, but she always wants her team to stay defensive-minded as well. Absolutely. She wants her team to be poised, stay focused, stay in the moment, right? And they have done that all year long. They've done that in past championships. And there's no way that you're getting to a title crown without playing good defense here tonight. Century's been doing that all year long, winning their eighth straight WDA title. Century 14-2 against the state tournament field this year as well. A couple star players standouts for these two teams as we take a look in our player matchup. It was also a strong performance from Kennedy Renner. Renner went down with an injury in the quarterfinals, but Renner has been fantastic this year. Just look at the numbers for Renner, 26 kills and 39 digs. Yeah, she's been fantastic for them, despite the fact that she's uh, sprained that ankle earlier in the, in the tournament, as you mentioned. But she managed to play through that yesterday, help lead her team to this matchup here today. Uh, they're going to be looking to get all they can out of Kennedy Renner today, both front court and in the back court. And for Century, a balanced attack, but it's Logan Nisley, who was only a junior, but a first-team All-State selection last year. It's an explosive player for the Patriots. Yeah, she sure is as a first teamer and uh, she does it all as well. She's uh, second in WDA in kills per set and uh, she likes to dig the ball as well but probably one of her biggest strengths is her ability to lead. She's leading a team full of seniors and that says a lot about uh, Logan Nisley. The Gatorade Basketball Player of the Year, one of the best volleyball players in North Dakota as well. That's our proceed player matchup for this state championship match. Again, BHS upset last year in the West Region Tournament. They didn't even make this bracket. This year they swept in the first round of the semis to get here. Century feeling calm and peaceful <laughs> back in the state title match. Century looking to become the winningest program in state history. If they can win it all here, it would be their ninth title. Tied right now with Red River for most ever at eight. All right, when we come back, we get you set with starters. And we'll be close to first serve. It's BHS and Century for the Class A State Championship on back. In our family, we all use electricity different. But when it comes to our Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we all think about it the same way. Because our co-op is power. Sure, electricity turns the lights on. But power is the information that we get from our co-op about efficiency. Safety. Technology. We trust the co-op. They're our neighbors. Our friends. Our home. A message from... Northern Plains Electric, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. 
Opioids are a type of medication that could relieve pain. However, just like any medication, taking opioids can impose some risks. Your pharmacist is a key partner and may be taking extra steps to ensure your safety when taking an opioid medication. Many pharmacists across the state can prescribe naloxone, which is a life-saving medication that can be given to someone who has accidentally overdosed. If you are concerned about yourself or a loved one that's taking an opioid, talk to your local pharmacist. We look forward to serving you here at your local community bank. Don't be fooled by that beat-up old cap. Its faded crown represents the tireless work of America's farmers and ranchers. Its sturdy brim, their dedication to providing our nation with a safe, affordable food source. So we'd like to tip our hat to them. Farmers Union Insurance. Protecting those that protect America's food source. Unlike treatments that only repel, Jaraxa Seed Treatment is the only one that eliminates wireworms. So cereal growers everywhere are going to be picking off wireworms like hotshot players in an arcade game. And you know how that's going to feel. Pretty darn great. Unless you're a wireworm. Jaraxa Seed Treatment from BASF is here. For wireworms, it's game over. There's a lot to be happy about at Dickinson State University. College can be expensive, but at DSU we're freezing tuition through summer 2023. That means more money in your pocket, and that will make anyone happy. So share the news. You can graduate for less at Dickinson State University. DSU is ready for you. For more details, visit dickinsonstate.edu slash tuition. There and the businesses that serve them. From sporting events to 4-H, Lions Clubs to Hospital Foundations, Bassett Motors has worked for the past 23 years to make sure the heart of its area small towns continues to be the people. With over 15 employees, Bassett Motors prides itself on small town service with personal attention. Bassett Motors, where our customers send their friends. Hi, folks, it's the Caroline Cafe. I reckon it's time you're due for a hearty meal. So saddle up for the day with one of our hay boss and breakfast yeah. homemade soups. Fill your grill at a salad bar, sink your teeth into our famous Caroline burger and barbecue ribs. Mm -hmm. Top it off with spur rattle and pie with a calm roll that's sure to put a smile on even the toughest outlaws. Yeah. So shake the dirt off the boots each night and warm up with the game. Tell them about it, Stacy. I can't wait to see you at the county line. Ag producers, North Dakota's electric cooperatives remind you to watch for electric hazards. When operating large equipment, your local electric cooperative recommends using a spotter and maintaining distance of 10 feet from power lines in all directions at all times. And always consider down lines energized. Your local electric cooperative's priority is safety, the safety of their employees and you, their members. Stay safe, stay watchful. This message is brought to you by North Dakota's electric cooperatives. NISC's culture is great in many different aspects. Um, I like that we all have a sense of wanting to help each other out. NISC actually means what we say. We've got our shared values, our principles of personal development from integrity to all relationships. We stand by those. There's uh, an encouraging and friendly um, atmosphere here that it's just kind of fun to be around. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance. Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF. We create chemistry. Women's Way. 
This is the Farmers Union Insurance pregame show. For all of your insurance needs, contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent or go to FUMIC.com. Back at the Farmers Union Insurance pregame show, the Class A state championship match between Bismarck High and the Century Patriots. Fifth matchup of the year between these two teams, very familiar with one another. Let's take a look at the starters, two teams loaded. Brought to you by Vogel Law Firm, Peyton Foster, the old WDA setter this year. Is a junior, really stepped up into that setter role this year. Mia Hintz, the starter, along with Emily Stonecipher, Kennedy Renner, Genevieve Birchenall, who had a great match in the semifinal with 10 digs, or rather with uh, nine kills, one of the best on the team. Taylor Anderson and Brooke Curtis rounding out the starting lineups. On the other side for Century, J.C. Clark, the senior first-year varsity player, having a starter at Libero for them. Claire Bowman, Basie Fridgen, Delaney Clark, all WDA. Logan Nisley and Hallie Mattern as well, along with Abby Fletcher. So listen into the starting lineups as they're announced here. For the Patriots, number four, Delaney Clark. For the Demons, number seven, Tegan Williams. For the Patriots, number five, Cameron Harder. For the Demons, number nine, Hallie Witch. For the Patriots, number six, Eden Fridley. For the Demons, number 10, Emery Schmidt. For the Patriots, number eight, Logan Nisley. For the Demons, number 12, Emily Stone Cipher. For the Patriots, number nine, Autumn Ketterly. For the Demons, number 13, Kennedy Renner. For the Patriots, number 10, Hallie Matter. For the Demons, number 14, Maya Williams. For the Patriots, number 12, Dylan Dennis. For the Demons, number 15, Madison Foster. For the Patriots, number 14, Haven Fitterer. For the Demons, number 16, Genevieve Birchenau. For the Patriots, number 15, Erica Lee. For the Demons, number 17, Mackenzie Balzer. For the Patriots, number 16, Atriana Beckman. For the Demons, number 18, Taylor Anderson. For the Patriots, number 20, Abby Fletcher. For the Demons, number 20, Brooke Curtis. For the Patriots, number 22, Miley Trahan. Head coaches for the Demons, Brianna Klein. And for the Patriots, Jamie Zestapol. Now we are just about set for action here in the state championship match on Beck. Chris Clayton and Chris Mahoney with you for this matchup. Between two teams in very different positions. BHS hasn't played in a state title match since 2016. Century's been here 11 times in a row. How do you think that kind of that experience and inexperience in this match will manifest itself today? Well, I think if history, you know, repeats itself, it tells you that experience is worth a lot. And the Bismarck Century Patriots have been in this situation year in and year out. Many of these players were on that state title team from last year. On the flip side, Bismarck High is excited to be here. This is where they felt they belonged. And now they're going to have to shake off championship butterflies and, and get comfortable in this match if they're going to keep up with these Bismarck Century Patriots. 
Just about ready to start things off with our first serve of the state title brought to you by Dagelman Industries. Engineered tough. Hallie Matter and we'll serve it up. Again, these teams played in the WDA championship match and it was a sweep by Century of BHS. First point, a swing from Brooke Curtis. A kill for the Demons. Well, it's exactly what you were hoping for if you're Brianna Klein. You're hoping to see a solid first pass, set kill, and there you have it. Brooke Curtis coming off that ankle injury earlier in the tournament. Uh, looked pretty good on that play right there. Bismarck up, one zip. Yeah, we weren't sure if she was going to be able to play in the semifinal. How she went down in the first round of that ankle issue. Century answers back with a kill of their own down the middle from Macy Fridgen. Patriot senior, all WDA and uh, University of Jamestown volleyball commit. Macy Fridgen, perfect execution there on the quick ball to tie this thing up at one. Both teams off to a real nice start. The execution is there. Sophomore Taylor Anderson is blocked back, and the Patriots get a rejection that time. Well, we just said her name, Macy Fridgen, on that. She teams up, teams up with senior setter Abby Fletcher. Puts up a nice double block there uh, to slow down the sophomore, Taylor Anderson. Uh, blocks and net play are going to be a huge part of this championship today, Chris. Stone Cipher able to answer out of play. Wrong side of the pen on the attack, and Century takes a 3-1 lead. Attack error from Stone Cipher, who has been fantastic this tournament. 21 kills. Autumn Ketterling serves it over. Stone Cipher with a pass to Curtis. Two hands shove in the middle, but a pancake effort. Whistle, and it hit the floor. Not able to keep it up that time. Yeah, I definitely think that was the right call here. I think this ball got down just in front of the hand. Got a part of the ball, but you've got to get all of the ball on that play. It was Hallie Matter who came flying in for century. Logan Nisley rolls it over the top. And sets up a swing from Stone Cipher who puts it down. Emily Stonecipher was a big key to Bismarck getting through that state semifinal game. She, she came and rose to the occasion, was really strong on that right side. Great opening swing from her. Back set, Stonecipher flat-footed. Fletcher with a set down the middle. Fridgen swings it off the block. They go to Taylor Anderson. Anderson again. Fletcher, far side, Logan Nisley off the block, picks up the kill for Century. It's such a tough combination to slow down here. You've got, you've got Macy Fridgen coming in the middle, and if you don't commit on her as a middle blocker, they kick the ball out to Logan Nisley, who takes advantage of that split plot there. Nice execution uh, by Abby Fletcher to choose the open hitter. Nisley leading the team with 23 kills in this tournament coming into this match. And the service error by Century. We go back and forth here in the state title in the first. Well, it's just a great atmosphere in here it today. Is. The communication level is going to have to be really high. A lot of crowd noise. A lot of student sections are pretty excited about being here. The players are going to have to make sure they communicate effectively uh, to avoid unforced errors. Claire Bowman rises and fires for Century. The Patriots balancing it out here. Three different players with kills, Bowman, Fridgen, and Nisley. It's part of the trouble playing century. They have so many different attacking options. Yeah, they really do, and you're going to have to figure a way to limit those attacking options. And one that we probably don't even, don't even talk too much about is the ability to serve. Delaney Clark just with a perfect float serve. Sometimes when that ball leaves the server's hand, it's just destined to go to the floor. When that ball left her hand and got about at the net, you could tell that that was trouble for the Demons. It's her third ace of the tournament. Good received by Hintz, and they go to Anderson again. First year starting libero, J.C. Clark with the dig. Back to Nisley, off the block. Another free ball by BHS. Down the middle, pushed to the left side by Bowman, and a lift called against the Patriots. Well, Claire just guilty of a little bit too long on the prolonged contact here. You can power tip, but it may have had a little to do with the fact that ball started back by her shoulder, near her shoulder, and the extension of it just spent a little bit too long in the opinion uh, of our head official. Cameron Harder comes flying through, a player that has really stepped up for Century. First portion of the season, 
In the regular season, six kills per match. The last 10, Cameron Harder with up over eight kills per match. Head coach Jamie Zastable said she's really coming along. Another attacker for Century. Back to Harder. Just missed the sideline. Yeah, this is one uh, Cameron's going to want back here. The block, the left front block, had, uh, Kennedy Renner got caught inside. She had a wide open, wide open line, and she just overcut it and, and missed it wide. So. Clark with a quick set. Blocked back on Bowman's attack. It was actually straight into the net. Four touches on Century. Good communication here by the officials. The R2 uh, had the call on that one. Great job, Rachel Johnson, communicating to her, par her partner today, the R1, Dorothy Lick. Back set. Harder swing. Finds the back line. Well, Cameron just needed to convince her setter Delaney Clark to give her that ball again because she uh, she wanted another crack at it, and she didn't miss on that one. Perfect shot right down the line. A real tough swing for right-handed player playing on the right side. The set comes over your inside shoulder. Trying to paint that line is a challenging shot. Probably one of the hardest shots in volleyball. It's her second kill. She's also an all-WBA soccer player for Century. Kennedy Renner leading the Demons in kills this tournament. Gets on the board in the kill column. We go back and forth here as Renner has the last couple years been an old WDA selection, third in the West this year in kills. They'll give her another attack. And she tools it off the block, back to back for Renner. It's like we talked about yesterday with Kennedy Renner. You know, with playing on that sprained ankle that she's got as well, she's going to, you know, maybe not at the top of her game. She's going to need to hit some other finesse shots. Nice job there hitting about, oh, about 70% on that one and just catching that a piece of the hands straight to the floor. Defense can usually can't do a thing about that. Heads far side. Swing for Stone Cipher. Dug out in the back row by Delaney Clark. Harder from the attack line. That one falls in play. Cameron Harder. Three kills here in the state title. Well, this was an ultra aggressive. I, I, when she tried to swing line on that one, I got, I, I kind of held my breath, but she pulled it off. <laughs> probably not the body position you want to do to take that shot. You probably miss it more than more than you than you want, but absolutely worked out for her on that on that swing there. Mattern serves it over. Foster with a high set. Stone Cipher off the tape. The officials are saying it was blocked back. We roll on. Stone Cipher again. Dig by Clark. Dennis dug out in the back row. Mackenzie Bolzer rolls off the tape. Did it hit the antenna? It did. Off the antenna, point to the Patriots. Swing from Stone Cipher. Clearly hits the antenna. Century regains the lead. Quick dump. Gives BHS some issues. Good effort there by Abby Fletcher trying to catch Demons off guard. Dennis another attack and this time it hits the hardwood. Nice swing here by Dylan Dennis. She does the same thing. The line has been a popular play so far today. Outside hitters are not wanting to go cross court through the big blocks of each team and taking advantage of a little bit of open line there. Another really nice finesse shot. Already five different century players with kills now. Curtis lofts it over the top for the finesse kill, her second. Back on the far side, Fridgen is blocked back. Foster now in the middle for Curtis. That time Mattern's there to pick up the lofting shot. Dennis keeps it in play for another kill. 12-10 century here in the state title, a rematch of the WDA title. 
Anything surprise you so far here in this matchup? Uh, not too much so far. I mean, I think that both teams are, are quite happy with the fact that they're at a two-point game. They're 10-12 uh, you know, early start here with the Patriots with a slight lead. But but teams seem to be passing well, communicating well, mm -hmm. and running a, running pretty, pretty solid offenses and defense so far. So just kind of a feeling out period at this point in time. And the question of whether or not the nerves would affect BHS so far doesn't really look like they have. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Century on the attack error, it's 12-11. Yeah, I would agree with that, that uh, so far Bismarck High looks, you know, looks comfortable, looks confident. This stage doesn't seem to be too big for them in the early going. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that as the points start to matter and build and get bigger and bigger as the set goes on. BHS didn't even make the state tournament last year, this year in the state championship match. Anderson, the sophomore, nearly got the kill. Overpass, slap down. Century is in the net. Hence, the WDA Senior Athlete of the Year serves it across. Nisley on the far side. Hintz has the dig, diving to her right. Stone Cipher able to put it down. Great effort. But Stone Cipher with a kill to put BHS up a point. Look at the defense by Hintz. Fantastic. Great read there. She's, her job is to take the angle shot. She sensed there was a split and lays out to dig. Got a big dig there for the Demons. Renner not able to dig it out. A kill for the Patriots. A 3-0 run for BHS broken with that kill. Yeah, great pursuit there. Um, Peyton Foster wanted to run that down, but she got a little close to the bleachers. Uh, nice to see her. She pulled up and didn't, didn't get hurt on that one, but great defensive pursuit. She looked like she was going to dive into the third row there. Yeah, two steps earlier, I kind of wondered if she was going to. So, <laughs> Giving it all here in the state title. Nestle again, trying to go down the line, but Foster has the dig. Back to Taylor Anderson. Anderson was a JV player last year, the JV team MVP. Big part of the offense this year for BHS. Hence with another dig. Fletcher dumps, and Renner with a diving effort keeps it alive. Anderson hammers it down. Well, what an exciting play by the Demons here. It all starts with the dig. Chases it down the corner. Here you got Kennedy Renner runs that ball down, and then Mia Hens puts one up in the air. And finally, Taylor Anderson says, "You know what? I'm going for it," and just pumps one right in the center court. Sophomore, second on the team in kills this year, sixth in the West with her first of this match, and a block for the Demons, Bertinol and Anderson. That brings us to the media timeout. BHS a 15-13 advantage over Century in the state championship. Toro is America's number one brand of snowblowers, so you know you can trust Toro to power you through deep snow faster, throwing it farther, leaving your path cleaner with innovations that make it easier. And now Toro snowblowers are even more powerful and more durable than ever before. This winter, don't take snow for an answer. Toro, count on it. See the full line of Toro power equipment at the Acme Tool Store near you. This is a good place to shop for a Chevy. This is a good place to shop for a Chevy. And this is a good place to shop for a Chevy, too. Whether you want to shop online and take delivery at home from a participating dealer, or just have a dependable place to get service, discover the easy way to shop, buy, and own a Chevy. Find new ways, find new roads. Get an incredible offer on a new set of tires. Then double your offer with the GM or Buy Power Card. Visit westdakotachevy.com. Bismarck with a 5-1 run to take a 15-13 lead here in the first set of the 2021 Class A State Championship. Chris Clayton and Chris Mahoney here with you for this matchup. BHS not able to get to that one. Claire Bowman gets the kill. But it feels like a lot of the back row defense for the Demons ignited their 5-1 run. Absolutely. I mean, it all starts with defense. You, you make a big dig, you, you know, you excite your team, you excite your, uh, obviously, your hitters and setters who get another chance to swing, and the crowd comes alive, and you can just feel it when you get that chance to get up there and swing that you're playing with, uh, with a strong backcourt behind you. Quick Have turn a, of events here all of a sudden. Right. You come out of the timeout. Bismarck Century has... Uh, Turn the tables here and tighten this thing back up. We're all tied up at 15. Chris. Yeah, Bowman with back-to-back -back kills. 
player that has really emerged in her junior season. Head coach Jamie Zastapol says she's just getting in better and better. She can jump out of the gym, starting to harness that athleticism, and she's a big reason why Century is on a 3-0 run now. A little miscommunication here uh, in the middle between Peyton Foster and, and Genevieve Virginal. Um, not sure what the play call was there, but just didn't connect on it. Anderson, that's a kill. The ball rockets into the student section. Trying to get BHS back on track with that swing. Itala is a confident swinger. She hits a heavy ball, and uh, you know, good example of the heaviness there. That ball's dug in the backcourt, and like you said, traveled another 60 feet into the student section. Back to Bowman. Hammers it through the block. Claire Bowman out of the timeout. Very active. Well, I think Taylor Anderson brings the boom and really ignites her team with her big swings. And on the flip side, Claire Bauman, we saw it yesterday in the semifinals, she just winds up and pounds it. You know, she absolutely is an energizer when it comes to the offense for the Patriots. Maybe a bit of a miscommunication. It's a free ball, which is rare in this match, over to Century side. Back to Cameron Harder. Active set for her with three kills so far. Renner, blocked back, hence punches to keep it alive. Birch and all blocked back, but she somehow kept it up. Another free ball. Clark sets in the middle. Cameron Harder bludgeons it down, but it's out of play. Just missed the sideline there. Almost, just a little bit wide. Since the double block, just, just kind of thumbed up a little bit, you say, as a, as a coach, you tell you, get the thumb up and cut it back. But just a little bit too much cut on that and missed it. Seventeen all in set one. Emery Schmitz served it over. Nisley from the back row. Popped in the air by Taylor Schmitke and into the bleachers. Back row kill for Nisley, the all-state outside hitter. J.C. Clark back to serve. Renner from the attack line. Clark another dig. Dennis out of play. Neck and neck here. Everything we could have hoped for. Back, great, great environment. Yeah, back and forth we go. 18 all. Now the points get bigger, Chris. Mm -hmm. 18 all. No room. You gotta gotta belt the hitting errors, passing errors, and serving errors at this point of the set. BHS playing in a state championship match for the first time since 2016 when they lost to Century. Playing with no fear here. They beat Century twice this year. These teams are two and two against one another. A quick kill by Macy Fridge in six foot two middle, able to slap it down. Really nice play by Macy here up at the top of the net. She realizes she's in trouble, the block's in her way, and just a super job just directing that ball tight along the net. And then uh, catching you know, Stone Cipher a little bit off guard there and, and getting a point on the tip. Stone Cipher lets it fly and miss the back line. Well, two point lead, that's about all we've seen here in the first set. So uh, this is about as large of a margin as, 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 as either team has been able to muster. And uh, the ace serve. We're going to probably have to talk. Yeah, we're going to talk this one over. If you're Brianna Klein, the Demons want to talk this one over. They're trailing by three in the first set. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance. Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF, we create chemistry. Women's Way. Kennedy Renner hurt her ankle a couple days ago in the quarterfinals, but she's been healthy in this first set so far with a couple kills and a number of digs in the back row, too. Yeah, I mean, uh, the way she's moving around on it tells me that it's feeling okay and enough, you know, good enough to play on. And, uh, even that celebration after that last kill right there, you know, the tuck jump in the air tells me that uh, it's, uh, it feels all right. So we'll be keeping an eye on some of that. Obviously, uh, you, need your, you need your team healthy if you're going to be able to perform at your best today. Brooke Curtis for BHS also shaken up in that quarterfinal. 
didn't return, but did play in the semifinals and is out there today. She has an attack now. Century on a 3-0 run coming off an ace to take the largest lead of the match so far. A neck and neck first set. Renner again. Too much on at that time. Four in a row for Century. Yeah, you're trying to make something out of it without making something out of it. And you just, you know, sometimes you just push a little too hard on that, a little too much pace on that roll shot. Renner goes off the block. Real nice swing there on the right side, though, to answer back for her team. Good shot by Kennedy Renner. Hits about a 60-65% shot there, just to, enough to get into the blocking hands and take advantage of one of those hands to the floor. Down the middle, Fridgen finds the back line. Century now two away in the first set. Well, that one was a little too easy. I think uh, Brooke Curtis got a little bit fooled here on that one. She had already taken a step to get to the outside to put that block on the outside hitter. And uh, Delaney, uh, Delaney, or excuse me, uh, Abby Fletcher ends up setting her, her big gun, Macy Fridgen. And it's just, you're not going to be able to allow Macy Fridgen to have that kind of day later. You're in trouble. An attack error by Stone Cypher. Brianna Klein uses her timeout. Century a point away from taking the first set. NISC's culture is great in many different aspects. Um, I like that we all have a sense of wanting to help each other out. NISC actually means what we say. We've got our shared values, we've got our principles of personal development from integrity, to all relationships. We stand by those. There's uh, an encouraging and friendly um, atmosphere here that it's just kind of fun to be around. Well, it was 18 all, but Century with four in a row and now a 6-1 run for the defending state champion, Century Patriots. They've won it five of the last six years, trying to get off on the right foot with a first set victory. And they have set point here with Autumn Ketterling on serve out of the timeout from BHS. The senior slaps it over. Foster with a set for Curtis. Lops to the middle and a diving effort by J.C. Clark. And the counter dumped the other way by Abby Fletcher ends the first set. 25-19 century. Helping you make informed decisions about managing your insurance risk is what they do at BBH Insurance. Whether you're a farmer, rancher, or oil field contractor, BBH Insurance will protect what's important to you. BBH Insurance, we make buying insurance simple. For women who give their all for others every day, it's easy for self-care to get lost in the shuffle. Regular breast cancer screenings save lives. Take care of your loved ones by taking care of your health. Talk to your health care provider about a breast cancer screening today. Helping you make informed decisions about managing your insurance risk is what they do at BBH Insurance. Whether you're a farmer, rancher, or oil field contractor, BBH Insurance will protect what's important to you. BBH Insurance, we make buying insurance simple. Kim Electric is here to remind you to make safety your number one priority on the farm this and every season. With over 550 annual deaths, farming is one of the most dangerous professions. Always be aware of your surroundings and dress accordingly. Hazards on the farm can both be seen and unseen. Whether it's dangerous augers or underground power lines, dangers come in all shapes and sizes. So slow down, look up and around, and be safe this season. Your life depends on it. This farm safety message brought to you by Kim Electric. Today at Farmer Owned Egg that legacy rich, future focused cooperative spirit continues to thrive. Our devotion to superior service, relentless innovation, and member success is at the forefront of everything we do. We give members access to the best products, services, and in field assistance to maximize their production. We dedicate our efforts to the safety of our employees and members in all that we do, and we commit to supporting our members and their communities for generations to come. Central Business Systems Incorporated is your locally owned and operated hub for copiers, printers, computers, and multifunction products. 
CVSI is proud to be the only award-winning Kyocera dealer for the Jamestown area for over 40 years and to be also recently awarded the largest purchasing Kyocera dealer in all of North Dakota. They offer on-site and in-house service by factory-trained technicians and network professionals. Visit CVSI at 2514 Highway 281 in Jamestown or on the web at cvsi-online.com for all your business technology needs. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it, and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Then and down the road, Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. It was 18 all in the first set. Century with a 7-1 run in the first. They take it 25-19 over BHS. The Demons didn't even make this state tournament last year. This is their first state championship match for this group of players. You mentioned earlier on, as we start off this second set, brought to you by Dagelman Industries, is that you wondered whether or not the nerves would affect the Demons when the points really matter. Do you think that manifested itself? Well, I, I do think it was a little bit of a factor there at the end of the set. They, you know, noticeably their comfort level and play fell off when the points got bigger after about 18. And that made some unforced errors, weren't able to, you know, maintain the confidence probably you have to as a swinger, as a passer, as a setter. And I think it was a little bit of a factor down the road there at the end of that first set. See if they can get back on track here. Century starts off the set with the first point. Anderson, a nice dig in the back row. Hence to the pass over to Stone Cipher, tight to the net. She's under the net. A violation in Century extending this run now. If you go back to how they finished the first, it's now a 9-1 to run for the Patriots. Missley on the far side. Just missed the sideline. It's a point for BHS. Yeah, she knew it right away. Shaking her head, came right to the middle and said, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got a <laughs> kick out of that. Just uh, wide open net, but sometimes a wide open net is just a little too much. Too much net for some. Immediate apology from her, and now BHS able to utilize that for another point. Yeah, going to be important for Bismarck here to reestablish the, the confidence and aggressive they played with at the start of this, start of this match. Uh, they said they want to be a tough serving team and put a lot of pressure on you. They need to get back behind the service line and drive some balls uh, in between those century passers. And Renner is one of their top servers. Two aces so far in this state tournament. Anderson right down the line. Century is in the net. Point to BHS. Fortunate for the Demons, that attack went out of play. Yeah, the, uh, Taylor missed her line swing here, but she got bailed out by uh, a net call there on the block. Um, like I said, Taylor hits a heavy ball. <laughs> yep. You get up there to block, you you probably prepare for it, and maybe over prepared for it, and ended up a little bit of upper body motion on your arms and press a little harder, thinking that ball's going to thump your arms back, and then it doesn't touch you, and you end up touching the net. So Nestle gets on track with her third kill. Really balanced effort so far from Century. Four players with at least three kills, five of at least two. They're spreading it all over the floor so far in this match. And that's been their key to success all season long, right? It comes from every different direction, and uh, that's what makes them so difficult to defend. Stone Cipher dug out in the back row there by Phrygian. Back to Nisley. Here's a whistle. And a double contact against the Patriots. A tough ball to handle. That ball was dug up almost into our scoreboard over the court here. And uh, Abby Fletcher decided she was going to try to take it overhand and set it, even though it was spinning like crazy. But uh, a little bit too much uh, contact there, double hit on second ball, and uh, gives a point to the Demons. I'd like to see the confidence that she had, though, on that ball, but still set it, put her hands on it. Always more accurate to put your hands on the ball than it is to play it with your forearms. Another dig by Hintz, an absolute machine at Libero but a violation against BHS, another double contact. Same sort of situation over here on the uh, on the Demon side. Peyton Foster just, you know, a little guilty of a little mishandle of the ball on the back set there, double touch, and uh, we're even back up here again in terms of uh, the way this first set, or the second set has started. 
Anderson receives the serve and gets the kill as well. A heavy swing is right. Such confidence for a sophomore. She just, I mean, she hit that ball really hard for hitting a cut shot like that. And, uh, you know, she's uh, she is a, an improving everyday kind of player. I, I've just noticed her improve even just throughout this tournament uh, in terms of consistency and poise. So exciting years ahead for, for Taylor Anderson and the Demons. Service error there by BHS. Punched it right into the net. Foster, Anderson, rolls it over the top. Her first state title match, her first state tournament overall, and she's starting to come into her own here. Yeah, great poise here. To hit that roll shot absolutely perfectly executed. Now, if I'm Peyton Foster, I'm thinking about getting my middle going. Genevieve Birginal was a huge part of the mm. semifinal run, and uh, she hasn't virtually had a set yet. I'm going to look to sneak some balls to her and get her going in the middle if I'm if I'm her. So uh, watch to see the, the the demons now that they got some outside hitters really clicking. But watch to see the the offense get spread around as well to keep that Century Patriots block guessing. This is the largest lead of the match so far for BHS. Two-hand shove by Bowman. Hence again able to clean it up. A three ball across. Carter down the middle. Bowman swung with all of her might, but it's sent back. Well, fantastic. I think we had a triple block there in the middle of the court. All three front row players came together to gang up and uh, and make sure that make sure that Cameron Harder didn't have a lot of room. And uh, Miss serve though sends it back over them, but the Bismarck Demons look like they've really kind of uh, united here in their in their drive to to compete with the with the Patriots. They just have a little more intensity in their eye than they have up until this point in time. Renner into the net, attack error by BHS. That's always tough ball as an outside hitter when the ball gets passed to you from a forearm play. I don't know if you notice the spin on that ball. It had a tremendous amount of topspin, so as she goes to hit it. Uh, it's going to spin even more into the net. Think about ping pong. You're playing ping pong. And your opponent hits you a lot of topspin, and you go to hit it. It just dives right into the net for you. Okay. I got a brother-in-law that does that to me all the time, and <laughs> she's just guilty there of not noticing all that spin. And uh, if you're not going to pound it, you're going to try to hit a touch shot. It's just going to have so much spin on it. It's going to end up in the bottom of the net. Clark with an ace that time. There's Renner again. Manages the top spin well that time. Harder with a big swing off the block. Cameron Harder ties up the second set. Nice little mini run of their own here by the by the Patriots to, to get this get this set tied up at nine. Four in a row now for Century. Renner just behind the attack line. Dug out by Dennis. Hence with a pass right to Foster. In system, Renner off the block. Unbelievable. Dylan Dennis punched it back over. Bertinall puts down her first kill. A lot, a lot of happening on that play there. Just a great swing. Um, great swing from Kennedy Renner to use the block. And wow, you see Dylan, uh, Dylan Dennis go and get that ball up and keep it alive. And uh, eventually a nice finish there by Bertinall. We talked about her just a minute ago, needing to get her going in the middle. And so that's a good sign right there. Off the lip of the net, but a great dig in the back row. And a kill. Forget a free ball. Renner able to put it down. Yeah, probably a little bit guilty here, Cameron. Uh, Harder probably wishes she'd stayed at the net on that one. She has saw free ball motion, and mm. you want to make sure that you're not supposed to stay and block. That one just rolled over the top of the net where she would have been to block that. And the Demons get a free ball pass kill. Harder. Gets back on track with her fifth kill now. Cameron Harder, an active state championship match. Well, that sure makes you feel good when you're probably thinking about the last ball that you probably should have stayed maybe at the net and blocked and come up and get a chance to contribute and, and put one down. That, that puts that last play out of memory and, and you move on. Runner on the near pin. Another attack, block back, whistle. And we've seen that a few times by both teams in this set, a double contact. Yeah, it's just a little bit of surprise. It's happening more so on the cover play when the ball gets blocked back down. The first ball is allowed to be double hit after on the first touch, and then it's also, generally speaking, not very many carry balls or lifts are called on that first ball. But that second ball, it comes to you at a surprise. We definitely have uh, the double hit call or the carry ball call. 
Dennis saw an unbelievable dig from her earlier in the set. Puts a kill down the line. And that's where she likes to go. She has a bit of a closed plant with her feet, which means her hips and her shoulders are turned more towards the line. She's going to be more comfortable hitting down the line. I look for the demons to maybe change their block a little and uh, try to close off that line on, on, on Dennis. Renner with a timely kill there. Got a touch on the block and ties it up at 12 apiece. Renner a lot more active here in this second set in terms of getting attacks. She's up to five kills now. Down the middle, Fridgen bangs it off the block. Just a wealth of options for Century. Elite attackers all over the floor. Yep. Double block here on, on Macy. The left side decided to step in. Uh, left side being Kennedy Renner, and she saw her leaning, so she just went right back to where she came from, hit it off of her outside hand, and, and, and used that block to her advantage. And now an ace for Century. Autumn Ketterling. Fourth ace of the tournament. Serving so well. The senior in her final matches of her volleyball career. Curtis lofts to her left. Popped up in the air by Mattern. Far side, Logan Nisley with a cut shot for the kill. A timely run for Century. Three in a row in an immediate timeout. Hi, I'm Eric Hardmeyer president of the Bank of North Dakota, and I want to talk to you about student loans. We encourage you to keep education expenses and student loan debt down. One way to do this is by earning college credit by taking dual credit or AP classes in high school. Research the starting salary you will make in your career before taking out student loans. Calculators on our website help you determine the highest amount of debt you should consider. What does it mean? to be Jimmy Proud. You can be Jimmy Proud too. Join our family at uj.edu. Cameron Harder, third on the team in kills this season, the leader today for Century. She has five kills to lead the way for the Patriots, and they're up 15 to 12 here into the media timeout. Chris Clayton and Chris Mahoney here with you from the Bismarck Event Center for the Class A State Championship match. Now four in a row for Century. Don't forget, we still have the Class B State title match after this one's over a little after 7 p.m. Logan Nisley then gets a kill part of the balance for Century today. Harder and Nisley each with five kills apiece. In the back set, Renner blocked back. Quick dump. Good reaction though by Logan Nisley. Renner gives it a ride. Off Fridgen. Ripped over by Stone Cypher and bangs it into the corner. And, and I think if I'm uh, Peyton Foster, I want to continue to get more balls back there to Emily Stone Cypher. She's had great success all tournament, uh, hitting cross court, hitting line. Um, she really helps out the the left front player, Kennedy Renner, take a little bit of pressure off of her from the defensive position. So uh, I'm I'm going to still get her a few more swings. Yep, Stone Cypher gets another one. Back to back kills for Emily Stone Cypher, the All WDA Middle. Most teams spend so much time practicing their left side defense, right? They prepare for the outside hitter on the left to do all the hitting because they take probably 50% of the sets in volleyball. And the right side just doesn't take as many. And so on the, on, the, on the contrast side of that, defensively, you're generally not quite as strong with your right side defense. So try to take advantage if you're a setter, if you've got a strong hitter on the right side, like you do in Emily Stone Cipher. That time, Century went down the middle with a Macy Fridgen kill. She'll serve it over. Received by a runner. High in the air for the sophomore Anderson. Sails it out of play. It was 9-5 BHS earlier this set. Century really flipped it around. So they really have, and I'm going to give some credit. We talked about it on the break here of, to their serving game. They have really been serving a good, tough game, mixing it up with short and long serves, 
uh, and we're putting the pressure on uh, the hitter. So right there, you had a good example of Kayla Anderson is supposed to swing on the left side. They force her to take the first ball, which usually teaches, t convinces a setter to set someone else. You did the exact same thing right there. So serving some of those strong hitters when they're on, they don't necessarily all love to pass and hit. Matter and able to dive down for that one on the receive. Off the free ball. Here's BHS. Stone Cypher sends it out of play. Great opportunity for BHS there off the free ball. And yeah, can't keep it in. It was a really nice play, drawn up real well. Just a little bit of mistimement there on Stone Cypher's uh, jump, and it sails wide. And, and uh, Coach Klein wants to talk this one over as her team is falling behind 19 to 15. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following Farmers Union Insurance. Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF. We create chemistry. Women's Way. Century's got a 1915 advantage here, but Stone Cypher has really helped keep BHS in this set. Yeah, we were just talking about it a minute ago. She's she's very dynamic. She's got great great height and jumping ability over there. She finds her way through the block. Uh, I'm going to continue to try to, to balance off my offense in the front court if I'm delivering balls, if I was Peyton Foster, and try to mix it up between the balls I put on the left, the middle, and especially trying to give her a little heavier load over there on the right side. But again, Century after trailing 9-5 in this set. All of a sudden, up four. Good dig in the back row that time by Ketterling. Foster back to Stone Cypher. Down the line, and she found it for the kill. Well, this is a, this is a real impressive play here, and uh, that's a tough play. The setter is facing you. Everybody on the bench, Bismarck side, no century side, knows the ball's coming to you on the right side. The set comes over your left shoulder, and then you just go paint one down the line. Great shot, Emily. Hence with another dig in the back row. Birchenall rejected a solo swat for Claire Bowman. Claire Bowman is a spark plug for the Century Patriots, and there she is doing what she does. Reads the middle blocker, trying to run the three set to the point of attack, and uh, just stuffs one for her team when they needed that. Anderson with force, but J.C. Clark with a great dig. Harder punches it through. Anderson, another chance. Tried to roll it over. Another nice dig, that time by Delaney Clark. Harder fires it off the back row for the kill. Yeah, Taylor probably wishes she had this one back. I think she thought it was touched when it was first hit, and, and then, uh, you know, a split second later, it's, it's in your hands, and you realize, you know what, that ball was headed out of bounds, but you can't get out of way in time. Virginal almost got the kill, but a scrappy effort by Century. Anderson, full force swing and a kill. Great swing from Taylor Anderson. The Demons needed a swing, and here they got it. Um, look, look, Want to see a few more Bismarck Demons continue to swing like that. We saw how uh, Birchenel really had it going yesterday. Um, she, she did it all. She tipped it. She hit it. And, uh, oh, wow, almost. Almost got it across there with the effort right in front of their student section man, oh, there. Man, that was, uh, that was pretty cool. But she was tipping, she was hitting, and so forth. And today she's trying to get it going from a tipping perspective. You have to set the tip up by hitting first. And so I'm looking to find a set that she likes. And an ace, Kayla Anderson, says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring us back in this myself, doesn't she? Anderson coming alive here, a 3-0 run for BHS. She is just pounding her serve at them. It's a high-risk serve as hard as she's hitting it. It's paying off right now. Just out of play that time. And you mentioned it's high risk, didn't yeah. pay off there. Yeah, she's hitting that really hard. I mean, that's about that's got to be the hardest hit float serve I've seen in the state this year. She's really pounding it, and it's a high risk reward type situation there. But she scored more than she gave up, so uh, I'm okay with that as as coach. And Brianna Klein, the third year head coach, the WDA coach of the year this year, loves that. She wants her team serving aggressively. Anderson, probably the most aggressive of the bunch. Frigian. Just missed the back line. 
and the point to BHS. Century's calling for a touch, but that is a crucial point. Instead of 23-19, it's 22-20. That's, uh, that's the right call. I know that uh, Coach Zastapol and the, and the Patriots are not going to like it. Uh, that ball was hit clean through. It wasn't touched on the back row, and it was just beyond the end line from where I'm sitting here. So uh, they celebrated a little bit early, thought they had the end line, and it was just long. Emery Schmitz, the junior, serves across. Delaney Clark back set, harder. Attack error, and BHS within one. A 5-1 to one run for the Demons. Well, here comes these tough points again. Uh, Century's helping them out with a couple of errors here. But here comes these tough points that the Bismarck Demons are going to have to be able to answer to if they're going to get this match tied up. Bridgen with a crucial kill. Getting Century back on track, her sixth. Yeah, they really needed that swing. as a nice swing there from Macy. Uh, gets that all-important side out for her team and uh, forces a Bismarck Demons timeout. 23-21, a thriller in the second set. Beck TV is known as reliable, exceptional, and exclusive. And now it's also the best of the best. Thank you for making Beck TV the best local television station in our community. Beck not only broadcasts the most live and local sporting events in the region, it's also the largest producer of diverse statewide news, opinion, and entertainment. Not getting what you want from the mainstream media? Not happy with your current cable? Do what everyone else is doing and turn to Beck. Television the way it's supposed to be. Century students, a lot to cheer about so far. BHS fans in full support. First time the state tournament held in the city of Bismarck since 1988. It is a packed house, a full crowd here in the Bismarck Event Center. It's great to see the uh, Century Patriots volleyball team and the Bismarck Demons volleyball team going back and forth, giving it to each other, just like the student sections of both the right. Patriots and the Demons have been doing. It's been entertaining so far this afternoon. Yeah, they've been chanting back and forth, heckling one another. Renner blocked back. Not a lot of room for error for BHS. The dump effort picked up by Hallie Matter on a diving dig. Ooh, that one would have been going out. We roll on, though. Renner. Fringin down the middle. Big time kill. Set point for Century. Yeah, missed opportunity here in the backcourt by the Demons playing a ball that looked like they were out, and then Peyton Foster sends one over. But what a great pickup. Uh, by Hallie Mattern and uh, just an awesome swing by Macy Fringen to cut around the block and give them a set point. Renner on the near pin. Rolls it over the top. Clark has it. Dennis. Block back. Dump. Hence is there. She read that one. Brooke Curtis. Another diving play. That's Abby Fletcher. Scrappy effort by Century. Here's Renner. Gets the kill. What a point. Phenomenal effort by both teams. Again, I really like this crossing play. You can relate this crossing play a little bit to a pick and roll in basketball. Mm. The middle blocker is coming out to the left. It's going to pin that left side blocker over there, and, or the middle blocker over there, and then, uh, excuse me, then Kennedy Renner comes inside kind of on an open play and just gets the swing. Fridgen ends the second set. Bludgeoned off the block, 25-22 centuries a set away from back-to-back -back state championships. For all your commercial and residential heating and cooling needs, call Prairie Heating and Air of Linton. With a service area spanning over 5,000 miles, Prairie Heating and Air is a service leader for all of South Central North Dakota. Our service and sales team provide prompt service, competitive pricing, and take the time to make sure that the equipment is sized correctly for your home or business. Reduce energy costs and save money this year with a more efficient Amana heating and cooling system. Prairie Heating and Air, we control the weather on the inside. When it comes to my child and the sports they love, I want them to be ready for their moment. So to fuel their bodies and their potential, I choose an authentic source of protein that has the nutrients they need to succeed and a taste they already love with one simple ingredient. You remember where this goes? <laughs> I don't know. Are you sure it wasn't clicking and not a zoom, zoom? 
think your quash litter bell stuck. Do you even have insurance? If we soak it, it should be good. <laughs> no matter how much you know or don't know about your vehicle, trust the experts at Tires Plus. Real answers from real mechanics. Inspections are free to ensure your vehicle is always in peak condition. Thinking service, think Tires Plus. 40 years ago, Aero Service Team started with one truck and lots of hard work. Times may have changed, but the hard work that we put in to get your lives back in order after fire, water, and disaster hasn't. Over the years, we've seen so many families lose their belongings due to water and fire damage. Restoring homes back to the original state has made every hour of hard work well worth it. Thank you for trusting our family with yours. When disaster strikes, you only have to make one call. Aero Service Team does it all. Unlike treatments that only repel, Jaraxa Seed Treatment is the only one that eliminates wireworms. So cereal growers everywhere are going to be picking off wireworms like hotshot players in an arcade game. And you know how that's going to feel. Pretty darn great. Unless you're a wireworm. Taraxa Seed Treatment from BASF is here. The wireworms, it's game over. If you need a trip to Minot, let Service Basin Transportation's U.S. 83 Intercity Route get you there. Call 701-839-7433. Whether it's shopping, a concert, or other event, or you just want to catch up visiting with family and friends you haven't seen in a while, Service Basin Transportation's U.S. 83 Intercity Route is convenient and affordable and includes Mac, Six Mile Garrison Corner, Underwood, Washburn, and Wilton. Call 701-839-7433 for schedules and reservations. Back in the event center in Bismarck, 2021 Class A state championship match. It's two sets to none, Century over BHS. We start off the third, brought to you by Dagelman Industries. Chris Clayton and Chris Mahoney here with you. It's an all Bismarck championship here in Bismarck. The Demons have been close the last couple sets. But they've come up short. They get the first point of the third. How does BHS get over the mountaintop here and finally get a set? Well, I think they're on the right track. Their game is getting better as 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 it goes on. And so again, we talk about experience kind of in the pregame. They're starting to show some experience. They just have a limited amount of experience, right? They've got two sets in the championship uh, championship match right now to centuries. What dozens and dozens of sets that they've played. And uh, they're just getting better point by point. Um, the defense is getting a little bit better, but they're going to need to get a little bit more offense going. I really want to see the Bismarck Demons get their middles involved in the match. I feel like uh, Brooke, Brooke Curtis and Genevieve Bershnell have been almost taken out of the match by Bismarck Century thus far, and I need a more balanced attack if the Demons are going to keep up. Anderson bangs it off the block. The power behind her swings will be wreaking havoc in the state for years to come. Five kills in this match for the sophomore. And to the lefty serve. Bridgen lops it over the top and the University of Jamestown volleyball commit with another kill. That's her eighth. Yeah, nice touch. Great vision here by Macy to see the open court. Everybody caught kind of standing around looking at that one. Foster for Birchenall, that's what you called for. Get the middles involved, but it's dug out that time by Nisley. Stone Cypher, rejected. Logan Nisley sends it back. Nice job by Logan Nisley. We haven't called her name a whole lot this afternoon, but there she is making a big block when they need it. There's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Pretty much advantage to the hitter, but the blocker comes out on the winning end that time. Yeah, this season, Nisley leads the Patriots and kills today only five. What an effort. Hallie Matter with a pancake to keep this one going. Stone Cypher shoved to the back row. Dumped over by Fletcher. Hence was there, though. Anderson into the net. And four touches on the Demons. The night. The nice idea here by Kayla to try to get out of this situation. Now we're going to look at the pancake pick up there again by Hallie Matter. Fantastic play, um, but I like I like I like Kayla's attempt there. Just just didn't quite execute. Virginal in the middle, trying to get those middles involved here, just as you called for out of the 
set break. Yeah, that's a start. That's a start. I'd like to see uh, Genevieve get in and take a few swings and, and convince those backcourt players for the Century Patriots to dig in a little bit on her. That'll open up the tip for her on later attempts. Big swing by Bowman is dug out in the back row by Renner. Virginal lofts it over. On the far side. Missily puts it down. Well, we just got done saying we haven't called her name a lot lately, and there she <laughs> comes with a nice cut shot just when her team needs it. Really good swing against a single block. That single block, you give you give Logan that single block all afternoon, she's gonna she's gonna tear you up on it. Every time we say a player has been quiet, it feels like they just come alive. Kind of part of the jinx. There's Harder. She's been active from start to finish. Seven kills for the senior playing in her final match. Yeah, another great swing here. They are thinking they are thinking swing first and tip second on the Patriots side right now. And the Demons have a few hitters that need to pick up and, and take that same philosophy. Missley cleans up the overpass. Best start to a set for Century in this match. They were down 9-5 in the second. It was back and forth, neck and neck in the first. Anderson. The rocket off the block for a much needed VHS kill. VHS gonna need to unite here and play some play some defense. They can do that behind Taylor Anderson serve. Get a chance maybe to get some easy points. Just missed the back line. They had a run with her on serve earlier. The aggressive ball. Just missed the back line. Century looking for their second straight state championship. They've won it all five of the last six years. 11th straight state title match appearance, the dynasty in North Dakota. Looking for a sweep here in the state title. Foster tracks that one down. Long free ball. Balzer just gets it across. Back set. Harder. Over the back line. If you're a coach right now, Coach Jamie's asked to pull. You're okay with that. You, you like that back set. You like that swing. They're playing aggressive. You're not going to make them all, but uh, continue, to, continue to put pressure on the Demons right now. Jamie's asked to pull career record 357 and 36. Just about seen it all. Eight straight WDA titles for Century, six titles for Zastapol. Renner and BHS trying to stay alive here in the third. Well, did a good job with this serve right here. Uh, Emery Schmitz put some pressure and gets the Century Patriots out of system. They haven't been out of system a whole lot today. And then they took advantage of that with an easy dig and a transition swing by Renner. Patriots now up 9-6. If Century gets the win here, it would be Jamie Zastapol's seventh career state title. That would tie the great Carolyn Olson for most state titles by one head coach in history. Yeah, what would be remarkable about, remarkable about that would be the number of seasons that she's done that in, right? right. They have just had utter dominance here in the last decade. It would be quite a, be quite a record uh, to be able to share those, share that, that, current status, if you will, with Carolyn Olson. Everybody knows Carolyn as, you know, our, one of our most veteran experienced uh, Class A coaches in the state, if not the, and, and all the championships that she's brought to her teams that she's been at the helm of. So there's no question that would be a pretty cool honor for uh, Coach Zastapol and her Patriots. 11th season as head coach for Jamie Zastapol looking for her seventh title. Six and four, Century is in state title matches under Zastapol. Rolls it over, Century on a roll. Four unanswered here in the third. Timeout, BHS, J.C. Clark with the ace. This is Cass Clay Country. From early mornings on our farms to evening dinners in your homes, our dairy farmers are your neighbors, your friends, your family. Our goal is to make your mornings a little brighter, your days more fulfilled, and to remind you, when it comes to quality, there is no expiration date. When choosing Cass Clay products, you're supporting your community. Cass Clay, homegrown pure goodness.
For women who give their all for others every day, it's easy for self-care to get lost in the shuffle. Regular breast cancer screenings save lives. Take care of your loved ones by taking care of your health. Talk to your health care provider about a breast cancer screening today. Twelve six century advantage. They have four points in a row here in the third. Feels like the Patriots get more and more confident as this one goes on, Chris. Yeah, they're uh, they are they can start to taste it. They're get, they're very very close. What an effort off the dig! Can't quite get it over. Kennedy Renner coming through time after time in moments where BHS needs a kill. They lean on her. Yeah, and they and they need to lean on her right now. They're going to need to go to some players. She's the one player that's turning and going to each of her teammates, telling them, "Let's go, mm -hmm. let's fight, let's let's get back in this thing." Uh, she wants it. Harder, a ferocious kill. It's just kind of a lose-lose situation here. You're, you're playing Kennedy, you're playing Kennedy Renner in because of the threat in the middle of Macy Fridgen. If they set Macy on a quick set, you've got to be there to block that. But. The best best option there is to counter that and kick the ball back and have Cameron Harder swing at the paint. You can't be in both places at once as a blocker. So really well executed. Um, those players are definitely feeding off one another offensively for the Patriots. Back set Stone Cipher. Just missed the back line. Century swept BHS in the WDA title match. There are only two losses this year for Century were both at the hands of Bismarck High. It's the fifth matchup of the year between these teams. But Bismarck's not afraid of Century. Right now the Patriots are in control. Nice swing there. Emily missed her last swing and she gets to come back on the left side and side out and that definitely feels good to, to, to right the ship again and, and, and fix your mindset as well as get your team all important point. Stone Cyber with eight kills now, matching Kennedy Ritter for a team high. Fridgen down the middle, got it through the block for the kill. Again, great decision here, Abby Fletcher, just isolating in the middle, taking advantage of the, of the size and the skill of Macy Fridgen in a one-on-one -on -one block situation. Um, great decision. Love the jump set as well, right? She's holding blockers with her jump set. You never know if she's going to send it over herself or if she's going to set somebody else. Autumn Ketterling, all smiles, her second ace. Century inching closer. Stone Cypher off the tape. She'll take it for the kill. Well, easier said than done. You get the sense BHS needing a run sooner rather than later. How do they get one? strung together here yeah well they're gonna need to go to that area that they think is you know one of their strengths and that's their serve and this they'd, have a, they'd have a good serve there but just guilty of not reading and seeing that set so mm. defensively just a, a step slow right now so many different options for the Patriots three different players with at least eight kills harder Nisley and Frigid Anderson Nice dig there by Ketterling. Back to Nisley. Attack line swing. Too much over the top. Nisley puts it down. A laser for the kill. Yeah, she answered on this one, didn't she? And, and uh, just getting to that point of attack before the demon block is getting there. Uh, I noticed I noticed on the timeout, and yeah, here we go, we're going to take another timeout. Bismarck wants to talk it over. We'll talk about that when we get back after the break. At the heart of every small town are the people that live there and the businesses that serve them. From sporting events to 4-H, Lions Clubs to Hospital Foundations, Bassett Motors has worked for the past 23 years to make sure the heart of its area small towns continues to be the people. With over 15 employees, Bassett Motors prides itself on small town service with personal attention. Bassett Motors, where our customers send their friends. On the timeouts, and, right? That he's bothering her a lot, but Jamie's Astapol and Century talking things over here down the stretch. We're 
Talking during the break about what BHS can do to come back. A confident Century squad looking for back-to-back -back titles. The Demons down 18 to 10, and it looks like still not fully healthy out there. Yeah, and I think they've developed another injury as well. It kind of looks to me like Peyton Foster's been, been struggling with a knee here. She's been getting training attention um, at the last couple intermissions and timeouts, and uh, she's kind of limping a little bit. So I think it's starting to affect the movement a little bit. It's definitely affecting the, the challenge of getting low and jumping up to put a block up as well. But uh, right now, it's the Century Patriots just taking complete control. They can sense that they're six points away. Birch and all swatted and in the net as well. Century starting to run away with this third set. What a season for BHS. Missed the state tournament last year. Head coach Brianna Klein, just her third season, said the season motto is to the end. They fought to the end, but right now Century is in full control off the Bowman kill. Yeah, it's a shooting gallery out there right now yeah. when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to swinging. They are just firing away. They can tell with every swing. They are not worried about missing. They are just firing it and uh, really having a good time doing it. And they've got a swagger about them right now. Full confidence in their ability and their game plan. Push to the back row. There's Birch and all. Popped in the air by Clark. You know, we focus on a lot of the kills for Century. They're explosive, but they are just so sharp defensively. Ball rarely hits the floor. Right, going into the tournament, that was going to be the, the mentality. Stay defensive-minded, said Coach Dastapol. We want to make sure that everybody out here gets an opportunity to, to focus on their defensive responsibilities, and they sure done a great job of that here throughout the tournament. Birch and all swing block back. It's an absolute team effort all the way through for Century. Harder attack error. Century, eight state championships all time. Six of them under Jamie Zastapol. They are currently tied with Grand Forks Red River for most state titles by one school in state history. Century title here would put them alone as the most ever by one program. It would also be their sixth in the last seven years. Nisley on serve. A little bit too much finesse on that. It's into the net. Yeah, it's really been a remarkable run, and it's been a remarkable season, and it's been a remarkable last two seasons. Last year, 2020, the COVID, the COVID season, teams playing through that, and Century finding their way through all the challenges and difficulties of that to win a state title. And, and here they are now, just a couple points away, doing it again this year um, with, a, with, a, with a little bit different group and just really doing it in style. They had their own battles early on with sickness and Ill injuries that they've overcome. I love the comment about we just keep it in-house. We're just going to keep it in-house. We're not going to get too worried about it. And uh, that's what they've done here. They have pulled together, and they look fantastic. Now they're just one point away. Carter with the kill, her ninth match point for Century. J.C. Clark serves. Ready. Over the back line. The dynasty continues. Century stands alone. Most state titles by one program in North Dakota history. Century with a straight set sweep of BHS. The Patriots back-to-back -back state championships in North Dakota. We'll be back with the award ceremony after this from the Event Center. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance. Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF. We create chemistry. Women's Way. 
It's now time for the Post Game Report, brought to you by Woman's Way. All right, let's send it to the awards ceremony. Tears for Century, back-to-back -back state championships for the Patriots. Nadia Fiakowski of West Fargo. Nadia Fiakowski, the Senior Athlete of the Year this year in North Dakota. The North Dakota High School Coaches Association Coach of the Year Award is announced at the completion of the state championship for every sport. A plaque or ring is sponsored by Subway will be presented at the North Dakota High School Coaches Association Coaches Convention that will be held in Mandan at the Baymont Suites in July of 2022. The 2021-2022 NDHSCA Subway Coach of the Year in the sport of Class A Volleyball as selected by the head coaches from the Bismarck Demons, Brianna Klein. Presenting the awards today are Farmers Union Insurance Representative Jed Deere from Bismarck and Jamie Ressler from Bismarck and the NDHSA Distinguished Student Athlete Brooke Anderson from Rugby along with Rich Diggle from Kidder County. We would like to thank the NDHSA premier sponsor of North Dakota Farmers Union Insurance and supporting sponsor Vision Zero for their sponsorship of NDHSA sports and activities. Would the captain from the Bismarck Demons please come forward to receive your runner-up trophy followed by team members to accept their individual team plaques. Captains from the Century Patriots, please come forward to receive your NDHSA Class A Volleyball State Championship Trophy. Followed by your team members to accept your individual team plaques. This concludes the NDHSA Class A Volleyball Championship Match Award Ceremony. Thank you for attending this year's 2021 Class A all right, Century State Champs, nine state titles in history now. The most state championships for any high school program in Class A, North Dakota. It's been a great state tournament. Still have our Class B state championship match, of course, but let's take a look at who stood out of the Class A side with our Class A all tournament team. See the names there? The first three, of course, century standouts. Claire Bowman, Macy Fridgen, and Logan Nisley helping the Patriots to a title. Peyton Foster and Kennedy Ritter, along with Mia Hens for BHS. Chloe Fowl from West Fargo. Nadia Fiakuski, the state player of the year on the team. Her little sister and eighth grader, Raina Fiakuski, as well. Olivia Vetter for Shanley. Clara Robin also for the Deacons. Regan Bogenreif also on the team, along with Brina Sand, Brooke Haas, and Ava Wild. That is this year's Class A All-State Tournament team. Exciting win for Century. Got better as it went along. 37-2 the final record, and the Patriots are state champs for sixth time in the last seven years. We'll wrap things up, give away our player of the game when we come back. We look forward to serving you here at your local community bank. It's time to find your next Chevy truck and forge ahead. 
take on new challenges, and take it to the next level. It's the perfect time to do more in your next Chevy. Find new possibilities, find new roads. Very well-qualified buyers can get 2.49% financing and $1,000 cash allowance on this Silverado. Plus, unlock your code to claim $500 Chevy CyberCash on most Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. News. It's now time to announce the player of the game. Brought to you by Woman's Way. Our player of the game presented by Women's Way. It was a team effort. A lot of different players we could have picked, Chris, but Cameron Harder, the senior in her final match, nine kills, a strong performance. Absolutely. There is so much firepower on the on this Patriots team, and but Cameron just really had a great day. She's a, she, she tends to be a little bit of a, a support offensive player for them, but she does so many nice things, and man, did she come up big today uh, for the state championship uh, Century Patriots. It feels like a lot of her kills were explosive like that, kind of setting the tone today for Century and helping them out. What are, what are your final thoughts? What stood out to you in Century Sweep in this match? Well, I just I just think they just look like an all-around, well-polished team. I mean, they've got it on offense, they got it on defense, they serve tough, they pass well, and they bring in all this experience. So, I mean, it's really a tough challenge for, for anybody in the state that saw them this year. And, and I think from the beginning of the year, they've been the front runner since they won it last year. But uh, I just think execution, when the pressure's on, bullseye's on your back, they executed just better than anybody. They graduated four starters from last year's championship team, came back maybe even better this year. They win another state championship and ended up 37-2. and Their only two losses this year came at the hands of BHS, who finished second here this season. Fun Class A state championship match. We're not done yet. The Class B crown will be decided next. But for Class A in 2021, Century Champions again. the way you move. All True Advanced Orthopedics. Learn more at alltrue.org slash ortho. They say when the going gets tough, the tough get going. At OK Tire, we're here to keep you going. From Firestone tires and replacements to retreads and even Firestone tracks, we have you covered. Our certified Firestone experts are ready to get you back up and running. No matter if you're on site or in the field, saving you time and money. OK Tire, we keep the tough going. For over 20 years, the Bismarck Cancer Center has provided state-of-the-art, close-to-home cancer care to thousands in our region. But with a 70% increase of new patients since 2007, the center's high demand has led to a need for additional equipment and space. Help provide healing today and build hope for tomorrow by supporting our capital campaign. Learn more and make your pledge at BismarckCancerCenter.com. One of the best investments you can make is in yourself. At Wilston State College, invest in your education. Invest in new opportunities. Invest in your future. And with regional scholarships available, including up to $12,000 for tuition and fees, we invest in you. Learn more so you can earn more at willistonstate.edu. We've all had those not-so-good ideas.
But here's a good idea. Buckle up. Seatbelts save lives. Serving Linton and the surrounding area, Dr. Chris Terman and the exceptional staff of Linton Dental provide the latest innovations in dentistry. Integrating modern technology includes the Solea Laser, a fast and quiet solution that eliminates discomfort. We offer same-day crowns as well as sure smile aligners to help you keep up with life's busy schedule. Your health is a top priority to us, so we ensure the most stringent infection control measures are taken to keep us all safe. Linton Dental, we're in this together. In an increasingly automated world, skilled technicians are in high demand. Bismarck State College is training the next generation of automation experts with our new industrial automation program. Choose a two- or four-year degree, online or on campus, and prepare to enter a high-paying industry as soon as you graduate. This is the future of industry. This could be your future career. Visit BismarckState.edu to find out more. For innovative health care with a commitment to community wellness, put your trust in South Central Health. With services in Wishick, Napoleon, Colm, and Gackle, the healthcare professionals of South Central Health provide complete and comprehensive medical services to get you back to living a life focused on overall wellness. As a top 20 critical access hospital, South Central Health provides 24-hour emergency care enhanced through a partnership with eEmergency. South Central Health, your community wellness partner in South Central North Dakota. Come to know and trust us for over 18 years with the largest selection and showroom in Western North Dakota for our beautiful Sundance spas. Plus, you can pick out your next home experience with our selection of pool tables, shuffleboards, and fun accessories. Spas, etc. Your relaxation destination on Made in Bismarck. With over 70 years of experience serving our members, Hometown Credit Union is the smart choice for all your banking needs in Colm, Ashley, Hazleton, and Lincoln. We offer auto, home, personal, and agricultural loans, CDs, IRAs, safety deposit boxes, checking and saving accounts, and more. Be sure to check out our brand new mobile check deposit as well. For great value and small town service, look no further than Hometown Credit Union. It all comes down to the final three days in Bismarck. It's the Class B quarterfinals to get us started at the state tournament, the Lax Burlington, and Linton HMB open us up for the first of four Class B matches here. Eight down. She said, I had the, the light touch the last time. I know down the yep. line, I have an open shot. Set point, count it. That's in on the serve, a 12 point set one win for the reigning state champs. They take it in set one over to LB. Set point, Linton with the chance to go up two sets to none. Class B quarterfinals here at the state tournament. Bachmeyer out of the middle, that does it. Linton's taking a 2-0 set lead into number three. The defending state champs look at every bit of that today from the Bismarck event center. Match point to put on a sweep for the defending state champs. And this one is out on the swing from Berard, and that does it 25 to 12. And Litton HMB is headed on to the semifinals to take on the winner of Langdon and Thompson tomorrow. And that'll be a good one, whoever wins that one, taking on the defending state champs. We'll step aside, come back. Women's Way Post Game Show is next here on Vex Sports. Litton with the sweep. Welcome into the Women's Way Post Game Show for our Pettibone Farmers Union Oil Company Player of the Game. And Leah Shaley Bosch was on it today, a game best 13 kills. Yeah, you know, we talked about her a lot during the match day. She did a great job. Um, she really played that net well. She played it well both with um, her swings and attacking the ball as well as defending with her blocks. Um, just very impressive game. Shaley Bosch continues to improve every year. It seems like every game she adds something new to her arsenal. She proved that once again here tonight. She is our Pettibone Farmers Union Oil Company player of the game. Lynn HMB with the clean sweep. They're headed to the semifinals. Take on the winner of Thompson and Langdon. Welcome back inside the Bismarck Event Center. Game three of four from the first day of the Class B State Tournament. The number one Northern Cast Jaguars taking on the Garrison Troopers right now on Beck Sports. 
Still an eight-point edge and set point for Northern Cass. Chance for the finisher, tool in the block, Mackenzie Anderson. Jaguars run away with set one, 25 to 16, back with set two on the other side of the break. And it ends on a service error. Hurt puts it into the net, and Northern Cass takes a 2-0 lead, one set away from the semifinals here on back. They can make it a 15-point set here. Katie Evenson sends it away. Klein off her back foot. Jensen, the finisher. Josie Jensen finished things, that, things off with her fifth kill of the day. Northern Cass, 25-16-9 and 25-10. They punched their ticket to the semis. We'll be back after this. Time now for our play of the game, brought to you by Farmers Union Oil Company, Pettibone, and CHS Nutrition was the catalyst coming in, and she did not disappoint today. Emma Lucas, a dozen kills. It was a well-balanced performance, but as usual, she leads the way for Northern Cass in the win. Yeah, you know, and they talked about her just leading that example on the court. I think she set a great precedent for the state tournament. People, she's one to walk as we continue through the state tournament. Um, she's telling the other teams, look what I'm capable of. We saw her have a great game tonight. The Valley City State commit with a dozen kills today in the victory. And now Northern Cats awaits the winner of our final game of the evening. Just one match stands between the title game for Thompson and Linton HMB. It's the Class B semifinals from the Bismarck Event Center. Thompson and Linton HMB here on back. Set point. Linton HMB trying to take a 1-0 lead here in the semifinals. Tegan Share cross court. They have it. Linton HMB trying to defend their state title. They're off to a good start in the semifinals. It took some work, but they take down the Tommies by four in set one. They won set one, 25-21. One point away from starting off 2-0 here in the semifinals, and they get it. Crossed it out, and we head to number three, one set away for Linton HMB to head back to the state title game for the second straight year. Linton Lion fans, community are on their feet. They stand as they want their Lions to head back to the state title match for the second straight season. They won it all last year. And they're going back to try and defend it this year with a sweep of Thompson. The excitement and the crowd cheering is just amazing. The community support. The Linton fans are very excited for their team to go back to the championship tomorrow night. Linton swept their way through the tournament field last year. So far, they're two for two in doing so. They'll take on the winner of Northern Cass and Kenmer. That's a hyped up crowd. Player of the game today brought to you part by Pettibone Farmers Union Oil Company and CHS Nutrition. I had to go back and forth on our player of the game here, Leah, because there were so many strong performers. It is Tegan Share, the fifth-year starter, gets it done with 10 kills, and she, from the beginning, helped establish the offense. Yeah, you know, that's kind of what we went back and forth to. You know, we had lots of good players who could have been player of the game today, but Tegan just consistently from set one all the way through set three, not only was she strong offensively, you know, she plays the offensive role, but she also was really strong defensively, had some great passes, had some great hustle overall, definitely the player of the game. Well, she's helped lead her team now to 36 wins on the year. Every single one of those wins have been sweeps for Linton HMB and they're on to the title game for the second straight year they take on the winner of Northern Cass and Ken Merritt we've only got one thing left to decide who's taking on Linton HMB in tomorrow night's state championship it's between the top ranked Northern Cass Jaguars and the Ken Mare Honkers one more state semifinal to go here from the class B ranks tonight on Beck set point for Northern Cass it's nice to see all of the comments the coaches make about their players and they she even talked about Lucas just being someone who's very calm and collected and another big leader for Northern Cass. The finisher on the serve from No. Slinger finishes things off. Northern Cass gets the point 25-20. They take set one. What a great set. Both teams fighting hard. Both want this second set. Ebertowski goes back to Crockett. Strokelin overpass. Just got over. 
Moline for Kohler redirects. Playing a little bit safe there with that push. Zimmer on the back set. Moline on the finisher. 28-26. It took 25 and then some, but the Kenmare Hulkers have tied us up at a set apiece. Northern Cass can end the set on a 6-0 run. Richmond, serve, overpass, Jensen the exclamation point. Kill number eight, Jaguars are one set away Look from going to the state championship. Honkers fans making some noise, one away from a fifth set. Zimmer on the touch, Kohler. Zimmer push. Slinger was there. Anderson cross court. Net call. Anderson called into the net. We are going to a fifth set. Winner goes to the state championship. Strap in, folks. Going to be a fun finish. Probably need a couple more. Rodine in to serve the libero. Jaguars can still win it here. Lucas on the roll. Zimmer for Strokeland again around the block. Into the corner. Hauk for Rodine. Tight to the net. Strokeland. Lucas rises. The telecast of this tournament game has been authorized by special arrangement with the board of directors of the North Dakota High School Activities Association. HMB is headed on to the semifinal. Northern Cast, 25-16, 9 and 25-10. They punched their ticket to the semis. Well, they won it all last year. And they're going back to try and defend it this year with a sweep of Thompson. Rises. And it's in. Jaguars are going to the championship. The spotlight shines on the top two seeds at the state tournament, Northern Cass and Linton HMB. Each a win away from history. It's the Class B State Championship on Beck Sports. Hi, everybody. So happy you've been with us the entire state tournament journey. Nick Tice, the Bishop Brian coach, Mick Tidrow with you. Well, Nick, it has been an exceptional season for both Northern Cass and for Linton HMB. These are the two top-ranked teams entering the state tournament. They haven't disappointed throughout the course of the tournament, and Linton HMB is on a crass course to try and win back-to-back -back state titles. How do they do it today? Well, the thing for them that we've seen so strong is their passing. I mean, two years in, they haven't dropped a set at state. Their service stream receive is strong. Their defense is strong. So they're going to have to maintain that level of passing if they want to come out tonight with a win. Well, passing is the name of the game for Linton HMB. So is defense. Northern Cass has one of those top defenses we've seen throughout the entire state. If they want to win their first state title since 2013, how do they get past the defending champs? Their biggest thing is they got to take advantage of their height. Um, D Linton's going to defend stuff, and they're going to pick up the ball. But if Northern Cass can be strong, put up big blocks at the net, and then put the ball away and finish long volleys, they're going to have a shot at winning. Well, they're two top teams in the state for a reason. It's number one Northern Cass taking on number two Linton HMB. In the state title game, we're excited to bring it to you here on Beck Sports from the event center. It is the Jaguars and the Lions for it all in Beck. Ag producers, North Dakota's electric cooperatives remind you to watch for electric hazards. When operating large equipment, your local electric cooperative recommends using a spotter and maintaining distance of 10 feet from power lines in all directions at all times. And always consider down lines energized. Your local electric cooperative's priority is safety, the safety of their employees and you, their members. Stay safe, stay watchful. This message is brought to you by North Dakota's electric cooperatives. Opioids are a type of medication that can relieve pain. However, just like any medication, taking opioids can impose some risks. Your pharmacist is a key partner and may be taking extra steps to ensure your safety when taking an opioid medication.
Many pharmacists across the state can prescribe naloxone, which is a life-saving medication that can be given to someone who has accidentally overdosed. If you are concerned about yourself or a loved one that's taking an opioid, talk to your local pharmacist. Spas, etc. Yeah, yeah. You've come to know and trust us for over 18 years with the largest selection and showroom in Western North Dakota for our beautiful Sundance spas. Plus, you can pick out your next home experience with our selection of pool tables, shuffleboards, and fun accessories. Spas, etc. Your relaxation destination on Made in Bismarck. It's easy to see yourself here at Valley City State University, where faculty know your name and your dreams, where opportunities stretch as far as your aspirations and your interests drive your college experience. Here you'll find a community that supports you in every aspect of college life, and you'll leave ready to make a difference in the world. See yourself at VCSU. Schedule a tour today. This is the Farmers Union Insurance pregame show. For all of your insurance needs, contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent or go to FUMIC.com. Welcome into the Class B Championship Farmers Union Insurance pregame show from Bismarck, North Dakota. The one loss Jaguars and the two loss Lions here on Beck Sports for the title match. Let's go ahead and take a look around the region here today to see how we got to the state title game. It's been an impressive performance from all of these teams, brought to you in part by West Dakota Chevy Dealers. Discover something strong at your local Chevy dealer. Linton HMB, two matches, Nick. Two sweeps. Northern Cass, a tougher time. They had to go through Kenmare. That one took five sets to come back and win to get him here. Yes, and very impressive for them to finish. Um, they were up two sets to one and ended up dropping that next one and then in a really tight fifth set um, they came out strong and they came out swinging so both teams have done a nice job getting here obviously Linton with two sweeps very impressive at, for anyone at the state tournament but let alone back to back nights and these two teams only three combined losses throughout the whole entire year Northern Cast one loss came to Linton HMB one of the Lions losses came against the Jaguars so that leaves us with our Eventide Senior Living Community keys to the game. Check out eventide.org for more information. This is a huge key for Litton HMB. Back row defense, we've seen it the first two matches to help lead them to a sweep in each one. Right, and one thing we've all talked about throughout this tournament is it just seems like Schumacher doesn't have to move. She stands there and the ball finds her. Um, hats off to those passers. And then on the other side for Northern Cass, early points in each set. We've we talked about this a lot throughout the course of the state tournament with Linton HMB. It's tough when you don't score early on them, and that can really hurt teams. So how can Northern Cass do that today? Um, I think staying confident and aggressive early. There's going to be maybe some jitters. It's a championship night. So staying, you know, keeping yourselves calm and in control. Can you put the ball on the floor and get excited and build some momentum? Well, Northern Cass looking to try and do that against a tough Linton team that does not give up early points at a very high clip. The only time we've seen that in the state tournament was in the first match for the Lions against the Lax Burlington, a 7-3 start for the Lakers, and then we saw Linton start to roll in that first match to help them move to the semis, and then, of course, sweeping Thompson. So that's our Eventide Senior Living Community Keys to the Game. Find out more at eventide.org. Well, we could go up and down this roster for both teams and find a bunch of players to talk about in our Pro C player matchup. But let's single in on two, Nick. We've talked a ton about Shaylee Bosch throughout the course of this state tournament. Deservingly so. She posted 14 more kills yesterday. Yeah, and she's come a long ways if you got to watch this tournament last year. She did a nice job in the middle, but this year she's putting it away with authority. Her hits have been big, loud swings. So she does a really nice job of finishing the ball. But you talk about Schumacher. The ball seems to find her defensively, yes. offensively it seems like it finds Bosch. Yes, yes, they feed off of each other really well. So Bosch just one of three players to have at least 300 kills on the year for the Lions. That is an impressive mark. And then for Northern Cass, they're going to lean on somebody that has really helped them throughout the course of this tournament. Josie Jensen, just a sophomore middle hitter, 15 kills yesterday in that five-setter against Ken Merrick. Yeah, and she does a really nice job of moving the ball as well. I'm sure she's grown quite a bit throughout the season. Um, just a sophomore, but 
bright future ahead for her. I mean, she does a nice job. She's in a championship game, gaining experience and contributing. It's not like she's just a role player. You know, she's a main player. And she's been dominating at the net. That's one area that Northern Cass has really singled in on. How can we block teams defensively? That's one of our big t talking points with the Jaguars. And Jensen's done that almost to perfection. Four blocks in each of the first two matches. That's going to be a big impact today. Right. While well, walking in and looking at these teams, you know, I know we just watched two Bismarck teams on Class A, and it looks like Northern Cass would fit with them on height. So it's Northern Cass and Linton HMB in the Class B state title game. We'll step aside, come back with the starting lineups. First serve, moments away from Bismarck. Trust and expertise are what makes a great product. Thunderseed is here for you. From generation to generation, we are rooted in developing successful seed varieties, innovative genetics, and outstanding customer service. As a family-owned business, we put the care and needs of our customers before everything. Expanding from the Midwest to Western Canada, Thunderseed has grown to become one of the leading seed companies in the region. Be first in the field with Thunderseed. This is Cass Clay Country. From early mornings on our farms to evening dinners in your homes, our dairy farmers are your neighbors, your friends, your family. Our goal is to make your mornings a little brighter, your days more fulfilled, and to remind you when it comes to quality, there is no expiration date. When choosing Cass Clay products, you're supporting your community. Cass Clay, homegrown pure goodness. Hi, I'm Eric Hardmeyer, President of the Bank of North Dakota, and I want to talk to you about student loans. We encourage you to keep education expenses and student loan debt down. One way to do this is by earning college credit by taking dual credit or AP classes in high school. Research the starting salary you will make in your career before taking out student loans. Calculators on our website help you determine the highest amount of debt you should consider. For women who give their all for others every day, it's easy for self-care to get lost in the shuffle. Regular breast cancer screenings save lives. Take care of your loved ones by taking care of your health. Talk to your health care provider about a breast cancer screening today. Helping you make informed decisions about managing your insurance risk is what they do at BBH Insurance. Whether you're a farmer, rancher, or oil field contractor, BBH Insurance will protect what's important to you. BBH Insurance, we make buying insurance simple. In southwestern and south central North Dakota, on any given day at any given moment, a Dakota Community Bank and Trust customer is logging in or signing on to do their online or mobile banking. We believe that community banking can blend both the past with down-home customer service in-house and the future with modern banking conveniences and technology for our customers anywhere, like here or here, all while honoring our long-standing tradition of community-first oriented banking here at Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Helping you make informed decisions about managing your insurance risk is what they do at BBH Insurance. Whether you're a farmer, rancher, or oil field contractor, BBH Insurance will protect what's important to you. BBH Insurance, we make buying insurance simple. This is the Farmers Union Insurance pregame show. For all of your insurance needs, contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent or go to FUMIC.com. We're not too far away from first serve at the Class B Championship from the Bismarck Event Center. That's Jamie Richter firing up her Linton HMB squad, trying to win back-to-back -back state titles and be just the second team in the past 10 years to win at least two titles in a row. Let's take a look at our Vogel Law Firm starting lineup, where you're more than just a client, you're a trusted partner in your case. It's an incredibly talented starting lineup for Linton. Gracie Schumacher, Callie Haas, Kim Geffro, Tegan Scher. J.C. Richter, Shaley Bosch, Lacey Bosch, the consistent starters for the Lions on the opposite side. Richmond, Crockett, Erickson, Jensen, and the two Lucases have been fantastic in this state tournament. And Elise Sand in the starting lineup for the Northern Cast Jaguars. Just a one-loss team under the direction of Andrew Johnson in her third season. That's our Vogel Law Firm starting lineup. Let's tap into the public address announcer and listen in for the starters on the court.
And for their competitor, the road back to this stage is a long and winding one. They haven't been to the state championship since 2013 when they won. If you're wondering if this game is personal, it is. Last year, their competitor knocked them out of the semifinals and went on to win the championship. This year, they hope to get some vengeance. And why not? They're the Region 1 champions, undefeated all year long. They haven't seen a loss since 2020. <laughs> History calls them the underdog, but today they are the number one seed, Northern Cass Jaguars! The North Dakota High School Activities Association and its premier partner, Farmers Union Insurance and supporting sponsor, Vision Zero, believe that all high school activities provide lessons for life, including the lesson of treating everyone with respect and with a pledge of good sportsmanship. This athletic contest is played under the observance of the NDHSAA's behavior expectations by all those in attendance. We hope you enjoy the championship and please let your good sportsmanship show. Now enough of this. Let's meet tonight's competitors. In alternating order, number one for the Lions, Paige Hullum, and for the Jaguars, Abby Richmond. And number one, Abby Richmond. For the Lions, number two, Emma Sheck. And for the Jaguars, number two, Hallie Crockett. For the Lions, number three, Gracie Schumacher. And for the Jaguars, number three, Addie Rust. For the Lions, number four, Kelly has and for the Jaguars number four Ali Slinger for the Lions number five Grace Keeney and for the Jaguars number six Noel Erickson for the Lions, number six, Grayson Holzer. And for the Jaguars, number seven, Josie Jensen. For the Lions, number seven, Kim Gepro. And for the Jaguars, number eight, Katie Evenson. For the Lions, number eight, Tegan Scher. And for the Jaguars, number nine, Addie Winterquist. For the Lions, number nine, J.C. Richter. And for the Jaguars, number 10, Ellie Lucas. For the Lions, number 10, Emma Weiser. And for the Jaguars, number 12, Emma Lucas. For the Lions, number 11, Shay Lee Bosch. And for the Jaguars, number 13, Jocelyn Ots. For the Lions, number, number 13, Lacey Bosch. And for the Jaguars, number 15, Elise Sam. And for the Lions, number 15, Kaylee Wenninger.
At the helm for the Lions, head coach Jamie Richner, and for the Jaguars, Angie Johnson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the stage is set, the characters met. Let's name a champion! Well, Nick, if you're not fired up after that, I don't know what can oh, get you fired up. I'm excited. Let's see how this one goes. Two great teams. It's been a great season for both of them. Let's see what happens. It's the Lions meeting the Jaguars for the third time this year on the biggest stage of these players' career. Litton HMB was here just 365 days ago. Northern Cass hasn't seen this light in eight seasons. They're 1-0 in state championships. It's been a while since they've been back. Well, this place is bumping. There we go. The Jaguars are out. The Lions are here. Let HMB in the classic green and yellow and the white uniforms today for Northern Cass. First serve of the championship game brought to you in part by Degeman Industries. Check out Dagelman.com for more information and to find an authorized dealer near you. Dagelman Industries, engineered tough. Tim Geffro set to get us underway from the event center in the Class B championship game. So happy you're with us. And off we go in the Class B title game in Northern Cast straight to work through the middle. Like we said, they got to get early points, and that's one way to do it. Set Jensen in the middle and let her do her job. Well, Jensen's somebody we circled because we knew she could play a massive impact after 15 kills yesterday in a five-setter win against Kenmare. Yep, already off to a great start. And HMB, one of the best teams at responding, and Shaylee Bosch right down the line. This one trickles out. Just a little bit wide on that swing. So the Northern Cast Jaguars, 36-1 on the season out of Region 1. Angie Johnson, the third-year head coach. Had a tough one in the semifinals, but squeaked past Kenmare in a five-set thriller. J.C. Richter, the tap. Set up on the outside. This one's Emma Lucas. Defended well by Linton. Here comes Richter again. She plants down her first kill, and J.C. Richter off to a good start. I remember watching these two outsides last night, and I said it, or last, not last night, last year in the championship match, and I said it then. I'm going to say it now. If they don't take away that cross-court shot, um, they're going to have a tough time. Like they're one of the best. Team. Yes. There's the setup for Shaylee Bosch. She tools the block, and she adds her first kill. So two straight points to start off for the Jaguars. Lions come back with their first two. The Lions 36-2 this season, one of those losses against Northern Cass. They've swept both of their opponents so far in the state tournament and are looking for back-to-back -back titles. There's Bosch, rolls and hits into the net. A yeah, couple of early errors here, they just gotta find their rhythm. In terms of passing though, Schumacher doesn't have to move. She's just waiting for that ball. Well, Schumacher one of the best in the state. 1,100 kills in her junior campaign. She sets it up, long run for Tegan Scher. The defense is so smart at adjusting. Yeah. Outside is Scher, tools the block, strikes her first kill. So what we've already seen from Linton HMB, three points, three different killers. Yeah, so they're getting all their scorers on the board early. All three of them have over 300 kills, too, this year. So, these are three of the big characters of this one. And what do you do when there's so many girls who can kill the ball? That's my question to you, my friend. <laughs> Keep them out of system. I'm trying to do it here, but Richter smashes down through the center. Nice swing by Richter out of the back row. She just got so much finesse. She doesn't even look like she had to swing that hard, but that, was, that had some speed on it. It did. Five-year starter. Played All a couple last year. Played a couple different positions. She's been a libero before, but turned into a great hitter. Knows every part of the floor with no problem. Yeah, very smart player. So it was a 2-0 start for Northern Cass. 
And now a 5-1 spurt for Linton HMB. There's the setup. Lacey Bosch readjusts and strikes. So four hitters on the board now, right? Four out of six points. And different swings. There's the set for Lucas. Emma Lucas, the team leader in kills. Right through the middle, tap. Schumacher there again. You talk about she doesn't have to move. She's always in the right spot when the yep. ball finds her. Yep. And it's tapped down and in. So Northern Cass going to have to settle their nerves here a little bit. Nice job by the, the Linton offense. Again, they're hitting that cross-court shot, and they're so good at it. One of the best minds in the game teaching it to them, Jamie Richter. State Coach of the Year last season, deservingly so, in the state championship run for the Lions, trying to do that again. Yep. And Northern Cass snaps a 7-1 streak. Yeah, a little bit of breathing room here. They want to get this ball going now. It's still early in the first set, so a lot of volleyball left. Sanderson Russ, the sophomore center, back to serve. Set up, Lacey Bosch. That one's off the top of the net. So back-to-back -back mishaps have given Northern Cass yep. a few points. Yep. And I think that big block is going to give them problems, even if that one was in the tape. It just takes up so much court. So these hitters are going to have to be patient with themselves and find the floor with the ball. Right into Richter. That doesn't happen often. It doesn't, but they still readjust. Tap. There's Kelly Haas. So smart on the back row. Nice read by the libero. Smash down Lucas. Richter saves. This sets up a nice shot on a roll from Tegan Share. These are two of the smartest outsides in the state, and they're on the same team. It's just such a constant having to play defense and adjust to their ability to turn the ball, roll the ball, swing, kill the ball, cross court and line. I mean, they have it all. And that's what Northern Cass wanted to do on that position, attack and, and, and have a, a out of system first touch, but Richter yep. forced it to be in system. Yes, yes, she does such a great job with ball control. Falls down, but out of bounds. So out on the one line. One line judge calls in, one calls out. They each have different lines. So it was in, in on the back line, but out on that far sideline. line. Outside, it's Emma Lucas. Another swing out. How does Northern Cass start to settle in a little bit here down five? Ah, uh, this timeout might help them here. That's right on cue. Angie Johnson, third-year head coach, burns her first here in set one in the title game. Forty years ago, Aero Service Team started with one truck and lots of hard work. Times may have changed, but the hard work that we put in to get your lives back in order after fire, water, and disaster hasn't. Over the years, we've seen so many families lose their belongings due to water and fire damage. Restoring homes back to the original state has made every hour of hard work well worth it. Thank you for trusting our family with yours. When disaster strikes, you only have to make one call. Arrow Service Team does it all. This is a good place to shop for a Chevy. This is a good place to shop for a Chevy. And this is a good place to shop for a Chevy, too. Whether you want to shop online and take delivery at home from a participating dealer or just have a dependable place to get service, discover the easy way to shop, buy, and own a Chevy. Find new ways, find new roads. Get an incredible offer on a new set of tires. Then double your offer with the GM or Buy Power Card. Visit WestDakotaChevy.com. Fans showing out today for the Lions and the Jaguars. We've seen a couple of Lions outfits, Jaguar outfits. That's pretty appropriate for today's matchup, of course, at the Class B State title. So glad you're with us. It's a 10-5 start for Linton here in set one. Make it 11-5. Wow. You can feel the momentum. They're just ready to play. And Northern Cass, settle in like you talked about. Relax and try to take control here. They have to try and stop Gracie Schumacher on the service line. And they get some help because she stops herself. Yep. 
what we need to see out of this Northern Cass team, they can't rely on Linton to make mistakes because they're not going to make 25 in a set and let you win. You're going to have to start earning some points. So Northern Cass needs to find a way to generate some offense here. Plenty of options to generate that offense. We'll see if they can get it started. They start it on the block. Maybe that's the yes. way they can turn it. Yeah, if they can bother these hitters a little bit, they're going to give their chubs a chance to win. Nice job. She took away that cross and got hands on it. That was Elise Sand. We saw her put up nine blocks yesterday wow. against Ken Mer. Wow, that's a big day. Close the gap to four. The set, the pound by Crockett. That's the first time we've called Hallie Crockett's name. Won't be the last. They go other side, Lucas. Nice job to take the setter out of play. Tegan shares stop. Was in the net. Mm. It's a long discussion, and they give it to the Lions. Yeah. And she was on the way. I mean, I saw the net moving there on the way down. Yep, she was on it. Outside, there's Crockett. Nice job by the Linton blockers. They're doubling up Crockett on that side. It's now Gefro swing. She pummels one for her first. Nice job by Gefro. You know, she's had an interesting story of getting back to being on the court with two ACL tears. I know she has a special bond with Coach Richter, and they've worked really hard to help her become the player she is. Look at that swing. Yeah, that's an incredible swing. And she, before this year started, hadn't played competitive volleyball really until seventh grade. So just a crazy story for her to come back yes. and be one of the team's leaders. Yeah. And Northern Cass goes right in between her and Bosch up front. Yeah, nice job to make that play happen. Um, good read by the setter to drop that one inch. Caught the whole defense not ready for that. So both teams settling in here a little bit. It does seem like everything is calmed. Yep. Environment was jolted, and there is an error on Abby Richmond. A little bit of a long pause might have contributed to that service error. Mm -hmm. Ever reliable four year starter Callie Haas on the service line. Through the middle, Jensen swings, dug out by Schumacher. They're so calm when they defend. They can all dig, they can all set, they can all swing, they can all block. Yes, yes, blocks coming left, right, and center. Hunter and Bosch. Up front. There's Crockett. Oh my goodness. Set back with authority. Okay, so I thought we'd be saying Northern Cass on a lot of blocks, but this Linton front line isn't even letting their defense have a chance at it. Shaley Bosch and Kim Geffro have added a completely new dimension to this defense for Lynn. They were exceptional last year, but this year that has yes. taken another level. Yes, they've grown so much. And what do you do when you're the state champs? What do you do with the rest of the state when your state champs just get better? All right, it's a retool, not a rebuild. Yes. That was a big point for the Jaguars. Yeah, much needed swing there. They send the junior setter, Noel Erickson, back. Last game had a couple of aces against Kenmare. You're not going to find many on this Linton squad. You will not. Great dig. Way to read that. She was in a really good position for that swing. Bosch had the first swing. Geffler has the second. She doesn't miss. Wow, she's explosive on the right side. That is a huge swing for Geffro. Northern Cass had one timeout to use. Angie Johnson uses it down eight in the Class B state title match. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance. Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF. We create chemistry. Women's Way. Back Communications Cooperative. Well, Kim Greffro's journey back onto the court has been a long one, but the patience has paid off. 
she's helped leading her lit and HMB Lions in the state championship game. Yes, a couple of tears, kills here, and I was just, I'm just watching, going, oh my gosh, she's on the right side. What does that say about the rest of your hitters when your right side can get up and just bury the ball? You see the left all the time with Richter and Cher, but yeah. then you put Gefro on the right, the Bosch is in the middle. Yeah, this is just always weapons for them. And when your setter doesn't have to move, she can use them all. She doesn't move there again, and J.C. Richter moves toward the northern cast side and delivers. Perfect match herbicide replay. You're right, Schumacher yeah, didn't even she move. She doesn't even move. Crockett on the service line. Slide from the outside hitter. You don't see that very often. And they got a Lucas here. And they're going to need her to, to start producing some kills for this team. A stop by Richmond, but she pops it out. Nice job by Bosch. Tight set. Made a good adjustment. Directed it away from the block. And got rewarded. Knuckleball serve from Richter works to perfection. So experience seeming to be the favor in this first set. Obviously, Linton's been here. They've proven that all tournament long, and they showed up ready to start this match. And Northern Cass is battle-tested from yesterday's five setter. Yes, yes. There's Lucas, but Richter stuffs. And Cher pummels one out. Doesn't happen very often. See, dig after dig yep. from J.C. Richter. Yeah, and you're going to see that a lot by this team. And they're familiar with each other, so you know these girls are going to read each other a little bit. Share the roll shot. Leading the way with four kills. And they have a lot of kills on this squad. So they've been moving the ball really well. They have a lot of different options. And so... It's almost hard to distinguish which hitter is going to be the one that leads them because any of them on any night could do it. Well, they have 11 kills total by five different players in this first set. <laughs> Lucas. Nice job to move it around. Northern Cass in control, but it's smacked out by Elise Sand. That was just a little bit low for her. They ran a nice tempoed one there. Just a little bit low, and she didn't quite get a chance to bring it down. Oh, my goodness. Grace Keeney. They're going to need her to swing here. She's going to have to go aggressive and see what she can do. Cher, off the double block. Richter through the center once again beats Erickson. Great job to attack the corner. They know they're trained to attack setters. So she's taking that ball to the corner. Nice job. How about that stop from Grace Keeney off the bench? Yeah, coming in to serve and keeping the ball alive. Wouldn't know she comes off the bench. Yeah. And Lucas into the net. So already set point here in number one. Lynn HMB has not lost a set here at the state tournament. Swept DLB. Swept Thompson. One point away from starting the state tournament, 7-0. And there it is. Jamie Richter and company are two sets away from back-to-back -back champions here from Bismarck. You've known Central Business Systems for their award-winning office equipment sales and servicing for over 45 years. Now meet their new initiative, Secure Document Destruction. When you've got to get rid of volumes of sensitive material, let us handle the job of destroying documents, hard drives, and removable media. CBSI will work with your needs, bring all the equipment on site, and recycle all materials so you can get back to work. Check it out yourself at 2514 Highway 281 in Jamestown, or give them a call at 701-252-7474. There's a lot to be happy about at Dickinson State University. College can be expensive, but at DSU we're freezing tuition through summer 2023. That means more money in your pocket, and that will make anyone happy. So share the news. You can graduate for less at Dickinson State University. 
DSU is ready for you. For more details, visit dickinsonstate.edu slash tuition. People of all ages are discovering Sura Space and Transportation is the economical way to travel. The fare gives you same-day round trip to Minot on one of our comfortable buses for likely less than you'd pay for gas. We serve these seven counties and the city of Minot. It's such a great deal, over 86,000 passengers ride with us yearly to shop, for appointments, and much more. For your next trip to Minot, relax and ride with us. Unlike treatments that only repel, Jaraxa Seed Treatment is the only one that eliminates wireworms. So cereal growers everywhere are going to be picking off wireworms like hotshot players in an arcade game. And you know how that's going to feel. Pretty darn great. Unless you're a wireworm. Taraxa Seed Treatment from BASF is here. For wireworms, it's game over. Don't be fooled by that beat-up old cap. Its faded crown represents the tireless work of America's farmers and ranchers. Its sturdy brim, their dedication to providing our nation with a safe, affordable food source. So we'd like to tip our hat to them. Farmers Union Insurance. Protecting those that protect America's food source. What does it mean to be Jimmy Proud? Jimmy Proud too. Join our family at uj.edu. We've seen an array of weapons from Litton HMB early on, Nick. Five different players have posted kills for the Lions front line. Right, that's just so much depth for them. They can go anywhere with the ball. They can score in so many different ways. Um, such a dynamic offense that they can run with all these different hitters. They're excited about it. Yes. So coming into this, Northern Cast, they lost a big set yesterday in the fourth. And they came back to win the match. So if they just settle and relax, they, there's nothing. They're not out of this. The best part about volleyball we talk about is it resets at 0-0. So have a short memory. You're in a state championship. Relax and play. It's a battle-tested Northern Cast team as Richter right back to work. Picks up her fifth kill, a match best so far. They did beat Litton once. They know how to adjust against the Lions, but how do they do it in this championship match? Well, I think, I think it's going to start with passing. We haven't seen a much offense out of them. They really kind of didn't get into their rhythm, and that's part of it. Linton is a great serving team. I think every team that played, has played them would agree with that. But Northern Cass is a good team, too. Settle in, get a ball to your setter, let her run your offense, and let your hitters go to work. Well, something that you mentioned that's super important as Lucas taps one over, only three kills for Northern Cass in the first set. Yeah. Yeah, they relied a lot on Linton's errors. Well, you're not going to win a game waiting for them to make a mistake. They're in a state title for a reason. Excellent block there from Josie Jensen. Now need her big performance. That's her first block after posting four yesterday in the five-set win against Kenmare. Again, they just got to get it in system here. Get something in system. Long pass over to Richter. Makes the best of it. There's the set outside to Lucas. Running start, but always the right spot for Linton's yes. defense to set up the offense. But she's starting to swing. The ball will find the floor. Gravity will work for you. We talked about that, too. We did. And that's the, that's the big part of Northern Cass. They just have to stay within their offense. Yep, yep. Keep swinging. There you go. And there it drops. Josie Jensen starting to be involved, a block and a kill for her yep, first point yep. of the set. And that's what they need. They need her to step up in a lot of big ways, and she's starting to do that. Shimaka the set for Bosch. She's been excellent this state tournament. Wow, good save. Set for Lucas, taps down over the block, and maybe that's the way you beat Linton's defense right yeah, now. Yep, yeah, it seems like it's working. However, they're going to make some adjusts to tipping. I want to see swings. I want to see what Northern Cass can do because I know they can put it away with authority. The coach speaks, wants to see the swings. Yep, I want to see swings. 
I also want to know, in practice, does she just blew Schumacher's shoes to the floor and say, <laughs> if they don't pass it to you, they don't get it back? I think that might actually be the case. That, it's got to be. We she, need to confirm that after yes, the match. Yes, we will ask. And she set that one up for J.C. Richter in her sixth kill. Swings are starting to happen, though, for Northern Cass. Lucas hey, a little bit off, yep, but they're positive. swinging. They're swinging at the ball, and that's just it. You're in a, you got nothing to lose. You're going to have to take some risks and make some big swings to make plays here. Serve was nasty, but dug out by Richmond. A little bit of mistimed ball there, maybe. Almost got away with it. Bosch rolls. There's the set. Emma Lucas there. pops one down. That's important. That's her first kill for her yes. to have that ball get down on the floor is huge. Yep, yep. she's got to feel that she's going to be successful as she keeps putting the ball down. Nice job to keep this in play. Really nice defensive play by Northern Cass. Three-year varsity starter Emma Lucas, one of the calming senses on this team. And Shaylee Bosch had nothing calm about that swing. Nice job connection by Schumacher and Bosch to put that ball away. Just a quick back set to her, knew where she was going to be. She followed her in as a hitter and got a kill. How fast she, she whipped it and then the, the release and pull back on that yep. swing. When you're in middle and a ball's tight, you got to keep off the net. So she does a nice job to pop her hand back. Lucas does the exact same thing, but look at this defense. That ball was never above their chins. Lucas smashes with authority and it drops home. Yep. She's going to find her rhythm here a little bit in this one, get used to the, the floor and the speed in the state tournament. As she settles in, she's going to make some big plays down the stretch. And she's moving it around nicely, too. That one she took down the line, so nice job. Last set, 10 to 5 lead for Litton HMB after the first 15 points. See if Northern Cass can keep. Litton HMB at bay, and this is a good sign, staying yep. patient defensively. They take a lead. Yep, and this is their first lead, if I'm correct. Maybe in the first set there was a point here, but um, first lead early in the set. They're staying calm, and it's helping them to start this one. A set for Cher. Defense slides to perfection. Excellent job by Slinger. Oh, nice job by Lucas to say that that ball was going out past the antenna, and she did a nice job. She's been more involved in the second set, a huge yes. sign. Yep. Had to look, I had to confirm that they gave her that. The refs didn't really signal, I didn't see a hand. The set, and that is a violation. You know, we've seen plays where they're allowed to do that, but if you look at this one closely, it sticks on her hand just a little bit too long. Took it from shoulder height above, so I think that's why they made the call. It was just a little bit too too long in her hands. You're right. They have been a little bit lenient with that, letting them play in the state tournament. Yep, yep. Oh, and it's a call you can let go. If it's a clean off your one hand, you can let that go. You're not able to get away with it there. Not a lot of room. Nice job to bring that one back in. Set for Kefra, rejected at the net. This is the classic Northern Cats front line we're used to seeing as yeah. Sand pounds it down. Nice job at the net to make their presence known, bother them, get a free ball, and put it away. The first year starter has improved every single week for Northern Cats, according to Angie Johnson, and she has performed extremely well at the state tournament. 13 kills and 10 blocks. There's Geffro launches one out. So a couple hitting errors for Linton in this one. That's a little bit rare. The coach wants a timeout. Yep, Jamie Richter has seen enough. It's a 9-6 lead. A bounce back potential here for Northern Cass to the state championship game. For women who give their all for others every day, it's easy for self-care to get lost in the shuffle. Regular breast cancer screenings save lives. Take care of your loved ones by taking care of your health. Talk to your health care provider about a breast cancer screening today. In our family, we all use electricity different. But when it comes to our Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we all think about it the same way. Because our co-op is power. power. Sure, electricity turns the lights on. But power is the information that we get from our co-op about efficiency. Safety. Technology. We trust the co-op. 
They're our neighbors. Our friends. Our home. A message from Northern Plains Electric, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Well, Northern Cash starting to come alive on the front line, blocking and attacking. Yes, and so their offense has started to generate some success. Lucas got a couple of kills, um, and the players starting to come alive now. I want to see you see dance like thing. that. I don't have those moves. I disagree. He's got me beat. <laughs> I've seen you dance on the Bishop Ryan sidelines before, right? I hope it's not on <laughs> film. <laughs> then HMB going back to work, down by three, and they pick up the first point after the Jamie Richter timeout here in the state championship. Not a bad play here, just a little bit wide on that ball. Northern Cass has spoke about we can't let opposing teams go on runs, especially teams like Linton. That's a great way to respond and not allow that. Yep, not allow the run there. Nice job. Their hitters are starting to find the floor. And so I think obviously we've seen Linton make some great saves, but eventually gravity's going to work for you, so keep swinging, keep being aggressive. And the adjustment's been a complete 180. Northern Cass seems absolutely comfortable now. Yes, yep, they've come alive here. They feel confident they've got a little bit of a lead, so they feel like they can compete in this one. Richter pounds one off the top. And this one is hit too hard by Austin. Linton HMB trying to win back-to-back -back titles. Be the second team to do that in the last 10 years. Lamore Litchfield Marion won three straight titles, 15, 16, and 17 seasons. And also be just the sixth team to ever win back-to-back -back titles in the Class B ranks. Well, it's hard enough to win three games at regionals, let alone three at state. And then you put six straight at state on top of that. That's tough to do. That is tough. And what's tough is stopping that front line when Jensen's on a roll, her third kill. Nice job, nice swing. She turns that right off the block. And when you're her height, you can see a lot of things up there. Six foot three, tallest player on the court today. Yeah. yeah. Just a sophomore. Wonder what they put in their water. <laughs> Both teams water. Litton's yes. won how many games? 60 in the last yes. two years, That's only two true. losses. Jaguars 36 and 1 this year, six foot three players. Yeah, their whole front line. One of our basketball coaches said that's taller than your lineup coach. <laughs> <laughs> our boys basketball coach. It's a violation and it gives Linton a point. But look at this dig once again. Ha Hass on the back row has been great. Really nice job to keep that ball alive. Jensen with finesse. Like I said, when you're that high in the air, you can see a lot. You watch her eyes. She saw the spot open. She didn't show it. She didn't give it away. She just turns right at the last second and puts it down. And she's been more involved in this second set. She's touching yep. it almost every other possession. Yep, and it's going to make the Linton players have to move and defend different spots. But they're getting in system. They can run multiple hitters now. She'll be one of them the rest of the way. Richter rolls. I don't know if we've talked about how high Richter can jump. She's not the tallest hitter here, but you wouldn't know that based on how high she's contacting this ball. Now she is one of the highest jumpers in, in Class B. Well, and she was originally trained as a libero, and for obvious reasons when you watch her pass, but she's become a really nice hitter for this team. Lucas. Tegan Share lights one up. Excellent, Excellent job by Jensen. And the setter to know that her outside was out of that play made a great choice to move it back. There's Bosch cross court straight to the face of Richmond. Nice shot by Bosch. Richmond's in the right position here. So, I mean, it's a hard hit to handle. Inching closer to taking the lead back are the Lions. Lucas unable to get it over. We're tied at 12. Angie Johnson not pleased. She wants a timeout. Northern Cass at a three-point lead. That is a quickly evaporated in the championship game. NISC's culture is great in many different aspects. Um, I like that we all have a sense of wanting to help each other out. NISC actually means what we say. We've got our shared values, our principles of personal development from integrity to all relationships. 
we stand by those. There's uh, an encouraging and friendly um, atmosphere here that it's just kind of fun to be around. Well, it was a slower start for Northern Cass, but the middle has started to dominate. Josie Jensen, four kills and one block up front. She has been a highlight reel in the second set. Yeah, she's doing a really nice job, and they're going to need to keep going to her. Um, she's finding the floor. She's moving it around. She's creating opportunities for you to score, so they're going to need to keep going to her if they want to be successful. Well, Jamie Richter is trying to put together a plan. She picked up her 500th career win yesterday in the semifinals wow. for Linton HMB. Wow. Big mark for the head coach. She has to come up with a plan to try and stop Jensen in the middle. Yeah. One way to do that, put number 11, Shaylee Bosch, across from her. And now Bosch attacks Jensen, but it's out. A little bit wide. I wonder if they were looking for a touch call, but I think she's Bosch is saying, nope, that was on me, that was out. Really hard hit, though. She's in the middle of the court. That's, that's a hard swing. That is a hard swing. Set by Schumacher, here comes Cher. Roll shot, yes, count it. You know, one key to stopping her, if you can even dream of stopping her, is to watch her hand and see if you can adjust. She, she shows a little bit that she's gonna roll, but I don't know, we have a different angle than those girls do. True. She's very hard to read, very difficult to handle. Well, yesterday we were talking about her shoulders and how well she disguises with her shoulders, and now with the hand, it's even more important to try yeah. and figure out how to yeah, contain she's, her. She's very late at showing what she's going to do, which means you got to be ready for everything. Smacked by Lucas. It's out. Litton's back in front. So a little bit of scramble on the northern cast side and sent that ball long. This is where the Jaguars cannot afford to falter. No, and they're not out of it. It's a back and forth match. You're playing a good team. Still be patient and swing. Let's see some swings here. They're swinging there, tapped by Sand, and it drops home. My goodness. I think my message would be, ladies, we got to hit the ball. We're in a state title. The name of the game is put the ball on the floor. We got to see some swings. And Schumacher just a poke. 34 kills for the center, Schumacher, and now an ace on the back line. And you're starting to feel that first set momentum here. Uh, maybe a couple changes on the on the northern cast side, but you can feel that momentum shift here. Both teams just one timeout, so they have to be careful the rest of the second set. It's tough. You get the media timeout if you can make it that long. Oh, what a pancake! She's calling it down. She's calling it down. And she did. Good call. Yep, yeah, I think that heard that sounded like it hit. Couldn't tell if that was the ball yeah. or her hand as we get a look at it from home. Yep, I think that was the ball. Yeah. Cher lights one up, converts on her sixth kill. She's tied with Richter for the most tonight. And we're going to see a lot of points on the outside by these two. Very commanding on the court. They've been five year starters, Richter and Cher. Yeah. Yeah, they, they have what, chemistry. Yep, know what they're doing out there. They don't get in each other's way very often. No, you're right. There's never any miscommunication with them. Yep. They said for Geffro. Oh, miscommunication. Well, once in a while, maybe there is. But Richmond takes advantage, found the space. Yep, yep. Keeping this one close, still have a chance. They're still in it. There's Le Shaley Bosch, rather. Lacey Bosch knocks down her second kill. Uh, and she also opens up their offense. She's become a scoring threat for them as well. Timeout for Northern Cast. They're out of them, trailing by three and set two. The two best ways to bond are with fishing and food. That's why our place by the bay is here to help you with both. With a great selection of tackle and live bait, we're sure to make your day on Beaver Bay an enjoyable one. After you've finished on the water, make sure to stop by the restaurant for the best food you can find. With prime rib nights every Saturday, we're sure to make your mouth water. Our Place by the Bay, right off the river in Linton, North Dakota. Make Our Place by the Bay your place by the bay. 
Well, the defense for Linton HMB has helped turn into offense. Sometimes it's the simple touch that gets the job done. Yeah, and then some big swings, too. There's Lacey Bosch on that last swing. The Jaguars stunned. <laughs> Can't even move. <laughs> Frozen. Frozen in his tracks. Tonight's championship match brought to you in part by Farmers Union Insurance, Dakota Community Bank, Women's Way, Bell Bank, BASF, We Create Chemistry, and Beck. Nice dig to keep that one alive. Adjustment set of timeouts, pivotal in the yes. state championship. Yep. Yep, both teams doing a great job out of their timeouts. This time Northern Cass claims the first point after the timeout. Shimaka to Bosch, right through Jensen. It's a hard swing. Both these middles so effective at putting the ball away. And that's what, her third kill? That is number three for Lacey Bosch. And you know, the fun part about this team, they all get excited for each other. I think there's players who it would be hard to be the third, fourth, fifth best hitter on a team like this, knowing you could maybe be someone else's number one or two hitter, but they don't care. They just love being here. They love playing together, and you can see it in all of them, and they just celebrate together. Look at, nice dig, though. They were about to celebrate some, after yes, that. Yes, they were starting throw. their celebrations. And they do that. They come together. They don't care who scores, we score. And that's, again, that's what brings you this far. I mean, they just love playing together. They work hard. Look at their faces, the celebration. They come together every point. Well, they know what's at stake, a second straight state title game. That doesn't happen often. Five no. teams in six separate seasons have done it. Thompson, the only team to do it twice. As Richter plants one down just inside, sneaks one home for eight kill and match best. And you're seeing all of these different hitters come alive for them. So passing is going to be the difference here. Northern Cast, settle in, get the ball to your setter here. First touch equally go. is important. Yep, nice job. Try to set that one up to your hitters if possible. Back set. Bosch readjusts. Jensen all over the place defensively. Excellent job by the sophomore. Both sides of this court, can you feel how much these girls are moving? There's just so much movement around. There's Crockett's first kill. Nice swing. That was a hard hit. Drew Linton's defense off. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he's in their platform, but what do you do when a ball comes that fast? Well, Coach Johnson says Crockett's a fireball. She knows how to swing hard, but she brings such a competitiveness juice that they love yes. on the floor. We'll see if she can get going. Jeffro having a nice game. Really, she hits hard. They all These girls swing hard. That's what gets you here. Hard swings, strong attacks, be aggressive. Take a few risks now and then. Nice reaction. Wow, Erickson saves it. Alive. Schumacher, Richter tools it, but stopped again by Lucas. Now Bosch with a second chance. Wow, look at these defenses move. Erickson is incredible. Again, Erickson the touch. Yep. As good as her defense is, it takes him out of system when she has to pass. Then Shaley Bosch ends the long rally. Nice volley by both sides. Look at the defense. These girls are on the floor, picking it up, reading and reacting to each other. Nice. Look at that ball's almost down, and they keep it alive. Yeah, that's championship-level defense there from Erickson. And now Crockett. Wow. Spins one down. She is a hard hitter. They're going to want to utilize that as much as they can. Look at this swing. And she's five kills away from 300, second most on the Northern Cast team. Send her back to serve where she has a team best 55 aces. Bosch rears back, fires down, it's out. She's done that a couple times here tonight. She's just a little bit wide. She takes shoulders and thumb. So thumb down to the right, shoulders to the right, and it just sails a little bit wide. If she would pick one or the other, that ball's probably not going to be quite as wide and can convert to a point. Oh, excellent. Decision making from Litton's back line. Yep, and they're all talking, communicating. Even the bench is saying, out, 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 out. It's one of the most active benches out there. Yep. Well, they've 
They've seen what it takes to get here, and they want to be a part of the legacy. Set point, chance for Linton to take a 2-0 lead in the state championship game. Nice dig. Deegan Share trying to end it. Set, Lucas off balance. Oh, this could be a big spot. Jensen taps, converts. Yeah, she's able to find the floor. Nice job to see it. The second set far from over. Northern yeah. Cass knows how to make a run. Yeah, she just puts it right over the block. Five kills for Jensen, a team best tonight. Big part of the success of the team this season. Schumacher. Wow. wow. Erickson again. Oh, she showed up to play. Outside for Cher. Jaguars readjust. Sets it up for Tegan Cher. Nice block. Erickson, perfect placement. Lucas. Too Count it. Handle. That is what Northern Cass's offense is capable of. That's yes. perfect execution. And you got to think on a lot of teams, this ball is down. So you got to remember who you're playing. They might get hands on it. You can't let it frustrate you. You got the kill. Keep swinging hard at them. That's what I want to see. If they want to come back, hard swings and big blocks. Here we go. Northern Cass rearing a comeback. Jamie Richter sniffs it. She takes a timeout. Bosch rejected up front by Sanders. Second rejection tonight. At the heart of every small town are the people that live there and the businesses that serve them. From sporting events to 4-H, Lions Clubs, the hospital foundations, Bassett Motors has worked for the past 23 years to make sure the heart of its area small towns continues to be the people. With over 15 employees, Bassett Motors prides itself on small town service with personal attention. Bassett Motors, where our customers send their friends. Once a five-point lead for Linton HMB is down to two here in set two. It is set point, but Northern Cass is down to flow. Yeah, yeah they made a, a late push here. There's been times where we've seen them settle and play, and so if they maintain that, they're not in a bad spot. And Jamie Richter trying to make some adjustments. Slinger on the service line. The senior specialist. There's Bosch, the tap. Yep. Hands have been there defensively. Yep. A little bit out of system here. Schumacher doesn't move, sets up share, and there's a big decision, and they say it's Linton's point that's off a, of the Tegan Cher kill. That's a tough call right there, but nice job for her to read it. Linton HMB's 25 points away from making history. Third set in the championship game coming up. For innovative health care with a commitment to community wellness, put your trust in South Central Health. With services in Wishick, Napoleon, Colm, and Gackle, the health care professionals of South Central Health provide complete and comprehensive medical services to get you back to living a life focused on overall wellness. As a top 20 critical access hospital, South Central Health provides 24-hour emergency care enhanced through a partnership with E-Emergency. South Central Health, your community wellness partner in South Central North Dakota. You remember where this goes? I don't know. Are you sure it was a clicking and not a zoom, zoom? I think your quash litter ball stuck. Do you even have insurance? If we soak it, it should be good. <laughs> no matter how much you know or don't know about your vehicle, trust the experts at Tires Plus. Real answers from real mechanics. Inspections are free to ensure your vehicle is always in peak condition. Thinking service, think Tires Plus. We connect people to their work, to their families, to all things essential. That's why your Touchstone Energy Cooperative is here every day, making life easier in all the ways that matter. And of all the connections we make, we know none are more powerful than the human connection. A message from Northern Plains Electric, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. With over 70 years of experience serving our members, 
Hometown Credit Union is the smart choice for all your banking needs in Colm, Ashley, Hazleton, and Lincoln. We offer auto, home, personal, and agricultural loans, CDs, IRAs, safety deposit boxes, checking and saving accounts, and more. Be sure to check out our brand new mobile check deposit as well. For great value and small town service, look no further than Hometown Credit Union. Kim Electric is here to remind you to make safety your number one priority on the farm this and every season. With over 550 annual deaths, farming is one of the most dangerous professions. Always be aware of your surroundings and dress accordingly. Hazards on the farm can both be seen and unseen. Whether it's dangerous augers or underground power lines, dangers come in all shapes and sizes. So slow down, look up and around, and be safe this season. Your life depends on it. This farm safety message brought to you by Kim Electric. One of the best investments you can make is in yourself. At Wilston State College, invest in your education. Invest in new opportunities. Invest in your future. And with regional scholarships available, including up to $12,000 for tuition and fees, we invest in you. Learn more so you can earn more at willistonstate.edu. One of the heartbeats of the team for Linton HMB is Gracie Schumacher. She's proven it tonight. Yeah, she's done a great job. And uh, one thing she does, she gets so excited for her hitters and she just loves just having fun out there. She's uh, she's Coach Richter's niece. So I think a little bit of the emotion must run in the family. They both get super excited if you watch Coach Richter on the side here. And Schumacher can be so calm in moments and in other moments she's showing that emotion and letting her teammates know it. It just lifts everybody up. Yeah, the nice job at using it at the right times. She has set up her hitters to perfection today. They lead 2-0 here in the state title game. Looking for back-to-back -back championships. I think that went off her face. Here's Richter. Slides one down. She has a match best. Nine kills. Nice control there. She just finds the floor with the ball. She doesn't even need a full swing there. She just knows where she's aiming. She's got a lot of control. And there's Schumacher. Standing, feet glued to the floor. Yep, perfect set. Moving. Pop over by Lucas. Schumacher near the net, gives Richter a chance. Running start for Crockett. I don't think that was touched. That gives a point to the Jaguars. Yep, credit to their defense to keep this ball alive and stay aggressive with it. That's what you have to do, right? Against Linton, you have to have relentless defense, even if it doesn't reward you offensively with big kills. Yep. yep. Yeah, relentless defense, relentless offense. And belief that you can do it. I think we need to see these Northern Cass players believe they can do it. They're very capable. They've done it before. They're in a state title. They have all the weapons to do it. They had a lead in set two before Litton HMB roared back, took it 25-22. And much closer than set one, so we've seen improvements. And set one was a 13-point victory for Litton HMB. Now they're going back to those swingers on the outside. Yep. As Tegan Share picks up her seventh kill tonight. Nice save. She just floats this one right over the net into that short served area. Um, and the thing is, she can hit you deep too, so you got to be ready for both. Only four aces for Linton today, but Richter has two of them. Northern Cass's defense has been ready for it. She's one of the best servers in the state. Gives one back. This is just the second ever state title appearance for Northern Cass. They won it all back in 2013. Block came to play on that one. Yeah, nice job by them to get a hands on that. And they've been effective. I mean, their block has done well trying to, to slow this ball down or contain it. And Emma Lucas with her first rejection tonight. Nice job to move that ball back to your right side. But it's like clockwork. Pass. Schumacher. Swing. Yeah. Yeah. This time it's Bosch. Yep, she's doing a nice job. 
she's just opened them up so much more offensively because she's so mobile, she's strong, she's a hard hitter. You can't overlook her. And then you've got these two outsides coming. And then you've got another Bosch coming in, and she's just as dynamic as, as Shaylee. Nice dig by Northern Cass. There's Lucas, springs the power, converts. Yep. yep. And like we said, they might not see the ball just hit the floor as much tonight as they're used to, but it's plays like that where you're swinging it. Yeah, they're going to get some hands on it, but if they can't control it, it kills a kill. Yeah, Northern Cass pretty used to seeing that hard swing go down and nobody else touches it, but you're right. Linton's defense has that capability of changing it. Yeah, so just stay patient. Keep swinging. It's working. It's working when you swing. Lucas wins that battle again. Schumacher the set, outside to Cher. There's a double block they're putting on Cher now. Yep. And they're getting hands on stuff, so their block is working. Can they turn swing. it to points? Down swing, yep. They keep, Linton does such a nice job of hitting the setter. This time they attack Cher defensively. Yep. yep, and look at they swing, they swing, they swing. It's gonna fall, it's gonna fall. Your block has a chance of keeping the ball in the air, and your defense can keep it in the air. Keep swinging. Oh, yeah, the Northern Cast defense is, as we've seen, Erickson and company have, have shown defensively they can hold the fort down to lead yep. offense. Yep. The rotation this defense has put on today has been impressive. Yes. Hass equally as impressive. Wow. Three Lions there. Can Cher boot it over? Yes. Look how fast Richter gets up yes. after diving yeah. for it, too, and then it leads to a Cher pounce. So that that get up recovery time goes away with a, with a few years. Look at that three yeah. diving for it. Yep, yeah. they cover the ground so well. Did you just call yourself old, by the way? No. Okay. Only my students do that. <laughs> it took me a second, but I thought you made a comment and jab at yourself. <laughs> just in general, it's harder to get up. Share again. Wow. That is such a big part of her game. It's almost a signature shot for her. She is such a nice job of cutting that ball cross court. Mm. And if you let her get going on that, she will hurt you. And there were two blockers, one in the middle, and then one yep. on the far side. Yep. She threw all, three, all four of them. Yep. She cut, she drops her thumb, and she hits that sharp angle. There's a positive sign. Sand in the middle. Yep. Nice response. Setting it up. We're seeing more swings. We're seeing some aggressive swings on this northern cast side. Well, Sand in her junior season, not only has she been effective in the service line, but blocking and up front in the kill department. Yep. And one thing, it's, it's kind of funny watching her because next to some of her teammates, she's not the tallest player out there, but you forget, <laughs> you know what? She can play and she can swing. And yeah, she's one of she's the best to it. do it in the blocking yes. department. Yep. She's right yep. there again. So, Nick, she has 102 blocks this year. She's wow. two away from the school record. Yeah, well, she might get there tonight, especially if she's going to play like this. And they need her. A total of 14 blocks in the state tournament. Wow. That's how many some teams have within a four-week stretch in right. a season. Right. And now she affects the swing from yep. Bosch. Yeah, maybe didn't block it, but because of what she's doing, it causes that ball to, to be a point for them. Now, she's a force. First-year starter. You wouldn't know it. No, Coach Johnson said she's improved every match. Yeah. Okay. And it's see it. very, very on display. And now here's a chance for the Jaguars to put Linton HMB back, but Jamie Richter yep. knows that can't happen. She burns a timeout. Yep. State championship, Linton up 2-0, looking for a sweep in the back-to-back -back championship. Love the way you move. All True Advanced Orthopedics. Learn more at alltrue.org slash ortho. For all your commercial and residential heating and cooling needs, call on Prairie Heating and Air of Linton. 
with a service area spanning over 5,000 miles, Prairie Heating and Air is the service leader for all of South Central North Dakota. Our service and sales team provides prompt service, competitive pricing, and local customer care. Reduce energy costs and save money this year with a more efficient heating and cooling system. Prairie Heating and Air, we control the weather on the inside. Elise Sand has been elite in this state tournament. She's now two blocks away from a school record in her junior season, but now she's starting to swing with confidence on the offensive end. Yeah, she's creating points both offensively and defensively. Nice hit here. So she's a presence at the net. Really sparked this um, Northern Cast team. She's helped lead them to a three-point advantage in set there three. She is again. Clockwork with her in the middle. Yep. Yep, give her the ball. Set it up for Crockett. Rockets a nice swing down. Job. It really feels like this Northern Cast defense and offense is coming alive as they start to believe they can compete a little bit more. Each set they've improved, 11 points, 22 points now. A four-point lead, which is their biggest of the night. Erickson's starting to feel it, passing to Sand and to Crockett, and now Sand is putting her foot down. Yep, yep, willing her team forward. One away from the team record for blocks in a season. Lots of opportunity to have it. Wow, what a save. My goodness, this Northern Cast defense. Nice job by it. That was a rust to read that. There's Sand offensively. She attacks. This, this is, is the best set. stretch. Yeah, this is her set right here. Blocks, kills, opening up the net. I mean, she used the net a little bit there, but nice job. And again, look at Rust on that dig. The defense just setting up Northern Cast's attack. I didn't think they were going to talk that one out. Outside, Geffro haven't called her name too much here in set two. She wants a she tip. Wants There's a touch, no tip. I don't know that there was anybody who could touch that one. Well, the refs agree with you, Nick. It's a 14-7 lead. Northern Cass is largest of the night. Yep. Good net camera angle. Doesn't look like anybody touched. Oh, no. Share off the fingertips of the front line, and San wanted that one back. Maybe not a kill she thought she'd get, but a kill nonetheless. She'll take it, number 11, which is a match best tonight. She might be the shortest hitter on the court, but that doesn't stop her. She might be, but you're right. There has not been anything that stopped Tegan Share this year. Sends it over here. Sand fakes, Crockett launches out. She's aiming for that same cross court spot. I really like the idea. Didn't execute the way she wanted, but you're gonna have to take some risks like that if you wanna win this one. So I hope she keeps swinging for there. And with the lead that you have, it's okay. Yep, yep, stay aggressive with it. Don't play not to lose, play to win. Seen more movement in the second, rather third set from Linton HMB's defense. Yep. Nice read there. Wow, really nice digs from both sides. Schumacher, Bosch and Richter were going toward the same spot. Yep. yep. A rare miss by Gracie Schumacher on that set, landing kind of in the middle. And there are swings that you want to take from that spot, so I don't know which hitter was calling for that ball. And how about this front line now, bringing back Jensen in with Crockett for Northern Cass. Yep, nice. Along nice with Austin. Nice serve. Richter destroys. She's calling for a tip as well, nothing there. I didn't see a touch, but I didn't think it was going to go out. Ooh, that's pretty close. Ooh. That's pretty close. You got to remember, he's got an angle on that line, so he can see the smallest of gaps where the crowd obviously doesn't like the call, but they're not in position to make the call. And there are a lot of Linton fans in the building today. Yep. A lot of could be reps, right? As yes. Kefro yes. sends down a swing. Well, they're all welcome to join if they'd like. <laughs> it's not an easy business. It is not. We have a shortage. I like it. 
promoting. Promoting some opportunities. Yep. That was Geffro with her fourth kill. Schumacher up for Bosch. Oh, nice read there. Here comes Crockett. You know, it never really feels like Linton is out of system because they have so many options in the front and back. And how quickly they move, too. Yep, and right. they're all moving at all times. Right back into system. Yep. One touch. Schumacher, the save, still gives Richter a chance. Out to Geffro, taps in. It's a wow. save from Northern Cass. Richmond. Nice hustle play. Richter trying to end this rally. Yes, she does. Some really nice plays by both teams. Both Liberos getting in on digs. Both all hitters. I think we saw middle right side, outside, and all of them. So time out here for Northern Cass. Kim Electric is here to remind you to make safety your number one priority on the farm this and every season. With over 550 annual deaths, farming is one of the most dangerous professions. Always be aware of your surroundings and dress accordingly. Hazards on the farm can both be seen and unseen. Whether it's dangerous augers or underground power lines, dangers come in all shapes and sizes. So slow down, look up and around, and be safe this season. Your life depends on it. This farm safety message brought to you by Kim Electric. Excellent shot of the Bismarck Event Center in the venue for the Class B and A state tournaments. Did an excellent job by the entire venue. Um, they've done an excellent job keeping everything in order. Most of the matches have started pretty close to on time, so getting everybody from the exhibit hall back to the main arena has made everybody happy. Yes. Uh, one thing I just want to add quick, we were talking about officials here. Um, our down official, Janice Girding, was the official volleyball official of the year for the state of North Dakota this year. So excellent refs we have running this match. Well, we know why she's here. Yeah. Know why she's in the championship game. Correct. Congratulations to her. Now attacking from the outside, that's Austin. Good to see Austin. Make her presence felt. She had just 25 kills entering this match on the season. She has three tonight. Yeah, she's done a nice job. She's gotten the ball quite a few times. Front line of Northern Cass starting to figure out some of those touches from Shaley Bosch. There's Erickson setting it up. There's Bosch, tools the block. Northern Cass trying to keep its season alive, but Shaley Bosch has other plans. Nice job by Bosch. Lots of really good volleys. This is state championship night, and both teams making some really great plays tonight. Ooh, just the smarts. Uh, nice job to read that. So kill for Bosch, reading that, moving it away from kind of that cluster of Northern Cass defenders. The cluster's right. They've been packed in in that spot. Yep. Bosch is starting to shine. She's going both directions. I've been curious. She's hit that right side really well a couple of times. I want to see her hit this other quarter, and she did Aww. it. Schumacher, that's just too easy. <laughs> Well, she's got all these hitters. She's like, well, it's my turn to get a kill. Watch her okay. eyes. Yeah, doesn't even move. She already knew where she was going with that. Yep. yep, great read by her as a setter. That's her second dump today. There's a point in the middle from Jensen. Jensen doing a nice job. I keep saying they got to keep swinging. They got to keep getting her the ball. And when she swings, it produced, it's produced results. She had five kills in the second set, none before that one here in the third. Yep, and they're going to need her. Oh, nice serve. Let's let Minchin be into a scramble. Yep, I like Crockett. She does a really nice job. She leads the team in aces. Um, I think she gets a little bit overlooked, but she's got some power on her hits and a really nice serve. A really great leader for this team. Yeah, she is a serving specialist, too. And she's a junior, so we could see her back again. Absolutely. Richter spills one over. The Linton HMB's won 36 matches, every single one of those by sweep. They've lost two matches, a five-setter to this Northern Cast team, and a 2-0 loss to Thompson. Early in the tournament. Early in the season in a tournament. 
So every time they've won, they've swept. Yeah. But it is the championship match. And this Northern Cast team is not given up at all. They are an authority right now in the third set. Showed up to play. And you're seeing swings, blocks, hustle plays on both sides. That might have gone out. Shimaka for Bosch. There's miscommunication. You know, one thing my assistant and I talk about, we have a couple of players that always want the ball. And it, it helps avoid situations like that. So we love it. We, we like when you want the ball. Go get it. It's yours. It's, you know, I want it. My, my, mine. Go get it. We've seen that a couple times from Linton in this set. Yeah. Sand. Sand again. Oh my goodness, she almost popped you know, that in. I like where she was going. Like yeah. The, I like that decision just a little bit wide. Had that stuck in. Would have been impressive, but the defense again. Richter passed not on the floor, so Richter fills that spot. Nice swing. Schumacher keeps it going. That's a lot of jumps. Just watching her. Now Lucas. Nice job. Some of these look like they might sail out. It's hard to tell though. We're at a tough angle. We're still going. Lynn HMB closing in. Just a three-point set after Northern Cass was leading by seven. She gets the kill and yeah. somebody was in the net. Timeout, Northern Cass. A seven point lead is down to two in the third set of the championship match. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following Farmers Union Insurance, Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Bell Bank, West Dakota Chevy Dealers, BASF, We Create Chemistry. Women's Way, Back Communications Cooperative. We couldn't do what we do here at Beck Sports without our guy Jesse Schwab. It's his birthday today, celebrating not only the state tournament, but his birthday. It's a big one for him, and we appreciate everything Jesse Schwab does for us. It's a good day to have your birthday. Yeah. State is. title games. Yep. Nothing better. Class A was a victory for Century. Once again, they, they swept BHS. Yeah. There's so much experience in their program. Yeah. Took a leaf out of her book this summer, Coach Zastapol, with some of her practice stuff, and we really liked what we saw with it. So It's a pretty smart move, Coach. Yeah, thanks. I will thank her and give her <laughs> credit for that. 20-18 to 18 here in set three. Northern Cast trying to hold on and send us to a fourth set. <laughs> Tegan Share found the line somehow. That is her shot. I might be a little bit jealous, I'll admit it. If I could do that, it'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a practice thing. It's a 12-6 Linton run to pull within one. 14-7 Northern Cast led. Deegan Share plops one over. Some miscommunication. This Northern Cast team just got to settle. There we go. It's tied at 20. This building is ready to explode. Yep. And what a great place to hold the state tournament. It's been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed it here. Crowd turnout's been phenomenal. Everything's been awesome as Bosch right down in front of the line. So the first lead of this set, I believe, for Linton. Or first lead in quite a while. Northern Cass out of timeouts. Litton has one to go. There's Sand. She's blocked, but it doesn't matter. Picks up another point. Five kills for her. So this Northern Cass team brings a lot of great players back. They've been really fun to watch tonight. They have some all tournament, all weekend, really. They have some great hitters, blockers. Um, a really bright future for them. And not out of it yet. 
So now Addison rust on the service line. Bosch with the tool of the block. Schumacher sets it up. Cher has done such a good job of that today. She has 14 kills to lead all scores. She's a phenomenal outside. Really fun to watch her. Beating the block. Linton HMB is two points away from back-to-back -back titles. And I'm going to tell Northern Cast what I've been saying all night. Get some swings, get some swings. You have nothing to lose. Go down swinging and put yourselves in a chance to still be. You're still in this match. Make some swings here. Peak anxiety here in the Bismarck Event Center. A swing There's down, one. and it's a great one by Lucas. Lucas. One swing, one kill. Keep attacking to get back in this match. Boss! Nice swing by Bosch here. Match point. Linton HMB. Before that, there's an official's timeout. They're saying, hey, we can't let the, the players on the bench go onto the court as far as they are, so. Jamie Richter has to let her squad know, hey, stay there for a second. Is that what they're telling her? Look, she's icing her own server here. Maybe not a server who's a five-year starter, but might not matter. Wouldn't HMB one point away from back-to-back -back state champions? There's Crockett. Gracie Schumacher sets for Kim Geffel, and that does it from Bismarck. Back-to-back -back state champions. The Linton HMB Lions etch their name into the history books. Just the sixth team to ever win back-to-back -back titles in the Class B ranks. What a great way to finish. 25-22 for Jamie Richter and company. Wow. We'll come back with our Women's Way postgame show. Litton HMB, your victors. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance. Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF. We create chemistry. Women's Way. Back Communications Cooperative. It's now time for the post game report. Brought to you by Women's Way. A clean sweep of the tournament field, and that is oh so sweet. Mother and daughter embrace with back-to-back -back state titles. Jamie Richter and J.C. Richter. Litton HMB wins it for two straight years. Let's tap into the public address announcer as the award ceremony about to start here in Bismarck. For the High School Coaches Association. Presenting the award today is Ron Metz, NDHSCA president. Ladies and gentlemen, the Senior Athlete of the Year Award is presented by the North Dakota High School Coaches Association and sponsored by Powerade of North Dakota. The 2021-2022 NDHSCA Powerade Senior Athlete of the Year in the sport of Class B Volleyball is J.C. Richter of Lincoln HMB. The North Dakota High School Coaches Association Coach of the Year is announced at the completion of the state competition for every sport. A plaque ring sponsored by Subway will be presented at the North Dakota High School Coaches Association Coaches Convention that will be held in Mandan at the Baymont 
in July of 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2021-2022 NDHSCA Subway Coach of the Year in the sport of Class B Volleyball as selected by their colleagues is Jamie Richter of Linton HMB. Presenting the awards today are Farmers Union Insurance Representative Jed Gear of Bismarck and the NDHS AA Distinguished Student Brooke Anderson from Rugby, as well as Rich Deagle, NDHS AA Board Member from Kidder County. We would like to thank the NDHS AA Premier Sponsor, North Dakota Farmers Union Insurance, and supporting sponsor, Vision Zero, for their sponsorship of the NDHS AA Sports and activities. Would the captains from Northern Cast please come forward to receive your runner-up team trophy, followed by team members to accept your individual team plaques. Would the captains from Linton HMB please come forward to receive your second consecutive Class B Volleyball State Championship Trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the NDHS AA Class B Volleyball Championship Match Awards Ceremony. They were tabbed the dream team last year, 25-0 performance and a state championship, Litton HMB. Dream Team 2.0 gets it done with a sweep of Northern Cass to put a bow on the second straight Class B state title. Let's go ahead and take a look at our Class B All-State Tournament team. Nick, this is an impressive field. Everybody across the board more than deserving, and there are a ton of Litton HMB names on there. J.C. Richter, Shaley Bosch, Tegan Scher, Gracie Schumacher, and Kelly Hass, almost their entire starting lineup. Oh, and you sweep two state tournaments in a row. They're 18-0 and 0 in set play in state tournaments. That's unreal. It's unbelievable. So nice job by them. Uh, very deserving of being on that. And how do you pick one out? I mean, they've all been so they can all hit, they can pass, they can score, but they do it together. They're such a team that you, you could see that and feel that throughout this match and throughout this tournament. So Linton places the most on the all-state tournament team. Langdon has a couple. Morgan Freegy, Jalen Swanson on the list as well. Northern Cass, Josie Jensen with Crockett. Emma Lucas also on the list. Kate Zimmer from Kenmare and a couple of Thompson Tommies. And Brenna Strokeland from Kenmare as well. And Brenna Strokeland, yes, from Kenmare. There is a very loaded class right there yep. for the All-State Tournament team from Bismarck. This was an amazing ride. We're glad you joined us. We'll take a break, come back, and name our player of the game. There's a ton of talent to choose from. We'll name her when we come back. Different yet similar. Independent and free. With a sense of belonging, as unique as North Dakota itself. Healthcare coverage in today's world should reflect who you really are. Your way, your blue. It's time to find your next Chevy truck and forge ahead. Take on new challenges and take it to the next level. It's the perfect time to do more in your next Chevy. Find new possibilities, find new roads. 
Very well-qualified buyers can get 2.49% financing and $1,000 cash allowance on this Silverado. Plus, unlock your code to claim $500 Chevy CyberCash on most Silverado 1500 Crew Cab pickups. I was only buzzed. I was fine. I didn't want to leave my pickup. It was just a couple drinks. I only had a few blocks to go. It was a prescription. I had to take it. It was just a beer. Just a joint. It was just a glass of wine. wine. It was just one or two. I don't know. I swear, I was fine. Nobody should die because of an impaired driver. And no excuse can bring them back. Always drive sober or find a sober ride. Serving Linton and the surrounding area, Dr. Chris Terman and the exceptional staff of Linton Dental provide the latest innovations in dentistry. Integrating modern technology includes the Solea Laser, a fast and quiet solution that eliminates discomfort. We offer same-day crowns as well as sure smile aligners to help you keep up with life's busy schedule. Your health is a top priority to us, so we ensure the most stringent infection control measures are taken to keep us all safe. Linton Dental, we're in this together. Toro is America's number one brand of snowblowers, so you know you can trust Toro to power you through deep snow faster, throwing it farther, leaving your path cleaner with innovations that make it easier. And now Toro snowblowers are even more powerful and more durable than ever before. This winter, don't take snow for an answer. Toro, count on it. See the full line of Toro power equipment at the Acme Tool Store near you. They say, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. At OK Tire, we're here to keep you going. From Firestone tires and replacements to retreads and even Firestone tracks, we have you covered. Our certified Firestone experts are ready to get you back up and running, no matter if you're on site or in the field, saving you time and money. OK Tire, we keep the tough going. Stone Farmers Union Oil and CHS Nutrition. Together providing high quality payback mineral and feed supplements for your cattle operation and second to none nutrition services, including forage sampling and ration balancing. Contact Pettybone Farmers Union Oil for CHS Nutrition today. Welcome back to the post game show. We're naming our player of the game here today on the Farmers Union Oil Company Pettybone and CHS Nutrition post game. And it's JC Richter. She was just named Senior Athlete of the Year. Picked up 11 more kills tonight to lead her team to a state championship for the second straight year. And we were happy to bring it to you here on Beck Sports. We're with her mom and the head coach of Linton HMB, Jamie. Thanks for joining us here on the post game show. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you. It's pretty exciting. And this is just another title for you, second straight year. When that ball went down for the final time here tonight, what was run through your mind? Oh, my heart just sank. I, I, I mean, I, I'm just so proud of these kids. Uh, they're fighters. They're fighters, and I knew when we were down by seven points, they were not going to give up. And we knew we had to come back um, a couple points here and there in each rally, and, and they did it. And with a, with a team led by your daughter, by Tegan Cher, with all these senior players on the team, it seems like no matter how many times you go to one option, there's somebody else that can fill a void. How important were all of those seniors? That, that was the key all year. Like, it was about balancing the attack and use, utilizing our whole team. Like, I feel that is the key to our state championship this year is, and last year. It's just the fact that we don't have weaknesses on the court. They know it. They trust each other. And uh, it's all about playing as one. Well, Jamie, we go enjoy this one with your Thank team. You. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. That's head coach Jamie Richter with Linton HMB. Second straight title for the Lions in this Class B tournament, taking it against Northern Cass, defeating the Jaguars 25-11, 25-22, and 25 25- 22. What a performance for Jamie Richter and company to pick up their second straight state championship. Before we take off, Nick Tice, final thoughts here today as Linton HMB is winners for two straight seasons. You know, I think there's some, a lot of things to be learned from watching them. Their passing is just so strong, and their setter doesn't have to move. It'd be a fun job to be if you don't have to move that much. Um, and that's, that's what wins in volleyball, being able to pass, serve and serve receive is what we talk about all season. I'm sure Coach Richter talks about it. You look at her daughter and how good of a passer she is. So really fun team to watch. Northern Cass, um, really fun to watch as well. They played a great tournament and a great season, so I hope they don't hang their heads because they have a lot of weapons and a lot of talent as well. And the Jaguars only two losses all season, one of those in this championship game, both to Litton HMB. 
The Lions victorious for the second straight year in the Class B state title game. Jamie Richter wins Coach of the Year. J.C. Richter, Player of the Year. And what a performance. They'll miss these seniors. Richter, Cher, Gefro, Haas, all graduating. But they celebrate in the sweetest of fashion from Bismarck. For our entire crew, this entire tournament, we're so thankful for everybody who's put on with this production. Patrick Conte, Cole Dennis, Jesse Schwab, Ryan Bradley, Zach Hoffner, Jordan Lowry, Jordan Hassler, everybody who's gone through it. David Sugarman, Chris Clayton, for my broadcast partner Nick Tice, I'm Mick Tidro signing off. Jamie Richter is victorious and a champion once again. Lit Mitch MB back to back state champs. Thanks for joining us all week long in Bismarck. For over 20 years, the Bismarck Cancer Center has provided state-of-the-art, close-to-home cancer care to thousands in our region. But with a 70% increase of new patients since 2007, the center's high demand has led to a need for additional equipment and space. Help provide healing today and build hope for tomorrow by supporting our capital campaign. Learn more and make your pledge at BismarckCancerCenter.com. Today at Farmer Owned Egg that legacy rich, future focused cooperative spirit continues to thrive. Our devotion to superior service, relentless innovation, and member success is at the forefront of everything we do. We give members access to the best products, services, and in field assistance to maximize their production. We dedicate our efforts to the safety of our employees and members in all that we do, and we commit to supporting our members and their communities for generations to come. Mayville State University is a place where students have the chance to discover their paths to success, whether that's in the classroom, on the field, or on the stage. Small class sizes, hands-on learning experiences, and our unmatched personal service ensure that our students come first. Here, students are more than just a number. They are part of a family. Go to mayvillestate.edu to see what opportunities lie ahead for you. Mayville State University, your success is closer than you think. Unlike treatments that only repel, Taraxa Seed Treatment is the only one that eliminates wireworms. So cereal growers everywhere are going to be picking off wireworms like hotshot players in an arcade game. And you know how that's going to feel. Pretty darn great. Unless you're a wireworm. Taraxa Seed Treatment from BASF is here. For wireworms, it's game over. I invite you to stop at Dakota Community Bank and Trust and meet our professional insurance agents. They offer numerous lines of insurance including farm, ranch, federal crop and hail, commercial, home and auto. As an independent agency, they offer product solutions from a wide variety of companies. Our insurance professionals would like to get to know you and visit about your insurance needs. Serving the community and looking out for you. At Dakota Community Bank and Trust, that's what we do. When it comes to my child and the sports they love, I want them to be ready for their moment. So to fuel their bodies and their potential, I choose an authentic source of protein that has the nutrients they need to succeed and a taste they already love with one simple ingredient, beef. Do you hear that? That's the sound of you, your family, living your lives first. And this is exactly what we love to hear. At First International Bank & Trust, living first is intentional, providing your family sound banking solutions so you are free to live one breath, one splash at a time. First International Bank & Trust. Live first.
Thank you for watching this presentation of the Bet Broadcasting Network. We urge you to sit back, relax, and enjoy an encore presentation of this broadcast, which begins right now. Farmers Union Insurance, Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF. We create chemistry. Women's Way. The telecast of this tournament game has been authorized by special arrangement with the board of directors of the North Dakota High School Activities Association. Bismarck hosting the state tournament for the first time since 1988. Isn't it fitting we have an all Bismarck title match as the BHS Demons take on the defending champion Century Patriots. In the event center, happy to have you along with us. Chris Clayton here with Chris Mahoney for the ultimate crown. And this is a highly anticipated match, obviously because it's the state title, but also because it's all Bismarck. A great environment for a great matchup between two of the state's best teams. Yeah, absolutely. You couldn't ask for a better environment. Look at the fans filing in here today to see this game. Uh, the hosts got just what they wanted. A couple of high school teams from Bismarck, they're playing each other. They can't be disappointed with that. Super crowd, super atmosphere. It's going to be an exciting afternoon. Couldn't have asked for a better script than this with two of the best teams out of the West region all year long meeting in the title match. This is the fifth time these teams have played this season. They went 2-2 two and two against one another in the regular season. So further supporting this kind of a perfect matchup here, building the anticipation. But what can we glean from those regular season matchups? Obviously, Century got that WDA championship sweep. Yeah, I would probably draw most of, most of my conclusions from the most recent matchup, the West Region Championship. Uh, we know earlier in the year when they played that uh, Bismarck Century wasn't at 100% with some illnesses on their team and some kids out of their lineup. But that championship match, Century, Century really showed and flexed their muscle. They're, uh, they're the defending champions for a reason, and uh, I'm going to draw some conclusions from that that says that I think Century is the team to beat today in this in this year's state final. And they've earned the right to be the favorite. This is their 11th straight state title match appearance for BHS. Last time they were in the state championship was 2016. They played Century. Unfortunately, they lost that match trying to get some revenge here five years later. When we come back, we'll dive into this matchup more. It's the Class A State Championship on Beck, Century, and BHS from the Event Center. At the heart of every small town are the people that live there and the businesses that serve them. From sporting events to 4-H, Lions Clubs to Hospital Foundations, Bassett Motors has worked for the past 23 years to make sure the heart of its area small towns continues to be the people. With over 15 employees, Bassett Motors prides itself on small town service with personal attention. Bassett Motors, where our customers send their friends. Hi folks, it's the Caneline Cafe. I reckon it's time you're due for a hot meal. So saddle up for the day with one of our hay boss and breakfast yeah. homemade soups. Fill your grill at a salad bar, sink your teeth into our famous Caneline burger and barbecue ribs. Mm -hmm. Top it off with spur rattling pie with a con roll that's sure to put a smile on even the toughest outlaws. Yeah. Shake the dirt off the boots each night and warm up with the game. Tell them about it, Stacy. I can't wait to see you at the county line. Ag producers, North Dakota's electric cooperatives remind you to watch for electric hazards. When operating large equipment, your local electric cooperative recommends using a spotter and maintaining distance of 10 feet from power lines in all directions at all times. And always consider down lines energized. 
Your local electric cooperative's priority is safety, the safety of their employees and you, their members. Stay safe, stay watchful. This message is brought to you by North Dakota's electric cooperatives. NISC's culture is great in many different aspects. Um, I like that we all have a sense of wanting to help each other out. NISC actually means what we say. We've got our shared values, our principles of personal development from integrity to all relationships. We stand by those. There's uh, an encouraging and friendly um, atmosphere here that it's just kind of fun to be around. This is the Farmers Union Insurance pregame show. For all of your insurance needs, contact your local Farmers Union insurance agent or go to FUMIC.com. BHS and Century, an all Bismarck state championship match between two teams that have been the best out of the West region all season long. The Demons number two coming out of the WDA tournament. Shared a regular season title, though, with Century. Both teams went 19-1 and this year in WDA play. Century was the one who beat the Demons in that WDA tournament title match via the sweep. Okay, let's see how the bracket has shaken out so far in this state tournament that is in Bismarck for the first time since 1988. This is how it's gone. It's been impressive for both these teams. Bismarck starting things off with a clean sweep of Cheyenne. An excellent West Fargo team who won the third place match. BHS of the sweep of the Packers. Century can say the same. They swept Davies and then swept Shanley to get here. So both these teams unblemished heading into this title match. Yeah, they've both had their A games going on here last couple days at, in their hometown. And uh, I know they're excited to tip this one off and get her going. Um, I think that uh, we're in for a really good matchup here. A lot of star power on both sides of the net. And uh, as we said, during the regular season, they both came out with their, you know, with their, with their, their co-championship, if you will. It seems fitting to yeah. face them off here for the state crown. Yeah, they've had the regular season title shared in the West Region this season. That's your look around the region, brought to you by West Dakota Chevy Dealers. An incredible turnaround season for BHS, not making the state tournament in the title match this year. But for Century, this is their comfort zone. This is their 11th straight state championship match. Jamie Sastapol looking for her seventh state championship as head coach. Let's take a look at our even tied senior living community. Keys to the game for two teams very familiar with one another. Brianna Klein, the head coach for the Demons, always makes it a point of emphasis. She wants her team, part of their identity, to be that aggressive serve. Well, it's hard to win championship volleyball without a good serving uh, philosophy and a well-executed serve. And I think if you look back at even yesterday's semifinal and you kind of a lot of people wonder, where was West Fargo? Why did West Fargo not fire in all cylinders? I, I'm going to give the credit to the Bismarck High mm -hmm. serving attack. They really put tremendous amount of pressure on you, and they're going to look to try to do that to slow down this high-powered century offense. You know, there was a West Fargo team that was on a 10-game winning streak, and BHS swept the Packers to get to this title match. For Century, again, this is a team that is very confident in this match. Of course, they're the defending state champs. They got a victory over West Fargo in four last year in this crown. But head coach Jamie Zastable, one thing she said in the talk with her leading up to this match, she said, you know, everybody wants to be the big hitter. We have a lot of big hitters, but she always wants her team to stay defensive-minded as well. Absolutely. She wants her team to be poised, stay focused, stay in the moment, right? And they have done that all year long. Uh, they've done that in past championships. And there's no way that you're getting to a title crown without playing good defense here tonight. Century's been doing that all year long, winning their eighth straight WDA title. Century 14-2 against the state tournament field this year as well. A couple star players standouts for these two teams as we take a look in our player matchup. It was also a strong performance from Kennedy Renner. Renner went down with an injury in the quarterfinals, but Renner has been fantastic this year. Just look at the numbers for Renner, 26 kills and 39 digs. Yeah, she's been fantastic for them, despite the fact that she's uh, sprained that ankle earlier in the, in the tournament, as you mentioned. But she managed to play through that yesterday, helped lead her team to this matchup here today. Uh, they're going to be looking to get all they can out of Kennedy Renner today, both front court and in the back court. 
And for Century, a balanced attack, but it's Logan Nisley, who was only a junior, but a first-team All-State selection last year. It's an explosive player for the Patriots. Yeah, she sure is as a first-teamer, and uh, she does it all as well. She's uh, second in WGA in kills per set, and uh, she likes to dig the ball as well. But probably one of her biggest strengths is her ability to lead. She's leading a team full of seniors, and that says a lot about uh, Logan Nisley. The Gatorade Basketball Player of the Year, one of the best volleyball players in North Dakota as well. That's our Pro Seed player matchup for this state championship match. Again, BHS upset last year in the West Region Tournament. They didn't even make this bracket. This year they swept in the first round of the semis to get here. Century feeling calm and peaceful <laughs> back in the state title match. Century looking to become the winningest program in state history. If they can win it all here, it would be their ninth title. Tied right now with Red River for most ever at eight. All right, when we come back, we get you set with starters. And we'll be close to first serve. It's BHS and Century for the Class A State Championship on back. At the heart of every small town are the people that live there and the businesses that serve them. From sporting events to 4-H, Lions Clubs, the Hospital Foundations, Bassett Motors has worked for the past 23 years to make sure the heart of its area small towns continues to be the people. With over 15 employees, Bassett Motors prides itself on small town service with personal attention. Bassett Motors, where our customers send their friends. Howdy folks, it's the Caroline Cafe. I reckon it's time you're due for a hearty meal. So saddle up for the day with one of our hay boss and breakfast yeah. homemade soups. Fill your grill at a salad bar, sink your teeth into our famous Caroline burger and barbecue ribs. Mm -hmm. Top it off with spur rattling pie with a comro that's sure to put a smile on even the toughest outlaws. Yeah. Shake the dirt off the boots each night and warm up with the game. Tell them about it, Stacy. I can't wait to see you at the county line. Ag Producers, North Dakota's electric cooperatives remind you to watch for electric hazards. When operating large equipment, your local electric cooperative recommends using a spotter and maintaining distance of 10 feet from power lines in all directions at all times. And always consider down lines energized. Your local electric cooperative's priority is safety, the safety of their employees and you, their members. Stay safe, stay watchful. This message is brought to you by North Dakota's electric cooperatives. NISC's culture is great in many different aspects. Um, I like that we all have a sense of wanting to help each other out. NISC actually means what we say. We've got our shared values, where our principles of personal development from integrity, to all relationships, we stand by those. There's uh, an encouraging and friendly um, atmosphere here. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance, Dakota Community Bank and Trust, Bell Bank, West Dakota Chevy Dealers, BASF, We Create Chemistry, Women's Way. Hop in the rig and go down the road with me. We'll cover local and national stories that impact you. This is an opportunity to hear the other side, the progressive side. I think people lose sight of the fact that there's still work that happens after the session's over. Describe it to people if you like. There was an attack on NDSU, in my personal opinion. I'll use that word, you don't have to. Down the road with Joel Heitkamp weekdays at 5.30 Central on Beck News and online at beck.news. At the heart of every small town are the people that live there and the businesses that serve them. From sporting events to 4-H, Lions Clubs, the Hospital Foundations, Bassett Motors has worked for the past 23 years to make sure the heart of its area small towns continues to be the people. With over 15 employees, Bassett Motors prides itself on small town service with personal attention. Bassett Motors, where our customers send their friends. 
Howdy folks, it's the Caroline Cafe. I reckon it's time you're due for a hearty meal. So saddle up for the day with one of our hay for some breakfast, yeah. cow made soups. Fill your grill, add a salad bar, sink your teeth into our famous Caroline burger and barbecue ribs. Mm -hmm. Top it off with spur rattling pie with a comrade that's sure to put a smile on even the toughest outlaws. Yeah. Shake the dirt off the boots each night and warm up with the game. Tell them about it, Stacy. I can't wait to see you at the county line. Ag producers, North Dakota's electric cooperatives remind you to watch for electric hazards. When operating large equipment, your local electric cooperative recommends using a spotter and maintaining distance of 10 feet from power lines in all directions at all times. And always consider down lines energized. Your local electric cooperative's priority is safety, the safety of their employees and you, their members. Stay safe, stay watchful. This message is brought to you by North Dakota's electric cooperatives. NISC's culture is great in many different aspects. Um, I like that we all have a sense of wanting to help each other out. NISC actually means what we say. We've got our shared values, our principles of personal development from integrity, all relationships, we stand by those. There's uh, an encouraging and friendly um, atmosphere here that it's just kind of fun to be around. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance. Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF. We create chemistry. Women's Way. This is the Farmers Union Insurance pregame show. For all of your insurance needs, contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent or go to FUMIC.com. Back of the Farmers Union Insurance pregame show, the Class A state championship match between Bismarck High and the Century Patriots. Fifth matchup of the year between these two teams, very familiar with one another. Let's take a look at the starters, two teams loaded. Brought to you by Vogel Law Firm, Peyton Foster, the old WDA setter this year. Is a junior really stepped up into that setter role this year? Mia Hintz, the starter, along with Emily Stonecipher, Kennedy Renner, Genevieve Birchenall, who had a great match in the semifinal with 10 digs, or rather with uh, nine kills, one of the best on the team. Taylor Anderson and Brooke Curtis rounding out the starting lineups. On the other side for Century, J.C. Clark, the senior, first year varsity player, having a starter at Libero for them. Claire Bowman, Basie Fridgen, Delaney Clark, all WDA. Logan Missley and Hallie Mattern as well, along with Abby Fletcher. So listen into the starting lineups as they're announced here. For the Patriots, number four, Delaney Clark. For the Demons, number seven, Tegan Williams. For the Patriots, number five, Cameron Harder. For the Demons, number nine, Hallie Witch. For the Patriots, number six, Eden Fridley. For the Demons, number 10, Emery Schmitz. For the Patriots, number eight, Logan Nisley. For the Demons, number 12, Emily Stone Cipher for the Patriots number nine Autumn Ketterly for the Demons number 13 Kennedy Renner for the Patriots number 10 Halle Matter for the Demons, number 14, Maya Williams. For the Patriots, number 12, Dylan Dennis. For the Demons, number 15, Madison Foster. For the Patriots, number 14, Haven Fitterer. 
For the Demons, number 16, Genevieve Birchenau. For the Patriots, number 15, Erica Lee. For the Demons, number 17, Mackenzie Bolzer. For the Patriots, number 16, Atriana Beckman. For the Demons, number 18, Taylor Anderson. For the Patriots, number 20, Abby Fletcher. For the Demons, number 20, Brooke Curtis. For the Patriots, number 22, Miley Trahan. Head coaches for the Demons, Brianna Klein. And for the Patriots, Jamie Zestapol. Now we are just about set for action here in the state championship match on Beck. Chris Clayton and Chris Mahoney with you for this matchup between two teams in very different positions. BHS hasn't played in a state title match since 2016. Century's been here 11 times in a row. How do you think that kind of that experience and inexperience in this match will manifest itself today? Well, I think if history, you know, repeats itself, it tells you that experience is worth a lot. And the Bismarck Century Patriots have been in this situation year in and year out. Many of these players were on that state title team from last year. On the flip side, Bismarck High is excited to be here. This is where they felt they belonged. And now they're going to have to shake off championship butterflies and, and get comfortable in this match if they're going to keep up with these Bismarck Century Patriots. Just about ready to start things off with our first serve of the state title brought to you by Dagelman Industries. Engineer Tough. Hallie Matter and we'll serve it up. Again, these teams played in the WDA championship match and it was a sweep by Century of BHS. First point, a swing from Brooke Curtis. A kill for the Demons. Well, it's exactly what you were hoping for if you're Brianna Klein. You're hoping to see a solid first pass, set kill, and there you have it. Brooke Curtis coming off that ankle injury earlier in the tournament. Uh, looked pretty good on that play right there. Bismarck up, one zip. Yeah, we weren't sure if she was going to be able to play in the semifinal. How she went down in the first round of that ankle issue. Century answers back with a kill of their own down the middle from Macy Fridgen. Patriot senior, all WDA and uh, University of Jamestown volleyball commit, Macy Fridgen. Perfect execution there on the quick ball to tie this thing up at one. Both teams off to a real nice start. The execution is there. Sophomore Taylor Anderson is blocked back, and the Patriots get a rejection that time. Well, we just said her name, Macy Fridgen, on that. She teams up, teams up with senior setter Abby Fletcher. Puts up a nice double block there uh, to slow down the sophomore, Taylor Anderson. Uh, blocks and net play are going to be a huge part of this championship today, Chris. Stone Cipher able to answer, out of play. Wrong side of the pen on the attack, and Century takes a 3-1 lead. Attack error from Stone Cipher, who has been fantastic this tournament. 21 kills. Autumn Ketterling serves it over. Stone Cipher with a pass to Curtis. Two-hand shove in the middle, but a pancake effort. Whistle, and it hit the floor. Not able to keep it up that time. Yeah, I definitely think that was the right call here. I think this ball got down just in front of the hand. Got a part of the ball, but you've got to get all of the ball on that play. It was Hallie Matter who came flying in for Century. Logan Nisley rolls it over the top. And sets up a swing from Stone Cipher who puts it down. Emily Stonecipher was a big key to Bismarck getting through that state semifinal game. She, she came and rose to the occasion, was really strong on that right side. Great opening swing from her. Back set, Stonecipher flat-footed. Fletcher with a set down the middle. Fridgen swings it off the block. They go to Taylor Anderson. Anderson again. Fletcher, far side, Logan Nisley off the block, picks up the kill for Century. 
is such a tough combination to slow down here. You've got you've got Macy Fridgen coming in the middle, and if you don't commit on her as a middle blocker, they kick the ball out to Logan Nisley, who takes advantage of that split plot there. Nice execution uh, by Abby Fletcher to choose the open hitter. Nestle leading the team with 23 kills in this tournament coming into this match. And the service error by Century. We go back and forth here in the state title in the first. Well, it's just a great atmosphere in here it today. Is. The communication level is going to have to be really high. A lot of crowd noise. A lot of student sections are pretty excited about being here. The players are going to have to make sure they communicate effectively uh, to avoid unforced errors. Claire Bowman rises and fires for Century. The Patriots balancing it out here. Three different players with kills. Bowman, Fridgen, and Nisley. It's part of the trouble playing Century. They have so many different attacking options. Yeah, they really do, and you're going to have to figure a way to limit those uh, attacking options. And one that we probably don't even don't even talk too much about is the ability to serve. Delaney Clark just with a perfect float serve. Sometimes when that ball leaves the server's hand, it's just destined to go to the floor. When that ball left her hand and got about at the net, you could tell that that was trouble for the Demons. It's her third ace of the tournament. Good received by Hintz, and they go to Anderson again. First year starting libero, J.C. Clark with the dig. Back to Nisley. Off the block. Another free ball by BHS. Down the middle. Pushed to the left side by Bowman. And a lift called against the Patriots. Well, Claire just guilty of a little bit too long on the prolonged contact here. You can power tip, but it may have had a little to do with the fact that ball started back by her shoulder, near her shoulder, and the extension of it. Just spent a little bit too long in the opinion uh, of our head official. Cameron Harder comes flying through, a player that has really stepped up for Century. First portion of the season, in the regular season, six kills per match. The last ten, Cameron Harder with up over eight kills per match. Head coach Jamie Zastable said she's really coming along. Another attacker for Century. Back to Harder. Just missed the sideline. Yeah, this is one uh, Cameron's going to want back here. The block, the left front block, uh, uh, Kennedy Renner got caught inside. She had a wide open, wide open line, and she just overcut it and, and missed it wide. So, Clark with a quick set, blocked back on Bowman's attack. It was actually straight into the net. Four touches on Century. Good communication here by the officials. The R2 uh, had the call on that one. Great job, Rachel Johnson, communicating her, par her partner today, the R1, Dorothy Lick. Back set. Harder swing. Finds the back line. Well, Cameron just needed to convince her setter, Delaney Clark, to give her that ball again because she, uh, she wanted another crack at it, and she didn't miss on that one. Perfect shot right down the line. A real tough swing for right-handed player playing on the right side. The set comes over your inside shoulder. Trying to paint that line is a challenging shot. Probably one of the hardest shots in volleyball. It's her second kill. She's also an all-WBA soccer player for Century. Kennedy Renner leading the Demons in kills this tournament. Gets on the board in the kill column. We go back and forth here as Renner has the last couple years been an old WDA selection, third in the West this year in kills. They'll give her another attack. And she tools it off the block, back to back for Renner. It's like we talked about yesterday with Kennedy Renner. You know, with playing on that sprained ankle that she's got as well, she's going to, you know, maybe not at the top of her game. She's going to need to hit some other finesse shots. Nice job there hitting about, oh, about 70% on that one and just catching that a piece of the hands straight to the floor. Defense can usually can't do a thing about that. Hence far side. Swing for Stone Cipher. Dug out in the back row by Delaney Clark. Harder from the attack line. That one falls in play. Cameron Harder. Three kills here in the state title. Well, this was an ultra aggressive. I, I, when she tried to swing line on that one, I got, I, I kind of held my breath, but she pulled it off. <laughs> probably not the body position you want to do to take that shot. You probably miss it more than more than you than you want, but absolutely worked out for her on that on that swing there. 
Mattern serves it over. Foster with a high set. Stone Cipher off the tape. The officials are saying it was blocked back. We roll on. Stone Cipher again. Dig by Clark. Dennis. Dug out in the back row. Mackenzie Bolzer. Rolls off the tape. Did it hit the antenna? It did. Off the antenna. Point to the Patriots. Swing from Stone Cipher. Clearly hits the antenna. Century regains the lead. Quick dump. Gives BHS some issues. Good effort there by Abby Fletcher trying to catch Demons off guard. Dennis another attack and this time it hits the hardwood. Nice swing here by Dylan Dennis. She does the same thing. The line has been a popular place so far today. Outside hitters are not wanting to go cross court through the big blocks of each team and taking advantage of a little bit of open line there. Another really nice finesse shot. Already five different century players with kills now. Curtis lofts it over the top for the finesse kill, her second. Back on the far side, Fridgen is blocked back. Foster now in the middle for Curtis. That time Mattern's there to pick up the lofting shot. Dennis keeps it in play for another kill. 12th, 10th century here in the state title, a rematch of the WDA title. Anything surprise you so far here in this matchup? Uh, not too much so far. I mean, I think that both teams are, are quite happy with the fact that they're at a two-point game. They're 10-12 you know, early start here with the Patriots with a slight lead. But, but teams seem to be passing well, communicating well, mm -hmm. and running, uh, running pretty, pretty solid offenses and defense so far. So just kind of a feeling out period at this point in time. And the question of whether or not the nerves would affect BHS so far doesn't really look like they have. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Century on the attack error, it's 12-11. Yeah, I would agree with that, that uh, so far Bismarck High looks, you know, looks comfortable, looks confident. This stage doesn't seem to be too big for them in the early going. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that as the points start to matter and build and get bigger and bigger as the set goes on. BHS didn't even make the state tournament last year. This year in the state championship match. Anderson, the sophomore, nearly got the kill. Overpass, slap down. Century is in the net. Hence, the WDA Senior Athlete of the Year serves it across. Nisley on the far side. Hence has the dig, diving to her right. Stone Cipher. Able to put it down. Great effort. But Stone Cipher with a kill to put BHS up a point. Look at the defense by Hintz. Fantastic. Great read there. She's Her job is to take the angle shot. She sensed there was a split and lays out to dig. Got a big dig there for the Demons. Renner not able to dig it out. A kill for the Patriots. A 3-0 run for BHS broken with that kill. Yeah, great pursuit there. Um, Peyton Foster wanted to run that down, but she got a little close to the bleachers. Uh, nice to see her. She pulled up and didn't, didn't get hurt on that one, but great defensive pursuit. She looked like she was going to dive into the third row there. Yeah, two steps earlier, I kind of wondered if she was going to. So, <laughs> Giving it all here in the state title. Nestle again, trying to go down the line, but Foster has the dig. Back to Taylor Anderson. Anderson was a JV player last year, the JV team MVP. Big part of the offense this year for BHS. Hence with another dig. Fletcher dumps, and Renner with a diving effort keeps it alive. Anderson hammers it down. Well, what an exciting play by the Demons here. It all starts with the dig. Chases it down the corner. Here you got Kennedy Renner runs that ball down, and then Mia Hens puts one up in the air. And finally, Taylor Anderson says, "You know what? I'm going for it," and just thumps one right in the center court. Sophomore, second on the team in kills this year, sixth in the West with her first of this match, and a block for the Demons, Burchinall and Anderson. That brings us to the media timeout. BHS a 15-13 advantage over Century in the state championship. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance. 
Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF. We create chemistry. Women's Way. Hop in the rig and go down the road with me. We'll cover local and national stories that impact you. This is an opportunity to hear the other side, the progressive side. I think people lose sight of the fact that there's still work that happens after the session's over. Describe it to people if you like. There was an attack on NDSU, in my personal opinion. I'll use that word, you don't have to. Down the road with Joel Heitkamp weekdays at 5.30 Central on Beck News and online at Beck.News. Bismarck with a 5-1 run to take a 15-13 lead here in the first set of the 2021 Class A State Championship. Chris Clayton and Chris Mahoney here with you for this matchup. BHS not able to get to that one. Claire Bowman gets the kill. But it feels like a lot of the back row defense for the Demons ignited their 5-1 run. Absolutely. I mean, it all starts with defense. You, you make a big dig. You, you know, you excite your team. You excite your, uh, obviously, your hitters and setters who get another chance to swing. And the crowd comes alive. And you can just feel it when you get that chance to get up there and swing that you're playing with a, with a strong backcourt behind you. Quick turn of events here all of a sudden. Right. You come out of the timeout. Bismarck Century has... Uh, Turn the tables here and tighten this thing back up. We're all tied up at 15, Chris. Yeah, Bowman with back-to-back -back kills. Player that has really emerged in her junior season. Head coach Jamie Zastapol says she's just getting in better and better. She can jump out of the gym. Starting to harness that athleticism, and she's a big reason why Century is on a 3-0 run now. A little miscommunication here uh, in the middle between Peyton Foster and, and Genevieve Virginal. Um, not sure what the play call was there, but just didn't connect on it. Anderson, that's a kill. The ball rockets into the student section. Trying to get BHS back on track with that swing. Yeah, Taylor is a confident swinger. She hits a heavy ball, and uh, you know, good example of the heaviness there. That ball's dug in the backcourt, and like you said, traveled another 60 feet into the student section. Back to Bowman. Hammers it through the block. Claire Bowman out of the timeout, very active. Well, I think Taylor Anderson brings the boom and really ignites her team with her big swings. And on the flip side, Claire Bauman, we saw it yesterday in the semifinals, she just winds up and pounds it. You know, she absolutely is an energizer when it comes to the offense for the Patriots. Maybe a bit of a miscommunication. It's a free ball, which is rare in this match, over to Century side. Back to Cameron Harder. Active set for her with three kills so far. Renner, block back, hints, punches to keep it alive. Birch and all blocked back, but she somehow kept it up. Another free ball. Clark sets in the middle. Cameron Harder bludgeons it down, but it's out of play. Just missed the sideline there. Almost, just a little bit wide. Since the double block, just, just kind of thumbed up a little bit, you say, as a, as a coach, you tell you, get the thumb up and cut it back. But just a little bit too much cut on that and missed it. Seventeen all and set one. Emery Schmitz served it over. Nestle from the back row. Popped in the air by Taylor Schmitke and into the bleachers. Back row kill for Nestle, the all state outside hitter. JC Clark back to serve. Renner from the attack line. Clark another dig. Dennis out of play. Neck and neck here. Everything we could have hoped for. Back, great, great environment. Yeah, back and forth we go. 18 all. Now the points get bigger, Chris. Mm -hmm. 18 all. No room. You got to belt the hitting errors, passing errors, and serving errors at this point of the set. BHS. Playing in a state championship match for the first time since 2016 when they lost to Century. Playing with no fear here. They beat Century twice this year. These teams are two and two against one another. A quick kill by Macy Fridge in six foot two middle. Able to slap it down. 
Really nice play by Macy here up at the top of the net. She realized that she's in trouble. The block's in her way, and just a super job, just directing that ball tight along the net, and then uh, catching uh, Stone Cipher a little bit off guard there and, and getting a point on the tip. Stone Cipher lets it fly and miss the back line. Well, two-point lead, that's about all we've seen here in the first set. So uh, this is about as large of a margin as, 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 as either team has been able to muster. And uh, the ace serve, we're going to probably have to talk. Yeah, we're going to talk this one over if you're Brianna Klein. The Demons want to talk this one over. They're trailing by three in the first set. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance. Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF. We create chemistry. Women's Way. Kennedy Renner hurt her ankle a couple days ago in the quarterfinals, but She's been healthy in this first set so far with a couple kills and a number of digs in the back row, too. Yeah, I mean, uh, the way she's moving around on it tells me that it's feeling okay and enough, you know, good enough to play on. And uh, even that celebration after that last kill right there, you know, the tuck jump in the air tells me that uh, it's, uh, it feels all right. So we'll be keeping an eye on some of that. Obviously, uh, you, need your, you need your team healthy if you're going to be able to perform at your best today. Brooke Curtis for BHS also shaken up in that quarterfinal. Didn't return, but did play in the semifinals and is out there today. She has an attack now. Century on a 3-0 run coming off an ace to take the largest lead of the match so far. A neck and neck first set. Renner again. Too much on at that time. Four in a row for Century. Yeah, you're trying to make something out of it without making something out of it. And just, you know, sometimes you just push a little too hard on that, a little too much pace on that roll shot. Renner goes off the block. Real nice swing there on the right side, though, to answer back for her team. Good shot by Kennedy Renner. Hits about a 60-65% shot there, just to, enough to get into the blocking hands and take advantage of one of those hands to the floor. Down the middle, Fridgen finds the back line. Century now two away in the first set. Well, that one was a little too easy. I think uh, Brooke Curtis got a little bit fooled here on that one. She had already taken a step to get to the outside to put that block on the outside hitter. And uh, Delay uh, Delaney, or excuse me, uh, Abby Fletcher ends up setting her, her big gun, Macy Fridgen. And it's just, you're not going to be able to allow Macy Fridgen to have that kind of day later. You're in trouble. An attack error by Stone Cipher. Brianna Klein uses her timeout. Century a point away from taking the first set. NISC's culture is great in many different aspects. Um, I like that we all have a sense of wanting to help each other out. NISC actually means what we say. We've got our shared values, where our principles of personal development from integrity to all relationships. We stand by those. There's uh, an encouraging and friendly um, atmosphere here that it's just kind of fun to be around. Well, it was 18 all, but Century with four in a row, and now a 6-1 run for the defending state champion, Century Patriots. They've won it five of the last six years, trying to get off on the right foot for the first set victory. And they have set point here with Autumn Ketterling on serve out of the timeout from BHS. The senior slaps it over. Foster with a set for Curtis. Lofts to the middle and a diving effort by J.C. Clark. And the counter dumped the other way by Abby Fletcher ends the first set. 25-19 century. on some smaller projects to get me worked up to some of the big, bigger things built around here. 
The atmosphere in the shop is, is very, very team-based, which is great. It's really cool to see the beginning and end product. So it's very satisfying to build something that you know people are really going to appreciate. Welcome to No Apologies, your after-hours oasis of sanity. God, your ego is so tiny um, and fragile. I'm Rick Becker. And I'm Lori Hins. Make no mistake, folks, we lost. Again, we lost the war in Afghanistan. Dynamic. There's so, nothing what? There's nothing wrong with rattling the cages of the old guard. Your retreat begins at 9 central on Beck News and online at beck.news. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, the CEO of MyPillow. Cancel culture has not only affected myself and MyPillow, but millions of you out there. My employees and I want to personally thank each and every one of you for all of your support. At MyPillow, we not only have pillows, but we have hundreds of products, including my new slippers, bathrobes, sleepwear, and my new beds. We're offering the best gifts ever for the best prices ever. For example, we have this exclusive offer on the standard size my pillows, regularly $69.98, now only $19.98 with your promo code. We also have the queen size my pillows, regularly $79.98, now only $24.98 with your promo code. And we have the king size, regularly $89.98, now only $29.98 with your promo code. So go to MyPillow.com now and use the promo code on your screen or call the 1-800 number below to receive this exclusive offer. Hi, folks. It's the Caroline Cafe. I reckon it's time you're due for a hot meal. So saddle up for the day with one of our hay bars and breakfast yeah. homemade soups. Fill your grill at a salad bar. Sink your teeth into our famous Caroline burger and barbecue ribs. Mm -hmm. Top it off with spur rattling pie with a calm roll that's sure to put a smile on even the toughest outlaws. Yeah. Shake the dirt off the boots each night and warm up with the game. Tell them about it, Stacy. I can't wait to see you at the county line. NISC's culture is great in many different aspects. Um, I like that we all have a sense of wanting to help each other out. NISC actually means what we say. We've got our shared values, we've got our principles of personal development from integrity, to all relationships, we stand by those. There's uh, an encouraging and friendly um, atmosphere here that it's just kind of fun to be around. It was 18 all in the first set. Century with a 7-1 run in the first. They take it 25-19 over BHS. The Demons didn't even make this state tournament last year. This is their first state championship match for this group of players. You mentioned earlier on, as we start off this second set, brought to you by Dagelman Industries, is that you wondered whether or not the nerves would affect the Demons when the points really matter. Do you think that manifested itself? Well, I, I do think it was a little bit of a factor there at the end of the set. They, you know, noticeably their comfort level and play fell off when the points got bigger after about 18. And that made some unforced errors, weren't able to, you know, maintain the confidence probably you have to as a swinger, as a passer, as a setter. And I think it was a little bit of a factor down the road there at the end of that first set. See if they can get back on track here. Century starts off the set with the first point. Anderson, a nice dig in the back row. Hence to the pass over to Stone Cipher, tight to the net. She's under the net. A violation in Century extending this run now. If you go back to how they finished the first, it's now a 9-1 to run for the Patriots. Missley on the far side. Just missed the sideline. It's a point for BHS. Yeah, she knew it right away, shaking her head, came right to the middle and said, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got a kick out of that. Just uh, wide open net, but sometimes a wide open net is just a little too much. Too much net for some. Immediate apology from her, and now BHS able to utilize that for another point. Yeah, going to be important for Bismarck here to reestablish the, the confidence and aggressive they played with at the start of this, start of this match. Uh, they said they want to be a tough serving team and put a lot of pressure on you. They need to get back behind the service line and drive some balls uh, in between those century passers. And Renner is one of their top servers. Two aces so far in this state tournament. Anderson 
right down the line. Century is in the net, point to BHS. Fortunate for the Demons, that attack went out of play. Yeah, the, uh, Taylor missed her line swing here, but she got bailed out by uh, a net call there on the block. Um, like I said, Taylor hits a heavy ball. <laughs> yep. You get up there to block, you, you probably prepare for it, and maybe over-prepared for it, and ended up a little bit of upper body motion on your arms, and press a little harder, thinking that ball's going to thump your arms back, and then it doesn't touch you, and you end up touching the net. So. Nestle gets on track with her third kill. Really balanced effort so far from Century. Four players with at least three kills, five with at least two. They're spreading it all over the floor so far in this match. And that's been their key to success all season long, right? It comes from every different direction, and uh, that's what makes them so difficult to defend. Stone Cypher dug out in the back row there by Phrygian. Back to Nisley. Here's a whistle. And a double contact against the Patriots. A tough ball to handle. That ball was dug up almost into our scoreboard over the court here. And uh, Abby Fletcher decided she was going to try to take it overhand and set it, even though it was spinning like crazy. But uh, a little bit too much uh, contact there, double hit on second ball, and uh, gives a point to the Demons. I like to see the confidence that she had, though, on that ball to still set it, put her hands on it. Always more accurate to put your hands on the ball than it is to play it with your forearms. Another dig by Hintz, an absolute machine at Libero. But a violation against BHS, another double contact. Same sort of situation over here on the uh, on the Demon side. Peyton Foster just, you know, a little guilty of a little mishandle of the ball on the back set there, double touch, and uh, we're even back up here again in terms of uh, the way this first set, or the second set has started. Anderson receives the serve and gets the kill as well. The heavy swing is right. Such confidence for a sophomore. She just, I mean, she hit that ball really hard for hitting a cut shot like that. And, uh, you know, she's uh, she is a, an improving everyday kind of player. I, I've just noticed her improve even just throughout this tournament uh, in terms of consistency and poise. So exciting years ahead for, for Taylor Anderson and the Demons. Service error there by BHS. Punched it right into the net. Foster, Anderson, rolls it over the top. Her first state title match, her first state tournament overall, and she's starting to come into her own here. Yeah, great poise here. To hit that roll shot absolutely perfectly executed. Now, if I'm Peyton Foster, I'm thinking about getting my middle going. Genevieve Bergenau was a huge part of the mm. semifinal run, and uh, she hasn't virtually had a set yet. I'm going to look to sneak some balls to her and get her going in the middle if I'm if I'm her. So uh, watch to see the, the the demons now that they got some outside hitters really clicking. But watch to see the the offense get spread around as well to keep that Century Patriots block guessing. This is the largest lead of a match so far for BHS. Two-hand shove by Bowman. Hence again able to clean it up. A free ball across. Carter down the middle. Bowman swung with all of her might, but it's sent back. Well, fantastic. I think we had a triple block here in the middle of the court. All three front row players came together to gang up and uh, and make sure that make sure that Cameron Harder didn't have a lot of room. And uh, Miss Serve though sends it back over them. But the Bismarck Demons look like they've really kind of uh, united here in their in their drive to to compete with the with the Patriots. They just have a little more intensity in their eye than they have up until this point in time. Renner into the net. Attack error by BHS. That's always a tough ball as an outside hitter. When the ball gets passed to you from a forearm play, I don't know if you noticed the spin on that ball. It had a tremendous amount of top spin. So as she goes to hit it, uh, it's going to spin even more into the net. Think about ping pong. You're playing ping pong. And your opponent hits you a lot of top spin, and you go to hit it. It just dives right into the net for you. Okay? I got a brother-in-law that does that to me all the time. And <laughs> she's just guilty there of not noticing all that spin. And uh, if you're not going to pound it, you're going to try to hit a touch shot. It's just going to have so much spin on it. It's going to end up in the bottom of the net. Clark with an ace that time. There's Renner again. Manages the top spin well that time. Harder with a big swing. Off the block, Cameron Harder ties up the second set. Nice little mini run of their own here by the by the Patriots to, to get, this, get this set tied up at nine. Four in a row now for Century. 
Renner just behind the attack line. Dug out by Dennis. Hence with a pass right to Foster. In system, Renner. Off the block, unbelievable. Dylan Dennis punched it back over. Bertinall puts down her first kill. A lot, a lot of happening on that play there. Just a great swing. Um, great swing from Kennedy Renner to use the block. And wow, you see Dylan, uh, Dylan Dennis go and get that ball up and keep it alive. And uh, eventually a nice finish there by Bertinall. We talked about her just a minute ago, needing to get her going in the middle. And so that's a good sign right there. Off the lip of the net, but a great dig in the back row. And a kill. Forget a free ball. Renner able to put it down. Yeah, probably a little bit guilty here, Cameron. Uh, Harder probably wishes she'd stayed at the net on that one. She has saw free ball motion, and mm. you want to make sure that you're not supposed to stay and block. That one just rolled over the top of the net where she would have been to block that. And the Demons get a free ball pass kill. Harder. Gets back on track with her fifth kill now. Cameron Harder, an active state championship match. Well, that sure makes you feel good when you're probably thinking about the last ball that you probably should have stayed maybe at the net and blocked and come up and get a chance to contribute and, and put one down. That, that puts that last play out of memory and, and you move on. Runner on the near pin. Another attack, block back, whistle. And we've seen that a few times by both teams in this set, a double contact. Yeah, it's just a little bit of surprise. It's happening more so on the cover play when the ball gets blocked back down. The first ball is allowed to be double hit after on the first touch, and then it's also, generally speaking, not very many carry balls or lifts are called on that first ball. But that second ball, it comes to you out of surprise. We definitely have uh, the double hit call or the carry ball call. Dennis saw an unbelievable dig from her earlier in the set. Puts a kill down the line. And that's where she likes to go. She has a bit of a closed plant with her feet, which means her hips and her shoulders are turned more towards the line. She's going to be more comfortable hitting down the line. I, I look for the Demons to maybe change their block a little and uh, try to close off that line on, on, on Dennis. Renner with a timely kill there. Got a touch on the block and ties it up at 12 apiece. Renner a lot more active here in this second set in terms of getting attacks. She's up to five kills now. Down the middle, Fridgen bangs it off the block. Just a wealth of options for Century. Elite attackers all over the floor. Yep. Double block here on, on Macy. The left side decided to step in. Uh, left side being Kennedy Renner, and she saw her leaning, so she just went right back to where she came from, hit it off of her outside hand, and, and, and used that block to her advantage. And now an ace for Century. Autumn Ketterling. Fourth ace of the tournament. Serving so well. The senior in her final matches of her volleyball career. Curtis lofts to her left. Popped up in the air by Mattern. Far side, Logan Nisley with a cut shot for the kill. A timely run for Century. Three in a row in the media timeout. This game on the Beck Sports Network is presented by the following. Farmers Union Insurance. Dakota Community Bank and Trust. Bell Bank. West Dakota Chevy Dealers. BASF. We create chemistry. Women's Way. Hop in the rig and go down the road with me. We'll cover local and national stories that impact you. This is an opportunity to hear the other side, the progressive side. I think people lose sight of the fact that there's still work that happens after the session's over. Describe it to people if you like. There was an attack on NDSU, in my personal opinion. I'll use that word, you don't have to. Down the road at Joel High Camp weekdays at 5.30 Central on Beck News and online at Beck. News. Cameron Harder, third on the team in kills this season, the leader today for Century. She has five kills to lead the way for the Patriots, and they're up 15 to 12 here into the media timeout. Chris Clayton and Chris Mahoney here with you from the Bismarck Event Center for the Class A State Championship match. Now four in a row for Century. Don't forget, we still have the Class B State title match after this one's over. 
a little after 7 p.m. Logan Nisley then gets a kill. It's part of the balance for Century today. Harder and Nisley each with five kills apiece. In the back set, Renner blocked back. Quick dump. Good reaction, though, by Logan Nisley. Renner gives it a ride. Off Fridgen. Ripped over by Stone Cypher and bangs it into the corner. And, and I think if I'm uh, Peyton Foster, I want to continue to get more balls back there to Emily Stone Cypher. She's had great success all tournament, uh, hitting cross court, hitting line. Um, she really helps out the the left front player and Kennedy Renner take a little bit of pressure off of her from the defensive position. So uh, I'm I'm going to still get her a few more swings. Yep, Stone Cipher gets another one. Back-to-back -back kills for Emily Stone Cipher, the old WDA middle. 